I clearly awakened the ability to control thunder magic, yet I was mocked by my classmates as a useless person in name only, simply because the thunder I summoned was only the size of a caterpillar, and the electricity it emitted was weaker than an O. 7 Battery This also led me to become a bottom-tier existence among the superhumans. Seeing this, my fiancé chose to break up with me in public. Even my close buddies, who I usually got along well with, severed ties with me. Yet I felt no anger, but rather a cold laughter in my heart. As someone who crossed over, I know the power of thunder magic. Possessing the Taoist Five Thunder Formation. Similar to the Golden Light Spell of Mount Longhu. With the Invisible Thunder Department, controlling the soul-captivating Purple Thunder Needle. Thunder magic was a top-tier spell in my original world, impossible to be a worthless superpower. At this moment, I was sitting in the classroom pondering this issue when suddenly, a cold voice from the platform interrupted me. I'll emphasize once again, taking five subjects in the college entrance exam carries a risk of death. For those with superpowers below D-level, I suggest not choosing five subjects. It's not too late to change your preferences now, said by the homeroom teacher, Chen Fan. His gaze lingered on me. Of course, I understood the homeroom teacher's intention. Almost all those who die in the college entrance exam every year are D-level awakeners, and I am the first, as a student with E-level superpower, to take the martial exam. But I, still stubbornly faced the ridicule of the class teacher, at the same time, a system prompt sounded in my mind, the deep blue system activating. Seeing that I still insisted on taking the martial arts exam, the class teacher, Chin Fan, directly became sarcastic towards me, are you really not going to change your choice to the liberal arts exam? The ability awakened by the system is to be a cannon fodder or choose the safe liberal arts exam and be an ordinary person. I ignored Chen Fan's sarcasm. To survive in this world where ferocious beasts roam, continuously getting stronger through the martial arts exam is the only way out. Moreover, I just activated the system. Although I don't know its functions yet, it must not be too weak. After school, I rushed home without stopping. Since my parents both died early due to dampness, I returned home alone, making it convenient for me to explore the system. As I activated the deep blue system in my mind, countless blue thunder arcs began to appear around my body, making me look like a lightning ball. Accompanied by the piercing sound of electric arcs, endless thunder arcs spread throughout the living room, and in an instant, everything they touched exploded. Such a huge explosion naturally caught the attention of the residents, and many had already dialed the fire department. Some even fled the community in fear. However, I was completely unaware of all this, still immersed in my own extraordinary transformation. It seems that due to the changes in my abilities, the clear sky outside suddenly became overcast with dark clouds, as if plunging into night, accompanied by the rumble of thunder. Threads of purple lightning, resembling dragons, darted through the clouds. The eerie weather changes plunged the entire city of Jiangcheng into panic, with citizens worrying about the possibility of a beast controlling thunder and invading the city. The station army in Jiangcheng also stood ready, entering a rare state of high alert. At that moment, my ability's transformation reached its peak, as a purple lightning bolt descended from the sky, flowing into my body like a dragon. The lightning surrounding my body was completely absorbed like a tide, and with a roar, the transformation was complete. The continuous emergence of purple lightning from within me made my eyes slightly glow, showcasing my current thunderous power. It's not as simple as before. Because what I awakened was actually the ancient top 10 thunder wings, possessing the divine power of the purple sky thunder that can annihilate immortals. As I suppressed the joy of my recent transformation, I realized that the commotion I caused was too intense. The entire living room looked like it had been bombarded, with not a single intact item left. Fortunately, I managed to control it at the last moment. Otherwise, the unrestrained lightning could have easily blasted through the entire building. Just then, a rapid knocking sound suddenly rang out. Before I could react, with a bang, the entire door was kicked open. Following that, a group of firefighters appeared in sight. When they saw that the expected fire did not occur, and even a living person standing there, they all stood dumbfounded in place. Facing the firefighters who came to the door, I simply explained that I possess lightning abilities, without revealing the whole truth to them. After learning that there were no casualties, they didn't say anything further and hurriedly left. Once they departed, I picked up the long spear leaning against the wall and followed them out of the door. Tomorrow is the time for me to take the college entrance exam. Before that, I must understand how much my strength has improved after awakening the purple sky divine thunder. And the place I am heading to now is the Thunder Martial Arts Hall. It is said that the owner who established the Thunder Martial Arts Hall is also a lightning lizard ability user. I wonder if one day in the future, I could also create my own martial arts hall. Soon, I arrived at the lobby of the Thunder Martial Arts Hall. However, in the crowd, 
I spotted a familiar figure. Shi Jia, why are you also here at the Thunder Martial Arts Hall? I greeted the tall girl in front of me with a smile. She is my cousin. Since my parents passed away when I was young, my aunt in Jiangcheng often comes to visit me. Over time, I became familiar with this cousin. However, since Tang Chi awakened a grade B ability, while I only awakened a grade E ability, the connection between us has diminished. Tang Chi didn't expect to encounter Ding Xian at the Thunder Martial Arts Hall. He hesitated for a moment, nodded slightly, and came over with his friend. After a brief exchange of pleasantries, I took the initiative to leave continuously. After all, in his mind, perhaps we are no longer from the same world. Just as I left, Tang Chi, the tall girl next to him curiously asked who I was. When she found out I was Tang Chi's cousin, her eyes lit up even more. Could it be that I can finally break free from being single? However, the next moment, Tang Chi's words instantly made him lose interest. Xiaoya, my useless cousin only awakened an E-level ability, and like us, has to take the five-subject college entrance exam this year. After hearing this, Xiaoya immediately regained her usual aloofness. Everyone has their own circle, and most people within the same circle have similar strength. Even though Xiaoya is particular about appearances, she showed no interest in me whatsoever. Bai Ji dared to participate in the five-subject college entrance exam with his extreme ability. At least his courage is commendable, even though he's practically going to his death. A young man beside him sighed. Tang Chi sighed, shook his head, clearly not wanting to continue the conversation, then walked off in the opposite direction. On the other side, I was unaware of the attention I attracted after leaving. At this moment, I was already in the training room. The first thing was to test myself without using abilities, simply to see my physical strength. I gripped a long spear and thrust it fiercely towards the circular target in front of me. With a sharp collision sound, the target made of memory metal directly caved in with an exaggerated curve. A number popped up on the smart screen next to me, and 321 cards caught my eye. In terms of physical strength alone, I have improved several times compared to before. Most first-tier awakened individuals, relying on ability-induced attacks, only reach around 300 cards. But this is not my full strength yet. I casually threw the long spear to the ground beside me. Then, extending a finger, instantly, a lightning bolt surrounded by purple thunder shot towards the target. The target's heart caved in the next second, unable to recover for a long time. On the screen, an exaggerated number of 3012 even popped up. I gasped in cold air. It's no wonder it's an S-level ability. My current attack strength can easily rival that of a first-tier captain's ability. No wonder people in this world admire high-level abilities. The gap between different qualities is indeed too large. However, 3000 cards are not my limit yet. I took a deep breath. I extended the purple thunder god's power to the long spear. Lightning and fierce wind break forth. A flash of lightning inside the training room, the long spear transformed into a purple black dragon-like figure, charging towards the wall. With a powerful impact, the entire training room began to shake. When the lightning faded, the target core made of memory metal on the wall melted directly into liquid, no longer able to recover. Meanwhile, the smart screen beside me kept beeping incessantly, unable to display any data at all. My only achievement so far has been elevated. It seems like the college entrance exam tomorrow is in the bag. After muttering to myself, I calmly put away the long spear and walked out of the training room. In other words, when I just tested the lightning gale strike, Tang Chi and his group happened to be passing by the entrance of this training room. The massive energy fluctuations surprised them greatly, I remember. This is a training room specifically for high school students. Could it be that a few geniuses from our Jiangcheng are training inside? Xiaoya, wearing a dress, asked with a hint of doubt. Let's go see which genius is training inside. The sudden commotion piqued Tang Chi and the others' interest. They turned and walked towards the training room, but the next second, at the corner, they encountered me walking towards them with a long spear on my back. Tang Chi didn't expect to meet again. After a slight pause, he quickly reacted and prepared to go home. When the training ended, wanting to go back early to prepare, I didn't say much and left directly. Tang Chi didn't say much either. Although I'm his cousin, having only one episode and still attempting to take the college entrance exam beyond my abilities, it can only mean that I lack a clear self-awareness. Tang Chi and the others didn't stop because of my appearance. They continued searching for the source of the energy wave they felt earlier. Since there aren't many training rooms nearby, Tang Chi and the others quickly found the training room I had used. When they saw the shattered walls in the training room, like a spider's web, they all widened their eyes in disbelief. Even Tang Chi, who usually had a cold demeanor, had a slightly open mouth. Even the memory metal was shattered. How strong must this attack be? The young man who had mocked me before also had an exaggerated expression. 
From the remaining energy, one could still feel an incredibly violent power. Whoever unleashed this attack, even if not a second-tier esper, must definitely be a peak first-tier strength. Xiaoya stood by with a look of disbelief. This level of intensity is not something high school students can achieve, even if they are at the peak of the first tier. We won't have someone like this in Zhongcheng. At this moment, Tang Chi had a faint suspicion in his heart. Could it be that everything was caused by his cousin whom he just happened to meet earlier? Is he pretending to be weak while being strong? However, this ridiculous idea was quickly dismissed by Tang Chi. How could a waste who awakened to an E-level esper possibly cause destruction comparable to a second-tier esper? The next day, I woke up early, dressed in full gear, and headed towards the military district for the five-subject college entrance examination. At the same time, in a famous villa community in Jiangcheng, Tang Chi also finished preparing his weapons and was getting ready to head out. Suddenly, he was stopped by an elegant lady who looked similar to him. Xiao Qi, your cousin, and you are in the same exam venue. If you encounter him, you must help him. After all, your cousin is only an E-level esper. It's too dangerous in the five-subject college entrance examination. Tang Chi impatiently agreed, because even though he awakened a special class B-level ability, polite as he was, he couldn't guarantee a flawless performance in the exam, let alone his awakened E-level ability as a waste. As a cousin in taking five subjects in the college entrance examination, the chance of encountering him in the exam room can be said to be almost zero. On the other side, I quickly arrived at the school's assembly point, which was already overcrowded. Having found the bus for Jiangcheng Second High School, I got on directly. As time passed slowly, when the last student taking five subjects in the college entrance examination reported in, all the buses departed uniformly towards the exam venue. Upon arriving at the exam venue, what caught the eye was a temporary podium set up in an open space, with an area enclosed by wire mesh behind the podium. Within the area were the ruins of a broken town, where glimpses of the dark shadows of ferocious beasts could be seen between the ruins, along with the roars and howls typical of such beasts, sparking intense discussions among the examinees. I just saw what seemed like a one-horned rhino. There are even one-horned rhinos. This year's exam questions are too ruthless, leading to endless complaints of this nature. But suddenly, a passionate voice rang out from the crowd of students, so what if there are one-horned rhinos, if you can't even handle beasts of this level? Even if you manage to get into an ability university by sheer luck, you won't amount to much. The speaker is a young man holding a long sword, with a sharp edge revealed on his face, and his eyes are like those of an eagle, exuding a powerful sense of oppression. Many students, upon hearing this, turned their heads with anger, wanting to argue. But upon seeing him, they all immediately quieted down and dared not speak. This scene made me, who was watching from the side, feel very amazed. I asked the tall boy next to me who was holding a long knife, who is this person? Why is he so confident? The boy with the long knife snorted and replied indignantly, who else could it be? It's Zhou Ming Yang, the top student of the first high school. I suddenly realized that the first high school of Jiangcheng is the most prestigious high school in the city, producing students who are outstanding. Almost all top 10 students in the five subjects each year come from the first high school. And Zhou Ming Yang is one of the most outstanding students in the first high school this year, not only possessing a class B wind element, but also being able to control a level 0 wind. Moreover, he wields a great sword and has earned the title of Clear Wind Sword. Indeed, practicing swordsmanship requires such a fearless momentum. The principal of the first high school, seeing this scene, couldn't help but nod in satisfaction. The principals of other high schools looked envious. If their own school had a student like him, they wouldn't worry about being overshadowed by the first high school every year. Soon, all the students from over 40 buses entered the open space, lining up neatly according to their class order, with each class accompanied by their homeroom teacher. Each class was accompanied by their homeroom teacher. At this moment, a middle-aged man in military uniform stepped forward. With just a glance, the students who were chatting fell silent. If Zhou Ming Yang's gaze felt oppressive, then this officer's eyes were like a ferocious beast, causing a palpable fear in just a moment of contact. I am Wan Haiyang, the overall commander of the Jiangcheng Five Subject College Entrance Examination. Let me reiterate the instructions. The exam will start at 9 a.m. and end at 9 p.m., with the test location being the ruined town behind us. The outskirts and central areas of the ruined town are populated by non ranked or first tier criminals, while the core area consists of criminals above the first tier. As for the most central zone, it is occupied by second tier criminals. Wang Haiyang's voice echoed across the open space. Despite not using a microphone, his voice clearly reached every student's ears. A smile played on my lips among the crowd. The rules of the exam are simple, the higher the level of the beast you kill, 
the higher your score. The more beasts you kill, the higher your score. In the past, I would only dare to kill criminals in the outskirts. But now, I not only have the confidence to enter the core area but even the most central zone. After Wang Haiyang finished explaining all the exam rules, he waved his hand, and a large truck drove over from a distance. When the truck's cargo door opened, it revealed several black tactical backpacks, each containing three items. One smartwatch for scorekeeping and a map of the ruined town, all to help confirm the examinee's locations. Another item is the energy compression board, which can quickly help examinees replenish their energy. The last item is the safety sphere, which, when activated, can form a protective barrier around the body. High-voltage electricity that ordinary fierce beasts cannot penetrate, but once used, it also means the exam ends prematurely. It's now 8.40, after students have received their tactical backpacks, they start to get active. Is there a team lacking a meat shield? I have a strengthening type D level ability, capable of tanking and dealing damage. This college entrance examination is too difficult. It's impossible to go solo, I have a C level psychic ability. I can to some extent stall the fierce beast's thoughts. Does any team need this? The five subject college entrance examination does not prohibit students from forming teams. Of course, the points obtained from team killing fierce beasts are scored collectively by all members. Therefore, most people still choose to enter the exam site alone. Just now, after discovering the solo act, everyone realized that this college entrance examination would be exceptionally challenging. Therefore, examinees who originally did not plan to team up also start looking for teammates at this time. Do you want to join our team? We are missing an auxiliary DPS, and your thunder lizard can fill that role perfectly. A beautiful girl with delicate features came up to me. This made me somewhat surprised. I didn't expect someone to invite me to join the team. Ordinary students facing an invitation from such a beautiful girl would probably accept without hesitation, but at this moment, I furrowed my brows. The girl in front of me is named Lin Ching Yuan, she is the class monitor of class 5, and also a gentle and kind-hearted girl. On weekdays, I help many students in need. Now that they've come to team up with me, they must also want to support me. But this is the 5 subject college entrance exam. No one wants an extra burden in their team. Indeed, Lin Ching Yuan's team members' faces instantly turned ashen. I decisively declined his kindness. Firstly, to avoid putting him in a tough spot, and secondly, my goal this time is to match Zhang Cheng's perfect exam record. Honestly, I'm also afraid they might hold me back. Time quickly reached 9 o'clock. With Wang Haiyang's announcement from the podium, over 1,400 examinees surged in like locusts, rushing into the ruined town. In such an atmosphere, I took out my long spear and charged in with the crowd, laughing heartily. The ruined town, like a gaping abyss, swallowed all the students. And the open space outside quickly became empty. Activate the ruins cameras and follow-up drones, prepare to start the live broadcast of the college entrance examination. The great Xia country is rich in martial virtue, and the live broadcast of the martial arts college entrance examination is held every year. The battle situation is not only watched by the education bureau, school principals, and head teachers, but also by each school arranging time for the first and second year students to watch. So, when the candidates entered the examination room, thousands of cameras hidden in the ruined town were simultaneously activated. At the same time, more than 50 military drones rose into the sky, tracking and filming those star candidates who had gained some fame before the martial arts college entrance examination. Soon, images were projected in the sky above the open space. The principals, head teachers, and officials from various schools also chatted as they entered the audience seats. Although the ruined town is a small village under Jiangcheng, it occupies a large area. Over 1,400 candidates entered, causing some crowding at the entrance. As they continued deeper, it was as if a drop of water had fallen into the sea, causing no ripples. In addition, the fierce beasts are intelligent creatures. So when so many candidates entered the ruins, these fierce beasts did not immediately attack but instead hid. Therefore, each team and lone ranger took action and ventured deeper into the ruined town. Zhou Mingyang, the light wind sword from the first high school, directly used his abilities after entering the examination room. Controlling the swift wind to reduce air resistance, he then dashed out like a cheetah. Su Chen also chose a direction, carrying a long spear and activating the smartwatch on his wrist as he descended. Immediately, a blue virtual screen projected from the smartwatch appeared in front of Su Chen, displaying a row of black text, please authenticate your identity on the smartwatch. Blue Star technology is more advanced in this world than in the previous one, and virtual projection like this is already a mature technology. Su Chen was not surprised and extended his left thumb, pressing it on the smartwatch screen. Fingerprint confirmation in progress. Confirmation successful, the candidate is Su Chun from the second high school of Jiangcheng, class 5 of grade 3, 
with the admission ticket number. Su Chen's identity information appeared on the virtual projection. At the same time, two small boxes popped up in the upper right corner, one showing his score information, name, Su Chen, class, second high school of Jiangnan, class 5 of grade 3, score, 0. The second box displayed the score ranking of the martial arts college entrance examination in Jiangcheng, first place, Zhou Mingyang, 7 points. First high school of Jiangcheng, second place, Li Yuan, 5 points. First high school of Jiangcheng, third place, Zhao Wu, 4 points. First high school of Jiangcheng. 874th place, Su Chen, 0 points. Second high school of Jiangcheng. Truly the first high school, they have already killed the fierce beasts so quickly. Shaking his head, Su Chen clicked on the map option on the virtual screen. The map of the ruined town appeared on the virtual screen in front of him. The map was irregularly circular, with different areas marked in different colors. The outer area was marked in green, the middle area in yellow, the core area in red, and the most central area in a deeper shade of dark red. The white light representing Su Chen himself was on the edge of the map. There is still a long way from the periphery to the core, so let's head directly towards the core area. Su Chen adjusted his direction and set off towards the red zone on the surface of the map. Not long after, a leopard-sized fierce beast blocked his path. The fierce beast's fur was as black as ink, but its vertical pupils were a light orange color. Ignoring the fangs in its mouth and the sharp claws on its feet stained with dark red blood, it was actually a very beautiful creature. Ferocious Beast, Shadow Cat. Su Chen, who was familiar with the Beast Compendium, immediately recognized the identity of this ferocious beast. This is a very common ferocious beast in the wilderness area. Of course, common does not mean that the Shadow Cat is an easy beast to deal with. On the contrary, it means they have good adaptability. Agile speed, sharp claws and teeth, and a bite force of over a thousand kilograms. Many examinees have fallen at the hands of shadow cats. Roar. Sensing humans, the shadow cat let out a bloodthirsty growl and then lunged towards Su Chen. The scent of fresh blood stimulated its taste buds, accelerating its charge. Generally, awakeners who face a ferocious beast for the first time are usually flustered and unaware. However, Su Chen, who encountered a shadow cat for the first time in reality, remained calm. Soon, the shadow cat approached within three meters of Su Chen and then leaped up. Raising its sharp claws, it aimed at Su Chen's head and struck with force. It's worth noting that the beast's claws are as strong as alloy. If this blow hits, Su Chen's entire head would explode like a watermelon. As if anticipating this scene, a human-like excitement appeared on the ferocious face of the shadow cat. However, in the next moment, a black shadow flashed by. The entire shadow cat was pierced through the throat by a sharp gun barrel, nailed in midair. Bright red blood gushed out like a fountain from the major artery pierced in the shadow cat's neck. Killed a tier 1 ferocious beast shadow cat, gaining plus 3 ability points. Why are ferocious beasts labeled with the word ferocious? Besides their inherently brutal nature, ferocious beasts also possess a special ferocious aura. This ferocious aura, when compared to humans, is akin to a professional killer who kills without hesitation. When an ordinary person encounters such a professional killer, just a glance from them can be terrifying, even causing extreme fear. Ferocious beasts possess this special aura. Therefore, most awakeners who face a ferocious beast for the first time often find that their strength is greatly diminished under the intimidation of this aura. Some even freeze up, forgetting how to attack, use abilities, or weapons. Therefore, before the martial arts college entrance examination, Families with some background would hire professional ability users as bodyguards to escort their children into the wilderness area to prepare for battles with ferocious beasts in advance. Su Chen naturally did not have such conditions. Therefore, before the martial arts college entrance examination, he had anticipated whether his body would have any negative reactions when he truly encountered a ferocious beast. However, after encountering the shadow cat, he had no reaction at all to the ferocious aura of the ferocious beast. He could even calculate the pouncing trajectory of the shadow cat accurately as usual and then nail it with a shot. I heard that awakeners who fight a ferocious beast for the first time need to overcome the fear of facing powerful creatures after several battles. But some people are naturally insensitive to this aura, and it seems I am such a special case. Su Chen forcefully pulled out the black brilliance gun from the shadow cat's neck using inertia. With a bang, the shadow cat's body fell to the ground, kicking up a cloud of dust. This shadow cat probably hasn't seen a long gun like this weapon before. Daring to jump like that, isn't this seeking death? Unlike the clumsy iron-haired boar and armblade tiger, the shadow cat was agile, with a charging speed reaching a terrifying 17 meters per second. When facing the former two ferocious beasts, awakeners could run if they couldn't win. If they encountered a shadow cat, they couldn't even run away and could only be chased to death. Therefore, the shadow cat was also given the title of newbie killer. 
Under normal circumstances, without relying on supernatural abilities, solely relying on physical strength, Su Chen is almost impossible to achieve a one-hit kill effect, especially in his lack of experience in fighting with ferocious beasts. However, the Shadow Cat made a fatal mistake, which was to jump and attack with its claws. When facing Awakeners using long swords or broadswords, this move might still be effective. After all, when the long sword or broadsword can reach the Shadow Cat, the Shadow Cat's sharp claws can also attack the Awakener. But Su Chen's Black Glory Spear is a length of 2 meters. So, the Shadow Cat flying in midair hadn't even entered the attack range before Su Chen stabbed it to death with a spear. Also, if it weren't for the system prompt, I almost forgot that killing ferocious beasts can also earn me ability points. Looking at the newly added 3 ability points on the system panel, Su Chen felt excited. This also means that if he can earn enough ability points in the upcoming battles, his strength can be further enhanced. However, the number of ability points obtained by killing a non-ranked ferocious beast is too few, so I need to quickly head to the central area. Like Awakeners, ferocious beasts are also divided into 9 levels from the 1st to the 9th rank. As for ferocious beasts below the 1st rank, they are called non-ranked ferocious beasts, corresponding to human Awakeners. Su Chen, who has no experience in fighting ferocious beasts, originally planned to adapt more in the peripheral areas. Since he didn't have much reaction to the aura of ferocious beasts, staying in the peripheral areas didn't make much sense. So Su Chen raised his Black Glory Spear and rushed towards the central area of the ruined town with all his strength. Compared to Zhou Ming Yang, who mastered the elemental wind ability, Su Chen's rushing speed was not considered fast. However, during the rush, he was constantly killing ferocious beasts. Killed a non-ranked ferocious beast iron-haired boar, ability points plus 5. Killed a non-ranked ferocious beast shadow cat, ability points plus 3. Killed a non-ranked ferocious beast unicorn rhino, ability points plus 6. In the battles with ferocious beasts, Su Chen did not use his ability. On the one hand, he wanted to hone his spear skills and gain more combat experience. After all, using the S-rank purple sky divine thunder against these non-ranked ferocious beasts would only result in instant kills without any training effect. On the other hand, the rarer the ability, the greater the consumption when used. Su Chen's original E-rank ability, weak electricity, could last for more than 3 hours when fully utilized. But after switching to the S-rank ability, Purple Sky Divine Thunder, it might not even last for an hour when fully utilized. Remember, the Martial Science Entrance Exam lasts for a full 12 hours. If he exhausts his ability during this time, when he enters the core area and faces first rank mid-level or even high-level ferocious beasts, Su Chen will have no other means of output. So he can only refrain from using his ability for now and save it for when he enters the core area. Additionally, after each battle, Su Chen could feel his own improvement. These battles stack together, rapidly enhancing his combat awareness and spear skills at an exaggerated speed. Especially his spear skills, the more he used them, the smoother they became, reaching a feeling of being able to control them at will. And this was something unprecedented. Could it be that my spear skills have unknowingly broken through? On the dilapidated old road, there lay the corpse of a ferocious beast beside Su Chen's feet. This ferocious beast was as huge as a small sedan, with sharp horns on its head, thick limbs, and dark brown skin. Even though it was already dead, it still exuded a powerful and fierce aura. This was the ferocious beast that examinees least wanted to face, the unicorn rhino. This unicorn rhino had wounds the size of a bowl all over its body, with the fatal blow coming from its head. Only the pitch black black shine gun head was seen, piercing directly into the brain in a violent posture from the eye sockets, destroying the most important brain nerves. The unicorn rhinoceros was naturally dead and couldn't die again. Puff, the long gun was pulled out, and some red and white things were also brought out from the unicorn rhinoceros's head. Ordinary people suddenly faced this scene, those with poor psychological quality might vomit on the spot. However, Su Chen remained calm, and even opened his system panel on the spot, name, Su Chen, level, awakener, ability, purple sky divine thunder, s, physique, 141 hp, plus, spirit, 160 hertz, plus, skills, gunmanship, intermediate plus, lightning gale break, primary plus, ability points, 213 sure enough, gunmanship has advanced to intermediate. Su Chen's eyes lit up, then couldn't help but sigh, it seems that actual combat still has the greatest impact on strength improvement. He had practiced gunmanship for over 6 years in his previous life but he was still only at the primary level, and he had only fought dozens of battles with ferocious beasts, yet he had advanced his gunmanship to intermediate level. Although there were factors of accumulation, it still illustrated the importance of actual combat. With intermediate gunmanship, I feel like I can do whatever I want. What will happen if I further improve my gunmanship? 
It had been over three hours since the start of the martial arts entrance exam. Along the way, although Su Chen did not deliberately seek, he encountered more than 40 ferocious beasts. Among them were relatively low-level shadow cats, as well as higher-level armblade tigers and unicorn rhinoceroses. Killing each ferocious beast would yield some ability points, but he hadn't carefully counted how many he had obtained. Now, looking at it, he didn't expect to have accumulated 213 ability points, enough for him to upgrade his skills. 213 ability points are just the beginning. When entering the central area and using Purple Sky Divine Thunder to kill ferocious beasts, the accumulation speed of ability points will be faster. Since that's the case, after a moment of contemplation, Su Chen couldn't resist the temptation and directly clicked on the plus sign after gunmanship. Immediately, countless gunmanship-related skills flooded into his mind like a tide. This kind of memory infusion was not like watching a movie, where one would forget shortly after. It was as if Su Chen himself had truly practiced gunmanship for decades. After the gunmanship memory infusion was completed, Su Chen swiftly drew his gun. The next moment, in just one second, the black shine gun consecutively stabbed four times in the air. Like black lightning, swift and dangerous. On the old street, the black shine gun made of F-grade alloy was as agile and swift as a black dragon in Su Chen's hand. Hiss, when Su Chen abruptly stopped swinging, the gun head of the black shine gun, which had gone from extreme motion to extreme stillness, actually heated up due to the intense friction with the air, emitting a burst of heat. With just this gunmanship, I can kill a first-order ferocious beast. Su Chen originally thought that gunmanship was not as important as the two basic attributes of physique and spirit. But with the help of the Deep Blue system, after truly obtaining advanced gunmanship, he found himself completely wrong. With gunmanship upgraded to advanced level, his gun drawing speed was more than twice as fast as before. And he had mastered various techniques for using the long gun, being able to find a way to deal with any kind of enemy. It could be said that even a first-order ferocious beast several times stronger than him in physique would only be played to death under such gunmanship. Su Chen then glanced at the system panel. It cost him 200 ability points to upgrade gunmanship to advanced level, leaving only 13 ability points on the panel. It's a pity that there are not enough ability points, otherwise I really want to see how terrifying master-level gunmanship would be. Shaking his head, Su Chen opened the map. The white light spot representing himself was already on the edge of the green outer area, not far from the central yellow area. It will be about half an hour before we can enter the central area, where there are peak level and first level ferocious beasts. There, the speed at which I harvest anomaly points will be faster. Although Weiyuan Town, the predecessor of the ruins town, was built decades ago, it is not much different from modern cities. The buildings are also made of cement, divided into urban and suburban areas. The location where Su Chen is now is in a residential area on the outskirts of the ruins town. After experiencing beast invasions and the erosion of time, the entire residential area appears very dilapidated. The six-story residential buildings, most of them are in a collapsed state, and those that have not collapsed are also severely weathered. The stone pavement underfoot is overgrown with weeds, presenting a desolate scene. As Su Chen put away the black Yao gun and prepared to leave, at the end of the road opposite, the figures of several other examinees appeared. This is a group of five, three women and two men. The leader is a tall girl in silver-white battle attire. This girl is Lin Xing Yuan, the class monitor of class 5 who invited Su Chen to join the team before entering the examination hall. Su Chen? Lin Xing Yuan on the opposite side also noticed Su Chen. With joy, she took long strides and walked up in three steps. Most female battle attire is tight-fitting, with a slimming effect. The silver-white battle attire Lin Xing Yuan is wearing is no exception, outlining her well-proportioned body curves. The legs wrapped in battle attire appear very slender and tight as she moves. Monitor. Before this, Su Chen had encountered other examinees on the way. But these examinees were either from other schools or other classes. This is the first time he has met a classmate from the same class, so a smile involuntarily appeared on his face. Ha, huh, I didn't expect to meet you here. Did you come here alone? Lin Qing Yuan looked around and didn't see anyone else, so she curiously asked. As for the four team members following behind, they were also somewhat surprised to see Su Chen alone. Generally, E-level Anomaly Awakeners would be eliminated within one or two hours after the start of the martial arts entrance exam. It is now past noon, about three hours since the start of the martial arts entrance exam. How come Su Chen not only is fine but has ventured this far? It's more convenient alone. Facing Lin Qing Yuan's inquiry, Su Chen did not hide and nodded. Impressive. Lin Qing Yuan's eyes lit up, giving a thumbs up. We all came here with Xiao Xiao's help. A petite girl behind her nodded shyly. This girl named Xiao Xiao awakened the auxiliary D-level anomaly swift movement, 
which can enhance her and her teammates' movement speed to a certain extent. It was because of Xiao Xiao that Lin Qing Yuan's team could run this far. I was lucky. The ferocious beasts I encountered along the way were not that strong. Facing Lin Qing Yuan's smile, Su Chen also spoke a few more words than usual. After all, in this eerie place full of monstrous creatures, what could be more pleasant than seeing a beautiful woman? After chatting with Lin Qing Yuan for a while, Su Chen took his leave, monitor, time is running out, let's talk after the exam. Well, go ahead, I wish you good results. Lin Qing Yuan also knew that this was a race against time during the martial arts entrance exam and did not stop him. I really didn't expect Su Chen to come this far. Sure enough, he signed up for the martial arts entrance exam with his own considerations. Su Chen, who lost his parents at a young age, was also a pitiful person in Lin Qing Yuan's eyes. If he died in the martial arts entrance exam, it would be even more unfortunate. Seeing Su Chen alive and well now, she also breathed a sigh of relief. Captain, come and see, this lone rhinoceros seems to have just died not long ago. A cry caught Lin Qing Yuan's attention. Several people were gathered around the body of the one-horned rhinoceros, discussing animatedly. The fresh blood on the wound hasn't dried yet, indicating that the time of death should be within the last few minutes. There are many wounds on the body, but the fatal one is on the head. Judging from the shape of the wound, it seems to be a penetrating wound caused by a long-handled weapon, it looks somewhat like a long spear. Lin Qing Yuan's team had seen the body of the one-horned rhinoceros long ago, but they didn't pay much attention, thinking it was killed by some other examinee team before. However, upon closer inspection, they found that the one-horned rhinoceros had not been dead for long, and the wounds on its body were all caused by a long spear. You don't mean to say that Su Chen killed this one-horned rhinoceros, do you? One of the boys said with a strange expression. The one-horned rhinoceros was a very formidable beast. They dared to confront it only because they had five people. They absolutely did not believe that even an E-level awakened individual could kill the one-horned rhinoceros alone. Whether Su Chen killed it or not, just check his ranking, right? A boy opened his smartwatch and quickly found Su Chen's name in the rankings. 46th place, Su Chen, 256 points. Jiancheng Second High School, Su Chen, 46th place? What the heck? He's breaking into the top 50? Am I seeing this right? Seeing this ranking, the boy was first stunned, then rubbed his eyes hard. After confirming that he wasn't mistaken, he looked as if he had seen a ghost and exclaimed, What 46th place? Did you find Su Chen's ranking? The remaining team members also came over one after another. Upon seeing Su Chen's ranking on the virtual screen, their expressions also became extremely shocked. Even Lin Qing Yuan, as the team leader, couldn't help but widen her eyes in astonishment. The other people all had the same doubt in their minds. Damn, can he level awakened individuals be this powerful these days? The first place, Zhou Ming Yang, has a score of 412. It seems he has already started a massacre in the central region. His light and agile wind is indeed good for traveling, even in the provincial capital's martial arts college entrance exam, his speed is not inferior to others. Speaking of which, Principal Lu is really amazing, almost all of the top 10 are from your school. On the open space outside the ruined town, there were 10 huge projection screens. These were tracked and filmed by military drones, showing the top 10 examinees in terms of scores. Below these 10 huge projection screens, there were thousands of small projection screens densely packed. These were all captured by fixed cameras placed in the ruined town, and only enlarged to the main projection when needed. Next to the projection screens was a ranking list, detailing the scores and ranking information of each examinee. On the temporary audience seats built below the projection screens, the principals and teachers from the Education Bureau and various schools were evaluating the students in the rankings. And one middle-aged man in a suit with short hair was the focus of the discussion. He was Liu Hang, the principal of Jiangcheng First High School. Among the top 10 in the martial arts ranking list, except for one student from the third high school, the rest were all from the first high school. Zhou Ming Yang is our ace in Jiangcheng. This martial arts college entrance exam, he should be able to break into the top 100 in Jiangnan province. In the front row of the audience seats, a middle-aged man with a short and stout figure. Watching Zhou Ming Yang on the first projection screen killing left and right, he couldn't help but nod slightly. His name was Zhang Wenshan, the director of the Jiangcheng Education Bureau. Speaking of which, it has been many years since Jiangcheng has had a student enter the top 100 in Jiangnan province. Sitting next to the director of the Education Bureau, Principal Liu Hang of the first high school also felt a bit emotional. Jiangnan province is the most populous province of Dasha country, with 24 prefecture-level cities and nearly 34 county-level cities. Jiangcheng, located in the northernmost part of Jiangnan province, is resource-poor and economically lagging behind the other 24 prefecture-level cities. 
Even the education funding allocated by the provincial capital, Ningen City, is scarce. Consequently, Jiangcheng has not performed well in the annual military examination. However, this year's Zhou Mingyang has brought hope to the city. I have always been quite satisfied with the education at your first high school, said Director Zhang Wenshan of the Education Bureau. The third high school is also good, finally making it into the top 10. But the second high school is lacking, with its best student only ranking 18th. The first high school in Jiangcheng is the best school in the city, overshadowing the second and third high schools by a significant margin. In previous military examinations, the top 10 spots were always dominated by students from the first high school. This year, we do have some students with exceptional talents, said the principal of the third high school with a smile. In comparison, the principal of the second high school, Yang Yao, looked somewhat embarrassed. In the past, the second high school always outperformed the third high school. This year, the situation seemed to have reversed. But it seems that the performance of our high school this year is not very good. Yang Yao, the principal of the second high school, searched through the score rankings and found that only eight students from the second high school appeared in the top 50. Li Ming, Yang Jian, Tang Zhu. These are all students from the top class, but who is this Su Chen? I have never seen this name before. The results of the military examination directly determine the allocation of educational funds to each school. Therefore, Yang Yao still had some understanding of the outstanding students in his school. However, the name Su Chun was completely unfamiliar to him. Perhaps he is a student hidden in other parallel classes. I will ask the class teachers later to find out. Yang Yao didn't pay too much attention to it. After all, with so many students in the second high school, it was not surprising to have one or two students hiding their true abilities. While Principal Yang Yao didn't pay much attention, the class teacher of class 5 of the third year of the second high school, Chen Fan, was stunned. He knew exactly who Su Chen was. He was just an E-level awakened individual, how could he break into the top 50? And now, Su Chen was the highest ranking student in their entire class 5. Unbelievable. Could he be hiding his abilities? But no matter how he hides, an E-level ability is still an E-level ability. Can it suddenly become an S-level ability? Then how did he achieve such high scores? Chen Fan, the class teacher, was puzzled. The military examination was a real battle against ferocious beasts, with no room for cheating. Unfortunately, the main screen above only displayed the top 10 students in the score rankings, and the thousands of fixed cameras below were too dense to see clearly. Chen Fan couldn't possibly find Su Chen's image among them. Unable to see the image, Chen Fan had no idea how Su Chen had achieved such high scores. It was like smelling catnip but not being able to catch the cat, causing an unbearable itch in his heart. In a ruined town, after half an hour of rushing, Su Chen finally entered the central area. Roar Hall compared to the outskirts, there are obviously more ferocious beasts in the central area. Walking on the road, Su Chen could hear the roars and howls of ferocious beasts in the distance. The air seemed to be filled with a bloody and violent atmosphere. Crack, Su Chen carried a long spear, with a nutrition bar in his mouth, and his combat boots stepped on an old plastic basin on the side of the road. The originally tough plastic, after decades of wind and rain, had become as crispy as instant noodles, easily crumbling with a light step. As he walked, Su Chen observed the surrounding environment. The former Weiyuan town, which was the predecessor of the ruined town, had a population of nearly 100,000. When the ferocious beasts broke through the city's defenses, many people had not had time to evacuate, and almost 50 to 60,000 people perished in the mouths of the ferocious beasts. There were not many special traces in the outskirts. But after entering the area equivalent to the downtown of the ruined town, one could see abandoned cars around, dried dark red bloodstains on the dilapidated ground, and a few human skeletons that had not yet weathered, revealing the bloodiness and cruelty of the past. The downtown area was the most densely populated place and also the most severely affected area by the ferocious beasts in the past. Of course, it was also because of this that the buildings in the downtown area appeared more dilapidated than those in the outskirts. Wherever Su Chen's gaze fell, there were hardly any intact buildings. The Great Xia Kingdom uses actual combat as the assessment method for the martial arts entrance exam. Besides testing strength, it is probably also intended for the awakened to witness the destructive power of the ferocious beasts firsthand. The Great Xia Kingdom can be said to have achieved the utmost in protecting its citizens. Except for some unlucky citizens whose cities were attacked by ferocious beasts, most citizens would never see a ferocious beast in real life, even throughout their entire lives. For ordinary people, this was not a problem. But for nurturing those with abilities, the earlier they realized the brutality of the ferocious beasts, the better. Roar, while Su Chun was contemplating, a low growl sounded, and a ferocious beast leaped out from the ruins. It resembled a tiger in appearance, 
but was much larger in size, with fur of yellow and blue hues mixed. The most striking feature was the bone blade growing on its forearms, shining like metal. Behind it, there was a whip-like tail hanging down. First order ferocious beast, arm blade tiger. Su Chen squinted his eyes. Similar to the shadow cat, the arm blade tiger was also a relatively common ferocious beast. The method to determine the strength level of the arm blade tiger was simple, just by observing the length of the bone blade on its forearms. If it was less than 20 centimeters, it was considered non-graded, if it was longer than 20 centimeters, it was a graded ferocious beast. The bone blade on the forearms of the arm blade tiger in front of him was about 22 to 23 centimeters long, making it a lower level first order ferocious beast. Compared to the non-graded arm blade tiger Su Chun had encountered before, the aura of this ferocious beast was noticeably more powerful. In its amber eyes, there was a surge of bloodthirsty intent. It seems I'm lucky to encounter a first order ferocious beast just as I enter the central area. Downing the remaining liquid in the energy bar, feeling a sense of fullness in his stomach again, Su Chen's lips slightly curled up, it's just right to test my marksmanship with you. Throwing the energy bar aside, Su Chen advanced instead of retreating, charging towards the arm blade tiger with his black brilliant spear in hand. Ding Ling Ling the black brilliant spear dragged on the dilapidated cement road, accompanied by a piercing friction sound, sparks flying. As a first order ferocious beast, this arm blade tiger already possessed some intelligence. Seeing a seemingly weak human daring to launch an attack against it first, the naturally ferocious arm blade tiger let out an angry roar. Roar then, like a tank, its massive body charged towards Su Chen, ignoring its gaping maw and sharp bone blade. With just his massive body, most candidates would be at a loss. However, Su Chen was fearless, with no hint of panic in his eyes. With a strong pull of his right hand, the black brilliant spear lying on the ground was lifted up like a windmill. Then, a fierce stab towards the arm blade tiger. Su Chen's original blood value was as high as 140 points, and his physique was stronger than most candidates. Now that his marksmanship had reached an advanced level, the speed of his shots was several times faster than before. Thus, facing this lightning-like shot. With the sound of Piu Chi, the arm blade tiger of the first order lower rank didn't even have time to react, and a bull-sized hole appeared in its abdomen. The hole was so deep that it pierced through the thick fur and skin, even allowing the internal organs to be seen wriggling through the overflowing blood. Roar, a normal creature, suffering such a heavy blow, would undoubtedly have lost its mobility. However, the arm blade tiger only let out a painful howl, and then, as if triggered by ferocity, it crazily pounced forward. Truly a first order ferocious beast, with strong vitality. Without using his abilities, Su Chen didn't expect this blow to directly kill it. So he lifted the black brilliant spear and engaged in battle with the arm blade tiger. With the help of advanced marksmanship, the black brilliant spear wielded by Su Chen moved like a swimming dragon. Every shot made another hole in the arm blade tiger's body. Due to its length, the arm blade tiger couldn't effectively attack or harm Su Chen. In less than a minute, the first order ferocious beast arm blade tiger, which could kill 99% of the candidates in the examination hall, was killed by Su Chen. The huge body collapsed with numerous holes, raising a layer of dust. Su Chen himself was unscathed, not even a drop of blood stained his battle clothes. This was the cunning aspect of the long spear. If one's strength was insufficient, they could only be stabbed to death, unable to even touch the opponent's clothes. Killing a first order arm blade tiger, plus 10 ability points. With the death of the arm blade tiger, the system prompt sounded. The ability points obtained from killing a first order ferocious beast are almost double that of killing a non-ranked ferocious beast. Su Chen's eyes lit up, in that case, I need to hurry up and kill ferocious beasts to harvest ability points. Putting away the black brilliant spear behind him without a moment's pause, Su Chen rushed towards the direction where the roars of ferocious beasts were most intense. According to the strength of the ferocious beasts, the ruined town was divided into four areas, the periphery, the middle, the core, and the most central area. The strength of most candidates was only enough to operate in the peripheral area. Only a few candidates dared to enter the middle area. Even the students from the top high schools in Jiang City hesitated to enter the core area. As for the most central area with second order ferocious beasts, almost no one in Jiang City could go there. That was a place only the geniuses of the provincial capital dared to venture into. Su Chen, who possessed the S-level purple sky divine thunder, naturally had the qualifications. However, due to the limited duration of his ability, Su Chen planned to stay in the middle area first. He would enter the core area in the last two hours. Of course, in the true wilderness, there was no such division of strength like the periphery and middle areas. It was very likely that while walking in the wilderness, a high-order ferocious beast would suddenly appear and devour you. 
Su Chen also knew that this was currently the only opportunity for him to obtain a large number of ability points. So, after killing the Armblade Tiger, he began to search for ferocious beasts. Upon finding a ferocious beast, Su Chen didn't need to use his abilities. With his strong physique and advanced marksmanship, he could kill it. Find ferocious beasts. Kill them. Gain ability points. Find ferocious beasts. Kill them. Gain ability points. Su Chen never stopped for a moment, either fighting against ferocious beasts or searching for them. As a result, Su Chen killed more and more ferocious beasts. The points of supernatural abilities on the system panel surged, and his score in the martial arts college entrance examination also skyrocketed. What Su Chen didn't know was the sensation this scene caused outside. The martial arts college entrance examination would last a full 12 hours, during which all school principals and class advisors would be present throughout. After all, even the director of the education bureau was there, so they couldn't leave midway. In addition, the results of the martial arts college entrance examination would determine the distribution of education funds for the second half of the year, so principals and teachers were also very concerned about the students' performance. Of course, because the exam lasted too long, the military district would provide lunch and dinner for the principals and teachers. It had been over four hours since the start of the martial arts college entrance examination, and the time was now one o'clock in the afternoon. At this time, most of the examinees in the examination hall had started eating their first energy bars. Outside the examination hall, school principals and teachers from various schools had finished lunch at the military district canteen and were heading towards the audience stands. The first high school is as strong as ever, almost all of the top 10 are from their school. The first high school receives the most education funds every year, and their student source is the best in the whole Jiangcheng, so it's not surprising to have such results. That's true. Speaking of which, our second high school is doing okay this year. Eight students made it to the top 50, which is better than the previous years with only five or six. Unfortunately, the third high school is even more impressive this year, going straight to the top 10, making our situation quite awkward. In the teacher team of the second high school in Jiangcheng, people walked and talked about each other. The profound educational background of the first high school occupied the top rankings, and they were not surprised. In their discussions, they mainly talked about their own school and the third high school. By the way, Mr. Son, what's the situation with Su Chen in your class? How come we didn't know there was such a talented student in your class before? Suddenly, someone mentioned Su Chen and looked at a middle-aged man in a black suit among the crowd. His name was Sun Yang, the class advisor of the rocket class in the second high school. Su Chen is not in our class. I was actually about to ask you which class he belongs to. Sun Yang, the class advisor of the rocket class, looked puzzled. Su Chen is not in your class? But who else, besides the students in the rocket class, could be so outstanding? The surrounding teachers were also slightly stunned, asking one after another which class Su Chen belonged to. After all, after the students' supernatural abilities awakened, each school would reorganize the classes, assigning students with potential and outstanding abilities to the rocket class. The second high school was no exception. It was precisely because of this that most of the students who performed well in the martial arts college entrance examination were from the rocket class, and it was rare for students from parallel classes to appear. Old Chen, how are the results in your class? A middle-aged man with a beard approached Chen Fan, the class advisor of class 5, from behind. Before Chen Fan could respond, he continued, our class is doing well. The best students have already made it to the top 100. The best students in the second high school were concentrated in the rocket class, which also meant that students from other parallel classes who could break into the top 100 were considered outstanding. Oh, that's good. Chen Fan glanced at him indifferently. This middle-aged man was Li Jun, the class advisor of class 4 next door. A few years ago, the two had some conflicts over certain matters, and their relationship was not very good. In the following years, Li Jun had been openly or covertly against him, making them arch-rivals. Not bad. Seeing Chen Fan's indifferent reaction, Li Jun couldn't help but show a hint of pride on his face, but I'm afraid I might have a bit more in this year's high exam bonus than you. In order to promote academic atmosphere, the bonuses of these class advisors were directly linked to the performance of the martial arts college entrance examination candidates. In the class, there are students who ranked in the top 100 in the entrance exam to Jiangcheng, and the minimum bonus they can receive after the college entrance exam is at least over 10,000. In this small city where the monthly salary of the homeroom teacher is less than 6,000, a bonus of 10,000 is already very good. Lao Chen pretended to be calm on the surface, but he was probably envious in his heart a long time ago, right? Just as Li Jun was secretly pleased, Chen Fan's voice rang out again, is that so? Then you might be disappointed. The performance of our class is also not bad, 
someone made it to the top 50. Top 50? Lao Chen, are you kidding me? Those are students from the rocket class, how could anyone from your class make it to such a high ranking? Li Jun instinctively retorted, looking disdainful. Wait. However, he quickly realized, his eyes widened, and he exclaimed, could it be that Su Chen is from your class? Compared to Li Jun's shock, Chen Fan's reaction was much calmer, just nodding lightly. Su Chen is from your class, then why didn't you answer when they were asking about Su Chen's class? Li Jun still couldn't believe it. Really? Maybe I didn't hear it. Chen Fan replied pretending to be confused. Damn it. What do you mean you didn't hear it? You were clearly doing it on purpose. Wow, he's been waiting for me here all along. Seeing Chen Fan pretending to be calm, looking relaxed and composed, Li Jun really wanted to punch him in the face. However, the next sentence from the other party almost made him spit blood, Su Chen only made it to the top 50, it's not bad, the highest in the rocket class made it to the 18th place. What do you mean only made it to the top 50? The bonus for the top 50 is over 20,000. And you, a regular class, can you even compare with the rocket class, which gathers all the elite students in the school? Li Jun was roaring in his mind. You see, over the years, he has nurtured the most outstanding students, and only managed to get the 64th place in the martial arts college entrance exam. It seems that teacher Chen has nurtured an extraordinary student. Li Jun took several deep breaths, barely calming his emotions, and congratulated sourly. It's all thanks to Su Chen's hard work, it has little to do with me. Seeing his old rival being upset, although Chen Fan remained humble on the surface, he was already overjoyed in his heart. You like to show off, but this time you've been defeated, right? In the past, Li Jun always overshadowed him, but this time he finally made a comeback. Thinking of this, Chen Fan was secretly delighted. Su Chen is from class 5? Teacher Chen's education is remarkable. Among so many regular classes, only students from your class made it to the top 50. In the next half year, we can have Teacher Chen give a lecture on teaching experience. Knowing that Su Chen is a student from class 5, the surrounding teachers all congratulated. Even Sun Yang, the homeroom teacher of the rocket class, showed a friendly smile to Chen Fan. The outstanding students had long been picked by the rocket class, being able to cultivate such a student in a regular class shows that Chen Fan's teaching level is indeed good. A group of teachers chatted and laughed, and soon returned to the audience seats. After sitting down, class 5 homeroom teacher Chen Fan immediately looked at the virtual screen in the air to find Su Chen's ranking. Soon, he found Su Chen's name among the rankings. 32nd place, Su Chen, 328 points. Jiangqing Second High School, ha? Huh? 32nd place? Seeing this ranking, homeroom teacher Chen Fan was stunned. Wasn't it 46th just now? How did the ranking rise by more than 10 places after having a meal? Just as he was puzzled, Su Chen's name suddenly jumped, and when it appeared again, it was already at another ranking, 25th place, Su Chen, 372 points. Jiangqing Second High School, this. Chen Fan widened his eyes, looking shocked. What's going on? How did Su Chen's ranking suddenly rise so much? There are over 1,400 candidates participating in the Jiangcheng Martial Arts College entrance examination, and it is normal for rankings to change constantly. However, sudden increases or decreases of more than 10 rankings usually only occur in the lower range of rankings. These individuals have similar abilities, so any slight score changes result in fluctuations of more than 10 rankings. Candidates who enter the top 50 are strong, and the score gaps between them are relatively large. Even if there are changes in rankings, it is usually only by one or two positions at most. It is extremely rare to see a sudden increase of more than 10 rankings. Therefore, not only did Chin Fan notice the scene, but other teachers at Erzhong also observed the situation and started discussing it. Hey, Su Chen's ranking has risen, he's already up to 25th place. Really? 25th place? Is it true? We just went for a meal and came back. How did the rankings change so dramatically? Is he really from the parallel class? He's too fierce. At this moment, on the ranking list of the Jiangcheng Martial Arts College entrance examination, there are a total of 9 candidates from Erzhong who entered the top 50. Apart from the 18th and 22nd places, the highest ranking candidate from Erzhong is Su Chen at 25th place. He jumped from 32nd place directly to 25th place, and his score also increased from 328 points to 372 points. In the front row of the audience seats, the principal of Erzhong, Zhao Yaoshuang, narrowed his eyes. As a spiritual type C-level esper, although he is only at the first level, he can remember all the ranking information on the list. Among them, the information of Erzhong's candidates is his primary focus. The changes in Su Chen's score and ranking naturally caught his attention, but even so, he still found it unbelievable. 
According to the scoring method of the Martial Arts College Entrance Examination, killing a peak non-rank beast can earn 6 to 8 points. Killing a first level lower rank beast can earn 14 to 16 points. The interval for the intelligent watch's kill count statistics is about 4 seconds. Su Chen gained 44 points in one go, which means he killed 5 peak non-rank beasts or 3 first level lower rank beasts in just 4 seconds. But regardless of the type, it is enough to demonstrate Su Chen's formidable strength. Although his strength may not be comparable to the first tier like Zhou Ming Yang, he definitely belongs to the top 10 level. When did our school produce such outstanding students? Principal Zhao Yaoshuan was somewhat puzzled. According to the regulations of the Great Xia Country, all school principals across the country, as well as the directors and deputy directors of the education bureaus in each city, must be esper of at least the first level. Although Principal Zhao Yaoshuan did not see Su Chen's battle scene, he could roughly estimate Su Chen's strength just by the instantaneous change in rankings. The other two principals and the director of education bureau naturally also noticed. Principal Zhao, it seems that your school still has some excellent students. This Su Chen probably didn't exert his full strength before, but now that he has, his ranking immediately rose. Director of Education Bureau Zhang Wenshan nodded slightly. Principal Zhao's student has the strength of the top 10. Principal Liu Hang from the first high school added. By the way, what kind of esper ability did this student awaken? Why haven't we heard about it before? Zhang Wenshan was puzzled. A candidate with such strength should not have been unknown. To be honest, Su Chen suddenly broke out in today's entrance exam. As for his relevant information, I will have to ask their class teacher. Teacher Chen, come over here. Faced with director Zhang Wenshan's inquiry, Zhao Yaoshuang directly called the class teacher, Chen Fan, over. So, amidst the admiring gazes of the teachers at Erzhong, Chen Fan sat next to the principal. For Chen Fan, an ordinary class teacher, the director of the education bureau and the principals as Esper were absolute big shots. Facing the gaze of several people, he naturally felt a bit restrained, principal, director, as far as I know, Su Chen has only awakened to E-level ability, weak electricity. E-level ability? Principal Zhao Yao frowned, Teacher Chen, are you sure you didn't remember it wrong? Principal, I didn't remember it wrong. I even reminded him not to participate in the martial arts college entrance examination before the college entrance examination. Chen Fan said with a bitter smile. In fact, as the class teacher, he also had some doubts whether the registration of the awakened ability back then was wrong. Just having E-level ability can get him this far, it seems that Su Chen should have outstanding abilities in other aspects. Director Zhang Wenshan pondered, unfortunately, he didn't make it to the top 10, so he can't see his battle scene. The live broadcast system of the martial arts college entrance examination runs according to the customized program of the province, and even he cannot interfere. And to find Su Chen's figure from the thousands of fixed camera images below is like finding a needle in a haystack. Just wait, with his strength, he should be able to break into the top 10 soon. Although Su Chen's situation is somewhat special, as the director of the education bureau, he still had some patience. Then we can only wait. Principal Zhao Yao of Erzhong nodded, and at the same time stopped Chen Fan who wanted to return to his seat. Also, Teacher Chen, you can sit here. Chen Fan's face lit up at the words, not all teachers have the opportunity to be so close to the director and principal. Time passed slowly, and the rankings of the martial arts college entrance examination were constantly changing. Among these rankings, there was one name that kept rising. 25th place, Su Chen. 21st place, Su Chen. 16th place, Su Chen. 12th place, Su Chen. 9th place, Su Chen. In less than an hour, Su Chen's ranking broke into the top 10. Su Chen did it. He really made it to the top 10. Class teacher Chen Fan was excited. Just a parallel class teacher, he never dreamed that a student from his class could enter the top 10 in Jiangcheng. He made it to the top 10. Principal Zhao Yao of Erzhong also breathed a sigh of relief. Otherwise, being constantly overshadowed by Sun Zhong, his face as the principal wouldn't look good. Now we can finally see how Su Chen made it to the top 10. Director Zhang Wenshan of the Education Bureau looked expectantly into the air, and after a while, the virtual projection screen belonging to the ninth place flashed. In its place, there was a slightly tall figure of a young man. The young man was dressed in black battle clothes, with a firm face, determined eyes, and holding a black spear about two meters long. The sharp and pointed spearhead, stained with bright red blood, added a touch of ferocity to it. Several lifeless fierce beasts lay at the young man's feet. Not far away, another fierce beast cowered and dared not approach. Black clothes, long spear, fierce beasts. All these elements in the picture combined to create a sharp and powerful aura. The next moment. The young man moved, the spear shot out like a dragon, in just an instant. The remaining fierce beast didn't even have time to react before being pierced through by the spear. 
Wow, that spear was so fast. Such a fast strike, it's like a lightning bolt. His speed of attack rivals that of a wind-type awakened ability user, but isn't he a thunder-type awakened ability user? Seeing the figure in black on the projection screen directly killing the shadow cat fierce beast like a lightning bolt, many teachers in the audience were shocked. Fast. Accurate. Ruthless. This was their first impression of Su Chen. Class teacher Chen Fan of Class 5 even widened his eyes. Because the school would arrange practical combat courses, he basically knew the combat power of most students in his class. In the practical combat class, Su Chen's level can only be described as passable, far from the current standard. Wow, he managed to hide it from me for so long. With this marksmanship, why not show it earlier? Why wait to shine in the college entrance examination? But with this marksmanship, even with only an E-level ability, he can indeed achieve a good result in the college entrance examination. Chen Fan nodded slightly, in that case, it was unnecessary to advise him not to participate in the martial arts college entrance examination. Powerful physique, along with formidable marksmanship. Principal Zha Yao Chang of Erzhong sighed, then shook his head, what a pity. Yes, it's such a pity. Director Zhang Wenshan of the Education Bureau also felt somewhat disappointed. A strong physique and weapon skills are indeed excellent advantages during the awakening period. However, as the levels increase, the advantages brought by physique and skills will gradually diminish. After all, it's the abilities that matter in the end. If he had a C-level ability, coupled with this physique and marksmanship, he would definitely be the number one in Zhang Chang. But he only has an E-level ability. Zhang Wenshan couldn't help but feel regretful again. Compared to the regret of the principal and the director of the education bureau, Class 5's head teacher Chen Fan seemed more optimistic. As long as he can maintain his position in the top 10 of Jiang Chang until the end of the college entrance examination, he will definitely be able to enter a good university for ability users. Of course, even if Su Chen no longer kills the ferocious beasts, ending the college entrance examination with such results would still secure him a place in an ability user university, just not as good. And compared to his anticipated failure or even death, this outcome is already many times better. Killed a first order shadow cat, gained 9 ability points. In the ruins of the small town, Su Chen, who had just killed a shadow cat, felt very pleased as he heard the prompt in his mind. There were more ferocious beasts in the central area of the ruins than he had imagined. He had only been here for a little over an hour and had already killed more than 20 first order lower level ferocious beasts, as well as over 10 peak unranked ferocious beasts. And the ability points accumulated on his system panel had reached 312. Good, indeed, the efficiency of killing ferocious beasts in the central area is higher. Su Chen nodded in satisfaction, then heard the buzzing sound of the propeller spinning rapidly. A drone flew from a distance and hovered tens of meters above his head. A tracking camera drone? Have I entered the top 10 in rankings? Su Chen opened his smartwatch to check his ranking. Ninth place, Su Chen, 607 points. Second high school of Jiangcheng, indeed, I'm in the top 10 now. A smile appeared on Su Chen's face. The appearance of the camera drone meant that his subsequent battle process would be known to the outside world. Even his later use of abilities, such as his S-level Purple Sky Divine Thunder, would also be exposed. After all, the S-level Purple Sky Divine Thunder he summoned was extraordinary and couldn't be disguised as an E-level weak electric ability. Of course, Su Chen had no intention of hiding it. The martial arts college entrance examination is a test of the candidate's strength and potential. The better the results, the more choices one will have. Only a fool would give up getting more points just to hide their abilities. Su Chen's eyes narrowed as he opened his system information panel, name, Su Chen, level, awakener, ability, purple sky divine thunder, s, physique, 141 hp, plus, spirit, 160 hertz, plus, skills, marksmanship, advanced, lightning gale break, intermediate plus, ability points, 312 I already have over 300 ability points, yet my level still can't be upgraded? Su Chen frowned as he couldn't find the upgrade option behind the level. This situation can only have two possibilities. The first possibility is that it requires too many ability points for an awakener to transform into an ability user, and even 300 ability points are not enough. The second possibility is that there is a certain condition for an awakener to become an ability user, and until this condition is met, even the system cannot directly upgrade the level. To transform from an awakener to an ability user, one needs to first learn the ability cultivation method. It seems that because I haven't learned the ability cultivation method yet, I can't upgrade. Su Chen speculated to himself. The ability cultivation method is the basic requirement for an awakener to advance to an ability user. However, even the worst ability cultivation method costs over a million yuan. 
With Su Chen's financial situation, he naturally cannot afford to buy one. He originally thought that with the system, he could bypass this basic requirement, but now it seems that he was wrong. But with my current combat power, I'm not inferior to a real ability user. Then after the college entrance examination, I'll enter the ability user university, learn the ability cultivation method, and then become an ability user. Su Chen didn't think much about it. The most important thing now is how to use these more than 300 ability points. Currently, the only things that can be upgraded are basic attributes and combat skills. I don't need combat skills for now, so I'll just directly upgrade the basic attributes. After a moment of contemplation, Su Chen allocated all the ability points to two major basic attributes. He allocated 200 points to physique and 112 points to spirit. Physique, 141181 HP Spirit, 160182 AP Su Chen immediately felt a surge of strength throughout his body and his consciousness was clearer than ever before after his basic attributes were upgraded. The fatigue accumulated from rushing and consecutive battles was also completely swept away at this moment. Awesome! Su Chen laughed out loud and casually danced a beautiful gunflower with the black glow gun. The speed and strength of the gun were much stronger than before. With this physique, Coupled with my advanced marksmanship, even a first-tier intermediate-level ferocious beast in the core area, even without using abilities, I can easily kill it. At this moment, Su Chen was extremely confident in his own strength. The ferocious beasts in the core area are stronger and more numerous. Since my strength has been enhanced again, there's no need to stay in the central area, I'll go directly to the core area. With a shake of his spear, the dried red blood on it was shaken off due to inertia. Then, carrying the long spear on his back, Su Chen glanced at the map and rushed towards the direction of the core area. With his enhanced physique, at this moment, his rushing speed was even faster than Zhou Mingyang, who was blessed with wind-type abilities. And behind him, the surveillance drone followed closely like a shadow. In the ruins of the small town, in the central area. As the throat was cut by a sharp dagger, blood gushed out wildly, and a first-tier lower-level shadow cat fell down with a bang. Behind it, Tang Chi's slender figure holding a dagger slowly appeared. She was covered in a layer of dark purple cat-shaped energy outerwear, with a pair of cat ears on her head, looking very agile. Strengthening Type B Level Ability, Shadow Cat. During activation, it can significantly increase her rushing speed, reaction speed, and attack power. It is precisely with this B-level ability that she, as an Awakener, can kill a first-tier ferocious beast. Of course, she has also practiced the ability cultivation method. Although there is still some distance to go before transforming into an ability user, with her basic physical qualities, she will not be too weak. However, killing a first-tier lower-level ferocious beast is already the limit of her strength. It is precisely because of this that she only dares to wander in the central area and does not dare to go to the core area where first-tier intermediate-level ferocious beasts are lurking. In order to save abilities, after just killing the ferocious beast, Tang Chi transformed back from the shadow cat form. The cat-shaped energy yarn that lingered around the body disappeared, and a pair of cat-shaped vertical pupils also reverted to their original state. 12th place, Tang Chi, 567 points, Jiangqing First High School. Opening the smartwatch, Tang Chi furrowed her brows when she saw her ranking, dropped one spot. She subconsciously looked up, wanting to see who had pushed her down. However, she was surprised to see a familiar name in the ninth place. Su Chun from the second high school, 607 points, ninth place? Tang Chi was slightly stunned, and it took her a while to come back to her senses, recalling the upright figure carrying a long spear that had struck her yesterday. Indeed, it was you, Su Chen, my cousin, who delivered that blow yesterday. She had doubted that the name on the ranking was just a coincidence with her cousin. But both were in the second high school, with the same name, how could such a coincidence exist in the world? Coupled with the suspicion generated at the Thunder Marshall Hall yesterday, she was convinced that the Su Chen on the ranking was indeed her cousin. But how did you, with only an E-level ability, achieve all this? A hint of curiosity flashed across Tang Chi's pretty face, it seems that my cousin is not as honest as he appears on the surface. Damn, is a Ming so powerful? I should have called him dad earlier and directly clung to his thigh. In the outskirts of the ruined town, Lu Jia, who had doubled in size, looked at Su Chen's ranking on the virtual projection, filled with regret. Compared to the results of the martial arts college entrance examination, what did calling someone dad matter? Su Chen entered the top 10. Amazing. He is now the highest ranked in our second high school. Lin Qing Yuan's team had been paying attention to Su Chen since they discovered his 46th place ranking. Seeing Su Chen enter the top 10, they all sighed in amazement. How did this guy manage to do it? Su Chen is in the top 10. We need to work hard to enter the top 302. Looking at the ranking list, Lin Qing Yuan's face was also filled with emotion. 
Although they didn't know how Su Chen did it, they were different from him. Being able to enter the top 300 was already satisfying. When Su Chen's ranking had not entered the top 10, it was not particularly noticeable. But once he entered the top 10, almost everyone in the examination hall noticed him. Some who knew Su Chen had different reactions. However, he was unaware of all this, as he was currently rushing towards the core area with all his might. With his strength and physique, Su Chen's speed was much faster than before. Coupled with the fact that the distance from his position in the central area to the core area was not too far, in just over 30 minutes, Su Chen entered the range of the core area on the map. The core area of the ruined town was the once prosperous city center of Weiyuan town. Compared to the central area, the buildings here were taller, and even from the dilapidated exteriors, one could vaguely see the former delicacy. More importantly, the level of the beasts in the core area ranged from lower first tier to middle first tier, with no beasts below the first tier. Candidates confident enough to enter the core area were at least the top five in Jiang Chang. Of course, he was an exception. During his journey, he did not deliberately seek out beasts, which resulted in him only killing four or five beasts in this 30-minute period. His ranking dropped to 10th place. As long as I can find a large group of beasts, my ranking will quickly rise again. This time, I will strive to take the first place in one go. Su Chen's eyes narrowed, following the same strategy as before, wherever the beast roars were most intense, that's where he would go. Roar howled in the dilapidated city, the roars of ferocious beasts echoed one after another, this was the paradise of the beasts. Su Chen listened carefully, ultimately choosing to head southeast where the roars of the beasts were the strongest and most frequent. Most examinees cautiously moved forward within the examination site, fearing that any noise might attract the attention of the beasts and lead to being surrounded. However, Su Chen moved through the city like a nimble cheetah. Carrying a 50-kilogram black shine gun on his back did not hinder his movements in the slightest. Su Chen sprinted on the broken roads, the wind whistling in his ears, the scenery on both sides quickly passing by, and he could faintly see one or two beasts active among the ruins. He had no desire to deal with these scattered beasts. Soon, the source of the densely echoing roars drew closer and closer, with a rusty and dilapidated bus blocking the road at the end. However, Su Chen did not slow down at all, only exerting force with his legs when he was about to collide with the bus, leaping up abruptly five or six meters high. Bang! Su Chen's combat boots landed on the roof of the bus, and as he looked down, he could see the scene below clearly. It was a fitness square, where besides various broken fitness equipment, there were also beasts nesting among them. There were many beasts, causing not only the smell of blood but also a mixture of animal stench in the air, furrowing Su Chen's brow slightly. One, two, three. There are a total of ten beasts here, and they are all arm blade tigers. It seems I have encountered a group of arm blade tiger beasts. Beasts are divided into communal and solitary types, and arm blade tigers belong to the communal type. Ordinary examinees would avoid such a group of beasts. However, in Su Chen's cold and clear black and white eyes, there was a burning fighting spirit. This was exactly what he wanted. To make arm blade tigers exhibit communal behavior, there must be a king with the strength to suppress all. Su Chen looked towards the center of the fitness square, where there was a half-eaten, blood-drenched corpse of a unicorn rhinoceros. Beside the corpse, there was an arm blade tiger king noticeably larger than the other arm blade tigers. Its limbs were extremely robust, and the bone blades on its forelimbs were huge and sharp. A mid-level first-order arm blade tiger, it seems to be the king of this group of beasts. Su Chen's lips slightly curled upwards. By killing all these beasts, he would gain a considerable amount of ability points. Su Chen, standing at 1 meter 86, attracted the attention of the arm blade tigers on the square as soon as he appeared on the roof of the bus. Except for the arm blade tiger king in the middle, lazily lying in place, the other nine resting arm blade tigers all stood up simultaneously. Their eyes gleamed with ferocity as they strolled towards the bus. Their speed was not fast, but the pressure brought by the nine arm blade tigers, each as large as a sedan, gathering together was extremely terrifying. This was why groups of beasts were always difficult to deal with. It could be said that even a high-level first-order beast would not dare to provoke these nine arm blade tigers easily. However, facing the nine arm blade tigers approaching him simultaneously, Su Chen showed no fear. He leaped down from the bus roof with a bang, landing on the ground. Roar, accompanied by a low growl, the nine arm blade tigers, who were originally walking slowly, surprisingly dispersed in a very human-like manner. Then, they charged towards Su Chen from different directions. Indeed a group of beasts with a leader, they have even learned simple formations. With a twist of his hand, Su Chen held the black shine gun. The distance between the bus and the square was less than 30 meters, which was insignificant for these lower-level first-order arm blade tigers. In the blink of an eye, the nine arm blade tigers had rushed to a position less than 5 meters away from Su Chen. 
But these five arm blade tigers did not rush forward together, instead the five-headed arm blade tiger took the lead in charging, pouncing in a flying posture. The five huge arm blade tigers crowded together, blocking all directions in front of Xuchen. And behind him was an abandoned bus, there was no way to retreat. In other words, at this moment, Xuchen had nowhere to escape. Faced with this situation, Xuchen's eyes remained firm, and his two, one neater black brilliant spear was wielded like a windmill. The dancing black brilliant spear turned into black shadows, resembling high speed rotating propellers. At this moment, the arm blade tigers realized something was wrong, but it was too late. The five arm blade tigers had no defenses and collided with the high speed rotating black brilliant spear. Poochie Poochie, the sharp tip of the black brilliant spear, like a meat grinder, directly severed the heads of the five arm blade tigers, causing blood to flow. Then, under the powerful impact, one of them fell over. Although their heads were severely injured, the five arm blade tigers did not die, lying on the ground, still breathing. Pure physical strength is still lacking. Xu Chen couldn't help but shake his head. This move, the windmill, was simply swung by his physical strength, not a combat skill. If this move had been a combat skill that integrated physical strength and abilities, these five fierce beasts would have been killed instantly in that moment. But it's okay, just need to finish them off. Xu Chen rushed forward again, and the remaining four arm blade tigers tried to block his path. But Xu Chen's agile footwork easily bypassed them. Then, like the scythe of death, the black brilliant spear took the lives of the five severely injured arm blade tigers one after another. Roar, at this moment, the arm blade tiger king, who had been lying in the center all along, finally realized something was wrong, stood up and walked in front of the remaining four arm blade tigers. Perfect, I'll take care of all of you together. With a clang, the black brilliant spear was pulled out from the arm blade tiger's body. Xu Chen held the long spear, facing the five arm blade tigers alone. In his clear eyes, there was no fear, only endless coldness and killing intent. Roar! Whether it was because too many companions were injured or Xu Chen's unyielding gaze angered it, the arm blade tiger king roared and then charged with the remaining four arm blade tigers. Xu Chen held the long spear and faced the five arm blade tigers head on. Although the arm blade tigers were fierce beasts, they also had a certain level of intelligence. Especially this group of arm blade tigers had cooperated many times and had killed many powerful beasts together. Such five arm blade tigers, if placed in a city, would be enough to wipe out a team of elite soldiers. However, Xu Chen turned into a black shadow, shuttling through the gaps in the arm blade tiger group. The arm blade tigers couldn't cause any actual harm to Xu Chen. And each time Xu Chen's spear struck, it either directly killed the arm blade tiger or severely wounded it. So, in less than two minutes, all the arm blade tigers fell under his long spear. A first order intermediate fierce beast is nothing, not even able to force me to use my abilities. Looking at the arm blade tiger king lying lifeless at his feet, Xu Chen couldn't help but shake his head. Although his physique had been enhanced with the help of the system, he was not very clear about how strong his combat power was. He dared to launch an attack on the arm blade tiger group because he had the support of the purple sky divine thunder. Unfortunately, these fierce beasts did not even have the strength to make him use his abilities. Xu Chen then glanced at the system panel. Just this wave alone earned him a total of 106 ability points. A great harvest. Xu Chen's face lit up. At this rate, by the time the martial arts entrance exam ended, he didn't know how many ability points he would have accumulated. Thinking too much now is useless, it's more important to harvest the ability points, hurry to the next location. Wiping the bloodstains off the long spear, Su Chen re-shouldered it and quickly headed to the next location. On the day of the college entrance examination, all high schools in Jiangchang would organize first and second year students to watch the live broadcast of the martial arts college entrance examination. On one hand, it is to make these students realize the bloody and cruel nature of the martial arts college entrance examination. On the other hand, it is also to let the students become familiar with the habits of ferocious beasts in advance. At this moment, at the playground of the second high school in Jiangchang, in midair, there was a virtual projection similar to the military district. In the audience seats around, all first and second year students had been watching the live broadcast for a while. In the past years, the top 10 in Jiangcheng were all students from the first high school. Therefore, most of their discussions were about students from other schools. But this year was different, their school also had a student who broke into the top 10. Su Chen. When Su Chen rushed into the big screen with the ninth place, the teachers and students of the second high school were all excited. Especially the scene of him shooting the shadow cat through, made the students extremely excited. Wow, that shot was so cool. Although I haven't heard of Senior Su's name before, from now on, he is my idol. Senior Su is tall and strong, he's so handsome. Unlike the size from the director and principals in the military district, 
The students who saw Su Chen break into the top 10 were genuinely happy and excited for him. Many even saw him as a benchmark and role model. However, because Su Chen had been rushing on the road for more than half an hour, he rarely made a move. This made the students feel disappointed, especially when Su Chen's ranking dropped to 10th place, some students became anxious. They wished they could become Su Chen themselves, then go on a killing spree and reclaim their ranking. Ah, it seems our second high school is still not good enough. We finally had a senior who broke into the top 10, but he turned out to be a coward. Although I don't want to admit it, Senior Su is indeed very disappointing. Forget it, I'll watch the first place, Zhou Mingyang with the light wind sword. The greater the expectation, the greater the disappointment. The second high school finally had a student who broke into the top 10, so naturally, they hoped he would strive for a better ranking. However, Su Chen's performance led to some negative comments from the audience seats. Many students started to re-watch the live broadcast of other star candidates. Look, Senior Su found the ferocious beasts. Suddenly, a voice from somewhere redirected everyone's attention back to Su Chen's live broadcast. In the footage, Su Chen was standing on top of a bus, below him were a group of huge arm blade tiger ferocious beasts. Oh no, Senior Su encountered a group of ferocious beasts. Arm blade tiger ferocious beasts, it's over, it's over. Why isn't Senior Su leaving yet? If he doesn't leave now, it's really over. It's over, the arm blade tigers have surrounded him, he can't escape. Senior Su, what are you doing? Why haven't you activated the safety sphere? Although Su Chen's performance left the students somewhat disappointed, he was still their senior from the same school. Therefore, when he encountered a group of ferocious beasts, all the students couldn't help but worry. And when the five arm blade tigers pounced towards Su Chen who hadn't activated the safety sphere, some girls even covered their eyes in fear. However, the scene of being eaten by the ferocious beasts that they imagined did not happen. Instead, Su Chen wielded the black brilliant spear and knocked the five arm blade tigers away in an invincible manner. Wow! So powerful! At that moment, everyone in the audience was shocked. The long spear can be used like this? This power is unbelievable. If an ordinary person were to wave a long spear like this, not only would they not be able to injure the arm blade tiger, but they would be crushed to death by its huge size. It seems that Senior Su should have awakened an ability to strengthen the physical body, otherwise he wouldn't be able to achieve this level. In just a moment, the dissatisfaction of the students towards Su Chen completely disappeared. Next, Su Chen transformed into a black phantom, holding a black shining spear. Swift as the wind, he moved through the midst of the five arm blade tigers, continuously advancing and killing. His black spear, stained with the blood of many fierce beasts, became extremely crimson. No one felt uncomfortable witnessing this scene, instead, they found it exhilarating. Such a violent feeling, but I love it. Awesome. This feeling is much more exciting than watching the light wind sword. Each strike of the spear hits the flesh. What a domineering spear technique. Fierce beasts are the enemies of humans. This is a consensus among all. Therefore, when the arm blade tigers were slaughtered without mercy, no one felt pity. Instead, they felt extremely satisfied. Especially the tall and slender figure moving among them. Each shot carried a special sense of violence. This violence did not appear bloody, but rather full of beauty. It made these 16 or 17 year old youths and girls, in the prime of their youth, feel their blood boiling, their faces flushed. Ah, so satisfying. Awesome. Too awesome. Senior Su is truly amazing. Wow, watching this makes my blood boil, I want to try wielding a long spear myself. As the arm blade Tiger King fell, the students in the audience expressed their satisfaction like connoisseurs who had just enjoyed a feast. At this moment, Su Chen's image suddenly jumped to the sixth position. Sixth place, Su Chen, 796 points, second high school of Jiancheng, oh my, what's going on, how did seniors ranking jump to sixth place? Senior's score was only 634 points just now, how did it suddenly increase by almost 160 points? Even if there were four or five first order fierce beasts, it shouldn't result in such a high score, right? At that moment, everyone was a bit puzzled by the significant increase in points. Damn! I just realized, Senior is no longer in the central area, but has entered the core area. A cry of surprise came from somewhere, causing everyone to instinctively check the map on the virtual screen. Indeed, Su Chen was now in the red core area. I knew something was off about the size of these arm blade tigers, turns out they are not peak unranked, but first order fierce beasts. So, Senior just killed all first order fierce beasts? Impressive! Killing first order fierce beasts is as easy as cutting vegetables. Initially, the students all thought Su Chen was still in the central area, and these fierce beasts were only peak unranked or first order. However, they didn't expect that Su Chen had already entered the dangerous core area. He was just fighting against first order lower and middle level fierce beasts. 
It's not surprising that they didn't notice it immediately, the battle was too intense. At the same time, they finally understood why Su Chen didn't make a move earlier, he was rushing towards the core area. Even the first ranked light wind sword Zhou Ming Yang, when facing such a group of fierce beasts, can only struggle back and forth. How can anyone be as fierce as senior, killing all the fierce beasts in one go? People instinctively compared Su Chen to the first ranked Zhou Ming Yang. However, they found that even the star examinee Zhou Ming Yang seemed unable to exert such powerful dominance as senior just did. One person fighting against 10 arm blade tigers, one of which is a first order middle level. Is this combat power perhaps even stronger than Zhou Ming Yang's? Which teacher at second high school taught Su Chen to be so abnormal? In the audience outside the military district. When Su Chen faced the group of ferocious beasts alone, he attracted the attention of all the teachers. However, they didn't think much of it, assuming Su Chen would just run away. After all, since the beginning of the competition, no examinee had dared to challenge the group of ferocious beasts in the core area. However, the almost overwhelming performance of the opponent that followed left the teachers and principal stunned. Especially Class 5's head teacher, Chen Fan, whose face turned red with excitement, clearly reaching the peak of excitement. The student's outstanding performance brought glory to him as the head teacher. Su Chen, unexpectedly so strong. Even the usually calm second high school principal couldn't help but widen his eyes, his face full of disbelief. Swift as a dragon, fast as lightning. Advanced marksmanship. This is definitely advanced marksmanship. The director of the education bureau, Zhang Wenshan, was equally excited, but his focus was on Su Chen's marksmanship. It takes decades for an ordinary person to master a certain weapon skill to an intermediate level. To reach an advanced level, it's impossible without most of a lifetime. And Su Chen is only 18 years old. What kind of genius is he? However, when he thought of Su Chen's ability, he couldn't help but slap his thigh and sigh, ah, what a pity. With the strength Su Chen has shown so far, he is already stronger than Zhou Ming Yang. If he had a slightly better ability, he might be able to break many years of records in Jiangcheng and enter the top 50 in Jiangnan province. However, Su Chen's E-level ability is destined to be powerless in the end. Advanced marksmanship, no wonder it's so fierce. Su Chen is only 18 years old, and he has already mastered advanced marksmanship? What kind of insight is this? Even geniuses in the provincial capital can't possibly master advanced weapon skills, right? Hearing the sigh of the director of the education bureau, Zhang Wenshan, many teachers reacted with surprise and admiration. Principal Zhao, congratulations, it seems that this year's first place in Jiangcheng will fall to your second high school. After the battle just now, discerning people could see that Su Chen's strength was stronger than Zhou Mingyang's, and getting first place was just a matter of time. Although the principal of the first high school, Lu Hang, was unwilling, he still generously congratulated Zhao Yao. Principal Lu, you are too kind. The exam is not over yet, and the final result is still uncertain. The first high school. The best school in Jiangcheng not only has abundant educational resources but also attracts the most outstanding students in Jiangcheng. After the awakening of abilities each year, many outstanding students from second high school transfer to the first high school due to the favorable conditions offered. Therefore, it is impossible for Principal Zhao of second high school to not harbor any hostility towards the first high school. However, the first high school is simply too strong, with no chance for second high school to perform. Now, the moment when second high school will overshadow first high school is about to come, and Principal Zhao Yao is no longer in a hurry, speaking very humbly. Regardless, Su Chen's strength is there. It's good for Jiang Cheng to have two people break into the top 100 in Jiangnan province. Zhang Wenshan, who had just recovered his composure, nodded at Zhao Yao, this time your second high school did well, nurturing a student like Su Chen. After the college entrance examination, I will propose to the city to commend your second high school. Thank you, Director Zhang. Zhao Yao's face lit up. As an ability user who chose to be a principal, he no longer had high hopes for improving his strength, focusing more on his career path. And a commendation not only could bring more resources to second high school, but he as the principal would also benefit from it. To go further in the future and enter the education bureau is not impossible. Su Chen, you really gave me a big surprise. Zhao Yao sighed, he never expected that there would be such a day at the second high school. Just as Zhang Wenshan predicted, in the time to come, Su Chen's scores soared like a rocket. In less than an hour, he surpassed Zhou Mingyang and became the first place. At this time, it was already 3 o'clock in the afternoon. In other words, 6 hours later, the martial arts college entrance examination would end. In the core area of the ruins town, in a dilapidated residential area. More than 10 fierce beasts divided into two camps, fighting each other as prey for lunch. The two camps are the single-horned rhinoceros and the arm-blade tiger. 
If the numbers on both sides are the same, it will be a complete victory for the single horned rhinoceros. But there are eight arm blade tigers here, while the single horned rhinoceros only has four. In terms of strength, the difference between the two sides is not great, with the arm blade tiger slightly having the upper hand. It is precisely because of this that although the two sides fought for a while and inflicted many bloody wounds on each other, no fierce beasts died. Fierce beasts are cruel by nature. Once they start fighting, they will not stop until they have killed all their opponents. However, at this moment, one of the arm blade tigers sniffed and suddenly stopped its charge. It crouched down, let out a threatening growl towards the gate of the residential area. This growl, like a chain reaction, made all the arm blade tigers and single horned rhinoceros present stop fighting tacitly. Then they turned around, facing the gate, showing a fierce look, and their bodies were in a posture ready to charge at any moment. In the gaze of the fierce beasts, a tall young human appeared. The young man was wearing a black combat suit, stepping on combat boots, with a tall and slender figure. His eyes were clear and bright, but his gaze was as sharp as a lone wolf. A thick black long spear was casually slung over his shoulder, and the sharp blade of the spear gleamed with a cold light in the sunlight. Twelve fierce beasts, very good. Su Chen nodded in satisfaction. This wave of fierce beasts was the largest he had encountered in an hour. With a strong pat on the butt of the gun, the flying black shining gun fell into Su Chen's hand. Just as he raised the gun to prepare to charge into the group of fierce beasts, he suddenly frowned, stopped his steps, and looked to the right. There, there was a dilapidated old building. Come out, I've found you. Indeed the first place, your senses are indeed sharp. A handsome young man carrying a long sword on his back walked out of the shadows of the building. Zhou Ming Yang? Su Chen raised an eyebrow. This person was none other than Zhou Ming Yang, the light wind sword with a B-level wind ability. Compared to the elegance outside the martial arts examination site, Zhou Ming Yang now looked a bit dusty. His hair was messy, and his battle clothes were stained with dark red blood, whether his own or the fierce beasts. Of course, most of the examinees in the examination site were in this state as well. Su Chen was no exception, but because he used a long spear, he had less blood splattered on him. But how did you know it was me? Su Chen was puzzled. He didn't think this famous star student would know about him at the second high school. There are only a few who dare to enter the core area, we are all old acquaintances. Now, suddenly a stranger appears, it can only be you, the first place. Zhou Ming Yang explained with a smile. I see. Su Chen nodded. In the martial arts college entrance examination, examinees cannot attack each other. Once discovered, they will permanently lose their qualification for the examination. In addition, both of them had tracking drones above their heads, so there was no need to worry about Zhou Ming Yang launching a surprise attack. So Su Chen, holding the gun, was about to walk towards the group of fierce beasts not far away. Wait, are you planning to deal with this group of ferocious beasts alone? Zhou Ming Yang was stunned and quickly reached out to stop him. What? Do you want to compete with me for the monsters? Su Chen's gaze turned dangerous. To him, ferocious beasts not only meant points, but also represented ability points. He couldn't let these ferocious beasts fall into someone else's hands. Under Su Chen's gaze, Zhou Ming Yang felt as if he was being stared at by a powerful beast king, his hair standing on end. Such a fierce aura. With a sigh of amazement in his heart, Zhou Ming Yang quickly reacted and said, There are two first-tier intermediate ferocious beasts in there, you can't handle them alone, maybe we have a chance if we team up. These are two different groups of ferocious beasts, each group led by a first-tier intermediate king. He had been hiding nearby, waiting for them to weaken each other before making a move. But now, although both groups of ferocious beasts were injured, they had not decreased in number and were in a state of frenzy and ferocity. Going in at this time was basically seeking death. No need, I can handle it alone. Seeing that Zhou Ming Yang was not trying to steal the monsters but wanted to cooperate, Su Chen's attitude improved significantly. He patted his shoulder and then charged out with his gun. Hey! Zhou Ming Yang wanted to advise him again, but seeing Su Chen already rushing out, he had to give up. Well, since you are so confident, let me see what you are capable of. Zhou Ming Yang stood aside with his sword, ready to watch the battle, his gaze fixed on Su Chen. If anything went wrong, he would quickly join the battle. However, what happened next left Zhou Ming Yang wide-eyed. Su Chen, who charged into the group of ferocious beasts, was like an unstoppable force. The black long spear in his hand was like a phantom, taking the life of a ferocious beast with each strike. In less than three minutes, out of the twelve ferocious beasts in the field, only four remained. This. Zhou Ming Yang was shocked. Just two hours ago, he didn't even know such a person existed. But then, the other party rose like a comet. Not only did he quickly enter the top ten, but just over ten minutes ago, he even directly took away his first place. 
Curious about such a fierce individual, Zhou Mingyang naturally wondered what kind of terrifying ability the other party might possess. Was it some kind of extremely powerful A-level ability? However, the other party only used that black long spear, completing a crushing victory that he didn't even dare to imagine. Gulp Zhou Mingyang swallowed hard, feeling dry-mouthed and tongue-tied. Does he have some kind of strengthening ability that I didn't see? While he was speculating in place, Su Chen quickly finished harvesting, with the last armblade Tiger King falling to the ground. Kill the first tier lower level single horn rhino, ability points plus 12. Kill the first tier lower level armblade tiger, ability points plus 10. Kill the first tier intermediate armblade tiger, ability points plus 15. Listening to the series of prompts in his mind, Su Chen enjoyed the feeling. It was indescribably wonderful. But after the martial arts entrance exam is over, there won't be such a good opportunity. So, we must seize the time. Su Chen came to his senses, greeted Zhou Mingyang, and quickly left. By the time Zhou Mingyang reacted, Su Chen had already dashed out about 7 or 8 meters. So he quickly shouted, Su Chen, do you have a strengthening ability? No, it's the thunder and lightning system. Su Chen's voice came from afar, but he had completely disappeared from sight. Thunder. Thunder and lightning system? Zhou Ming Yang was dumbfounded. There was no sign of thunder and lightning system just now, right? He doesn't want to tell me the type of ability, but there's no need to be so evasive, he's really a guy with a bad attitude. Zhou Ming Yang's expression was resentful. And just now, that look, was he actually worried that I would steal his monster? This kind of group of fierce beasts, besides you freak, who else can deal with them? Besides, with so many fierce beasts in the core area, why worry about not having any to kill? Speaking of which, I've been waiting here for more than 10 minutes, if we're talking about stealing monsters, it's actually you stealing mine. Given Su Chen's bad attitude, Zhou Mingyang left while still grumbling. After witnessing Su Chen's strength, although Zhou Mingyang grumbled on the surface, deep down he was very clear that Su Chen was indeed stronger than him. I don't know where this monster came from, it doesn't seem like an ability user from its aura. Yet it's as simple as killing a first order fierce beast and cutting vegetables. After silently complaining for a few moments, Zhou Mingyang continued on his path of killing fierce beasts. He couldn't match Su Chen's strength, but he still wanted to hold on to that second place. So, he shuttled through the core area, looking for fierce beasts to kill. In the first two hours, things were still fine, occasionally encountering lone first order intermediate fierce beasts, or small groups of three or four fierce beasts. But by the third hour, Zhou Mingyang clearly felt that there were fewer fierce beasts on the road. And by the fourth hour, after wandering around the core area for half a day, he still hadn't seen a single fierce beast. What's going on? Where have all the fierce beasts gone? Zhou Mingyang was puzzled, venting by kicking a fist-sized piece of gravel by the roadside. As an ability user, his strength was considerable. The kick stone shot out and hit a rusty iron billboard, making a loud bang. Previously, he would never have done something that would attract the attention of fierce beasts. But now, he actually hoped to attract some fierce beasts. However, instead of attracting fierce beasts, he attracted a few humans. It was a group of two men and a woman, waving and greeting from a distance as they walked towards him. Hey, Ming Yang, how come you guys are all together? Zhou Ming Yang looked at the three people in front of him in confusion. Like him, they were all students from the first high school's rocket class, first order lower level ability users. They all knew each other well, being old acquaintances. Apart from him, these three occupied the other three spots in the top five rankings of the martial arts class. You should ask Su Chen about that. The guy on the far right with a bald head shrugged helplessly. Su Chen has killed all the fierce beasts in the core area, so we couldn't find any, and had to gather together. The girl in the middle with a soft and cute voice added. She was petite but carried a large knife, giving off a strong contrast. We've been wandering around here for over half an hour, heard some noise here, and thought it was a fierce beast. We ran over excitedly, only to find it was you. The guy on the left with long hair shook his head and sighed. Su Chen killed all the fierce beasts? How is that possible? Zhou Mingyang frowned, instinctively choosing not to believe it. After all, to prepare for the martial arts entrance exam, there were at least three to four hundred fierce beasts released in the core area. With so many fierce beasts, it was simply impossible to kill them all in just a few hours. You can tell you haven't checked the rankings in a long time. Look at Su Chen's score yourself. The bald guy opened his smartwatch, and with a buzz, the ranking interface was projected into the air. First place, Su Chen, 3,435 points, Jiangqing Second High School, second place, Zhou Mingyang, 1103 points, Jiangqing First High School, third place, Wu Hao, 945 points, Jiangqing First High School, th, 3,400 points? Looking at the terrifying score of the first rank Su Chen, 
The usually suave Zhou Mingyang almost popped his eyes out. Now you know why we say that Su Chen killed all the ferocious beasts, right? The bald guy smiled bitterly and turned off the virtual projection. Killing a first tier lower level ferocious beast earns around 14 to 16 points, while killing a first tier middle level ferocious beast earns around 20 to 22 points. 34 35 points, even after deducting the 700 plus points he earned in the central area, he still has over 2500 points. In other words, Su Chen alone killed nearly 200 ferocious beasts in the core area. And the rest of us also killed quite a few, so together, didn't we just wipe out all the ferocious beasts in the core area? These words left Zhou Mingyang stunned. Upon entering the exam room, all he thought about was killing as many ferocious beasts as possible to score higher. But he had never thought that the ferocious beasts could be completely wiped out. Damn it! No wonder Su Chen was so afraid of having his kill stolen before, turns out he had already thought of this. Thinking back to the conversation he had with Su Chen, Zhou Mingyang felt like a hundred thousand grass mud horses were galloping through his mind. 3,435 points. This score is outrageous. Su Chen is at least in the top 10 in Jiangnan province. Top 10. When has our city ever achieved such a good result? He broke the record. Su Chen broke our city's record. As Zhou Mingyang inside the exam room was shocked by Su Chen's score, the principal and teachers outside the exam room were overjoyed. 34-35 points meant Su Chen was destined to break into the top 10 in Jiangnan province. And this achievement was the best in the history of the city. I never expected that Su Chen could achieve such a level with just a long spear. The principal of Erzhong, Zhao Yao, felt a rush of excitement and heat, unable to contain himself. What does it mean to be in the top 10 in Jiangnan province? That's the pride of the top 10 supernatural high schools in the country. A unicorn in the field, I never thought our city would have a student like Su Chen. The director of the education bureau, Zhang Wenshan, was also smiling from ear to ear. At this point, he didn't care that Su Chen was only a grade E supernatural. After all, with such results, even a grade F supernatural would have schools fighting over him. But Su Chen is really crazy enough, in just 3 or 4 hours, he almost wiped out all the ferocious beasts in the core area. Looks like he's a battle maniac in the making. Zhou Mingyang and his friends had no idea how many ferocious beasts were released in the core area. But could Zhang Wenshan, as the director of the Education Bureau, not know? A total of 450 first-tier lower-level ferocious beasts and 40 first-tier middle-level ferocious beasts were released in the core area. Excluding the beasts that killed each other and the number killed by Zhou Mingyang and his group, Su Chen alone killed almost half of the ferocious beasts in the entire core area. And this happened in just 3 to 4 hours, which indirectly showed the terrifying strength of Su Chen. Su Chen's parents both died in the beast tide when he was young, Maybe that's why he hates ferocious beasts so much. The homeroom teacher, Chen Fan, added. I see. Zhang Wenshan nodded suddenly, his face turning cold, humph. Sooner or later, we humans will exterminate all the ferocious beasts. Rest assured, that day will come. Thinking of the brutality of the ferocious beasts, Principal Zhao Yao couldn't help but add in a cold tone. Oh, you've met Su Chen? Tell us, what kind of ability does he have? In the exam room, when they heard that Zhou Mingyang had encountered Su Chen, the people around him suddenly became interested. I can't be sure of the type of ability, but he has a strong physique, with at least 180 points of vitality. Zhou Mingyang shook his head and shared his guess. 180 points of vitality? No wonder he's so fierce. The bald guy marveled. The vitality of an ordinary awakener is only around 100 points. They, as first-tier lower-level espers, only have a qi and blood value of just over 130 points. 180 points of qi and blood is an unreachable goal for them. Strong physique, most likely a strengthening type esper. It's not bad to have this level of qi and blood after activating the esper to strengthen the physique. The long-haired boy pretended to be indifferent, but his tone was a bit sour. No, Su Chen is still just an awakened one. Zhou Mingyang shook his head again. He did not deny the long-haired boy's speculation that Su Chen possessed a strengthening type esper ability. After all, he also thought so. Awakened one? The petite girl holding a big knife exclaimed, so we few espers are no match for just one awakened one? This sentence from the girl immediately silenced everyone present. After a while, Zhou Mingyang said softly, I have to say, Meng Di, you always know how to get to the point. Meng Di was the only girl among these espers, awakened with a B-grade strengthening type ability, currently ranked fourth. I was just startled. Meng Di stuck out her tongue. Her cute appearance and the big knife in her hand created a strong sense of dissonance, but Zhou Mingyang and the others were used to it. Su Chen is really abnormal, being so powerful even in the awakened stage. The bald boy looked complicated, paused, and then said, but what should we do next? 
There's still about an hour and a half left until the end of the martial arts exam. The core area's beasts have been killed, do we have to go back to the central area? In the martial arts exam, everyone was racing against time to kill as many beasts as possible to score more points. In the remaining hour and a half, they couldn't afford to continue wandering around. It will take us at least half an hour to get to the central area, wasting too much time on the way. Moreover, most of the central area is filled with peak beasts that are hard to defeat, and the points obtained after killing them are not high. After some thought, Zhou Mingyang said, instead of going back to the central area, why don't we try going to the most core area together? The most core area? Everyone couldn't help but feel a jolt in their hearts at the mention of it. The beasts in the most core area were at least first tier upper level, and there were even second tier beast kings. With such a lineup of beasts, even as first tier lower level espers, they would be risking their lives by entering. Going into the most core area alone is like courting death, but the four of us together might have a chance. After hesitating for a while, the bald boy finally nodded. The martial arts exam determined their future. Although the results of the martial arts exam being messed up wouldn't be so serious for them as espers, they wouldn't give up on the opportunity to get into a better university. I have no objections. The petite girl Meng Di giggled. It seems we have no other choice for now. The long-haired boy also nodded. All right, let's set off quickly. Zhou Ming Yang was a decisive person. After making the decision, he immediately led the three others away. In a certain area of the core zone in the ruins of a small town. Su Chen walked on the road with a long spear on his back. This used to be a city street, but now the cement ground was cracked, weeds grew rampant, giving it a desolate look. The buildings and shops on both sides were also in ruins. However, Su Chen did not pay attention to the surrounding environment, all his focus was on his system panel, level, awaken 1, ability, purple sky divine thunder, s, physique, 181 chi and blood, plus, spirit, 182 e, plus, skills, gunmanship, advanced plus, lightning gale break, primary plus, ability points, 2413 2413 ability points. Su Chen's eyes lit up. This is all his harvest after entering the core area so many ability points, it is indeed amazing. However, even so, there is still no plus sign behind the level. This also confirms to him that it is indeed because he has not practiced the ability cultivation method that he cannot transform into an ability user. But in this way, the fierce beasts in the core area have been killed by me. To continue to gain ability points, you must go to the most core area. However, there are second order fierce beasts there, so I need to strengthen my strength before going. Suchin clicked on the plus sign behind the combat skill Lightning Gale Break. Ability points minus 100. Lightning Gale Break, Primary Intermediate. Ability points minus 200. Lightning Gale Break, Intermediate Advanced. Su Chen spent 300 ability points in one go, directly upgrading the combat skill to Advanced. In an instant, this combat skill seemed as if he had practiced it tens of thousands of times, extremely proficient. Now, I have more confidence in dealing with that second order fierce beast. Although he has many ability points, Su Chen did not extravagantly use them to enhance his basic attributes. He only increased his health to 180 points at the beginning, and now the combat skill upgrade. It can be said that he is very frugal. On the one hand, because ability points are precious, after the martial arts high school entrance examination, there will be no more opportunities to harvest ability points like this. On the other hand, when he enters the ability user university, these ability points will have other uses. Of course, the most important thing is that with his current strength, he is already capable of dealing with the second order fierce beasts in the most core area, and there is no need for further enhancement. After adding the points, he drank the remaining two energy bars in his backpack in one go to replenish his stamina. Su Chen looked at the map and strode towards the direction of the most core area. Compared to the entire map of the martial arts high school entrance examination, the most core area can be said to be pitifully small, almost just a small point. However, in reality, it is not just a small point, but a whole residential area. This is a residential area called Jin's Garden, where dozens of fierce beasts nest on the open ground. Unlike ordinary groups of fierce beasts, these fierce beasts are of different species, including shadow cats, iron-haired pigs, and even rhinoceroses. It should be noted that fierce beasts are inherently cruel, and different groups will also see each other as prey. With so many different types of fierce beasts living together harmoniously to form a group, there must be a beast king that suppresses everything. And this beast king is a grizzly bear crawling in the deepest part of the open ground. Unlike ordinary grizzly bears, this grizzly bear is huge in size, like a tank. Its eyes are as crimson as blood, as if hiding a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood. Just the presence of such a fierce beast there exudes a terrifying aura. 
At this time, Zhou Ming Yang and his group had already arrived nearby. They stood on the rooftop of a building, looking down. When they saw the grizzly bear below, the expressions of everyone changed. It's actually a bloodthirsty rampage bear. Zhou Ming Yang's face turned ugly. There is also a gap in strength between different fierce beasts. For example, even at the same level, a shadow cat cannot beat a rhinoceros. This is the suppression of species. And the bloodthirsty rampage bear is also a rare group of fierce beasts in the fierce beast community, difficult to deal with. Not to mention its exaggeratedly terrifying strength, just its thick fur twisted together all over its body is even tougher than E-grade alloy. Even missiles cannot easily shatter it. This is troublesome. Zhou Ming Yang couldn't help but smile bitterly. If it were another ordinary second order fierce beast, the four of them might be able to hold on for a while together. But given the strength of the bloodthirsty rampage bear, when its bare paw, like a large iron pot, comes down, everyone will die. They simply cannot withstand it. There is another possibility, that is, we have just entered the residential area. There is no need for the bloodthirsty rampaging bear to take action, they were directly wiped out by the swarm of first order high level savage beasts. The bald youth curled his lips. The four of them, united together, could only deal with three or four first order high level savage beasts at most. But there were more than 30 first order high level savage beasts on the open space in the lower district. In other words, whether it was the second order bloodthirsty rampaging bear or the remaining first order high level savage beasts, they were all not to be provoked by them. The gap in the configuration of savage beasts between the most core area and the core area is too large. The strongest in the core area is only at the first order intermediate level, but when you switch to the most core area, the strongest savage beast becomes second order, not to mention that even these ordinary savage beasts are all first order high level. How can we play like this? The petite girl Meng Di pouted unhappily. I heard before the exam that the examiner for our martial arts entrance exam this year is Lao Lu, I didn't believe it. Now it seems that this kind of abnormal savage beast combination is definitely his doing. The long-haired boy gritted his teeth. The examiners for the martial arts entrance exam in Jiannan province change every year. And Lao Lu, one of the examiners, is a tough one among many examiners. The martial arts entrance exam arranged by him has a death rate more than twice as high as other years. The first order high level savage beasts and second order savage beasts in the most core area are the fixed combination for the national martial arts entrance exam. It's just that Lao Lu replaced it with the more difficult to deal with bloodthirsty rampaging bear. We can't blame anyone else. We can only blame our lack of strength. Zhou Ming Yang sighed. The martial arts entrance exam is about selecting the best among the best, and the most core area is equivalent to the final big question in a math test. Those who can solve this big question are the true pride of heaven. He is a genius in Jiangcheng who attracts the attention of many. But in the entire Jiangnan province, he doesn't even have the qualification to touch this final question. Speaking of which, that guy Su Chen worked so hard for half a day to score over 3,000 points. But it's still not as fast as killing the second order savage beast in front of us and the more than 30 first order high level savage beasts. The long haired youth smirked slightly, his expression mocking. The scores of the savage beasts in the most core area are much higher than those in the core area. Killing a first order high level savage beast can earn 100 points. If one can kill the final second order savage beast, they can earn 4000 points in one go. What humans need are strong fighters, killing a bunch of trash is useless. The long-haired boy spat on the ground disdainfully, apparently holding some resentment towards Su Chen. Zhou Mingyang frowned at the words, but in the end, he didn't say anything. After all, this is a fact. The martial arts entrance exam requires strong and fierce fighters, not just killing machines that only know how to kill low-level savage beasts. Just like the current situation on Blue Star, although savage beasts are rampant, but as long as all the Ninth Order Beast Emperors and the Savage Beast Group are killed, the remaining savage beasts will collapse on their own. Without killing all the beast emperors, killing as many ordinary savage beasts is useless. It is precisely because of this that the scores of the savage beasts in the most core area of the martial arts entrance exam are set so high. In this way, as long as the second order savage beast is killed, one can obtain the score to suppress the entire field. And the second order savage beast is also intentionally targeting the provincial top examinees. However, even though this is said, Zhou Mingyang silently added in his heart, if Su Chen is useless, then those of us with lower scores are even more useless? Thinking like this in his heart, but they would have to fight side by side later, so he didn't refute. Alright, let's not talk so much. Later, we will go down and try to see if we can lure out a few first order high level savage beasts. The open space in the lower district with the second order bloodthirsty rampaging bear guarding it is definitely not a place they can directly enter. 
Therefore, Zhou Mingyang's strategy is to lure them out one by one, and kill as many as they can. Of course, it is also possible that none of them can be lured out. If that's the case, this group of people will have to return to the central region. Let's get to work. Tisk, trying to lure out the fierce beasts that even the second order fierce beast is guarding, isn't that asking for trouble? Hee <laughs> hee, even if it is asking for trouble, don't we still have to give it a try? Several people teased each other as they prepared to go downstairs. However, at that moment, a black figure quickly rushed towards them from a distance. The figure was fast, like a cheetah, and in just a few seconds, it arrived at the entrance of Jin Yuan residential area. Su Chin. Zhou Ming Yang's gaze slightly narrowed. Although he was on the 8th floor rooftop, he could still see the figure below clearly with the help of the powerful vision of an ability user. He immediately recognized Su Chen, whom he had met before. Su Chen is here too? Where is he? Where is he? Su Chen? Oomph. I want to see what kind of person he really is. Unlike Zhou Ming Yang, Meng Di and the others had not encountered Su Chen before. So, upon hearing Zhou Ming Yang's voice, they quickly turned back and looked down from the stairs. After awakening and evolving into ability users, not only would their abilities be enhanced, but their physical qualities would also improve accordingly. Therefore, the height of the 8th floor was nothing to them, allowing them to see the figure below clearly. In front of the open space in the residential area below, a young man stood there. The young man was tall, with a resolute appearance, and sharp eyes like an eagle's. It was evident that he had been through many battles, as most of his black combat clothing had been dyed dark red. The black long spear he carried on his back, with its originally sharp blade, now looked uneven as if it had chopped many bones, giving him a fierce and powerful aura. What a handsome guy! Women are always emotional creatures. So, upon seeing Su Chen, Meng Di's eyes lit up. To think that an F-grade long spear could be used in such a broken state by him, it's hard to imagine how many fierce beasts he has killed. The bald guy marveled at the state of Su Chen's weapon. After all, F-grade alloy was extremely hard, and the fact that it could be used in such a way indicated the frequency and brutality of battles. Daring to appear in front of a group of fierce beasts like this, isn't he seeking death? The long-haired guy sneered, feeling a sense of schadenfreude. Roar! Howl! Indeed, due to Su Chen's appearance, the fierce beasts below quickly became agitated. In the blink of an eye, more than 10 First Order high-level fierce beasts roared and charged towards him. It's over. He has alerted the group of fierce beasts. Meng Di exclaimed. Why is Su Chen so reckless? Zhou Ming Yang frowned. At this distance, even if they wanted to help, it was too late. And once they rushed down, Su Chen would probably meet a fate worse than death. What else can it be? The confidence brought by being the first place, not knowing the immensity of heaven and earth. The long-haired guy sneered, his gaze fixed on the scene below, he's using a gun, but with that broken gun of his, I'm afraid he won't be able to protect himself. Just as he said, initially Su Chen could handle a few fierce beasts that charged at him, but he soon found himself overwhelmed by the subsequent ones, and his figure was quickly engulfed by more than ten fierce beasts. Will Su Chen really die like this? Watching the figure disappear into the group of fierce beasts, Zhou Mingyang found it hard to believe. The other party had risen like a comet in just a few hours. And now, was he going to fall like a shooting star? Most importantly, what was Su Chen thinking? Knowing that the core area was populated by first order high level and second order fierce beasts, why did he dare to appear so boldly in front of them? Speaking of which, he did deceive me after all. He never used any lightning abilities from the beginning to the end. Oh well, when a person dies, it's like a lamp going out, I won't pursue it any further. Zhou Ming Yang and Su Chen were merely acquaintances, and they didn't have much concern for each other's safety. At most, they were just puzzled by each other's foolish behavior. And at that moment, Zhou Ming Yang and the others suddenly felt a palpitation in their hearts. A deep and majestic voice sounded in their ears, thunder comes. The next moment, accompanied by a loud and jarring thunder, a purple shockwave suddenly surged from the center of the fierce beast group below their line of sight. Bang! The fierce beasts that came into contact with this shockwave all turned black as if struck hard, flying back four or five meters away. And the originally dense group of fierce beasts seemed to have been wiped clean like graffiti erased with an eraser, leaving a vacant space. In the center of the empty space, Su Chen's tall and slender figure stood like a war god. Around his body, purple thunder lingered, as if welcoming the arrival of their king, constantly cheering and frolicking. It was only at this moment that Zhou Ming Yang and the others suddenly realized. That shockwave just now was not a shockwave at all, but a high-voltage electric grid condensed from purple thunder. This? Staring at the figure in the center of the empty space that resembled a thunder god, Zhou Mingyang was dumbfounded, and it took him a while to react, murmuring, Su Chen, really does have lightning abilities. 
crackling, crackling, in the center of the empty space, with Su Chen at the center, the purple thunder extended more than three meters. The thunder sounded as piercing as thousands of birds chirping at the same time. The terrifying thunder seemed to turn the area around Su Chen into a forbidden zone for life. Three meters away, there were fierce beasts charred by electricity. Within three meters, there was only Su Chen, surrounded by thunder as if he were a ruler. Indeed, it's still a bit of a stretch to deal with so many first-tier high-level fierce beasts with just physical strength. Su Chen raised his left hand, somewhat intoxicated, watching the purple arcs of electricity dancing on his fingertips. The power and level of abilities are closely related to the two basic attributes. Although he was just an awakened, his 180 points of health and spirit made his purple thunder god thunder much stronger than when he first awakened. It could even inflict great damage on first-tier high-level fierce beasts. This is S-level ability, domineering, and powerful. Su Chen looked ahead. The severe injuries and imminent deaths of more than 10 fierce beasts had already caught the attention of the beast king here, and the bloodthirsty berserk bear stood up from its resting state. With a height of 5 meters and a body width of over 3 meters, it was like a heavy tank standing upright. Imagine the oppressive feeling of a heavy tank standing upright. This was the scene Su Chen was facing. Rare fierce beast, bloodthirsty berserk bear, this year's martial arts entrance exam is indeed not easy. Su Chen licked his lips. In the summer of Jiangnan, the sunset was a bit later. The setting sun shone on the bloodthirsty berserk bear, casting a long shadow on the ground. Because he was facing away from the light, Su Chen couldn't see the face of the bloodthirsty berserk bear clearly, but its blood-red eyes carried a strong sense of oppression. Influenced by this aura, the remaining more than ten fierce beasts, originally intimidated by Su Chen's power and hesitant to approach, once again became aggressive. They crouched, bared their teeth, and let out roars and growls. This scene would be perfect for a horror movie. But when the fight starts later, these little monsters might be a bit troublesome. In that case, let's clear the field first. Su Chen's gaze sharpened. The purple thunder god thunder, originally active on the surface of his body, under his control, actually penetrated directly into his body. Hum, it was as if he had been injected with a powerful stimulant, and Su Chen's body trembled violently. Subsequently, his clear and divine eyes were filled with purple thunder, at the same time, an incredibly powerful force surged from his limbs and bones. This is the feeling. On Su Chen's shark-faced face, a smile appeared wild and unrestrained. Supernatural powers are a kind of human power, just like using arms freely. Therefore, besides the more refined use of supernatural powers like combat skills, there are also rougher ways of using them. For example, Zhou Mingyang's wind-based supernatural power can be used casually to reduce air resistance and increase running speed. Another example is his previous eruption of the Purple Thunder God's Thunder, which can achieve a similar effect to a powerful plasma cannon. And the current state is also a basic application of thunder and lightning supernatural powers. By guiding thunder into the body, stimulating all cells, one can greatly enhance one's physical strength. Su Chen had tried using the E-level supernatural power weak electricity to stimulate his body before, but apart from making his body numb, there were no other effects. But now, with the S-level purple thunder god's thunder, it's completely different. Su Chen could feel the purple thunder god's thunder surging through his body like a river strengthening his physique to an extremely abnormal level. Of course, this is not a combat skill after all. Moreover, it is also very dangerous for thunder and lightning to shuttle through the body, as a slight carelessness could damage the meridians. Therefore, Su Chen cannot maintain this state for a long time. However, it is enough to deal with you beasts. Su Chen smirked. In the next moment, lightning flashed, and he disappeared from the original location. When he reappeared, he was already next to a first-order high-level solitary horned rhinoceros. Then, with a long spear in hand, he traced a purple-black trajectory in the air like lightning. Before this solitary horned rhinoceros could react, a bloodline appeared on its neck. Subsequently, the huge head of the solitary horned rhinoceros surprisingly smoothly fell to the ground. Its skin, as hard as steel, did not offer any protection at this moment. Blood gushed out from its neck like a fountain. With the strong vitality of a first-order high-level beast, even if its abdomen was pierced, it could still move. But losing its head left it helpless. The headless body of the solitary horned rhinoceros collapsed in the pool of blood. Roar! Seeing the solitary horned rhinoceros killed in front of it, the bloodthirsty berserk bear could no longer hold back. With a roar, it charged towards Su Chen. Although the bloodthirsty berserk bear was huge, its running speed was not slow. With its limbs on the ground, it crossed over 30 meters in the blink of an eye. It was more like leaping than running. However, as fast as the bloodthirsty berserk bear was, Su Chen was even faster. 
With the blessing of the purple thunder god's thunder, he turned into a purple-black phantom, shuttling through the group of beasts. Every time he struck, the black shining spear surrounded by purple thunder could claim the life of a beast. Ding, killing a first-order high-level beast, the solitary horn rhinoceros, earns 15 ability points. Ding, killing a first-order high-level beast, the shadow cat, earns 13 ability points. Ding, killing a first-order high-level beast, the arm blade tiger, earns 14 ability points. A series of system prompt sounds echoed in Su Chen's mind. Along with that, there was the bloodthirsty berserk bear's bursts of helpless rage that couldn't reach Su Chen. What kind of thunder and lightning supernatural power is this? So powerful? On the rooftop, Zhou Ming Yang and his group were all stunned. Just the eruption of supernatural powers has severely injured the first order high level beasts. Su Chen is just an awakened person, even an A level supernatural power user wouldn't be able to achieve this level of intensity, right? The petite girl Meng Di struggled to swallow her saliva. Thanks to the development of the internet, she had also seen A-level thunder and lightning supernatural power users. However, even the oppressive feeling brought by those high-level A-class thunder elemental ability users was not as strong as the oppressive feeling brought by Su Chen at this moment. Stronger than A-class ability, could it be? Zhou Ming Yang and the bald young man looked at each other and surprisingly said in unison, S-class? Just as the words fell, Zhou Ming Yang immediately shook his head and denied, no, that's not it. If he really has S-class ability, the entire Dasha country would have been shaken since the day of awakening abilities. Moreover, nowadays, it's difficult to conceal one's ability level. Ability awakening is arranged by the state, and the abilities of each awakened individual will be recorded in the National Information Database. If there really was an S-class ability, the country would have sent him for elite training long ago. Why would he still be staying at Jiangqing No? Too high school, which lacks educational resources. Could it be an ability mutation? The bald young man asked tentatively. Ability mutation? Zhou Ming Yang pondered for a moment, nodded, indeed, that's a possibility. The world is vast, and there are all sorts of wonders. Although ability mutations are rare, they have occurred before. There have been cases where D-class abilities have mutated into A-class abilities under accidental circumstances. But no matter what, after today, the entire Jiangcheng will probably be shaken by him. Watching the figure downstairs with a long spear, galloping among the fierce beasts, the black figure dominating the scene, Zhou Mingyang's expression was extremely complex. The time rewound four minutes ago. When Su Chen appeared alone in front of the bloodthirsty bear fierce beast group, there were bursts of exclamations on the military district square outside the examination hall. What is Su Chen doing? How did he appear directly in the sight of the fierce beasts? Zhou Mingyang and the others all knew to hide and observe from a high place first. Why is Su Chen so reckless? Run! Run quickly! The director of the education bureau and the principals are all second-level ability users with sharp eyes. Naturally, they have long seen Su Chen's strength, and he can handle two or three first-level high-ranking fierce beasts. But dealing with dozens of first-level high-ranking fierce beasts at the same time is nothing short of a fool's errand. Not to mention there is a more terrifying second-level fierce beast, the bloodthirsty bear, that he cannot handle. So when they saw Su Chen appearing without any concealment in the most critical area, the director and the principals were all in a panic. Many teachers from No. 2 High School were shouting to escape, but Su Chen in the scene couldn't hear them at all. Instead, he was engulfed by the fierce beast group due to alarming them. Su Chen is too confident, daring to enter the most critical area so brazenly. The director shook his head, his face serious. Even if Su Chen could survive by some stroke of luck. When the martial arts entrance exam ends, if this reckless behavior is seen by the admissions offices of major ability universities, his evaluation will probably be greatly discounted. This is bad, our school finally produced a genius, is he going to fall like this? The principal of the second high school, Zhao Yao, looked ashen. Doesn't Su Chen have a safety sphere? The class teacher Chen Fan beside him quickly said. Not to mention whether the safety sphere can be opened in this situation, even if it is opened, the high-voltage electric grid released cannot withstand the ravages of this group of first-level high-ranking fierce beasts. Principal Zhao Yao shook his head and turned to the overall commander of this martial arts entrance exam, Commander Wang, please arrange for the nearest team of ability users to prepare for rescue. In order to preserve the lives of the examinees as much as possible, besides the safety sphere, Another measure is the distribution of teams of ability users for rescue station throughout the examination hall. Unlike the inexperienced examinees, these teams of ability users for rescue have been baptized by fire and are elite. And their lineup is very reasonable, although they are all only first level, when the whole team is together, they are not inferior even when facing second level fierce beasts. 
Of course, there are only a few elite rescue teams in the entire military region, often used to rescue candidates with great potential in the military science entrance exam. Currently, the top-ranked Su Chen clearly qualifies for the use of an elite rescue team. Good. Commander Wang nodded, opened the communication device to contact the rescue team. I hope Su Chen can hold on until the rescue team arrives, sighed Principal Zhao Yao. It was at this moment that the projection screen belonging to Su Chen suddenly lit up brightly. Centered around Su Chen, countless purple thunderbolts surged out wildly. All the ferocious beasts around, under this violent thunderbolt, were all charred by electricity and directly sent flying. Following that, Su Chen seemed to transform into a thunder god, eyes crackling with electricity, purple thunderbolts jumping on his body. Wielding a long spear, he engaged in battle within the group of ferocious beasts. The second-tier bloodthirsty berserk bear chased after him, but could never land a hit. It could only watch as Su Chen harvested among the group of ferocious beasts. The entire battle scene, in just an instant, completed a miraculous turnaround. The director and the principal were stunned by this instant reversal. This. Is Su Chen's thunder-based ability? Principal Zhao Yao gasped, while the Education Bureau Director Zhang Wenshan was also astonished. Principal Zhao, you call this an E-level ability? Are you kidding me? In the core area of the ruined town. Empowered by the purple sky divine thunder, Su Chen strolled around with the bloodthirsty berserk bear like walking a dog. The bloodthirsty berserk bear seemed to realize that it couldn't catch up with Su Chen due to its lack of speed, so it simply stopped chasing. Its massive body sat in the center of the open space in the residential area, its crimson eyes fixed on Su Chen's figure. Every time Su Chen killed a ferocious beast, the bloodthirsty aura all over its body would intensify. There were a total of 34 first-tier high-level ferocious beasts on the scene. Among them, 13 were already charred and critically injured, having been struck by the electric shock of the purple sky divine thunder when they initially besieged Su Chen. As for the remaining 21 ferocious beasts, they were successively killed by Su Chen in an activated cell state within just a minute. Crackling, a flash of lightning, Su Chen, with a spear in hand and his body enveloped in thunder, appeared about 8 meters in front of the bloodthirsty berserk bear. Quite clever, knowing I would come looking for you and waiting here directly. Su Chen's eyes, filled with purple thunder, stared at the bloodthirsty berserk bear not far away, truly intimidating. At this moment, the bloodthirsty berserk bear seemed to be extremely angry, exhaling heavily through its nostrils. Its muscular chest heaved up and down significantly due to its intense breathing. Its crimson eyes were ice cold. Such a scene would likely scare those with poor mental resilience among the ability users on the spot. However, Su Chen remained calm, his left hand grasping the air. Like a thunder god in control of everything, the purple sky divine thunder surrounding him quickly gathered to form a purple lightning bolt. Zap! The purple lightning bolt was fiercely thrown by Su Chen, hitting accurately on the body of the bloodthirsty berserk bear in front. This terrifying thunderbolt, enough to instantly kill a first-tier high-level ferocious beast, was now only flickering on the surface of the bloodthirsty berserk bear's body. Apart from making it look more ferocious, it seemed to have little effect. Truly a rare group among second-tier ferocious beasts, with strong defense. Su Chen's gaze slightly hardened. Unlike ordinary domestic pets, the bloodthirsty berserk bear never cleaned its fur. This would cause the fur to easily clump together, forming a protective armor-like shield. Such fur armor was even stronger than E-level alloy. More importantly, it was non-conductive. Although the purple sky divine thunder was powerful, Su Chen was still just an awakened individual. It was indeed somewhat difficult to cause harm to a second-tier bloodthirsty berserk bear by crossing two major tiers. It seems that we need to find a way to break through the defense first. While Su Chen was silently pondering, the bloodthirsty berserk bear across from him was not idle. Roar! It let out a low roar, and the raging blood essence actually materialized around its body. Like a super scion, the red blood formed into rising streams of energy. Then its entire body suddenly expanded, with veins bulging on its fierce bare face. The ground trembled slightly under the influence of this powerful energy, causing the gravel to shake. Then, with a sudden force from its legs, a deep pit appeared on the ground. And its massive body, like a tower, leaped towards Su Chen. Oh my god? Do you know what it feels like to have a tiger tank coming at you? Su Chen had a sense of deja vu. So he changed his expression and quickly dodged to the side. Bang! The bloodthirsty berserk bear fell like a comet to the spot where Su Chen had originally stood, and the already weathered cement ground could no longer support it. Cracks spread out from the center where the bear landed, and dust filled the air. After the dust settled, the bloodthirsty berserk bear, in its super scion-like form, appeared again in Su Chen's line of sight. Starting off with a rampage, it seems like it really wants to kill me early. Su Chen marveled. 
Rare ferocious beasts and high-level ferocious beasts often possess skills similar to human combat techniques, and rampage is a common skill possessed by ferocious beasts. According to research, during a rampage, the limited intelligence of the ferocious beast is completely extinguished, transforming it into a killing machine that acts solely on instinct. Correspondingly, the physical strength of the ferocious beast is greatly enhanced during a rampage. In general, ferocious beasts only go on a rampage when they are desperate. But at the beginning of this battle, the bloodthirsty berserk bear went into a rampage directly. Obviously, it was quite provoked by Su Chen's earlier behavior of walking the dog. But I'm not a fool either. Whether it's in a rampage or not, I won't confront you head on. Su Chen's original blood and energy level was as high as 180 points, and with the activation of cell vitality, it surged even higher, making his strength astonishing. However, even so, he had no intention of directly colliding with the bloodthirsty berserk bear. He was only one, 86 meters tall, while the bloodthirsty berserk bear was already over 6 meters tall. Isn't it suicidal to compete in strength? The best way is still to rely on agility in the fight. With a flash of electricity, Su Chen's figure holding a long spear blurred and disappeared from the spot. The bloodthirsty berserk bear instinctively felt something was wrong, but before it could react, it felt a sharp pain in its legs. Swipe a sharp and extremely large wound, accompanied by purple electric arcs, suddenly bloomed from the left leg of the bloodthirsty berserk bear. Splurred bright red blood sprayed out like a fountain from the artery in its leg. Roar! In pain, the bloodthirsty berserk bear swung its massive fist towards the tiny human figure at its feet. Compared to the bloodthirsty berserk bear's height of over 6 meters, Su Chen, who was only one, 86 meters tall, was obviously much more agile. Coupled with the continuous stimulation of the purple sky divine thunder on his cells, it brought him a constant stream of power. In this situation, Su Chen's agility was terrifying. Therefore, before the bloodthirsty berserk bear's fist could reach him, Su Chen had already dodged to its right leg. Compared to the purple sky divine thunder, the sharp black brilliance spear was obviously more effective at breaking through defenses. So Su Chen repeated the same move, slashing the long spear at the right leg of the bloodthirsty berserk bear, leaving a long wound. At this moment, the clumsy bloodthirsty berserk bear hadn't even been able to catch his figure. Roar! The intense pain from the leg wounds drove the bloodthirsty berserk bear into a frenzy, swinging its bare paws and launching indiscriminate attacks. However, Su Chen had already moved to the side. Boom boom boom. The bloodthirsty berserk bear, like a raging wrecking machine, smashed numerous savage beast corpses into minced meat on the ground around it. At that moment, Su Chen pushed the purple sky divine thunder to its limit. Countless purple thunderbolts burst out from him, bombarding the berserk bear. With its injured legs, the berserk bear, already slower than Su Chen, was now even more sluggish. Although in its berserk state, the bear had lost all intelligence, its basic instincts were still intact knowing that the thunder could not inflict fatal damage on itself. So it simply huddled in place, assuming a defensive posture. Crackling. Boom. This way, the purple sky divine thunder bombarded for almost half a minute. The gray white fur all over the berserk bear's body was charred black by the thunderous assault. It should be almost done. Su Chen's figure flashed and appeared less than three meters in front of the berserk bear. For the bear, a mere step forward was all it needed to attack within that three meter distance. However, as it tried to move its legs to unleash its fury on the tiny human in front of it, it was astonished to find that its legs seemed to have disappeared, completely unresponsive. What's more, its arms felt incredibly heavy, unable to be lifted. You thought you could withstand the purple sky divine thunder for over half a minute without consequences? Su Chen shook his head. Although the berserk bear's fur defense was strong, the black brilliant spear had already breached it on its legs. During the thunderous assault just now, although many lightning strikes were blocked, Quite a few thunderbolts still entered the berserk bear's body through the wounds, numbing its nerves. And this was exactly the effect Su Chen wanted. Unable to move, now you are just a sitting duck. Su Chen wielded the heavy 50 kilogram black brilliant spear and began to counterattack. The spear, enveloped in purple lightning, continuously struck out. Put, put. Surrounded by purple thunder, Su Chen, enveloped in the ancient primordial thunderous aura of the purple sky divine thunder, seemed like a deity at this moment. The long spear turned into a phantom, leaving dozens of bull-sized wounds on the berserk bear in just three or four seconds. Inside the wounds, countless lightning flashes caused secondary damage. If it were an ordinary savage beast, it would surely be beyond dead. But for the second order berserk bear, over six meters tall with tough skin and thick flesh, these wounds were just minor injuries. It was at this moment that the berserk bear suddenly felt its arms regain sensation. Just as a triumphant smile spread across its massive bear face, ready to counterattack. The human in front of it leaped up, 
chest level with it, a pair of black and white clear eyes exuding extreme calmness. At the same time, a deep and majestic voice sounded in its ears, thunderous scale break. Accompanied by a thunderous roar, a terrifying thunderous energy wave emanated from the black spear, causing fear in the bear. It instinctively tried to raise its arms to block, but it was already too late. With a loud bang, the heavily wounded berserk bear received the most severe blow. The raging purple thunder erupted from its chest, the tremendous impact sending it flying out like a cannonball. Boom! After smashing the central broken flower platform and plowing a trench over 10 meters long on the ground, it finally came to a stop. A large charred hole was blasted on its left chest. The heart that once existed there had already perished, leaving only residual purple thunder lingering within. The berserk bear could feel its strength rapidly draining, its consciousness gradually fading. It instinctively tried to get up, swaying unsteadily. Before it could take the first step, it collapsed with a loud thud. The terrifying beast capable of destroying a small town completely lost its life breath at this moment. Ding, killed a second order lower level bloodthirsty berserk bear, gained plus 24 ability points. Hearing the prompt from the system, Su Chen, standing with a gun, also breathed a sigh of relief. Finally, it's over. The battle just now almost pushed his current strength to the limit. Although the battle lasted less than two minutes, the immense intensity of the battle and the constant tension in his mind made it difficult for him to withstand even with his high 180 points of health and spirit. Fortunately, the final result was good. Of course, even if the combo just now couldn't kill the opponent, Su Chen had a backup plan. That is to use ability points again to enhance basic attributes. It can be said that the over 2000 ability points lying on the system panel predetermined the death of this bloodthirsty berserk bear from the beginning. Su Chen exited the cell activation state, the thunder in his eyes disappeared, and the purple thunder god thunder lingering on his body was also retracted by him. Without the blessing of the purple thunder god thunder, Su Chen suddenly felt a weakness in his body. But he knew that this weakness was just an illusion of fading power, and he had only returned to his strength before cell activation. Having killed all the beasts in the core area, I wonder how many points I have. Su Chen opened his smartwatch to check his score, first place, Su Chen, score, Jiangqing second high school, second place, Zhou Ming Yang, 1103 points, Jiangqing first high school, third place, Wu Hao, 945 points, Jiangqing first high school, over 10,000 points. Although he had some expectations, Su Chen was still shocked by this score. After the shock, a happy smile appeared on his face, indeed, the beasts in the core area have the highest scores. I remember that the highest score in our Jiangnan province last year was only over 8,000 points, right? Does that mean I have already secured the top spot in the province? Killing a first order high level beast earns 100 points. Killing a second order beast can earn 4,000 points. In the core area, there were a total of 34 first order high level beasts and one second order lower level bloodthirsty berserk bear, all of which were killed by Su Chen. A total of 7,400 points were obtained. Adding Su Chen's original over 3,000 points, a total of over 10,000 points were obtained, which was not surprising. However, in terms of rankings, the difference between first place and second place was almost 10 times, which was very exaggerated. There is still over an hour left before the martial arts entrance examines. I have killed all the beasts in the core and most core areas. Next, I will return to the central area and kill a few more. Glancing at the bloodthirsty berserk bear in the distance that had already lost its life breath, Su Chen did not stop there. He slung the almost scrapped black blaze gun behind him and headed towards the central area again. At this moment, Zhou Ming Yang and others on the rooftop were still shocked by Su Chen's performance. The bloodthirsty berserk bear died just like that? Zhou Ming Yang swallowed hard. From the start of the battle to the moment the bloodthirsty berserk bear was shot dead, it had only been less than two minutes. It should be noted that even elite ability users would need to fight for over half an hour to kill such a resilient second order beast. Terrifying, too terrifying. The bald male student looked at the score on the smartwatch in shock. Su Chen's score has exceeded 10,000 points. Exceeded 10,000 points? Zhou Ming Yang's eyes widened, and he subconsciously said, I remember that the highest score for the provincial top scorer in our Jiangnan province last year was only over 8,000 points, right? Su Chen's over 10,000 points. Could it be that he will be the provincial top scorer of our Jiangnan province? Provincial top scorer? Wow, is it that terrifying? The people nearby suddenly gasped in shock. At this moment, Meng Di's voice suddenly rang out. Quick, look, Su Chen has left. It seems like he's heading towards the central area. Central area? Truly deserving of the provincial champion title, having already killed the second tier ferocious beasts, he's not letting up and is even rushing towards the central area. The long-haired boy clicked his tongue in amazement, and Zhou Mingyang also snapped out of it, slapping his thigh, oh no. 
I don't know if Su Chen is the provincial champion, but I do know that if we don't hurry to the central area next, we might not even get a single point in the last hour. Yeah, damn, at Su Chen's speed, will he be able to kill all the ferocious beasts in the central area? Quick, let's go. Hee <laughs> hee, in that case, I, Zhou Ming Yang, will take the lead. The few people immediately reacted, without time to think too much, they grabbed their weapons and hurried downstairs. Zhou Ming Yang, who no longer needed his teammates, controlled the wind ability and was the fastest one. On the open space outside the examination hall, many principals and teachers were shocked by Su Chen's terrifying abilities, and they all nervously watched Su Chen in action. The second tier bloodthirsty berserk bear, even at the peak of their strength as principals, was a force to be reckoned with. At this moment, this terrifying ferocious beast was being toyed with by Su Chen as if it were a plaything. Easily dodging the bear's pounce, two shots disabled the bear's legs. The continuous thunder and lightning ability struck, rendering it paralyzed and unable to move. The long spear struck wildly, instantly causing severe injuries to the bear. The final shot of the thunderbolt gun skill pierced its heart, completing the kill. This series of actions flowed smoothly, as if it were effortless. So much so that when the bloodthirsty berserk bear collapsed to the ground with a bang, the whole place fell into a deathly silence. No one had expected that even the second-tier bloodthirsty berserk bear, which even the top-tier principals of the provincial capital would have a headache dealing with, would die like this. It wasn't until the ranking list refreshed, and Su Chen's score reached 10,000 points, that the director and many principals and teachers had yet to react. 10,000 points. A record-breaking score. A record-breaking score. At this moment, a teacher from the second high school shouted excitedly. With this reminder, many principals and teachers in the audience finally reacted, erupting into incredibly noisy astonishment. 10,000 points. Not only breaking our city's record, but also breaking the record of Jiangnan province. Genius. Absolutely a genius. Blessed be our city, this year's provincial champion will be ours. At this moment, the principals and teachers of the three high schools were cheering without caring about their image. If there had been any resentment between the other two high schools because Su Chen was a student of the second high school before, it was completely different now. Su Chen, who was likely to become the provincial champion, was not just representing the second high school, but the entire city of Jiangcheng. Well done. Principal Zhao Yao couldn't help but stand up, excitedly punching the air. He, who was usually calm, didn't know how many times he had lost his composure. But faced with such a huge surprise, whether he was composed or not no longer mattered. This score could be said to be the pre-selection for the provincial champion. At worst, he would be in the top three of Jiangnan province. It should be noted that the second high school of Jiangcheng had been established for over a hundred years, and the best ranking it had achieved was only 64th in Jiangnan province. And now, what all the previous principals had failed to do, he had accomplished. How could he not feel excited and proud? Oh, such an outstanding student, why wasn't he assigned to our rocket class back then? In the audience of the second high school, the head teacher of the rocket class was excited but also extremely regretful. If they had brought Su Chen into their class back then, how glorious would he be now? Well done, Su Chen, great job. The possibility of a student from their class competing for the provincial champion title. Just the thought of it made class 5's head teacher, Chen Fan, feel as if he were dreaming. But the pain from pinching his own flesh told him that everything was real. This made him extremely excited. Damn, class 5 has such a character, too fierce. Didn't expect that. Did you? I didn't either. 10,000 points. I only have 102 points, that's a hundred times difference. As the martial arts entrance exam progressed, many candidates who were eliminated early due to activating the safety sphere returned to the open space. At this moment, looking at Su Chen's terrifying score, they couldn't help but be plunged into immense shock. 10,000 points. Senior achieved it. Too powerful. With this score, even the top supernatural universities would easily accept him, right? Have, more than that. Now those top universities are begging senior to enroll. I declare, from today onwards, Su Chen Senior is my idol. At the second high school playground, first and second year students as well as teachers were all excited. Most students regarded Su Chen as their idol and role model, their faces flushed with excitement. An hour quickly passed, and it was already 9 o'clock. At this time, the students still in the exam venue in the ruined town all had a red warning interface automatically pop up on their smartwatches. At the same time, the intelligent voice continued, Attention, the 2037 Wu Science Entrance Exam in Jiangcheng has ended. Killing ferocious beasts will no longer count towards the score. Please return as soon as possible. Attention, the 2037 Wu Science Entrance Exam in Jiangcheng has ended. Killing ferocious beasts will no longer count towards the score. 
Please return as soon as possible. The notification repeated three times before ending. Inside the exam venue, all the notified candidates, whether feeling emotional or regretful, began to return. The Wu Science Entrance Exam has ended. Su Chen pulled a long spear from the corpse of a ferocious beast, feeling somewhat regretful. It's a pity, there won't be another chance to harvest supernatural points so easily. Then, Su Chen hoisted the long spear and strode towards the direction of return. The Wu Science Entrance Exam was over, and a brand new future awaited him. First place, Su Chen, score, second high school of Jiangcheng, second place, Zhou Mingyang, 1233 points, first high school of Jiangcheng, third place, Wu Ao, 1045 points, first high school of Jiangcheng. When the time struck 9 o'clock, the ranking scores for the Wu Science Entrance Exam were fixed. Su Chen comfortably held onto the first place with a score almost 10 times higher than the second place. The former favorite for the championship, Zhou Mingyang, only managed to secure the second place. As the Wu Science Entrance Exam concluded, candidates began to emerge from the ruined town one after another. Besides discussing their experiences in the exam venue, their conversations revolved around Su Chen. Over 10,000 points. That's too incredible. I'm in the same class as Su Chen. If I told you he only has an E-level ability, would you believe me? E-level ability? Are you kidding? Can an E-level ability suppress B-level ability like Zhou Mingyang's by 10 times? It is worth mentioning that when students who were in the same class as Su Chen told others that he only had an E-level ability, the responses they received were all disbelief. Time passed slowly, and most students had already returned to the open space. Only a few students who had ventured deeper into the ruined town had not come out yet. Of course, Su Chen was among them. However, these students who had left the exam venue did not immediately board the bus to leave, instead, they waited in place. They wanted to see who this person was who had scored over 10,000 points. During the wait, they inevitably speculated on Su Chen's final ranking. Last year, the highest score in our Jiangnan province was just over 8,000. With over 10,000 points, he's definitely the provincial champion. It's hard to say, who knows if another freak like Su Chen will emerge in other cities. That's true, but no matter what, being in the top three in Jiangnan province is absolute. Being in the top three in Jiangnan province is a face-saving achievement for our entire city. Yes, our city has finally produced a true genius. Jiangcheng, as one of the economically underdeveloped cities among dozens of prefecture-level cities in Jiangnan province, it has always been invisible during the national event of the Martial Arts College Entrance Examination. Every year, when the provincial ranking list is announced, it is often not until after the top 100 that a candidate from Jiangcheng can be seen. But this year is completely different. Su Chen, who scored over 10,000 points, has the qualification to compete for the top spot in the province. Even if he fails to become the top scorer, he will still be in the top three in the province. By then, the whole city of Jiangcheng will be famous because of Su Chen. Excited Education Bureau Director Zhang Wenshan, as well as principals and teachers from various schools, have already left the audience seats and are standing at the exit of the examination room, waiting for Su Chen to arrive. On the open ground, many candidates are also excited and proud. Some students from class 5 of the second high school are boasting about how close their relationship with Su Chen used to be. Especially Lu Jia, who already had a good relationship with Su Chen, was practically beaming with pride. Chi Chi, is Su Chen really your cousin? Among the group of students from the first high school, Xiaoya, who had lost interest in Su Chen at the Thunder Martial Arts Hall, asked Tang Chi Chi with shining eyes. My goodness, you've asked three times already. Su Chen's cousin Tang Chi Chi rolled her eyes, although I'm not 100% sure, it's probably him. Okay, I believe you. Xiaoya nodded and then hugged Tang Chi Chi's arm, swaying as if coquettishly, my dear sister, can you give me your cousin's contact information? Why do you need his contact information now? Weren't you uninterested yesterday? Seeing Xiaoya's pleading look, Tang Chi Chi couldn't help but tease. It's different now. Yesterday he was just a level E awakened being, today he is our city's number one. Different status, naturally different treatment. Listening to Xiaoya's matter-of-fact tone, Tang Chi Chi was speechless. She changed her mind so quickly. Just as she was about to speak, a loud shout came, Su Chen is out of the examination room. Upon hearing this shout, the entire open space fell silent. Including Tang Chi Chi and Xiaoya, everyone subconsciously turned their heads towards the exit of the ruined town. A tall figure emerged from the dark ruins of the town. It was Su Chen. He was dressed in bloodstained black battle clothes, with a calm and steady expression, and a black long spear over two meters long slung behind him. This nearly destroyed long spear seemed to be telling the story of the fierce battles he had experienced along the way. Su Chen, welcome back. 
Standing nearby, Education Bureau Director Zhang Wenshan took the lead in offering the most enthusiastic applause. Subsequently, the principals and teachers from various schools joined in. However, compared to the welcome from the director and principals, the students' welcome was much warmer. Congratulations, Su Chen. Our batch of candidates shines because of you. As candidates from the same year, if there was only a difference of one or two hundred points, they might still feel dissatisfied, thinking that the gap in strength was not significant. But a difference of over ten thousand points is a comprehensive crushing. Moreover, after this, Su Chen represents not only himself but the entire city of Jiangcheng. Therefore, the candidates spared no effort in offering their cheers and applause. Some bolder girls even started to show their affection on the spot. Faced with this scene, Su Chen, with a buzzing sound in his ears, was a bit dazed and couldn't quite make out what everyone was saying. He never expected such a grand welcome after the college entrance examination. It's really dazzling. Not far behind, Zhou Mingyang, who had just walked out of the exam room, looked at the scene with some envy. However, he also knew that even if he was the first place, he couldn't get so much applause. After all, he couldn't score over ten thousand points. All examinees, get ready to board the bus. The bus will take you to the city, and once you're in the city, the cheers lasted for more than a minute before gradually subsiding, and Director Wang began to arrange the retreat. As for Su Chen, he was directly arranged by the principal to take the special car home. This also disappointed the class five students who had wanted to ride the same bus as him. Su Chen, have you decided which supernatural school to go to? The scenery outside the window quickly receded, and Su Chen sat in the back seat of the car, driven by Zhao Yao, the principal of Jiangcheng Second High School. Usually, the principal had a dedicated driver when going out. At this moment, he not only drove himself but also had a smile on his face, showing no dissatisfaction. No, Su Chen shook his head. He was telling the truth. After crossing over, he had always wanted to improve his strength as soon as possible and score more points, but he had never thought about which supernatural university to attend. With your grades, you can go to any university in the country. Principal Zhao Yao seemed even more excited than Su Chen, including the top three supernatural universities. By the way, do you know these three universities? Su Chen nodded. The Great Xia Country is strong in martial arts, and not only the martial arts college entrance examination is broadcasted live. Even the thousands of supernatural universities nationwide organize intercollegiate competitions every year to determine the ranking of each school. Among these thousands of supernatural universities, three universities consistently rank in the top three. They are the Qingjing Supernatural University, the Moto Supernatural University, and the Jincheng Supernatural University. These three universities have been established for over 200 years. They have abundant educational resources, and the internal mentors are at least sixth-order supernaturals. These three universities surpass thousands of universities nationwide and are known as the top three universities. They are the campus holy land that countless college entrance examination students aspire to. The top three universities are the highest goals that countless students aspire to. Principal Zhao Yao sighed, but for you, it's within reach. No, even they will beg you to attend. Beg me to attend? Su Chen tilted his head, looking puzzled. With your grades, you already have the qualification for special admission. After the national rankings are announced, the top 10 universities in the country will offer various conditions for you to attend their schools. What else can it be if not begging you to attend? Principal Zhao Yao laughed heartily. Special admission is a treatment only available to the top three in the province. Su Chen is obviously among them. I suggest that you learn more about the information of the top three universities after you go back. Don't wait until the day of special admission and have no clue. Also, don't be dazzled by the special admission conditions offered by those schools. The most important thing is to choose the school that you feel is suitable. Of course, entering any of the top three universities will lead to a bright future. Principal Zhao Yao excluded the other seven top ten universities and earnestly advised. I understand, thank you, Principal. Su Chen nodded, indicating his understanding. After the martial arts college entrance examination, it is indeed time to consider which school to attend. It takes over an hour to drive from the military district to the city. By the time Su Chen returned home, it was already 11.23 at night. Exhausted, he didn't even have time to wash up, just took off his battle clothes reeking of blood. He collapsed on the bed and fell into a deep sleep. It wasn't until the next morning after 9 o'clock that he woke up from his slumber. Phew, I actually slept for more than 10 hours in one go. Glancing at the time on his phone, Su Chen leaped out of bed and dashed into the bathroom. Splash warm water flowed from the showerhead, washing over Su Chen's naked body. So comfortable. 
After a 12-hour battle, Su Chen had sweated a lot, and his whole body felt sticky. The warm water washing over his body made him feel refreshed, and he immediately opened his system panel. Name, Su Chen, Level, Awakener, Ability, Purple Sky Divine Thunder, S, Physique, 183 HP, Plus, Spirit, 185 Hertz, Plus, Skills, Marksmanship, Advanced Plus, Lightning Gale Break, Advanced Plus, Ability Points, 2534 Taking the Military Academy Entrance Exam not only yielded good results but also a significant amount of Ability Points. 2534 Ability Points should be enough for me for a while once I enter the Ability University. Su Chen thought to himself. The importance of ability points was undeniable, and in a normal wilderness area, it would be impossible to acquire so many ability points in a short period of time. This time, he had the military academy entrance exam to thank for it. I wonder if there will be similar events to kill ferocious beasts once I enter the ability university. If there are, I will definitely be the first to participate. Su Chen felt pleased. Humming a tune, he finished showering and returned to the bedroom, turned on the computer, and searched for information on the top three elite universities. The top three elite universities had been established for over hundreds of years, with a long history of nurturing many strong individuals in Great Xia. As he looked through the information, Su Chen couldn't help but exclaim from time to time. The current Ninth Order Nation Protector actually graduated from the Qingjing Ability University. The top ability cultivation methods are mostly exclusive to the top universities? Not checking would mean not knowing, and every check brought a surprise. Surprisingly, almost half of the country's well-known high-level ability users came from the top three elite universities. Half. This was a terrifying proportion. After all, there were thousands of ability universities nationwide. In addition, many people had studied at foreign ability universities and only returned to the country after graduation. The total number of strong individuals trained by domestic and foreign schools combined was only equal to that of the top three elite universities. This was enough to illustrate the profound heritage of the top three elite universities. Furthermore, the most important point was the ability cultivation methods. As the foundation for an ability user's advancement, there were differences between the quality of ability cultivation methods and the speed of cultivation varied greatly. For example, using the worst primary ability cultivation method for practice, most awakeners would take three to four years to advance to an ability user. However, if using the top ability cultivation method for practice, it would take less than half a year to advance. According to the information Su Chun found, most of the top ability cultivation methods in Great Xia were actually stored in the libraries of the top three elite universities. No wonder there are rumors online that the top three elite universities are domineering and refuse to disclose their martial arts secrets. Su Chun suddenly realized, but he didn't pay too much attention to it. How precious were the top ability cultivation methods? It was almost impossible to think that universities would share their top martial arts secrets by being influenced by public opinion. Ding dong just as he was about to continue reading the information, the doorbell rang outside. Is it my little cousin coming to find me so early? With a hint of doubt, Su Chen got up and walked out of the bedroom, opening the door. Standing at the door were two women, one older and one younger. The older one was in her thirties, dressed in elegant clothes, with delicate features. The younger one was about the same age as Su Chen, tall and slim, with a resemblance of seven to eight points to the older beauty, but with a colder demeanor. These two were indeed his little cousin Su Qingwan and his cousin Tang Chi. Little cousin, cousin. Su Chen greeted them with a smile and led them into the living room. However, the awkward thing is that due to last night's evolution of abilities, his entire living room looked as if it had been burned by a big fire. Not only were the floor and walls charred black, but the furniture in the living room, such as the sofa and coffee table, had also been burned to ashes. The spacious living room had nowhere to sit. Xiao Ming, did your house catch on fire? Xiao Gu Su Qingwan was immediately flustered upon seeing the scene, quickly pulling Su Chen to inspect carefully, when did this happen? Are you injured? Just a little accident, nothing serious. Seeing the worried look on Xiao Gu's face, Su Chen felt a warm feeling in his heart. After his parents passed away, only Xiao Gu could bring him the warmth of family. It's good that you're okay, it's good that you're okay. Xiao Gu Su Qingwan breathed a sigh of relief, then said, I came over this time mainly to ask about your results in yesterday's martial arts college entrance examination. Didn't Qi Jie tell you? Su Chen was a bit surprised. I thought it would be better for you to tell my mom in person, so I didn't say anything, cousin Tang Chi said with a sly smile. I see. Su Chen nodded, let's go downstairs and find a place to sit and talk. Su Chen led the two downstairs to a coffee shop called Morning Light next to the residential area that he often visited. It was around 10 in the morning, and the coffee shop was not too crowded. 
Su Chen found a seat by the window and ordered three cups of hot coffee. The coffee sold at Morning Light was not high-end hand-ground coffee. Soon, three steaming cups of coffee were brought to the table by the waiter. Please enjoy. The waiter left with a warm smile. Can we reveal the mystery now? Xiaogusu Qingwan held the coffee cup with a smile. Your sister made it so mysterious, just to prevent me from beating you like when you were a child? Don't worry, think about it, since you entered high school, when have I ever beaten you? Even when you wanted to take the martial arts college entrance exam, I agreed, right? Even if your results are poor this time, I won't beat you. Listening to Xiao Gu Su Qingwan's words, Su Qin couldn't help but awkwardly touch his nose. Xiao Gu was a typical Jiangnan woman, gentle and graceful, but only when there were no final exams. Once there was a drop in his final exam results, he would face a painful dish of stir-fried bamboo shoots and pork, and he couldn't resist. After all, when his parents passed away, he was only 11 years old, and Xiao Gu was the official designated legal guardian for him. Mom, don't worry, little cousin won't let you down this time. Seeing her mom misunderstood her intentions, Tang Chi quickly explained. Oh, really? So, Xiao Ming, did you do well this time? How many points did you get? Did you get a hundred? Xiao Gu Su Qingwan's eyes lit up, eagerly asking. One hundred points was the nationally recognized minimum admission score. If you scored over one hundred points, you had a chance to study at an ability university. I got a hundred points. Su Chen nodded with a smile, and it's much more than a hundred, it's ten thousand points. Ten. Ten thousand points? This score was too shocking, causing Xiao Gu Su Qingwan's beautiful eyes to widen, leaving her stunned on the spot, unable to react. Due to Tang Chi's influence, Su Qingwan also knew quite a bit about the college entrance examination. She knew that in previous years, the highest score in Jiangcheng was only over a thousand points. The provincial champion of the entire Jiangnan province was only eight or nine thousand points. Therefore, when she heard Su Chen say he got 10,000 points, Xiao Gu Su Qingwan was momentarily stunned. However, she quickly reacted and subconsciously chose not to believe it, frowning and saying, Xiao Ming, don't joke around, tell me your real score. Mom, Su Chen isn't joking, he really got 10,000 points. No, wait, to be precise, it's 11,124 points. It has been reported on our official news account in Jiangcheng. Tang Chi smiled and handed her phone over. On the phone was a recently published report from the official account of Jiangcheng. The title was 10,000 points. Absolute dark horse from Jiangcheng second high school. The accompanying image showed Su Chen killing a second order bloodthirsty bear with a long spear. It's Xiao Ming. Xiao Gu also recognized Su Chen from the image and quickly started reading the article. Su Qingwan had a gentle personality and usually didn't show much emotion. But as she read the article, her eyes sparkled more and more. A hint of excitement gradually appeared on her beautiful face. 10,000 points. First in Jiangcheng. Fantastic. Fantastic. Su Qingwan seemed as if she had won a huge prize. The article on her phone was like a winning lottery ticket, which she kept checking repeatedly. She muttered quietly, saying things like Xiao Ming has finally made it and now our Su family has a successor. After a while, her emotions gradually calmed down. Xiao Ming, with your results, when it comes to choosing your university, won't you be able to directly select from the top 10 in the country? Su Qingwan's eyes sparkled as she asked. Yesterday, the principal told me that I already have a special admission qualification, so I don't need to fill out preferences, just wait for the conditions of those universities, Su Chen explained with a smile. Tang Chi chimed in, Mom, with Su Chen's cousin's results, he can be considered a provincial top scorer. Even if he doesn't become the provincial top scorer, he won't escape the top three in Jiangnan province. With this ranking, even the top three universities will compete for special admissions, he won't have to go through the regular application process. Top three universities? Special admissions? Great, 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 Xiaoming, you really surprised your aunt. Su Qingwan exclaimed three times in a row, then eagerly asked, By the way, when will the rankings for the martial arts college entrance exam be announced? The timing is uncertain. But at the latest, it should be within five days, Su Chen replied after some thought. The National Martial Arts College entrance exam results will be released on the same day at the same time. Before that, each province will strictly review the videos taken during the exam to prevent cheating. The workload is quite large, but at the latest, the results will be announced within five days, before June 13th. Great! After the results are announced, and will treat you to a big meal. Su Qingwan's face lit up with a bright smile. After a pause, she asked her biggest question, but Xiao Ming, didn't you only have an E-level ability? How did you get such a high score? Throughout history, the rarer the ability, the stronger the combat power, this is a well-known fact. Although there are people who have become strong by relying on low-level abilities, they are extremely rare. 
According to the descriptions she saw in the article, such as the thunderous shock, where a first-order high-level beast was killed or injured in large numbers, this couldn't possibly be the power that an E-level, weak electricity, ability could unleash. After all, Su Chen was just an awakener, not even an ability user. Hearing Su Qingwan's question, Tang Chi's beautiful eyes also looked expectantly, clearly very curious. Su Chen was prepared for this and explained with a smile, the day before yesterday, while I was exercising in the living room, a thunderbolt struck outside the window and knocked me out. When I woke up, I found that my original ability seemed to have undergone a transformation and become much stronger. So that's why you went to the Thunder Martial Arts Hall to test your ability. Tang Chi suddenly realized, and Su Qingwan nodded slightly, indeed, there was a thunderstorm that afternoon, but you weren't struck by lightning. Instead, you were lucky, your ability mutated, that's quite fortunate. When you have time later, go to the martial arts hall for another ability test to see what level your ability has evolved to. According to the description in the article, your ability should have evolved to at least level B or above. Su Chen nodded at the words. Although ability mutation is rare, it is not non-existent, and using this as an excuse for his own ability evolution was something he had planned for a long time. Just the day before yesterday, when the ability mutated, lightning struck outside the window into the house, and most people knew about it. Alright, anyway, you siblings, one ranked 12th in Jiangcheng, and the other ranked 1st in Jiangcheng, are both outstanding. Let's go. We'll buy some groceries at the market, and I'll cook you a delicious meal for lunch. Su Qingwan's face was filled with an uncontrollable smile. Su Qin couldn't help but smile when he saw this, walking side by side with his cousin Tang Chi beside his younger aunt. June 11th, 9 p. M. Magic City Ability University, Enrollment Office. Third and fourth tier ability users, rarely seen elsewhere, were now filling the entire office. They were seated around a large round table, numbering at least 30 to 40 people. These ability users appeared somewhat anxious, as if waiting for something. After a while, a slightly overweight middle-aged man walked in briskly. He raised the mechanical disc in his hand and said, The national rankings for the martial arts exam have been released, so get ready. The rankings for the national martial arts exam are strictly confidential until they are officially announced. However, for top-tier institutions like theirs, obtaining the rankings a day in advance is not difficult. The rankings are finally out. This year's rankings seem to be a bit delayed. It's about the same, just one day earlier than last year. Magic City Ability University's enrollment office is busiest during these days of the year. They need to develop different recruitment strategies based on the strengths of the top three candidates from each province. Some students are strong and have great potential, requiring more resources for recruitment. If some students are relatively weak in terms of strength and potential, fewer resources can be allocated to them. In addition to Magic City Ability University, the other two top institutions, Qingjing Ability University and Jincheng Ability University, also follow similar practices. As usual, let's first look at the performance of the top scorers in each province. The middle-aged man in front inserted the mechanical disc into the prepared projector. With a buzz, a list showing the scores and rankings of all examinees in over 30 provincial-level administrative regions across the country was immediately projected. The first provincial-level administrative region, Xinjiang City. The deep voice of the middle-aged man rang out, and the projection in front of him, as if possessing intelligence, directly displayed the rankings of examinees from Qingjing City, the capital of the Great Xia Empire. Everyone looked straight at the top of the ranking list, first place, Joey, Qingjing Middle School, 9,343 points. Eva, display the relevant information about Joey. As soon as the middle-aged man finished speaking, an ethereal electronic voice responded, yes, director. Subsequently, a holographic projection appeared in the center of the round table. The display showed Joey's combat scenes from the martial arts exam. Joey, 18 years old, awakened with an A-level strengthening ability, bronze body, at the upper first tier level. His father is a fourth tier ability user. Every top tier university has astonishing information gathering capabilities, and Magic City Ability University is no exception. As Joey's combat scenes played on the central holographic projection, his relevant information echoed in the ears of every admissions officer. Bronze body? That's quite good in the A-level abilities. Indeed, looking at the combat scenes, his use of abilities is also quite good. Teachers were discussing animatedly, and soon the video on the holographic projection finished playing. The middle-aged man in front spoke in a deep voice, Joey, designated as an A-plus special admission quota, teacher Wang Jian, please make a trip. All right. A teacher stood up and nodded. After the meeting, he would immediately head to Qingjing City, the second provincial administrative region, Hunan Province. 
Time passed quickly, and the top scorers of each province were determining the special admission levels with the admissions office director and teachers. There were some pretty good A-plus levels, some ordinary A-levels, and also some relatively poor A-dash. Of course, to become the top scorer of a province, even if the strength was not outstanding, it would not be too bad. Soon, it was Jiangnan Province's turn. The 13th Provincial Administrative Region, Jiangnan Province. Accompanied by the low voice of the middle-aged man, the ranking on the projection quickly switched to Jiangnan Province. Last year, Jiangnan Province had an a special admission quota, I wonder how it will be this year. It should also be an a Jiangnan Province was a populous province in Dasha country, and the top scorers in previous years were also very strong. So, including the admissions office director, all the teachers looked at the top-ranked name. First place, Su Chen, Jiangqing Second High School, points. Over 10,000 points. Jiangnan Province is really strong this year. Jiangcheng? Isn't that the capital of Jiangnan Province? Many teachers were initially shocked by Su Chen's score, but when they found out he was from Jiangcheng Second High School, they were a bit puzzled. Jiangcheng? Isn't the capital of Jiangnan Province Ningen City? What is Jiangcheng? How come I've never even heard of this city? Su Chen, 18 years old, awakened with a naturally level weak electric ability, an awakened individual. His parents. When Su Chen's information summary sounded in their ears, the teachers who were already somewhat puzzled became even more confused. What the heck? E-level ability? Awakened individual? How can these two things be related to the top scorer of the province? In the past few decades, the top scorers of Jiangnan province usually came from Ningen City, the capital of Jiangnan province. Or they were born in cities near Ningen City that were relatively prosperous. Of course, this was very normal, after all. There was a balance between culture and military power. People who had the ability to live in these cities usually had some assets at home, and the strength of their offspring was also very strong. The final top scorers of the province were all like those in the capital Qingjing city, possessing A-level abilities and first-tier upper-level strength. But now, the top scorer of Jiangnan province not only did not come from the cities in Jiangnan province that the teachers from the Magic University were familiar with, and he was not even an ability user, just an awakened individual, and his ability was only the second to last E-level ability. Who would believe this if it were said? So, when Su Chen's information echoed in the ears of many teachers, their first reaction was disbelief. Can an awakened individual become the top scorer of the province? This can't be a mistake, right? Is it possible that the information was collected incorrectly and was attributed to someone with the same name? Hmm, that's possible. The scores of each candidate in the martial arts college entrance examination were professionally reviewed by the National Education Bureau. No one doubted the authenticity of the scores, just whether the information was collected incorrectly and attributed to someone with the same name. However, the information collection capabilities of the Magic University were not likely to make such a low-level mistake. Eva's information is not wrong. Feeling like it was being questioned, a particularly cute-looking light bulb was projected in the room and there was even a touch of humanized anger on the light bulb. It was Eva, the artificial intelligence responsible for the information collection and management of the Magic University. Eva is the most advanced artificial intelligence and will not make such low-level mistakes. Su Chen's information may have had problems when it was first registered in the database. The slightly chubby middle-aged man waved his hand, it will all be clear once we watch his martial arts college entrance exam video, right? Eva, open Su Chen's college entrance exam video. Yes. Director. With the reassurance of the director, the angry expression on Eva's light bulb disappeared. At the same time, Su Chen's figure was also projected above the round table. As the footage began, it showed him entering the most core area, facing many first order high level beasts and second order beasts. Hmm, using a long spear as a weapon, quite rare. Looking at the upright figure carrying the long spear, a teacher's eyes lit up. Among the previous top scorers in the province, almost all of them used long swords or large knives as weapons. The use of spear weapons was a first. A long spear is even more difficult than swords and knives. Another teacher nodded slightly. Although Su Chen's weapon attracted the attention of the teachers, they did not forget their main purpose, to determine Su Chen's abilities and level. Abilities had not been displayed yet, so they couldn't be determined, but the level could be easily determined. There was a fundamental difference between those with abilities and awakeners, and that was the aura. Although Su Chen's aura in the footage was sharp, it did not exhibit the characteristics of an ability user to the enrollment teachers present. So, Su Chen is really an awakener? After repeated confirmations, all the teachers present were shocked. What was the concept of a provincial top scorer who was an awakener? This had never happened in the past few decades. 
Following that, the battle in the holographic projection began. When Su Chen's purple thunder god's wrath erupted, killing many first-order high-level beasts, it left many teachers stunned. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. This is definitely not an E-level ability. This power is at least A-level. How could it be a weak E-level electric ability? How did those guys who registered the abilities mess this up? Experienced enrollment teachers immediately noticed that something was off about Su Chen's ability power. The enrollment office director in front narrowed his eyes and ordered, Eva, analyze Su Chen's ability level. Abilities needed to be tested with specialized equipment to determine their level. However, with advanced artificial intelligence, it could also be analyzed accurately. Su Chen's ability belongs to the lightning system under the natural category. From the analysis of the video footage alone, there is a 4% probability that Su Chen's ability is B-level, 10% probability for A-level, 83% probability for S-level, 1% probability for SS-level, and 0% probability for SSS-level. The artificial intelligence EVA quickly came to the analysis result, and the enrollment office director who received the conclusion suddenly contracted his pupils, S-level probability is 83%? As an advanced artificial intelligence, Eva's judgment was almost never wrong. With an 83% probability, it was almost certain that Su Chen's ability was S-level. S-level? All the teachers present suddenly became short of breath. What was the concept of S-level? Once developed, it would be an absolute top combat power. And in the current Great Xia country, there hadn't been an S-level ability awakener for 3 to 4 years. At that moment, in the holographic projection, Su Chen ended the life of a second-order bloodthirsty bear in a violent manner with a single spear. Suspected S-level ability, coupled with this powerful combat capability, Su Chen's provincial top scorer title is well-deserved. The enrollment office director in front breathed a sigh of relief, and after a moment of contemplation, he said with a serious tone, Su Chen, designated as an S-plus level special enrollment quota, we must recruit him at all costs. S-plus level special enrollment quota. Hasn't this kind of special enrollment standard been used for many years? S plus level special enrollment, it seems we have to bring out some good stuff. Director Zhang, I went to the special enrollment in Jiangnan province last year, maybe I should go this time too. Director, I also want to go to the special enrollment in Jiangnan. With the S plus level special enrollment quota, plus the basically confirmed S level abilities, Su Chen suddenly became a hot commodity. Many teachers were vying to make the trip to the special enrollment in Jiangnan province. But the head of the enrollment office, Zhang Chaoyang, shook his head, you don't need to go, this time I will go myself. If the director goes in person, then it's settled. Although some other teachers were disappointed, as a fifth order spiritual ability user. Director Zhang Chaoyang, who had once admitted many students with unlimited potential to the Magic City Ability University, was indeed the most reliable choice for this trip. S level ability. Su Chen, I hope you don't disappoint me. Looking at the upright figure on the holographic projection, Director Zhang Chaoyang murmured softly. June 12th, the fifth day after the martial arts college entrance examination ended. Su Chen, don't worry, the results will be out by today at the latest. Principal, I know, I'm not in a hurry. Alright, alright, as long as you're not in a hurry, I'm just afraid you young people are too anxious. Walking in the community, Su Chen finally hung up the phone from the principal after a long conversation. Wow, everyone tells me not to worry, but in fact, they are more anxious than anyone. Su Chen shook his head. During these days of waiting for the ranking announcement, he had received calls from the class teacher, principal, and even the director of the education bureau more than once. The implication was to not worry, the ranking would be announced sooner or later. But their tone didn't sound like they weren't worried, they even wished the ranking results would be announced the day after the end of the college entrance examination. Of course, Su Chen could understand. After all, the city of Jiang needed a chance to prove themselves. But it's already the fifth day, shouldn't the results be announced by now? Just as Su Chen was muttering to himself, a message alert sounded, and he took out his phone, unlocked the screen, and checked the message, Jiangqing Second High School Examinee Su Chen, the ranking of the martial arts college entrance examination in Jiangnan province has been announced, please check it promptly. There was also a website link below the message. The college entrance examination ranking has been announced. Su Chen's eyes lit up, and without hesitation, he clicked on the link. Instantly, a document filled with the ranking of all examinees in the province appeared on his phone. Su Chen looked directly at the first line of the document, first place in Jiangnan province, Su Chen, Jiangqing Second High School, total score, points. First place, provincial champion of Jiangnan province. I did it. At this moment, even the usually calm Su Chen couldn't help but show a smile of joy and excitement, raising his fist. 
June 12th was the last day for the National Martial Arts College Entrance Examination Ranking Announcement. In other words, on this day, the ranking results would definitely be announced. In the Education Bureau of Ningen City, the provincial capital of Jiangnan Province, the director and a group of teachers were waiting in front of the computer, waiting for the announcement of the ranking results. Even in this not-so-small office, there were already many cakes and champagne drinks prepared, just waiting for the official announcement of the results to have a joyful celebration. Lei Zhou from Ningen First High School did well, scoring over 9,200 points, he should be the provincial champion. The probability is high, but it's not certain, I heard there are also a few talented students from the neighboring province. That's true, it depends on their luck. The teachers were all talking and discussing among themselves. Lei Zhou from Ningen First High School, with an A-level ability and first-order high-level strength, was a popular candidate for the provincial champion. The results have been announced. At this moment, the teacher who had been waiting in front of the computer all along suddenly brightened his eyes, opened the ranking list, but then was slightly stunned. What's wrong? The director of the Ningen City Education Bureau, who felt something was amiss, frowned and approached, only to find that the first place was actually an unfamiliar name, first in Jiangnan Province, Su Chen, Jiangqing Second High School, total score, points. What? The provincial champion is actually from Jiangcheng? The director's eyes widened in shock. This scene not only happened in the Ningen City Education Bureau but also in the education bureaus of other prefecture-level cities in Jiangnan Province. However, compared to the shock of various education bureaus, the news workers in Jiangnan Province were all stirred up. You see, Jiangnan Province is a populous province of the Great Xia Country. The province has 24 prefecture-level cities and nearly 34 county-level cities. The provincial capital Ningen City and several nearby prefecture-level cities are recognized as the most prosperous, with the highest concentration of supernaturals and the easiest place to produce geniuses. On the other hand, Jiangcheng in the far north of Jiangnan province is known for its lack of resources and scarcity of geniuses. In the past years, the provincial champions of Jiangnan province were all born in Ningen City or the nearby prefecture-level cities. But this year, it's completely different. The provincial champion actually comes from Jiangcheng, a place that is unknown to most people in Jiangnan province. What does this mean? It means traffic and a hot topic. So, these news workers began frantically collecting information related to Su Chen. Not checking, not knowing, but once checked, it's shocking. E-level supernaturals, awakening individuals who have not yet been promoted, each word and phrase stirred their nerves. It made them marvel while their eyes lit up, this is a natural hot topic. So, they, transformed into octopuses, edited articles of thousands of words in just a few minutes. Absolute dark horse. Provincial champion from Jiangcheng. Shocking. The provincial champion is still just an awakening individual. Who says an E-level supernatural cannot be a provincial champion? The titles of these articles all whetted the appetite. As soon as they were published on the internet, they attracted many netizens to click and browse. Especially the netizens of Jiangnan province, who kept leaving their comments below these articles. Aren't provincial champions usually first-tier high-level supernaturals? Can awakening individuals also become provincial champions? Can an E-level supernatural awakening individual become a provincial champion? If that's true, I'll eat sh asterisk t on the spot. The person above, just wait, I'm going to find his martial arts college entrance exam video now. The most common thing in the comments about these news was doubt. After all, the provincial champions of Jiangnan province in previous years were all first-tier high-level supernaturals. The level of supernatural abilities was at least A-level or B-level. Now, an E-level supernatural awakening individual suddenly emerged as the provincial champion, and naturally, no one believed it. Some people with extreme personalities even shouted in the comments. They said that there was a conspiracy in the martial arts college entrance exam this time, and Su Chen was actually the son of a behind-the-scenes big shot who was not competent, and was forcibly pushed into the position of provincial champion. Cheating in the martial arts college entrance exam is a very serious matter. After such comments, public opinion gradually fermented. Many people directly left messages on the official account of Jiangcheng, asking for the truth. Just as public opinion was escalating, the official account of Jiangcheng calmly released Su Chen's martial arts college entrance exam video. Some malicious commenters who were ready to criticize were dumbfounded. Su Chen, the provincial champion of Jiangnan province, is indeed an awakening individual. Damn, one shot pierced the skull of a first-tier rhinoceros. This power is even stronger than that of a first-tier supernatural. It looks like a strengthening-type power amplification supernatural ability, but he's just an awakening individual, how can the supernatural amplification be so strong? Damn, 
It's not a strengthening type, it's a lightning type. The power you told me about is a great E ability? And scrupulous media, spreading rumors without bottom line for traffic. Su Chen's martial arts college entrance exam video lasted for 12 hours, perfectly capturing every moment of him in the exam room. So, once the video was released, the voices questioning Su Chen quickly disappeared. Instead, there was admiration for Su Chen's superb marksmanship and powerful lightning ability. Topics about Su Chen exploded on the internet, igniting a hot discussion in the local Jiangcheng area as well. The martial arts college entrance exam is a topic for everyone to participate in. However, in the past Jiangcheng high school entrance exams, the best results were only in the top 100 in Jiangnan province. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. So, people in Jiangcheng didn't pay much attention to it before. But now it's different. Jiangcheng has produced the provincial champion. Many people eagerly posted topics on the internet. Some people who already knew Su Chen even identified themselves as Su Chen's friends. As for the local media in Jiangcheng, they became busy and rushed to Jiangcheng Second High School in a swarm, wanting to interview the principal. As early as when Su Chen scored over 10,000 points, the principal had anticipated this scene. So, dressed in a suit, he faced many microphones without any panic, speaking confidently. In addition, Su Chen's homeroom teacher and various subject teachers were also interviewed. This time, the usually strict homeroom teacher never stopped smiling. In their words, there was no shortage of praise for Su Chen. In addition to Jiangcheng Second High School, senior officials from the city's education bureau and city government were also interviewed. Su Chen is the pride of our Jiangcheng people. To achieve such results, it is inseparable from his own efforts. Of course, it also cannot be separated from the school and the education bureau's strong cultivation. According to tradition, the director of the education bureau, Zhang Wenshan, passionately spoke a few official words. He then announced that Su Chen would be rewarded with 1 million in cash and a gift of an ability training method. After the city's education bureau commendation, the city government quickly followed suit. They announced that they would award Su Chen with 1 million in cash and gift him a luxury villa in the city. Commending the provincial champion is an old tradition in each province. Although compared to provincial capitals like Ningen City, Jiangcheng is much poorer, but they can still afford a few million. In addition, the heat brought to Jiangcheng by Su Chen far exceeds the government's efforts. Su Chen was unaware of the storms on the internet. After receiving congratulatory calls from his younger sister and the school principal, he went straight to the Thunder Martial Arts Hall. Although he had the system, he couldn't neglect his basic training. Inside the training room, the nearly scrapped Black Star Spear turned into a Black Phantom under his swing. Because the swinging speed was too fast, the air occasionally emitted sharp whistles. The 50 kilogram weight of the Black Star Spear seemed to have no effect on him at all. Every movement was very standard. Ding Ling Ling the phone rang, interrupting Su Chen's training. He frowned, put away the spear, picked up his phone, and saw that the caller ID was from Zhao Yao, the principal of Jiangcheng Second High School. Didn't the principal just call a moment ago? Why is he calling again? Su Chen's identity as the provincial champion destined him to become famous next. However, he didn't like being disturbed, especially during training. So, he had set his phone to whitelist mode early on, but he didn't expect the principal to call two or three times in a row. However, Su Chen also knew that with the principal's character, he wouldn't call if it wasn't important. So, he no longer hesitated and pressed the answer button on the screen. Sure enough, as soon as the phone connected, Principal Zhao Yao's excited voice came through, Su Chen, hurry to the school, the enrollment teachers from the top three elite universities have already arrived. The enrollment teachers are here so quickly? Su Chen was somewhat surprised. The three top-tier supernatural universities, with Qingjing Supernatural University located in the north of Daxia Country and Jincheng Supernatural University located in the central part of Daxia Country. They are quite far from Jiangnan Province, with perhaps only the Supernatural University in Modu being slightly closer to Jiangnan. According to his estimation, these enrollment teachers wouldn't arrive until tomorrow at the earliest. Don't worry so much. Where are you? I'll arrange a special car to pick you up. I'm on the side of Thunder Martial Arts Hall. Alright, just wait a moment, the special car will be there soon. On the other side, at Jiangqing Second High School, Principal Zhao Yao, who was still being interviewed, was surprised when he learned that the enrollment teachers from the top three elite universities had come together. He immediately stopped the interview, called Su Chen to come to the school, and personally led the three mentors to the school's VIP reception room, offering each of them a cup of hot tea. Please have a seat for a while, Su Chen will be here in more than 10 minutes. As a second-tier supernatural being and the principal in charge of a high school, Zhao Yao was considered a prominent figure in the entire Jiangcheng. But now his attitude was very humble, and his demeanor was very respectful. 
because he knew that these three big shots were not to be provoked under any circumstances. Even the aura inadvertently emitted by them, belonging to high-tier supernatural beings, made him tremble. It's okay, Principal Zhao, you can go ahead and be busy, we'll wait here for a while. Zhang Chaoyang, the enrollment office director of the Supernatural University in Modu, smiled gently and waved his hand. After Zhao Ya left, he turned to the other two and said with a smile, It seems like it's been a long time since we've gathered like this, right? In the room, besides him, there were a man and a woman. They were Su Yun from Qingjing Supernatural University, a plump and good-looking woman, and Wu Yuan from Jincheng Supernatural University, a middle-aged man in a gray robe with long hair. Like Zhang Chaoyang, they were the enrollment office directors of their respective schools. Back when they hadn't become directors yet, they had met at various provincial special enrollment events. But since becoming enrollment directors, they rarely traveled outside and hadn't met again. And now, for Su Chen, the three of them had Raral. At the moment she saw Zhang Chaoyang and Wu Yuan, she knew that everyone's purpose was the same. They all came for the high possibility of S-level ability on Su Chen. In that case, after Su Chen arrives later, let's first determine the level of his ability? Hearing Zhang Chaoyang's suggestion, Su Yun and Wu Yuan glanced at each other, then nodded, okay, let's first determine the level of the ability before discussing enrollment. For a moment, the entire VIP reception room fell into silence. But not long after, there was a swish sound, and the sliding door of the meeting room opened. A tall figure carrying a long spear walked in under the leadership of Principal Zhao Yao. This person is Su Chen. As soon as he walked into the reception room, three pairs of eyes focused on him simultaneously. Because he came from the Thunder Marshal Hall, Su Chen was still wearing ordinary loose training clothes. He carried the broken black shining spear on his back. This posture, compared to the well-dressed Principal Zhao Yao next to him, seemed somewhat shabby. However, his upright posture, and the calm and steady look in his black and white eyes, made him appear more composed than Principal Zhao Yao, who seemed somewhat uneasy facing the three special enrollment teachers. Not bad, Su Yun nodded involuntarily. After the martial arts entrance exam, most candidates would indulge themselves due to the suppressed high school life for three years, without thinking about training at all. But Su Chen in front of them had just finished training, which ordinary candidates could not compare to. Moreover, the three of them were all fifth-order mental ability users, although they did not display their abilities. The oppressive feeling they unintentionally emitted was not something ordinary ability users could resist. This could be seen from Principal Zhao Yao standing nearby. However, Su Chen showed no reaction to this, indicating his firm will and unwavering determination. Su Yun could see this as a fifth-order ability user, and naturally, everyone else could see it too. Therefore, upon their first meeting, Su Chen left a good impression on the three enrollment teachers. Su Chen, let me introduce you. This is Su Yun, a teacher from Qingjing Ability University, and this is. With Principal Zhao Yao's introduction, Su Chen quickly learned the identities of the three teachers. Hello, teachers, Su Chen said respectfully. He could vaguely sense the dangerous aura emanating from these three teachers. Needless to say, they were at least fourth order ability users. Su, we have watched your martial arts entrance exam combat video. Your combat ability is very strong and impressive. However, I have a question. Your ability does not seem to be the E-level ability, weak electricity, registered when your ability awakened. Can you tell us the reason? If it's inconvenient to say, it's okay, we're just curious, Zhang Chaoyang spoke first, with a very gentle attitude. Seeing this, Principal Zhao Yao also couldn't help but show a curious expression. Of course, the day before the entrance exam. Su Chen, who was well prepared for this, repeated the explanation he had given to his cousin before. Being struck by natural thunder, resulting in a mutation of the ability? That's a possibility. Before coming, the three teachers had already done their homework. They knew that Su Chen had been directly struck by thunder the day before the entrance exam. So they nodded in agreement with this explanation. Then, Zhang Chaoyang in the middle stretched out his right hand. Like magic, a sci-fi black device appeared in his hand out of thin air. The other two teachers were not surprised by this. Su, you probably don't know what your ability is after the mutation, right? I happen to have brought an ability detection device from the school, come and try it. Su Chen nodded in response and walked up directly. He had only seen an ability detection device when he awakened his ability at the age of 16. The instrument used during the supernatural awakening ceremony was quite large, resembling a double-door refrigerator. This small detection device was unfamiliar to him and he didn't know how to use it. Just unleash your supernatural power, Zhang Chaoyang reminded. Hearing this, Su Chen nodded, took a deep breath, and directly triggered the purple sky divine thunder. Crackling sounds in an instant, the violent and dazzling purple thunder surrounded him. Such violent thunder. 
Several teachers were amazed. They could sense the violent power contained in the thunder. This power even made them, as Fifth Order Supernaturals, slightly palpitate. At this moment, the supernatural detection device in front of Su Chun started operating, and a blue light beam projected from the device. It scanned the thunder and Su Chun from head to toe. Then, under the expectant gazes of the three special admission teachers and the principal, a mechanical electronic prompt sounded from the device, Supernatural detection complete, the supernatural power is Purple Sky Divine Thunder, rated as S-Class. It's actually an S-Class supernatural power. Principal Zhao Yao's eyes widened. He had guessed that Su Chen's supernatural power might have mutated, but he never expected it to directly mutate from E-Class to S-Class. Although the other three teachers had anticipated this, seeing Su Chen with an S-Class supernatural power still made their breathing quicken involuntarily. Wu Yuan, the enrollment teacher from Jincheng University, with envy in his eyes, was the first to speak, Su, as long as you come to our Jincheng Supernatural University, we will reward you with a 4 million scholarship upon enrollment, plus a set of C-class equipment. In addition, for the four years of university, any supernatural training methods and combat skills you need will be provided for free by our school. A 4 million scholarship. Zhao Yao was shocked. The city had just awarded 2 million, and now another 4 million. Money seemed to be no object anymore. Furthermore, this set of C-class equipment was worth millions. Of course, for supernaturals, supernatural training methods and various combat skills were priceless treasures that money couldn't buy. Indeed, geniuses are priceless. Zhao Yao sighed. When he was at the supernatural university, he had to risk his life hunting many fierce beasts to gather enough money to purchase a combat skill. But now, they were just given for free. Ha, is this little thing worth showing off? Su Yin from Qingjing University raised an eyebrow, staring directly at Su Chen. Su, if you come to our Qingjing Supernatural University, not only will you receive supernatural training methods and various combat skills, but we will also give you a 6 million enrollment reward and all the equipment you need for the four years of university. Located in the capital of Dasha country, Qingjing Supernatural University was obviously more generous, offering a hefty sum right from the start. After some contemplation, Zhang Chaoyang also stated the conditions of his school, we have supernatural training methods and combat skills, just like their school. However, we do not provide scholarships or equipment. Instead, every academic year, we will provide you with an S-Class Cultivation Resource. S-Class Cultivation Resource? What is that? Su Chen looked puzzled. Su Yun and Wu Yuan exchanged a glance, both seeing the shock in each other's eyes. Su Chen didn't know, did they not know either? The so-called S-Class Cultivation Resources were invaluable treasures that could not be measured by value. Even for them, as Fifth Order Supernaturals, S-Class Cultivation Resources were very useful. And now, the Modu Supernatural University actually promised to provide one every year. How bold was that? You know about the Dragon Clan of Fierce Beasts, right? Facing Zhang Chaoyang's question, Su Chen nodded. The Fierce Beast clans were divided by race, some weaker, some stronger. And some naturally powerful and dragon-like Fierce Beast clans were given the title of Dragon Clan. From birth, they are already at the 4th or 5th rank and as adults, they can reach the 7th or 8th rank. Just so you know, among our S-level resources, there is a resource called Dragon Blood. It is taken from the heart blood of 8th rank Dragon Beasts, and after consuming Dragon Blood, the physique will be greatly enhanced, even comparable to Dragon Beasts. And each of our S-level resources is of the same level as Dragon Blood, do you understand now? Zheng Chaoyang said with a smile. It was because Su Chen's special admission level was rated as S+, otherwise he would not have offered such luxurious conditions. Dragon Blood. S-level cultivation resource. Principal Zhao Yao used to think he had seen a lot. But after seeing the conditions offered by the three major universities to recruit Su Chen, he suddenly realized that his horizons were too narrow. Su Chen was also shocked to hear this. S-level cultivation resources are indeed tempting. Well, it's time for you to make a decision. Which of the top three universities will you choose? The three teachers' eyes focused on Su Chen, waiting for his choice. Faced with the gaze of the three teachers, Su Chen remained silent for a moment and said, I choose the Magic City Supernatural University. Because supernatural points must be obtained by killing fierce beasts, he paid more attention to the top university's practical combat training capabilities. Through his research on resources during this period, he found that the nearly 20 sessions of the University Alliance competitions were known for their practical combat. Almost half of them were won by the Magic City Supernatural University. This is enough to show that the Magic City Supernatural University has the strongest training in practical combat among the three universities. Coupled with the S-level resources provided by the other party, 
the Magic City Supernatural University can be said to be the best choice. Indeed, it is the Magic City Supernatural University. Su Yun and Wu Yuan couldn't help but sigh. In front of S-level cultivation resources, the conditions offered by their two schools were indeed much paler. But this was not their fault, the school had only so many resources for recruiting special admission students. S-level cultivation resources that are very useful for high-level supernatural beings cannot be used for recruiting new students. Since the school does not allow it, they cannot offer more attractive admission conditions. Teacher Zhang, congratulations, your Magic City Supernatural University has snatched a good seed this time. The tense atmosphere was limited to the recruitment process, and now that the result was determined, Su Yun and Wu Yuan congratulated Zhang Chaoyang. Then they did not linger inside as they left. The top scorer in Jiangnan province had no chance, but the second and third places still needed to be fought for. Take care, both of you. Zheng Chaoyang bid farewell to the two teachers with a smile on his face, then turned to Su Chen. Su Chen, welcome to our Magic City Supernatural University. Our school will definitely not disappoint your expectations. After that, he took out the admission letter that had been prepared long ago and handed it over. This is your admission letter, you will need it when you report to the school. Also, here is a special admission contract, please sign it. Zhang Chaoyang handed over another contract. The text on the contract was very concise, stating that Su Chen could access all the supernatural training methods and combat skills in the Magic City Supernatural University Library. In addition, he would receive an S-level cultivation resource every year. There were two copies of the contract, both stamped with the official seal of the Magic City Supernatural University. After confirming the content, Su Chen signed his name on both copies, giving one to Zhang Chaoyang and keeping one for himself. Very well, Su Chen, you are now a member of our Magic City Supernatural University. Magic City Supernatural University is looking forward to your arrival. Zhang Chaoyang, who had the contract in hand, also breathed a sigh of relief. Having secured an S-level Supernatural Awakener, this trip did not disappoint the school's expectations. With a flick of his hand, the contract disappeared into thin air. In this scene, Xu Chen, who had been very curious, couldn't help but ask eagerly, Teacher Zhang, where is your contract? You mean this? Zhang Chaoyang smiled and raised his right hand, wearing a delicate ring on his index finger. Then, with a flash of light, the contract appeared out of thin air in his hand. This is a spatial ring, created by the abilities of spatial system users. It can store small items inside, Zhang Chaoyang explained with a smile. A spatial ring. Xu Chen was shocked. Wasn't this something from fantasy novels in his past life? It was actually realized in this world. However, upon second thought, he felt relieved. If even spatial abilities existed, it seemed reasonable to create a spatial ring. When I have the chance, I'll get one too, Xu Chen secretly decided. There was no way he could resist something like a spatial ring. The price of a spatial ring is not cheap. If you want to buy one, you'll have to work hard for it, Zhang Chaoyang encouraged, seemingly sensing Xu Chen's thoughts. Pausing for a moment, he added, also, the registration date for new students at our school is September 1st. You can choose to register early, and we can provide accommodation for you. Of course, for special admission students like you, we always encourage early registration. Can I register early? Does that mean I can access the library's abilities training methods and combat skills after enrollment? Xu Chen's eyes lit up as he asked eagerly. Of course, Zheng Chaoyang nodded. That's fantastic. Xu Chen had thought he would have to wait until the start of school to enjoy the vast resources for cultivation at the Magic City Abilities University. But now, he could enroll early. How could he not be excited? Teacher Zhang, I will register at the school as soon as possible. Good, here is my contact information. When you arrive at the school, just call me directly. Zhang Chaoyang left his contact information and then left without lingering. Thus, in the spacious VIP reception room, only Xu Chen and Principal Zhao Yao remained. Phew, they're finally all gone. The pressure from these high-level abilities users is incredibly strong, Zhao Yao sighed in relief, wiping the sweat from his forehead. Then, he looked at the exquisite admission letter in Xu Chen's hand as if it were a treasure. The admission letter to the Magic City Abilities University. This is a great honor. Come, call your class teacher, let's take a big group photo together. Led by Principal Zhao Yao, Xu Chen held the admission letter to the Magic City Abilities University. At the entrance of the second high school, they took a group photo with Principal Zhao Yao and the teachers of Class 5. In the photo, every teacher's smile was particularly bright. This photo was placed in the center of the honor room at the second high school of Jiangcheng, becoming an example for many students to imitate and learn from in the future. During the photo shoot, 
Xuchen also received calls from the Municipal Education Bureau and the city government. Learning about the generous rewards they offered, he readily agreed to show up on the day of reward distribution. After all, with so many rewards given, it was only right to show up and promote his hometown, right? After leaving the school, Xuchen bought many gifts in the city center. Then he took a taxi to the Quiet Lake community where his aunt lived. Unlike Xuchen's simple neighborhood, Quiet Lake was a high-end villa area. The security at the entrance was very strict, and without the owner's permission, almost no one could enter. Fortunately, Xuchen had previously obtained visitor access here, so he entered the community smoothly. Ding Dong Xuchen stood at the villa's entrance and rang the doorbell. After a while, the door opened, and his aunt Su Qingwan's figure appeared. Seeing Su Chen, Su Qingwan's eyes lit up. Xiao Ming, why are you here? Come in, come in. The provincial rankings have been released, I thought you, the provincial champion, would be very busy. I didn't expect you to come at this time. Lao Tang, Xiao Ming is here, go make some tea. Su Qingwan warmly led Su Chen into the villa's living room. Xiao Ming is here. A sturdy man walked out of the study. Uncle. Su Chen politely greeted. This man is his uncle Tang Daolin. Have a seat first, I'll make tea for you. Uncle Tang Daolin nodded with a smile, then shouted upstairs, Chi Chi, your cousin is here. Clatter. Accompanied by footsteps, Tang Chi Chi descended the stairs with graceful steps. Chi Chi's sister. Su Chen also smiled and called out. Su Chen, well done, you really got the provincial champion title. I didn't have time to call earlier, but it's still not too late to congratulate you now, right? Tang Chi Chi smiled and sat next to Su Qingwan. Of course, it's not too late. Su Chen smiled, by the way, these are the gifts I brought for you. There's a face mask for auntie, skincare products for Chi Chi's sister, and tea leaves for uncle. Su Chen took out the gifts one by one. Xiao Ming, you are so thoughtful. Aunt Su Qingwan was about to accept them without much ceremony, but she found that these gifts were from relatively luxurious brands. Altogether, they were worth at least 10 to 20,000. She couldn't help but widen her eyes. Why did you buy such expensive gifts? You will need money for your university expenses later. Quickly return them all later, and when you earn money, you can buy them for us. Auntie, I earned these gifts myself. Su Chen grinned, because I got the provincial champion title, the city is planning to reward me with 2 million, an ability training method, and a luxurious villa. These gifts worth 10 to 20,000 are not a burden for me. Of course, even without the city's reward, it was only right to buy some valuable gifts for Auntie's family who had helped him over the years. Wan Qing, you should accept them. I also saw the announcement of the rewards from the city online. In addition to the city, many local companies in Jiangcheng have openly expressed their intention to send you equipment and resources. Uncle smiled as he brought a cup of steaming tea. I see. Su Qingwan nodded and didn't refuse further. I can accept the city's reward, but I can't take the things those companies want to send. Su Chen nodded in understanding. The city government had official backing, so there was no problem with accepting rewards from the state. However, it might not be the same with private companies. Accepting gifts from them could potentially lead to trouble in the future. By the way, your uncle just said the city also gave you a villa. Where is this villa located? Aunt Su Qingwan curiously asked. The city said I can choose freely, as long as it's within Jiangcheng. But I haven't decided where to pick yet. Su Chen replied. Then you should just choose our Jinghu community directly, it will be convenient for you to move around in the future. Su Qingwan quickly suggested. Okay. Su Chen readily agreed. For him, who had lost both parents and was alone, a house was just a place to sleep at night, anywhere would do. Since auntie wanted him to live here, he would. Uncle Tang Daolin on the side, however, felt a bit emotional. It took him half a lifetime of hard work to earn this house. And now, Su Chen not only didn't need to spend a penny, but others were also eager to give him things. Truly admirable. I have some training issues, so when you move in, I can also seek advice from you. Tang Chi Chi said with a smile. Although she and Su Chun used different weapons, one a dagger and the other a long spear. But the other party's combat experience is obviously much stronger than his own, and they can also provide some training guidance. Okay. Su Chen nodded, paused, and hesitated, but I may not be able to guide you for long. Once things are settled here, I will have to leave. Leave? Where are you going? Su Qingwan was surprised. I'm going to report for enrollment in Magic City. Su Chen took out his admission letter. Just now, I have been admitted to the Magic City Supernatural University. Admitted already? But isn't it too early to start filling out preferences? Su Qingwan was slightly stunned. Filling out preferences starts on the third day after the announcement of the results of the Martial Arts College entrance examination. Xiaoming is the provincial champion and is taking the special admission route. 
so there's no need to wait for preferences. Uncle Tang Daoling shook his head and explained. Special admission. To think that enrollment registration is happening so soon. Su Qingwan felt a bit disappointed. She had wanted to have a good time with Su Chen during this holiday. However, she also knew that the Magic City Supernatural University is the top university in the country. Su Chen's decision to enroll early must have his own considerations. Children grow up after all. Su Qingwan shook her head and quickly regained her composure. Going to the Magic City Supernatural University is a good thing. Today, my treat. I'll take you all out for a big meal. It's also a celebration for Xiaoming being the provincial champion. Great, I want to eat lobster feast. Tang Chi's eyes lit up, and Su Chen also smiled. And so, the whole family happily went out. In the following days, Su Chen first made an appearance at the city government's event and received a cash reward of 2 million. He then chose a two-story detached villa in the Jinghu community, with a total area of over 400 square meters. All the furniture in the villa was brand new, and he didn't touch the furniture from the original community. In addition, he invited his high school buddies Zhang Hao and Lu Jie to have a meal. At the dinner table, the two buddies were full of envy for Su Chen's rise. Knowing that Su Chen was struck by lightning and his ability mutated from E level to S level, they even exclaimed that he had great luck. They eagerly ordered several more lobsters. Of course, their own achievements were not bad either. Lu Jie scored 245 points in the martial arts college entrance examination, securing his place in the supernatural university. Zhang Hao, who took the cultural college entrance examination, also reached the admission line for a key university. However, compared to the Magic City Supernatural University that admitted Su Chen, there was naturally no comparison. In the end, Zhang Hao and Lu Jia both got drunk. Aiming, you got into the Magic City Supernatural University, you must get me a signed photo of Zhang Goddess. Before getting into the taxi, Zhang Hao mumbled in a blurry consciousness. Jiang Goddess, whose real name is Jiang Chushen, is a supernatural being from the Magic City Supernatural University. In the past six months, she became popular on the internet due to a video of her killing ferocious beasts. In the video, her stunning beauty and decisive killing style created a strong contrast. Thus, she was called Jiang Goddess, and Zhang Hao was her diehard fan. Su Chen naturally agreed to this request and finally calmed him down before sending him off in the taxi. With this, all matters in Jiangcheng were settled. The next day, June 16th, under the gaze of his aunt's family, Su Chen carried his suitcase and boarded the high-speed train to Magic City. Xiaoming, once he leaves, he's probably going to soar to great heights. Uncle Tang Daolin looked at the departing high-speed train with emotion. Who could have imagined that Su Chen would become the provincial champion and be admitted to the Magic City Supernatural University? By the way, Chi Chi, it's time to start filling out preferences. Since your cousin Su Chen is going to the Magic City Supernatural University, you should also try to choose universities in that area, so that you can take care of each other in the future. Your dad is right, the development in the magic city is good, the economy is prosperous, and it's not far from Jiangnan, it's a good choice. Mom, Dad, I understand. The straight line distance between Jiangcheng and the magic city is about 600 kilometers, even by high-speed rail it takes over 3 hours. Before boarding the high-speed train, Su Chen called Zhang Chaoyang to inform him of his arrival today. Unexpectedly, Zhang Chaoyan was unusually enthusiastic, saying he would drive to the Magic City high-speed rail station to wait in advance. Su Chen couldn't refuse him, so he had to let him do so. After boarding the train, Su Chen stored his luggage and found his seat. He closed his eyes and rested by the window. At the same time, he recalled the content of the supernatural power training method. Besides the 2 million bonus and a villa given to him by Jiang Chang, the most important thing was the supernatural power training method. It was a supernatural power training method called Abyssal Sea Training Method. Like supernatural powers, supernatural power training methods also have different levels, elementary, intermediate, advanced, and top tier. The higher the level, the faster the cultivation speed. And this Abyssal Sea Training Method is an intermediate supernatural power training method. The original supernatural power training method was controlled by the Jiangcheng government, and what Su Chen received was only a copy. However, the content was the same and there was no difference in cultivation. The content of the supernatural power training method was not extensive. With Su Chen's extraordinary mental power of 180 Hz, he memorized all the content in just over two days. According to the content of the supernatural power training method, there is a special energy roaming in the world. Only by absorbing this energy can the power of supernatural abilities be enhanced. On the first day of receiving the supernatural power training method, Su Chen sensed the special energy according to the content of the training method. 
At the same time, a plus sign appeared after the level on the system panel. However, he did not immediately choose to use supernatural points to upgrade. Because according to the content of the Abyssal Sea training method, transforming from an awakened person to a supernatural being, using a higher level supernatural power training method to break through would yield greater benefits. And when he entered the Magic City Supernatural University, he would be able to access top-tier supernatural power training methods. Naturally, he would not choose to break through with an intermediate supernatural power training method. The first thing to do after reporting for enrollment is to go to the library to check the supernatural power training methods. Su Chen silently thought to himself. Due to the boredom on the road and the inability to train, he, who had originally closed his eyes to rest, leaned lightly against the window, feeling drowsy, and simply fell asleep on the table. The high-speed train from Jiancheng to the Magic City stops at several stations along the way. One of them is the capital of Jiangnan province, Ningen City. Several seats around Su Chun were originally empty, but after arriving in Ningen City, they were all taken. Several young people boarded the train, and one of the young men kept talking after sitting down. In no time, he successfully dispelled Su Chen's already blurry drowsiness, forcing him to end his nap and open his eyes. He was sitting in a four-person seat with a table in the middle. At this moment, the seats opposite him were occupied by a young man and a young woman. Beside him, there was also a girl with glasses. The young man who had been talking non-stop since boarding was sitting directly opposite Su Chen. The Huangpu Supernatural University in the Magic City is also considered a good school. Last year's minimum admission score was 406 points. My score this time is 421 points, not much higher, but basically secured a spot. And my brother is also from Huangpu Supernatural University. When we arrive in the Magic City, I can take you inside for a tour. Huangpu Supernatural University is generally not open to outsiders, so with my brother there, you guys are really lucky this time. The boy dressed meticulously and talked a lot, mostly showing off his high scores in the martial arts entrance exam and his connections at Huangpu Supernatural University. The glasses girl next to Su Chen occasionally chimed in. The quiet girl next to the boy opposite Su Chen seemed a bit impatient, hardly saying a word. In fact, Lu Qian's patience with Zhang Chang was almost at its limit. After the martial arts entrance exam, she and her best friend both wanted to apply to universities in the Magic City. So they bought high-speed train tickets for today to go there directly. However, they didn't expect to meet Zhang Chang next to them after boarding the train. Upon learning their purpose, he began to boast incessantly. At first, she was patient and would smile and agree. But as time passed, these two things were repeated over a dozen times, making her feel a bit annoyed. However, out of politeness, she couldn't bring herself to ask him to stop talking. This even woke up the person sleeping quietly across from them. Lu Qian was about to apologize when she saw the other person's appearance and was pleasantly surprised. What a handsome guy. The boy across from her had sword-like eyebrows, a high nose bridge, and very handsome features. His appearance was no less impressive than male celebrities on TV. Although she wasn't a fangirl, seeing such a handsome guy couldn't help but make her feel good, especially with the incessant chatter of the fly next to her. Sorry for disturbing you, Lu Qian said apologetically. Su Chen waved his hand, indicating that he didn't mind. Hello, I'm Sun Rue. Are you also going to the Magic City? Compared to Lu Qian's quiet demeanor, the glasses girl next to Su Chen was much more outgoing. Seeing that Su Chen was about the same age as her, she took the initiative to greet them. Su Chen, also going to the Magic City. In response to Sun Rue's question, Su Chen politely nodded. All going to the Magic City, we must be destined. Lu Qian smiled and said friendly, I'm Lu Qian, planning to visit the Supernatural University in the Magic City. I'm going for a trip and to visit my brother at Huangpu Supernatural University. The boy next to Lu Qian chimed in, I'm Zhang Chang. Are you also visiting schools in the Magic City? Sort of, Su Chen replied without elaborating. That's great, we'll all go to Huangpu Supernatural University later, Zhang Chang said with a hint of superiority in his tone, not to brag. With so many universities in the Magic City, Huangpu Supernatural University is also top-notch. After the application process, I'm also going to Huangpu Supernatural University. Su Chen was speechless at his words. As an international metropolis, the Magic City not only had the top-notch Magic City Supernatural University but also some other good supernatural colleges. However, among these colleges, Huangpu Supernatural University, with an admission score of just over 400 points, was not considered very good. Of course, for ordinary candidates, it was indeed a prestigious school. Su Chen had no desire to speak to strangers. Lu Qian was also a quiet girl, while Sun Rui was slightly more lively. But she seemed to prefer listening rather than talking. 
So in the following conversation, Zheng Chang naturally took the lead, enthusiastically boasting about his exam scores and connections at Huangpu Supernatural University, trying to attract Lu Qian's attention. However, his words were too clumsy, even Su Qian couldn't help but shake his head inwardly, not to mention Lu Qian, who practically had the word disgust written on her forehead. But compared to when they first boarded the train, Lu Qian's patience was much stronger now. After all, there was now an eye-catching handsome guy, right? So, in the following time, Lu Qian's gaze almost always wandered to Su Chen. Time passed quickly, and by noon, the train finally arrived at the Magic City high-speed railway station. Su Chen and his group followed the crowd out. Along the way, Zhang Chang tried to get Lu Qian's contact information but was unsuccessful. Soon, the group walked out of the high-speed railway station. Outside the station, there were taxis and private cars waiting to pick up passengers. When Zhang Chang saw one of the cars, his eyes lit up, and he quickly approached Lu Qian, offering, My brother's car is here, why don't you come with us? We can visit the Huangpu Supernatural University together. After saying that, he looked apologetically at Su Chen and added, But my brother's car doesn't have enough seats. If you want to come with us, you'll have to take a taxi. Don't worry, we'll wait for you at the school gate. Most sedans have five seats, which was enough for the four of them. He deliberately said this to try to push Su Chen out. After all, he wasn't blind and had noticed that Lu Qian's attention had been mostly on Su Qian during the train ride earlier. Even a fool could see that Lu Qian had a favorable impression of Su Qian. However, his attempt to push Su Qian out not only did not yield the desired result but also earned him a look from Su Qian as if he were a fool. When did I say I wanted to go with you? Lu Qian also realized what was happening, furrowing her brows and saying, Zhang Chang, your car only has four seats? Are you deliberately targeting someone? I absolutely didn't mean that. I just thought it might be a bit crowded with more people. Since you said that, let's go together. My brother's car has space. Seeing Lu Qian getting angry, Zhang Chang hesitated for a moment and immediately changed his tune. He wanted to push Su Qian out, but it would be meaningless if Lu Qian left. Who do you think would be interested in visiting the Huangpu Supernatural University? Lu Qian glared at him and then turned to Su Qian, saying, Su Qian, if you don't mind, you can take a taxi with us. We had planned to visit several universities before coming here, and we can go together. The Huangpu Supernatural University was indeed a good school and generally not open to outsiders. Under normal circumstances, she would have been interested in visiting. However, she was fed up with Zhang Chang's shameless flaunting. Now, deliberately targeting others was something she couldn't tolerate. Sun Rui on the side also noticed that Zhang Chang seemed to be deliberately targeting Su Chen. Although she also wanted to visit the Huangpu Supernatural University, she stood firmly by Lu Qian's side at this moment. Smiling at Su Chen, she invited, Come with us, it'll be more fun with one more person. You. You guys. Zhang Chang's once handsome face turned red with anger. However, Su Chen didn't even look at him and said to Lu Qian and Sun Rui, I have a car going to the Magic City University City. I'll ask if I can take you both. If it's okay, I can take you there. Magic City University City. Lu Qian was slightly surprised. Magic City University City was a famous attraction in the Magic City. There, not only were the top three national universities but also the Magic City Supernatural University. The surrounding universities were also among the best in the country, with high admission scores. Of course, because they were prestigious schools, visiting required advance reservations. Due to its popularity, reservations for visits were already booked several months in advance, and they hadn't secured a spot. Even if they went, they would just be making a wasted trip as they wouldn't be able to enter the school. However, as a famous attraction, just seeing it from the outside would be nice. After some thought, Lu Qian nodded and said, Okay, let's go together. Su Chen saw Zhang Chaoyang's car when he came out of the subway station, so he walked towards it with Lu Qian and Sun Rui. Humph, even the Huangpu Supernatural University couldn't make an appointment with, I don't believe you can get into the schools on the other side of the Magic City University town. Watching the three of them leave together, Zhang Chang couldn't help but feel a bit sarcastic. But then, after seeing the direction Su Chen was heading, his eyes widened, this guy, could he be trying to get on that car? In the direction Su Chen was walking, there was a Mercedes X100 off-road vehicle parked. The Mercedes X100 is a military off-road vehicle that can accelerate to a speed of 100 km per hour in just 1.8 seconds, suitable for any complex terrain. It is the favorite off-road vehicle model for adventurers in the wilderness, with an official price tag of over tens of millions. Of course, in the economically developed Magic City, a car worth tens of millions is nothing. The most eye-catching feature is the huge emblem on the engine hood and doors of the vehicle. 
In the center of the emblem is a sharp sword, surrounded by roses with thorns. Overall, it looks both domineering and magnificent. Almost everyone in the Magic City recognizes this emblem. It is the emblem of the Magic City Supernatural University. Although Zhang Chang is not a native of the Magic City, as a college entrance examinee, he naturally recognizes the emblem of the Magic City Supernatural University. In fact, he noticed this car as soon as he walked out of the high-speed rail station. He just thought it was there to pick up someone important from the Magic City Supernatural University, so he didn't pay much attention. He didn't expect that this car was actually waiting for Su Chen. Impossible. Absolutely impossible, he must be going for another vehicle. Zheng Chang stared at Su Chen, hoping he was wrong. However, Su Chen, along with Lu Qian and Sun Rui, smoothly got into the car and drove away. This car is really waiting specifically for Su Chen. Zhang Chang, in the distance, was dumbfounded. The special car of the Magic City Supernatural University is not easily accessible and is generally only used to receive important figures. In other words, this casually dressed Su Chen is actually a VIP of the Magic City Supernatural University. Phew, that was close. Shocked, Zhang Chang also felt somewhat fortunate. Fortunately, he didn't make too big of a mistake, or it would have been troublesome. On the other side, with the approval of the admissions office director Zhang Chaoyang, Su Chen got into the car with the two people. Lu Chen and Sun Rui also naturally recognized the emblem of the Magic City Supernatural University. They just didn't expect that this kind of car was waiting for Su Chen. When they came back to their senses, the two of them had already been taken into the car. Are these your friends? Zhang Chaoyang asked with a smile from the driver's seat. I met them on the high-speed rail. They want to apply for universities on this side of the Magic City and came for a field visit. I think there are quite a few schools in the Magic City University town, so I'm taking them there on the way. Su Chen briefly explained from the passenger seat. Oh, there are indeed some good schools on that side of the university town, but if you want to visit, you need to make an appointment in advance. Have you all made appointments? Zhang Chaoyang mentioned. In the back seat, Lu Qian and Sun Rui, who were intimidated by Zhang Chaoyang's high-level supernatural aura when they got in the car, shook their heads quickly. You need to make an appointment to visit the school? Su Chen frowned, this was something he hadn't expected. It was my oversight. When we get there, I'll take a taxi to send you to where you originally planned to go. Su Chen apologized, but Lu Qian and Sun Rui in the back row quickly waved their hands. It's okay, we were just planning to walk around outside the school. Just walking around is fine. Here are two visit passes for all the schools in the Magic City University town, you can use them. During a red light, Zhang Chaoyang handed over two passes from the front. Visit passes. Lu Qian and Sun Rui's eyes lit up at the same time. They certainly knew that there were tour tickets available for the Magic City University City, but the tickets on the official website were simply impossible to get. Scalpers had tickets, but they were asking for two to three thousand for just one, which the students couldn't afford. This is too expensive. We can't accept it. Although they really wanted to, Lu Qian and Sun Rui resisted the temptation and shook their heads in refusal. It's just two tickets. What's so expensive about that? I have a bunch more here. Zhang Chaoyan laughed and opened the box of miscellaneous items in the car. Inside the box, neatly stacked, were a pile of such tickets, at least a hundred. These were all given to me by others. I have no use for them. Since you are both friends of Su, there's no harm in giving you two. As the director of the admissions office, Zhang Chaoyang would receive many such tickets every year. However, students from the Magic City Supernatural University could freely enter and exit all schools in the university city, so they naturally didn't need these tickets. Left with him, they were as useless as waste paper. In fact, the ones in the car were only a small part. In his office drawer, there were still at least a hundred more. Since the other party had said so, Lu Qian and Sun Rui knew. If they didn't accept these two tickets, it would seem too contrived. So after thanking him sincerely, they accepted the two tickets. As the director of admissions at the Magic City Supernatural University, Zhang Chaoyan was very experienced in the aspect of filling out college applications. Along the way, he gave Lu Qian and Sun Rui a lot of advice on filling out their applications. For example, which schools in Magic City might expand their enrollment this year, or which schools' cutoff scores might decrease. Such insider information was inaccessible to ordinary people. So, in addition to being delighted, Lu Qian and Sun Rui were also extremely grateful to have met Su Chen on the way. Otherwise, they would never have come into contact with such confidential information. The off-road vehicle raced all the way and soon entered the Magic City University City. Finally, it stopped in front of the gate of the Magic City Supernatural University. I'll go park first, you wait here for me. 
After dropping off Su Chen and the others, Zheng Chaoyang went to park the car alone. Su Chen also took this opportunity to size up the top national school in front of him. When he was still in Jiangcheng, he had looked up information about the Magic City Supernatural University online. He knew that the construction of the Magic City Supernatural University was very grand. But when this school truly appeared in front of him, he felt awestruck. Just the school gate he saw was nearly a hundred meters wide. The flat cement road below could accommodate dozens of cars passing through at the same time. The height was also about 10 meters. On the huge school gate, the words Magic City Supernatural University were written in a lively and vigorous manner. Under the noon sunlight, it shone brightly. Wow, even the school gate is so grand, what will it be like inside the school? Su Chen finally understood why so many candidates aspired to top universities. In addition to the profound teaching foundation, entering and leaving through such a magnificent gate daily was also a visual enjoyment. At the same time, he couldn't help but look forward to his future four years of campus life. On the side, Lu Qian and Sun Rui were equally amazed by the grandeur of the Magic City Supernatural University. They stared at the school gate without blinking. How is it? Impressive, right? At this moment, Zheng Chaoyang, who had parked the car, appeared with a smile. He loved seeing the look of new students being awed by the school. This was one of the reasons he chose to personally pick up Su Chen. Our Magic City Supernatural University covers an area of 26 square kilometers. With such a grand gate, it's just right. Zhang Chaoyan's following words made Lu Qin's small mouth drop open, her eyes widened in surprise, 26 square kilometers? I remember your Magic City Supernatural University only enrolls a thousand new students each year. Adding up all four grades, it's only a little over 4,000 people, right? Such a small number of people living in such a large place? Lu Chen knew that the Magic City Supernatural University was very large, but she didn't expect it to be 26 square kilometers. This is almost half the size of a county town. And with such a large area, only just over 4,000 people live there. You have to know that this is in the prime location of the Magic City. A school having such a large area is simply magical. It's not that few people, all the teachers and staff together, there are almost over 10,000 people, with an average area of just over 2,600 square meters per person. Zhang Chaoyang's following just over made Lu Qian and Sun Rui's envious eyes turn red. An average area of 2,600 square meters per person. What a terrifying number. For a regular university, having 1% of that area per person would be considered good. And so, amidst various shocking emotions, Lu Qian and Sun Rui were led into the Magic City Supernatural University together. When they came back to their senses, Su Chen had already waved goodbye, I've told teacher Zhang, you can freely tour the school. But once you leave, you can't come back in. So, let's part ways here. I wish you both get accepted to your desired universities in the end. For Lu Qian, who found Su Chen's height and appearance perfectly matching her aesthetic preferences, it was impossible not to have a good impression. But as she watched his figure leaving with Zhang Chaoyang, she mustered all her courage but couldn't call him back to ask for his contact information. In the end, we are not from the same world. Lu Qian shook her head. She only came from an ordinary family, and for Su Chen, who was personally welcomed by the Magic City Supernatural University, she was just like a passerby. Having a chance encounter was already considered good, wanting to further develop the relationship was nothing but wishful thinking. Xiao Qian, I know who Su Chen is. Sun Rui suddenly exclaimed, handing her phone to Lu Qian, I thought he looked familiar, turns out he is the provincial champion of our Jiangnan province. So it's him. Looking at the news and photos of Su Chen on Sun Rui's phone, Lu Qian finally connected Su Chen with the provincial champion who had caused a stir in Jiangnan province some time ago. So he ultimately chose the Magic City Supernatural University, no wonder a teacher personally went to pick him up. Although there was a lot of buzz on the internet, recognizing someone in person was not always guaranteed. This was the instinctive reaction of most people, and Lu Qian was no exception. And there had been no definite news about which university Su Chen would choose on the internet. But it turned out he had already chosen the Magic City Supernatural University and had even started his enrollment. Indeed, we are not from the same world. Knowing the true identity of the other person, Lu Qian felt relieved and smiled as she pulled her best friend Sun Rui, let's go, we finally made it inside, let's explore. With the guidance of the admissions office director, Su Chen's enrollment and registration at the university went smoothly without any obstacles. It took just over half an hour to complete all the procedures. He received his student ID and dormitory key. Originally, Su Chen had been amazed by the entrance gate of the Magic City Supernatural University. But when he saw his dormitory, he was once again astonished. He had seen many dormitories in his past life as a doctoral graduate student. 
He had even changed universities three times and lived in three or four different dormitories. There were four-person rooms, single rooms, and even three-bedroom apartments specifically allocated for doctoral graduate students. But like the Magic City Supernatural University, using villas as dormitories, he had never seen before. This villa in front of him even looked more luxurious than the one he had in Jiangcheng. Now, Su Chen finally understood why the Magic City Supernatural University had such a large area. All these villas provided to students would probably take up half of the area. Every student in our school lives in a villa, of course, with different grades and levels of luxury. As a provincial champion like you, you live in the most luxurious one, with a total area of over 800 square meters. But you don't have to worry about being lonely, the villas are assigned for two people, with two floors. You and your roommate, one floor each. Hearing Zhang Chaoyan's explanation, Su Chen finally breathed a sigh of relief. Having been an orphan both before and after crossing over, he was tired of living alone and having a roommate would be better. In fact, he preferred the harmonious atmosphere of a four-person dormitory. A double room is also good, better than being alone. Su Chen took out the key, opened the villa door, and carried the suitcase into the villa. Compared to the exterior decoration, the interior of the villa looked even more luxurious. The floor was made of large pieces of marble, shining brightly. The furniture and decorations throughout the house were also extremely exquisite. The dormitory is cleaned by cleaning staff every week, so you don't have to worry about hygiene. Zheng Chaoyang, who followed in, added, With an 800-square-meter dormitory, it would be impossible to clean it all in one day. Students were admitted to receive the most professional training, so they wouldn't be burdened with such trivial matters. All the enrollment procedures have been completed, next I will tell you about a few things that need special attention at our school. Please go ahead. Su Chen's eyes lit up as he sat opposite Zheng Chaoyang on the sofa. At the Magic Metropolis Supernatural University, there are two things that require special attention, one is the credit system, and the other is the exclusive mentor system, Zheng Chaoyang said slowly. First is the credit system, at the Magic Metropolis Supernatural University, credits are everything. Whether it's eating, buying equipment, or purchasing some rare treasures, you need credits. The value of one credit is roughly equivalent to 10,000 Dasha coins. Of course, the actual value may be much higher than 10,000 Dasha coins. After all, many things in our school's mall are priceless outside. There are many ways to earn credits, one type is based on fixed distribution according to ratings. Each new student will receive a corresponding rating upon enrollment. For example, your rating after enrollment is S-level, and you can receive 100 credits each academic year. In addition, ratings are not fixed. With Zhang Chaoyang's explanation, Su Chen roughly understood what credits were. Credits were the hard currency of the Magic Metropolis Supernatural University. With credits, you could buy almost anything you wanted. There were many ways to earn credits, besides the basic credits distributed annually. You could also earn them by doing school tasks, climbing the power ranking list, and so on. You can check your personal credit balance on the school's official website. Zheng Chaiyang clapped his hands and called out lightly, Eva, come out. Su Chen hadn't realized who he was calling out to. In the air not far in front, a cute round ball appeared. This is the artificial intelligence equipped in every dorm, Eva. Eva's main body is the school's advanced artificial intelligence, and the ones in the dorms are just its subbodies. Of course, even as subbodies, they meet the standard of a level 4 artificial intelligence, which is more than enough to assist in daily life, Zheng Chaoyang explained. Even a subbody has reached level 4 artificial intelligence? Su Chen marveled. When he first crossed over, he thought that the Blue Star World, apart from having more ferocious beasts and supernatural abilities than his previous life, didn't seem to have much difference. But later, he discovered that the technological development on the Blue Star was much more advanced than in his previous life. Not only did they achieve the holographic simulation technology that game enthusiasts loved, but they were also very advanced in artificial intelligence. Level 4 artificial intelligence can already engage in flawless conversations with humans. As for the highest level of artificial intelligence, it is said to possess real emotions, indistinguishable from humans. Of course, whether it is holographic simulation technology or advanced artificial intelligence, these are things that only upper-class individuals can access. Su Chen, who comes from a simple background, has never had any contact with them from birth until now. This is why, at the beginning of his journey through time, he formed an impression of Blue Star technology similar to the development of his previous life. With the help of Zheng Chaoyang, Su Chen also learned to use the artificial intelligence named Eva. He also checked his remaining credits on the school's official website and indeed had 100 points. This made Su Chen marvel at the generosity of the school. 100 credits are equivalent to 1 million Dasha coins. 
Although this is only available to S-level students, new students of other levels receive a minimum of 20 credits upon enrollment. There are about over a thousand new students admitted to the Magic City Supernatural University every year. This means that just the basic credits given to new students each year would cost the Magic City Supernatural University 200 million Dasha coins. Truly a top-notch university, with deep pockets, Su Chen marveled to himself, as Zhang Chaoyang across from him began discussing the next key point. The second thing to note is the exclusive mentor system at our school. Each student can choose their desired mentor to become their exclusive mentor, but of course, the mentor must agree. Exclusive mentor? Su Chen was puzzled, don't mentors usually teach scheduled classes at school? Why do we need to specifically choose a mentor? Can the efficiency of a class compare to one-on-one -on -one guidance? Zheng Chaoyang explained with a smile, furthermore, the mentors at our school are high-level supernatural beings. Almost everyone has their own unique combat skills and supernatural training methods. Some of the less important combat skills and supernatural training methods may choose to be shared with our library and become part of its collection. But how could the famous combat skills of those mentors, powerful combat skills, be shared selflessly? Only by becoming their disciple can you possibly learn them. With this explanation from Zhang Chaoyang, Su Chen finally fully understood. Indeed, many powerful combat skills represent the lifelong efforts of supernatural beings. It is unrealistic to expect them to be shared selflessly in ordinary classrooms. Only by establishing a closer master-disciple relationship can one possibly learn them. So, Teacher Zhang, is it troublesome to become a disciple? What preparations do I need to make? Su Chen hurriedly asked. Although he had the system by his side, having an additional mentor would undoubtedly make his path of cultivation smoother. It may be more troublesome for others, but for you with S-level abilities, the difficulty is almost close to none, Zhang Chaoyang said with a smile, you just need to find a Thunder Department mentor you admire, visit them, demonstrate your S-level abilities, and current strength. I believe no mentor will refuse you. After that, he added, our Magic City Supernatural University has four Thunder Department mentors, among them, the dean of the Weaponry Institute, Yang Jintian, is the mentor I recommend to you. Ten minutes later, Su Chen saw Zhang Chaoyang off and sat alone on the living room sofa, relaxing. It's a good thing to have a recruitment teacher to guide me, otherwise, I really wouldn't have known about so many things to pay attention to at the Magic City Supernatural University. Su Chen felt fortunate. Of course, Zhang Chaoyang also mentioned that these details can be found in the new student must-read section on the school's official website forum. However, it was not as detailed as what the other party mentioned, especially about the Thunder Department mentor that suits him best. Thinking of this, Su Chen spoke up, Eva, help me search for information on the mentor Yang Jintian. Okay. A virtual light ball in midair flickered slightly, then projected all the information related to Yang Jintian. Yang Jintian, 52 years old, Dean of the Weapons College of the Magic Metropolis Supernatural University, a 7th level upper tier supernatural being. Possesses the A-level supernatural ability Wind Fire True Thunder of the Thunder and Lightning System, skilled in using various weapons such as boxing, big knives, long spears, and long swords. Among them, he is most proficient with the long spear, earning him the nickname Thunder Spear. Once in the Wilderness Zone, he fought against the 8th-level ferocious beast Earthquake Demon Python for three days and nights, ultimately completing the kill alone. In the conversation with Zhang Chaoyang just now, Su Chen already knew. The Magic Metropolis Supernatural University is divided into five colleges. They are the Elemental College, Weapons College, Tactics College, Auxiliary College, and Logistics College respectively. The teaching methods and focus of each college are different. As the name suggests, the Elemental College mainly enrolls students with Elemental Supernatural abilities. Of course, the Thunder and Lightning system under the Natural category is also within the scope of recruitment. The Elemental College focuses on cultivating students' supernatural abilities, with the ultimate goal of maximizing the power of elemental supernatural abilities. The Weapons College is more adept at training close combat fighters, using their weapons as the main means of attack. They can combine supernatural abilities and weapons well. Every student graduating from the Weapons College is undoubtedly a master of weapons. The Tactics College mainly enrolls spiritual system supernatural beings, training them in command and combat capabilities. Of course, this does not mean that the students of the Tactics College are weak. On the contrary, the students of the Tactics College develop their spiritual system supernatural abilities to the extreme. With just a glance, they can directly destroy the enemy's mind, turning the opponent into an idiot, ending the battle directly. The Auxiliary College enrolls owners of Auxiliary Supernatural Abilities. After displaying their abilities, the students of this college can provide themselves and their teammates with powerful enhancements, 
making them indispensable partners on the battlefield. As for the last logistics college, most of the students have special supernatural abilities. They are mainly responsible for some logistical production work. From the setting of the five colleges of the Magic Metropolis Supernatural University, it is obvious that they are cultivating talents in different directions for the Beast War. And those qualified to serve as deans of each college are the strongest of the strong. Just like Yang Jintian, the dean of the Weapons College, who alone killed an 8th level ferocious beast with his 7th level upper tier strength. This is a terrifying record. After all, high level supernatural beings are not like low level supernatural beings, where the difference in strength between each level is not significant. At higher levels, the strength between each small segment will undergo earthshaking changes. The difference in strength between a higher level is even more frightening. High level supernatural beings like Yang Jintian, who have the ability to fight across levels, are extremely rare in the entire Great Xia country. Indeed, without strong enough strength, it is impossible to become the dean of the weapons college. Su Chen nodded slightly. A level thunder and lightning system supernatural ability, 7th level upper tier strength, and proficient in using the long spear, earning the nickname Thunder Spear. From this series of information introductions, Yang Jintian is indeed a mentor very suitable for his current situation. Our school has a total of 4 thunder and lightning system mentors, let's look at the information of the other 3. Su Chen again had Eva find the information of the remaining 3 thunder and lightning system mentors. These three mentors all have A-level supernatural abilities, with the lowest level being the 6th level upper tier. However, two of them are mentors from the Elemental College. In other words, these two mentors do not use weapons, only honing their supernatural abilities. In a more straightforward way to describe it, they can be seen as Thunder System mages in online games who only cast spells from a distance. As for the last one, although he is also a mentor from the Weapons College, but only with the strength of the 7th rank, and the main weapon used is not a long spear, but a long sword. Compared to Yang Jintian, who is nicknamed Thunder Gun, this mentor is undoubtedly much inferior. Now it seems that the Dean of the Weaponry Academy, Yang Jintian, is indeed my best choice for a mentor. After tidying up the room, having lunch, we can go to his place to try and become his disciple. Su Chen asked Eva to turn off the projection and return to standby mode. Then he picked up his suitcase and walked up the stairs. The villa has two floors, and he prefers the second floor with a broad view and an outdoor balcony. Since his other roommate hasn't arrived yet, he decided to move in first. During the process of going upstairs, Su Chen finally discovered the villa's only flaw. That is, there is no elevator, only wooden handrails on the stairs. However, with his current blood and energy reaching 181 points, carrying a 20kg suitcase upstairs is quite easy. Upon reaching the second floor, Su Chen quickly found the bedroom. The bedroom is quite large, about 50 square meters, with a large bed in the middle measuring 2 meters 3 in length and 2 meters in width. The bed already had a new set of bedding laid out. Across from the bed is a desk with a computer on it. The window is on the side of the desk. Through the window, you can see the flat road below. Just now, he and Zhang Chaoyang walked over from there. Everything in the bedroom is brand new. I shouldn't have brought so much stuff. Su Chan had a lot of things in his suitcase. In addition to changing clothes, there were also miscellaneous items like toothpaste and toothbrush. After everything was put away and tidied up, half an hour had passed. Phew, let's eat quickly and then go find teacher Yang Jintian. Su Chen checked the time on his phone, it was now half past one in the afternoon, the perfect time for lunch. However, unlike regular universities, MO City University has four cafeterias that serve food 24 hours a day. Even if you miss a mealtime, it's not a problem. Su Chen took his student ID and the villa key and left the villa. When he came over just now, he was chatting with Zhang Chaoyang and didn't pay attention to the surroundings. So this time, he deliberately slowed down and paid attention to the scenery around him. As a top-tier university, the campus environment of MO City Supernatural University is impeccable. The roads are lined with lush green grass and various flowers blooming on them. There is a faint floral scent in the air. Along the way, there are pavilions and seats available for resting everywhere. At this time, it is during the summer vacation at MO City Supernatural University. However, there are still many students on campus. Some are walking side by side, while others are alone. And these students all have strong auras, at least they are first or second rank supernaturals. Occasionally, you can even see students whose aura is not weaker than Zhang Chaoyang's. Indeed, it is a top-tier university, truly a gathering of talented individuals. Su Chen sighed inwardly. During the chat just now, he already knew that Zhang Chaoyang is a fourth rank intermediate supernatural. Being able to match the opponent's aura, even if he is not a fourth rank supernatural, 
their strength probably doesn't differ much. Mo City Supernatural University has four cafeterias, and Su Chen went to the one closest to the dormitory. As soon as he reached the entrance of the cafeteria, he smelled the scent of meat. Upon entering the cafeteria, he discovered that in addition to regular food, the cafeteria also offered meat dishes made from fierce beast meat. Although fierce beasts have tough skin and a brutal nature, they can be considered treasures. The tough skin of fierce beasts is not only an excellent material for making battle armor but even if made into a leather bag, it is a luxury item that many wealthy people vie for. The bones of fierce beasts, ground into powder, are also an excellent medicinal material. As for the flesh and blood of fierce beasts, long-term consumption can also enhance one's physique. It is for this reason that many supernaturals form adventurer teams to venture into the wilderness to hunt and kill ferocious beasts. They then bring the bodies of the beasts back to the city area to sell at high prices. In fact, those ferocious beasts killed by Su Chen in the martial arts high exam can also be sold at high prices. But those are military property and cannot be taken away naturally. Of course, the dishes made from the blood and meat of ferocious beasts in the cafeteria are much more expensive than ordinary dishes. Ordinary dishes only cost zero. 001 credits, which is 10 disya coins for a portion. But ferocious beast dishes, at the lowest, cost zero. 1 credits, which is 1000 disya coins. Su Chen even saw ferocious beast dishes priced at 10 credits, worth as much as 100,000 disya coins. Wow, if you don't have enough credits, you can't even afford to eat. Su Chen shook his head and then chose to buy a portion of ferocious beast dish priced at zero. 1 credits to try it out. It must be said that the cooking skills of the school chefs are very good. The tough blood and meat of the ferocious beasts were cooked to melt in the mouth, leaving a lingering fragrance. After more than 10 minutes, Su Chen, feeling somewhat unsatisfied, finally got up and left the cafeteria. In addition to providing dormitories for students, the Magic Ability University also provides accommodation for the teachers who teach there. Of course, they are all villas. And they are more luxurious than student dormitories. After all, the teachers qualified to teach at the Magic Ability University are at least 6th order supernaturals. Even if placed outside, they are all important figures. Yang Jintian, the dean of the Weaponry Institute, lives in the 23rd villa in the teacher villa area. Su Chen left the cafeteria and spent more than 20 minutes to reach the teacher villa area. Compared to the student dormitory area, the environment here is even better. The villa buildings are backed by a large mountain, with a not-so-small artificial lake in the middle. In addition, scenes like small bridges, flowing water, and rockeries and waterfalls are also visible everywhere. The school specifically uses a small mountain as a background, can you believe it? Only top universities would be so extravagant. Silently complaining, according to the map at the entrance of the teacher villa area, Su Chen easily found the 23rd villa. It is a villa with a strong ancient style of the Dixia country, with the outer walls painted the same color as the wooden structure. Some light blue wind chimes hang under the eaves, looking both quaint and very elegant. Su Chen walked straight to the front door of the villa, ready to ring the doorbell, when a voice with a hint of laughter behind him said, Are you here to pay respects to the master? Su Chen turned his head and saw a young man in white standing five meters behind him. The young man had a handsome face, short hair, and a smile on his face. Unlike an ordinary person's smile, the young man's smile seemed a bit unrestrained and nonchalant. Su Chen frowned slightly at the words, not responding. He didn't know the person, so how did he know his purpose? The young man, seeing Su Chen's indifference, continued with a smile, those who usually come to see Teacher Yang, apart from his disciples, are those who want to pay respects. I have met most of Teacher Yang's students, and you are not among them, so you must be here to pay respects. Of course, I am here to pay respects as well. Before the young man could finish his sentence, he suddenly noticed that Su Chen's aura was a bit unusual, awakener? But he quickly realized and raised an eyebrow, specially enrolled student? Yes. Su Chen did not hide it. In fact, even among the specially enrolled students, there are probably only a few awakeners of his level. And now that the voluntary reporting for the martial arts high exam has just begun, the Magic Ability University has not yet announced the list of admissions. He was not surprised to be guessed as a specially enrolled student. In previous years, specially enrolled students were either upper first tier or middle first tier. I didn't expect this year to have awakeners as specially enrolled students. The young man was amazed, but he did not underestimate Su Chen because of it. After all, being admitted as a special student to the Magic City Supernatural University at the awakened level, his strength was definitely strong. In addition, his potential was even more terrifying. Senior? Su Chen saw that although the other party was a bit familiar, it seemed that there was no malice, so he took the initiative to strike up a conversation. Weaponry Academy, Sophomore. No, it should be junior now. 
Junior student, Tan Ming Yang. Tan Ming Yang introduced himself, then asked, And you? Su Chen, freshman, just registered today. Just registered and already looking for a master, Su Junior, you act fast. Usually freshmen wait until after the freshman competition to find a master. Freshman competition? Su Chen frowned at the words, as Zhang Chaoyang didn't seem to mention this just now. The freshman competition is a tradition of our Magic City Supernatural University, usually held three or four days after the freshmen have registered. At that time, most of the teachers in the school will go to watch. Freshmen who perform well in the competition will be sought after by various colleges, and mentors will personally take them as disciples. Seeing Su Chen's confusion, Tan Ming Yang briefly explained a few words. Of course, special students like you don't need to wait for the freshman competition to find a master. Tan Ming Yang did not deny Su Chen's approach. However, what he didn't say was that even as a special student, the probability of being able to find a master at the level of the dean right after enrollment was as low as winning the lottery jackpot. Most likely, it would just be a wasted trip. However, special students are often provincial or municipal champions, geniuses, with a sense of pride. Even if he mentioned this fact, it was unlikely that he would listen, so he didn't say it. Thank you for the explanation, senior. Su Chen thanked him and then asked curiously, is Senior Tan also here to find Teacher Yang as a master? Yes. Tan Ming Yang nodded, feeling emotional, in the past half year, I have made several trips, but I have not been able to meet the standard for finding a master. I'm almost giving up, but I'm still unwilling in my heart. Forget it, let's not talk so much, let's go in together. Tan Ming Yang sighed, then pressed the doorbell at the entrance of the villa. Not long after, the villa door opened, and a butler-like middle-aged man appeared. Welcome. Teacher Yang is already waiting inside, please follow me. The smile on the butler's face was as warm as a spring breeze. Su Chen, who was here for the first time, didn't feel anything unusual, but Tan Ming Yang beside him was somewhat surprised. This was not his first time here, and the butler had always been polite in the past, but never this enthusiastic. Moreover, from the butler's tone, Teacher Yang was actually waiting inside specifically? How was that possible? Seventh-level supernatural beings are not idle every day, on the contrary, they are very busy. Previously, even when Tan Mingyang came to visit, he often had to wait half an hour to an hour in the villa before seeing the person. And now, the busy dean of the Weaponry Academy was actually waiting inside in advance? What was going on? With doubts, Tan Mingyang and Su Chen entered the villa together. Led by the butler, Su Chen and Tan Mingyang entered the villa's living room. As soon as they entered, Su Chen saw two people sitting on the sofa in the living room. The person on the right was a young man, who looked about the same age as Tan Ming Yang. His appearance was quite ordinary, the kind that would be hard to pick out in a crowd if you didn't look closely. But the aura of this young man was very sharp, just sitting there, he exuded an inexplicable sense of oppression. Sitting next to the young man was a middle-aged man. The man was dressed in a gray suit, muscular, and his eyes were flashing with thunder-like brilliance. Meeting his gaze, Su Chen felt as if he was being stared at by the most top-notch dragon-like beast, and his whole body's hair stood on end. Compared to this middle-aged man, the aura on the young man next to him seemed faint. Su Chen, who had previously checked the information of the mentor through Eva in the villa, naturally knew. This middle-aged man is the dean of the Weapon Academy, the seventh order upper-level supernatural Yang Jintian with the title of Thunder Gun. Dean Yang, I have brought them all here, the butler said respectfully. Okay, you may leave, Yang Jintian let the butler step back, then looked directly at Su Chen, a smile appearing on his face, you must be Su Chen, Zhang Chaoyang has already told me in advance. Let's go, we'll go to the training room. With that, he got up and walked towards the second floor, and Su Chen quickly followed suit. Tan Ming Yang, who witnessed the entire process, stood in place, feeling a bit dazed. Dean Yang Jintian of the Weapon Academy is known for his strictness. The rules and regulations he oversees at the Weapon Academy are the most among the five major academies of the Magic City Supernatural University. Therefore, the students privately gave Yang Jintian a nickname called Yang Yan Wang. His usual stern expression fits this nickname perfectly. But just now, he actually saw Yang Yan Wang smile. Moreover, it seems that he knows Su Chen and even directly took him to the training room. Clearly, he intends to personally assess him. Who exactly is Su Chen? Could he be the son of the principal? Tan Ming Yang quickly dismissed his own thoughts. Even if he were the principal's son, he probably wouldn't receive this treatment in front of Yan Yan Wang. It would be the same if the principal himself were here. Junior Ming Yang, are we going to do the same as before? The remaining young man on the sofa smiled and looked over. Tan Ming Yang then came to his senses, his expression brightening as he clasped his fists and said, then I'll trouble Senior Lu. After that, the two walked to the combat room on the first floor together. 
Apart from recruiting disciples, other students who want to become disciples of Yang Jintian must demonstrate corresponding strength. And this senior Lu is one of the many students of Yang Jintian. As long as he can defeat senior Lu with one-tenth of his strength, he will be considered qualified. However, for the past half year, he has never succeeded once. On the other side, under the leadership of Yang Jintian, Su Chen arrived at the training room. It was a room about a hundred meters long, with various weapons placed on the weapon rack next to it. Among them was the long spear familiar to Su Chen. I have watched your martial arts entrance exam video, your combat ability is indeed strong, and your marksmanship has reached an advanced level. But before that, I want to see your S-level ability, the purple sky divine thunder, Yang Jintian said expectantly, looking at Su Chen. S-level lightning-based ability, the purple sky divine thunder. A few days ago, he learned from Zhang Chaoyang that a student who awakened an S-level lightning-based ability chose the Magic City Supernatural University, and he had been waiting for Su Chen to arrive. Unexpectedly, the other party waited until today to report to the school. Faced with Yang Jintian's request, Su Chen did not hesitate at all and directly used his ability. Crackling sizzling accompanied by the dull thunder and the sound of electric arcs leaping, the purple sky divine thunder was summoned and surrounded Su Chen. The blue-purple thunder, as if carrying an ancient and vast aura, was powerful and ancient. The moment the purple sky divine thunder appeared, the entire training room was filled with an indescribable majestic atmosphere. This is the S-level ability, the purple sky divine thunder. Yang Jintian looked intoxicated at the blue-purple thunder surrounding Su Chen. Although he also had a lightning-based ability, and even as a seventh-order upper-level supernatural, any trace of lightning he casually used possessed incredible power. However, his A-level ability, the wind and fire true thunder, could never have such an aura no matter what. This gap comes from the source of supernatural abilities and cannot be compensated by levels at all. After taking several deep breaths, Yang Jintian's excited mood gradually calmed down. Looking at Su Chen, he said seriously, Su Chen, I know the purpose of your visit. With your abilities and potential, becoming my disciple is naturally not a problem. However, I must make it clear in advance that I traveled outside in the past. Although I made some friends, I also made many enemies. By becoming my disciple and graduating in the future, you will also be affected by this. You may even have enemies targeting you. Are you still willing? The student is willing. Su Chen did not hesitate at all and respectfully performed a bow to his master. Joking aside, whose rise among high-level ability users is not accompanied by bloodshed? As an ability user like Yang Jintian, who is known for his killings, he has no idea how many fierce beasts and enemies he has slain. If one is not willing to bear even this level of risk, then perhaps there would be no suitable teacher in the entire Magic City Ability University. Alright, from today onwards, you are my 32nd disciple. Yang Jintian said three good in a row, his emotions slightly stirred. S-level awakened ability users appear only once every few years in the entire Great Xia country. Moreover, there are various types of abilities, so even if an S-level awakened ability user appears, it is likely to be of a different category. Over the past 20 years, he has taken in over 30 disciples, some with A-level lightning abilities, some with B-level, and even some with C-level. But Su Chen is the first with an S-level lightning ability. Most of your senior brothers and sisters have graduated, and among those still in school, there are only three. The one downstairs just now, Lu Ming, is one of your senior brothers. The other two senior brothers and sisters, I will introduce to you when I have the chance. After speaking, a ring on Yang Jintian's right hand flashed slightly. Two secret manuals appeared in his hand and were handed over. This is the top-notch ability training method and the body forging combat skill created by me. Su Chen took the two secret manuals. The ability training method is called Extreme Ability Training Method, and the combat skill is called Indestructible Thunder Body. Combat skills are divided into different categories, such as body skills and sword skills. For example, Su Chen's Lightning Gale Break is a spear skill. Unlike ordinary combat skills, body forging combat skills are mainly used to enhance the physique. Compared to ordinary combat skills, they are much rarer. There is no need to say much about the ability training method, it is one of the three top ability training methods exclusive to the school. As for the body forging combat skill Indestructible Thunder Body, it embodies all of my lifelong efforts. It has been rated as S-level by both the Thunder Martial Hall and the Rampaging Bear Martial Hall. Yang Jintian spoke slowly, causing Su Chen to be shaken. S-level combat skill? A 7th level ability user, also known as a Grandmaster. Because at this level, the understanding of abilities in martial arts has reached an extremely profound level. They are qualified to create their own ability training methods or combat skills. 
Combat skills also have ratings, similar to ability ratings, ranging from F, E, D, C, B, A, S, 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 to S, 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 these nine levels. The higher the level, the stronger the combat skill. Of course, correspondingly, the difficulty of cultivation also increases. Most 7th level grandmasters can create A level combat skills at best. S level and above SS, SSS level combat skills are created by 8th level grandmasters or 9th level martial saints. And yet, Yang Jintian, who is only at the 7th level, has created an S level combat skill. Moreover, it is one of the most complex body forging combat skills among many combat skill types, involving the mysteries of the human body. It must be said that Yang Jintian's martial talent is simply terrifyingly high. Indestructible Thunder Body is only suitable for lightning type ability users to practice, with a total of 13 levels. With each promotion, the physique will undergo corresponding transformation. However, even I have only cultivated to the 10th level at present. The final three levels have yet to be verified. But according to my speculation, once cultivated to the full level, the physique can truly reach eternal immortality. Yang Jintian's eyes sparkled. Indestructible Thunder Body embodies his complete understanding of martial arts and the thunder and lightning abilities. If in the future he cannot climb to the peak of the martial saint, then Xuchen is his greatest hope to verify this technique. Furthermore, to cultivate the indestructible thunder body, one must have a certain level of ability. During this time, you should first use the extreme ability training method to advance. After advancing, I will help you establish the foundation of the indestructible thunder body. Yang Jintian pondered for a moment and continued, in addition, you also need to practice boxing. Practice boxing? This was unexpected for Xuchen. Of course, after cultivating the indestructible thunder body, your physique will greatly strengthen. Coupled with close combat skills and thunder and lightning abilities, your combat power will be greatly enhanced. In addition, weapons are just one of our means of combat and should not be overly relied upon. If one day your weapon is destroyed in a battle with a fierce beast, and you are left without a weapon, are you going to turn and run? Yang Jintian spoke confidently, giving a real example, back then, I fought with an 8th order fierce beast, the earth-shaking demon python, until the second day. My long spear, made of SSS grade alloy, was shattered due to prolonged intense stress. Even my thunder and lightning abilities were almost drained. On the last day, it was only with my body and boxing skills that I finally achieved the kill. Yang Jintian's tone was calm, but Xu Qin could imagine the fierceness of that battle. At the same time, he nodded thoughtfully. Indeed, learning more combat skills is always beneficial. Of course, I will also teach you marksmanship. Once your boxing and marksmanship reach a certain level of proficiency, I will also teach you how to use war knives and long swords, Yang Jintian continued. Teacher, may I ask, what level of proficiency have you reached in these skills? Xu Qin was curious. Boxing and marksmanship are at the grandmaster level, while other swordsmanship and knife skills are slightly lower. At the master level, Yang Jintian replied in a flat tone, causing Xu Qin to be surprised. Proficiency levels are divided into six categories, elementary, intermediate, advanced, grandmaster, master, and perfection. For an ordinary ability user, just reaching the advanced level in a weapon skill would take decades. It may be impossible to reach the master level in a lifetime. As for higher levels like grandmaster and perfection, they are even more mysterious realms. Yang Jintian not only reached the grandmaster level in boxing and marksmanship but also achieved the master level in other weapon skills. I turned to study other weapons because I could no longer progress in boxing and marksmanship. As for you, you still have a long way to go. Seeing Xu Qin seemingly startled, Yang Jintian chuckled, during your university stage, you only need to specialize in boxing and marksmanship. The learning of combat skills mainly revolves around these two aspects, so remember not to be greedy and bite off more than you can chew. Teacher, I understand, Xu Qin nodded. Although the proficiency of weapon skills can be improved by investing ability points, it is not about quantity but quality. In a situation where ability points are limited, it is obviously better to specialize in a particular weapon. Just as the teacher said, I will focus on boxing and marksmanship first, Xu Qin silently thought to himself. Yang Jintian then handed him a list, detailing the names of combat skills Xu Qin needed to learn next. As long as he found the manuals of these combat skills in the library, he could learn them. This made Xu Qin couldn't help but sigh. Indeed, having a mentor's guidance is always better. Otherwise, it is simply impossible to come up with such a detailed learning path on your own. More than 10 minutes later, Su Chen, who was full of gains, walked out of the villa. However, he met Tan Ming Yang, who had just left the villa, at the door. But there was no longer a smile on his face, only bitterness. It seems that this apprenticeship has failed. Seeing this, Su Chen did not rudely ask about the result, 
just greeted and prepared to leave. Senior Tan, I'm leaving. Wait, how did your apprenticeship go? Did you succeed? Tan Mingyang asked as if grasping at a life-saving straw. However, Su Chen not only did not say the answer he wanted, but instead nodded. Really succeeded? Tan Mingyang almost popped his eyes out. Dean-level mentors generally do not take on apprentices before the freshman competition. What is going on now? Could he really be the son of the principal? But he doesn't look like it. Watching the gradually disappearing figure, Tan Ming Yang, who had experienced multiple failures, fell into endless self-doubt. On the other side, Su Chen returned to the villa and went straight to the second floor training room. The room layout on the upper and lower floors of the student villa is exactly the same. In addition to the training room and bedroom, there are also a shower room, audiovisual room, study, and his favorite open-air balcony. Compared to teacher Yang Jintian's training room, this training room is slightly smaller, only about 80 square meters. However, it is no problem for some routine training. Su Chen sat cross-legged on the floor, opened extreme psychic training method, and started reading. Compared to the intermediate abyssal psychic training method, this top-notch extreme psychic training method is obviously much more profound. It took Su Chen more than four hours to thoroughly understand the entire book. Then, with his eyes closed, he began to sense the special energy existing between heaven and earth according to the method recorded in the extreme psychic training method. Before long, many white light spots appeared within his sensing range, dense and vast like a sea of smoke. That is the special energy called elemental energy, which can only transform psychic abilities by absorbing it into the body. Indeed, the top-notch psychic training method can sense so much more elemental energy than the intermediate one. Su Chen's face lit up with joy, then he opened his eyes. Since the top-notch psychic training method can sense elemental energy, it proves that his cultivation is on the right track. There is no need to follow the routine practice anymore, he can directly focus on advancing. Deep Blue With a low call, a light blue system panel immediately appeared in his mind, name, Su Chen, level, awakener, plus, psychic ability, purple sky divine thunder, s, physique, 186 hp, plus, spirit, 187 sp, plus, skills, marksmanship, advanced plus, lightning gale break, advanced plus, psychic points, 2534 allocate points. Su Chen decisively clicked on the plus sign behind the level. The elemental energy in the surrounding air then poured into Su Chen's body at a terrifying speed. It automatically enhanced his psychic ability, physique, and spirit continuously following the practice method recorded in the extreme psychic training method until it slowly came to a halt upon breaking through a certain limit. Level, Awakener First Tier Lower Psychic Few, Breakthrough. Su Chen clenched his fist slightly, feeling that the power contained in his body was several times stronger than before. More importantly, his psychic ability had also been enhanced. Purple Sky Divine Thunder. With a low drink, accompanied by the sound of crackling electric arcs, Blue Purple Thunder appeared around Su Chen. Compared to before the advancement, the Purple Sky Divine Thunder was obviously thicker and the color was deeper. If I encounter that level 2 bloodthirsty berserk bear again, I won't even need to draw my gun, my thunder can probably kill it. Looking at the Blue Purple Thunder flickering on his fingertips, Su Chen nodded in satisfaction. Successfully advancing, he finally took the first step towards the peak of superhumans. Su Chen roughly tested his strength in the training room. From an awakener to a superhuman, his strength had increased by about four to five times. Then he opened his system panel, name, Su Chen, level, lower level one, plus, superpower, purple sky divine thunder, s, physical strength, 283 hp, plus, mental strength, 289 hertz, plus, skills, marksmanship, advanced plus, lightning gale break, advanced plus, superpower points, 2234 advancing to level 1 only cost me 300 superpower points. The consumption of superpower points is not too much, but the increase in basic attributes is somewhat beyond my expectations, Su Chen couldn't help but feel emotional. If he used the abyssal superpower training method to break through, his HP and mental strength would increase by at most 30 to 40 points. But with the top-notch superpower training method, both of his basic attributes had increased by almost a hundred points. This was undoubtedly a huge difference. No wonder superhumans all want higher-level superpower cultivation methods, the gap is just too big, Su Chen shook his head. At the same time, he was also very fortunate that after obtaining the abyssal superpower training method, he did not rush to upgrade. There are still many superpower points left, but the level cannot be further increased temporarily, Su Chen silently thought. On the one hand, he would need superpower points for future combat skills. On the other hand, he needed to adapt to his new strength after advancing, and only after fully adapting would he make further improvements. Next, let's take a look at this S-level body forging combat skill. 
Su Chen opened the manual for indestructible thunder body and read it carefully. As a seventh level superhuman, Yang Jintian had a deep understanding of martial arts and thunder based superpowers. All of his understanding was integrated into this body forging combat skill. So, Su Chen, who had just come into contact with this manual, quickly immersed himself in it. Truly worthy of an S level combat skill, indeed exquisite. Two hours later, Su Chen reluctantly closed the manual. Indestructible Thunder Body had a total of 13 levels, but he could only understand the first three levels for now. As for the content after the first three levels, it was too profound for him to comprehend. However, even just the content of the first three levels had opened up a whole new world for him. Typically, body forging combat skills required different methods to toughen the body. After going through rigorous training, the body would gradually become stronger. But this body forging combat skill had an additional step compared to ordinary body forging combat skills, foundation casting. The first level of indestructible thunder body required the blood of a thunder-based ferocious beast to cast the foundation of the indestructible body. Then, one would use their own thunder-based superpower to toughen the body. The final strength of the indestructible thunder body achieved was closely related to the blood of the thunder-based ferocious beast used to cast the foundation. If a foundation was cast using the blood of a high-level ferocious beast, the subsequent physical strength would become stronger. If a low-level ferocious beast or even the blood of an ordinary ferocious beast was used, the physical strength would be further reduced. Using the blood of thunder-based ferocious beasts is a bit troublesome, Su Chen rubbed his chin. On Blue Star, low-level ferocious beasts relied solely on their bodies for combat. High-level ferocious beasts, on the other hand, possessed various incredible abilities similar to superhumans. For example, the famous Silver Moon Nine-Tailed Fox had a charm ability similar to a mental-based superhuman. If one didn't react in time, death would be the only outcome. Thunder-based ferocious beasts, like thunder-based superhumans, wielded the power of thunder. Just such fierce beasts, the level is at least above the fourth rank. Relying solely on Su Chen himself, he definitely can't get the blood of such fierce beasts at present. But fortunately, he has a mentor. The teacher said this afternoon that when I advance to become an esper, I will go to him to force the foundation, so I will go directly to him tomorrow. Early the next morning, Su Chen, who had finished washing up, found teacher Yang Jintian again. Upon learning that Su Chen had already advanced, Yang Jintian was slightly surprised, so fast? In the more than 20 years he had been teaching at the Magic City Esper University, he had seen countless geniuses. But even for these geniuses, it took quite some time to transform from an awakener to an esper. Yet from yesterday when Su Chen received the secret manual until now, it hadn't even been 24 hours. He actually successfully advanced. Perhaps it's due to long-term accumulation, Su Chen modestly smiled. Alright, since you have successfully advanced, today I will forge the foundation of the Thunder Immortal Body for you. Yang Jintian didn't delve too deeply into it upon hearing this, nodded, and continued, The Thunder Immortal Body Foundation I have prepared for you is the essence blood of the 7th rank high-level thunder-type fierce beast, the Storm Giant Bear. Yang Jintian's ring glowed faintly, and a transparent glass bottle appeared in his hand. The glass bottle had a capacity of about 800 milliliters, with the bright red blood inside rippling slightly, and there seemed to be a flicker of silver-white lightning between them. High-level thunder-type fierce beasts are extremely rare. Over the years, the highest level thunder type fierce beast I have killed is this storm giant bear. There are even higher level 8th rank thunder type fierce beast blood in the school's resource library, but unfortunately, that belongs to an SS level resource. Even as your teacher, I can't easily exchange it. Yang Jintian was somewhat helpless. Although he was the dean of the weaponry academy, he couldn't casually use the school's resources. However, the school would allocate a large amount of points similar to credits to them each year for resource exchange. But as a 7th rank high level esper, his own cultivation expenses were also considerable. The points in his hands had long been spent, and the account balance couldn't afford to exchange for SS level resources. Of course, the essence blood of the 7th rank high level storm giant bear was already very rare, belonging to a premium S level resource, more than enough to create the foundation. He just felt that Su Chun was an S level esper awakener, so he instinctively wanted to use better essence blood. By the way, I heard Zhang Chaoyang say before that you receive an S-level resource every year? Yang Jintian suddenly brightened his eyes and asked. Yes. Although Su Chen was somewhat puzzled, he still nodded. Great. With your S-level resource and the storm giant bear essence blood I have, maybe we can exchange for that SS-level resource. However, even though he said that, Yang Jintian still chose to first seek Su Chen's opinion. Su Chen, does your S-level resource have any other uses? You can handle it as you see fit, teacher. Su Chen shook his head. 
Joking aside, even if that S-level resource had other uses, others had already brought out premium S-level resources. And ultimately, the exchanged SS-level resource would still be used on himself. If he still refused, then he would truly be a fool. Alright, you wait here for me, I'll be back soon. With a flash of light, before Su Chen could even react, Yang Jintian's figure disappeared from the spot. This movement technique feels almost like teleportation, Su Chen admired in his heart. However, he also knew that this was just an illusion caused by the opponent's rapid movement speed. Su student, the dean won't be long, have some fruit first. Not long after Yang Jintian left, the butler who opened the door yesterday came up with a plate of fruit. Thank you, Butler Fu. Su Chen politely thanked him. This Butler Fu was not only the butler of the villa but had also once gone through life and death with teacher Yang Jintian. This is what the teacher said in the training room yesterday. The strength of the other party is also extremely strong, a sixth order intermediate psychic. Therefore, facing this steward, he is also somewhat cautious. After Su Chen stayed in the villa for more than half an hour, Yang Jintian finally returned. With a flash of electricity, Yang Jintian's figure appeared in the villa living room. Teacher. Su Chen quickly stood up. SS level resources have been exchanged, let's go to the training room. Yang Jintian looked excited and couldn't wait to take Su Chen to the second floor training room. It took some effort to exchange for the SS level resources this time. Originally, the resource department was unwilling to let me exchange two S level resources for an SS level resource. But fortunately, I called the principal, and he agreed to the exchange. Yang Jintian flipped his right hand, and another glass bottle containing essence blood appeared in his hand. However, unlike the previous essence blood, the blood inside was a unique silver white color. There were even faint electric arcs and a violent aura lingering within. This is the SS level resource, the essence blood of the 8th order thunderous rampage dragon. Looking at the bottle of essence blood in his hand, Yang Jintian also felt a little emotional. Dragon type fierce beasts are the most difficult to provoke among all fierce beast groups. He could kill the 8th order lower level earth shaking python, but he couldn't kill any 8th order lower level dragon type fierce beast. And such a bottle of essence blood would be very useful to him. Of course, if it weren't so precious, the school wouldn't have classified it as an SS level resource. Su Chen witnessed this scene and silently remembered the kindness of his teacher and the principal. Kindness should be repaid with gratitude, especially for such a precious SS level resource. When he becomes powerful one day, he will surely repay these kindnesses multiple times over. Take off your outer garment and sit cross-legged. Following Yang Jintian's instructions, Su Chen took off his shirt, revealing his strong upper body muscles, and then sat cross-legged. The next moment, he felt a slight chill on his back, and at the same time, a slight tingling sensation came from his back. Although the tingling sensation was weak, it seemed to penetrate deep into his bones, causing him to furrow his brows slightly. The essence blood of the thunderous rampage dragon is nothing to me as a high-level psychic. But for you as a low-level psychic, it is like a deadly poison. Even skin contact will cause a tingling sensation. As Yang Jintian explained, he smeared the blood from the glass bottle on Su Chen's back. At this moment, his eyes were filled with blue and white thunder. He could see every blood vessel and meridian on Su Chen's back, making it easier for him to apply the blood more accurately. After more than 10 minutes, all the blood in the glass bottle was used up. Su Chen's back was covered with blood, shining silver white. Next, I will use my wind and fire true thunder to shape an indestructible foundation for you. In fact, the shaping of the foundation is ultimately about melting the blood of the thunderous rampage dragon into your own bloodline. Only then can you obtain a physique comparable to fierce beasts, or even stronger than fierce beasts. However, how much essence blood you can absorb in the end will depend entirely on you. Yang Jintian took a deep breath, then roared softly, wind and fire true thunder. Crackling a red thunder, many times more powerful than Su Chen's purple sky divine thunder, burst out from Yang Jintian. The thunderous sound filled the air, and the temperature in the entire training room seemed to rise sharply due to the appearance of this thunder. The entire shaping process will last about 4-5 to five days, and it will be a bit painful. Endure it. The most crucial thing is not to lose consciousness, otherwise, the absorption efficiency of the essence blood will be greatly reduced. As soon as he finished speaking, all the red thunder rushed up and engulfed Su Chen entirely. If any of the thunder accidentally hit Su Chen, he would be instantly annihilated. However, with the control of the seventh order superior ability user over abilities, such a thing naturally cannot happen. The power of wind and fire thunder was controlled by Yang Jintian within the range that Su Chen could bear, surging into Su Chen's back. Threads of thunder carrying the essence of the thunderous dragon flowed through Su Chen's body continuously transforming his blood vessels, meridians, and even bones. And this series of actions, for Su Chen himself, 
felt like being bitten by thousands of ants, a pain that went deep into his bones. Fortunately, he did not faint on the spot, just gritted his teeth and endured silently. Five days later, inside Villano. 23. Fubo, it's already the fifth day, right? Has the teacher finished with Su Chen? Yang Jintian's other disciple, Lu Ming, sat on the sofa in the living room, asking the steward beside him. This was his third visit in recent days. But every time he came, the answer he got from steward Fubo was that Yang Jintian was still laying the foundation for Su Chen's thunder immortal body. It's not over yet. This time, the dean is using the essence blood of an eighth order fierce beast to shape the foundation for Su. It's more energy consuming, so it will take a bit longer. Steward Fubo replied. Although Yang Jintian was currently busy, basic communication was still possible. So, he could understand the situation and that the essence blood being used for Su Chen was from an eighth order fierce beast. The essence blood of an eighth order fierce beast, the thunderous dragon. Lu Ming had learned this news during his last visit. It was impossible not to envy this, after all, they were both disciples of Yang Jintian. When he was shaping his immortal body foundation, only the essence blood of a seventh order inferior thunderous beast was used. But upon learning that Su Chen possessed an S-level ability, he felt relieved. An S-level awakened ability user indeed deserved the teacher's painstaking cultivation. The essence blood of an eighth order dragon-like fierce beast, combined with an S-level thunder and lightning ability, I am somewhat looking forward to Su's thunder immortal body. As an S-level forging technique, the power of the Thunder Immortal Body was not fixed. On the contrary, it was closely related to the Essence Blood used during Foundation Shaping and the Thunder and Lightning ability of the user. The combination of 8th Order Fierce Beast Essence Blood and S-level ability was obviously a very explosive one. Roar, just then, a roar like that of a dragon-like fierce beast suddenly exploded in the villa. This sound was full of majesty and ferocity, just hearing it was like seeing a powerful and ferocious dragon-like fierce beast. The foundation for the junior brother is successful. Lu Ming's eyes lit up. With a flash of lightning, he directly used his body technique to dash up to the second floor. When he arrived at the training room on the second floor, the first thing he sensed was a threat like that of a top fierce beast. This threat even made this third order peak ability user feel a bit palpitated. Then, he saw the source of this threat. Su Chen stood tall in the center of the training room. However, unlike the humble and polite demeanor from their last meeting, Su Chen now exuded a fierce aura all over his body. His originally clear and divine eyes had turned blood red, his bare upper body revealing well-proportioned and powerful muscles with veins bulging. It seemed he was influenced by the master. The blue-purple terrifying thunder that lingered around him also fell into a frenzy state, constantly flashing and jumping. The entire training room flickered with the thunder jumping around Su Chen. Perfect. Too perfect. Facing this scene, Yang Jintian in front of Su Chen was excited, 98%. Su Chen's blood absorption rate has reached 98%. 98%? That's so high. Lu Ming, standing at the door of the training room, couldn't help but be surprised at the words. The foundation of the thunder immortal body is shaped by absorbing the essence blood of the thunder beast. However, since it is the essence blood of a beast, even with the assistance of the teacher's wind, fire, true thunder, the absorption efficiency cannot reach 100%. Generally speaking, reaching 90% is already a very good absorption rate. As far as he knows, among the more than 20 disciples who cultivated the Thunder Immortal Body under the teacher, the highest absorption efficiency is only 92%. His own absorption efficiency at that time did not even reach 90%, only 87%. Now, Su Chen has broken the record with a 98% absorption efficiency of the Essence Blood, indicating a perfect match with the Thunder Beast's Essence Blood. Su Chen is not sure what others are thinking, but when the foundation of the Thunder Immortal Body is successfully shaped, he feels an endless surge of bloodthirsty and violent negative emotions erupting from the depths of his heart. A desire to destroy everything around him arises. It is at this moment that the deep voice belonging to Yang Jintian rings in his ears, Su Chen, wake up. This voice is as resounding as spring thunder, instantly dispersing all the negative emotions in Su Chen's mind. Teacher, what just happened to me? Su Chen's eyes gradually clear, looking confused. This kind of emotional outburst has never happened before in his cultivation of the thunder immortal body. Just now, it should be the influence of the essence blood of the Thunder Rampage Dragon on your mind. Yang Jintian furrows his brow slightly. The Thunder Rampage Dragon is also known for its ferocity among the beast clans. You absorbed its essence blood, and with an astonishing 98% absorption efficiency. It may be because of the high degree of compatibility that such side effects occur. Before this, disciples cultivating the Thunder Immortal Body would be more or less influenced by some beast bloodlines. But never has anyone's transformation been as obvious as Su Chen's. But you don't need to worry too much. 
As long as your emotions do not fluctuate violently, these negative emotions will not be triggered. In addition, as your strength increases, these side effects will gradually disappear, Yang Jintian adds. These have been verified on himself and the other disciples. That's good then. Su Chen finally breathes a sigh of relief. He does not want to be someone who is constantly controlled by emotions. And he can feel that his physique has undergone an unprecedented transformation. Even if there are some side effects, they are not significant. Subconsciously, Su Chen opens his system panel, name, Su Chen, level, first tier lower, plus, ability, purple sky divine thunder, s, physique, 391 chi and blood, plus, spirit, 289 he, plus, skills, marksmanship, advanced plus, lightning gale break, advanced plus, body forging, thunder immortal body, first layer plus, ability points, 2234 my chi and blood has increased by over a hundred points. Su Chen's eyes light up slightly. For ability users, besides the increase in qi and blood value during promotion, regular physical training can only increase qi and blood by 2 or 3 points. But a few days ago, he gained over 100 qi and blood points during promotion, and now his qi and blood value has increased by another 100 points. Of course, qi and blood value is just one of the manifestations of physical strength. As for other aspects like physical defense and wound recovery speed, they cannot be seen from qi and blood alone. However, he has a feeling. With his current state, he probably can fight head-on with a second-tier beast without using any combat skills or abilities. Additionally, he noticed a new section on the system panel. It seems that in the future, I can directly enhance my body forging strength using ability points. Su Chen is secretly delighted. Congratulations, junior brother, for successfully shaping the foundation of the Thunder Immortal Body. The future of martial arts is bright for you. At this moment, Lu Ming also walks up from the doorway, smiling and congratulating. This is your senior brother Lu Ming, whom you met last time. Yang Jintian introduced timely. Senior brother Lu, hello. Su Chen put on his shirt and respectfully greeted. Last time we met, you were not yet a student of the master, but this time it's different. But I didn't prepare anything, what's your student number? I'll transfer some credits to you as a gift from your senior brother. Lu Ming has a gentle personality and wanted to give a gift on the spot. Su Chen saw that Yang Jintian did not stop him, but nodded slightly so he told the other party his student number. In no time, his phone received a reminder, and his student account had 200 credits added. So many? Su Chen was slightly stunned as he looked at the text message on his phone. 200 credits, which is equivalent to 2 million Dasha coins. Is a simple gift like this so valuable? Just 200 credits, it's not much for you, senior brother Lu. Yang Jintian smiled and said, senior brothers should take care of their junior brothers more. When you have junior brothers and sisters in the future, you should also prepare gifts for them. I understand, master. Su Chen nodded, indicating his understanding. The foundation is successfully built. After five days without eating or drinking, you must be tired. Go back and rest first. Come back tomorrow morning and learn boxing and marksmanship with your senior brother Lu. Yang Jintian then waved his hand and looked a bit weary between his brows. Five days without eating or drinking is nothing for him as a seventh level esper. But continuously manipulating Esper in a very detailed manner for five days to transform Su Chen's body is extremely exhausting. Letting Su Chen go back to rest, in fact, he himself needs rest more. Su Chen naturally noticed this and didn't disturb him much. After respectfully bidding farewell, he left the villa. June 22nd, I didn't expect it to take almost five days and nights to build the foundation. Outside the villa, Su Chen couldn't help but feel emotional as he looked at the date on his phone. For these five days and nights, he has been enduring in human pain and needs to keep his consciousness clear at all times. Fortunately, he made it through and ultimately achieved a 98% absorption rate of refined blood, almost a perfect fit. It's still early now, I can go to the martial arts hall to test the strength of my body after cultivating the indestructible body. The refined blood of the thunderous Tyrannosaurus at the 8th level subrank belongs to the SS grade resource. With the help of Yang Jintian, most of this refined blood has been integrated into Su Chen's body, becoming a part of him. The amazing energy contained in the refined blood not only made Su Chen not feel hungry even after not eating anything for five days but also made him energetic and spirited. So he couldn't wait to verify how much his strength had increased after acquiring the thunderous indestructible body. Each student dormitory at the Magic City Esper University is equipped with a training room. However, these training rooms are not large and do not have testing equipment such as a strength tester, so they can only do some daily training. If you want to accurately know about your Esper abilities, combat skills power, even punching speed, and strength, you need to go to the martial arts hall. 
In the campus of the Magic City Esper University, there are two martial arts halls, namely the Thunderous Martial Arts Hall and the Violent Bear Martial Arts Hall, which are the most famous in Dasha. When he was in Jiangcheng, Su Chen often went to the Thunderous Martial Arts Hall. This time he also planned to go to the Thunderous Martial Arts Hall to test his strength. However, as he walked in that direction, he faintly smelled a faint odor. Su Chen then realized that due to cultivating the Thunderous Indestructible Body, his body had expelled many impurities that clung to his skin. Forget it, I'll go back to the dormitory to take a shower first, and then go to the martial arts hall. Su Chen didn't want to be a source of foul odor, so he turned around and walked towards the student dormitory. As he got closer to the direction of the student dormitory, Su Chen saw more people along the way. This phenomenon became more pronounced when he stepped into the freshman villa area. On the previously deserted road, there were many male and female students walking. Some were couples, but most were groups of male or female students. They looked about the same age as Su Chen, around 18 or 19 years old. Many students were looking around curiously, some even accompanied by parents dragging suitcases. Are these all freshmen? Su Chen suddenly remembered that it had been six days since he arrived at the Magic City Supernatural University for registration. At this time, the voluntary reporting for the martial arts college entrance examination had already been completed, and the admission notices had been delivered to the students. But perhaps only top universities like the Magic City Supernatural University would have so many freshmen choosing to enroll early. Students who could be admitted to the Magic City Supernatural University were considered geniuses in the province and city. They naturally understood the principle of being fast and taking steps quickly. By reporting early, they could enjoy the high-quality educational resources and facilities of the Magic City Supernatural University in advance. They would not be foolish enough to wait until September to report. Su Chen's villa was located at No. 32 in Student Dormitory Zone 3. When he reached the villa's entrance, he found that the gate he had already closed before leaving was wide open. It seems that my roommate has arrived. Su Chen entered the villa with a smile. Sure enough, in the living room on the first floor, a male student was sitting on the sofa, using the artificial intelligence Eva to search for information. Sensing someone entering the villa, the male student turned his head. When he saw Su Chen walking in, his eyes lit up. He hurriedly stood up from the sofa, walked to Su Chen, and extended his right hand generously. You must be my roommate, right? Hello, I'm Lu Wentao, nice to meet you. Lu Wentao was handsome, with slightly tanned skin and a messy fringe. At this moment, with a smile on his lips, he gave the impression of being cheerful and sunny. Su Chen. Su Chen also smiled and shook hands with Lu Wentao. Su Chen? You're the provincial champion of Jiangnan province. Upon hearing Su Chen's name, Lu Wentao exclaimed reflexively. You know me? Su Chen looked at him in confusion. This should be their first meeting. Of course. My nickname is Mr. Know it all. Lu Wentao proudly puffed up his chest. I know most of the information about the new students in our year. But I haven't specifically collected information about you. It's purely because the commotion you caused back then was too big. After all, you are the biggest dark horse in Jiangnan province this year. Lu Wentao chuckled. He was naturally sensitive to information and after seeing Su Chen's information on the internet, he quietly stored it in his mind. However, after a period of time without any news related to Su Chen on the internet, he stopped paying attention. Unexpectedly, they both applied to the Magic City Supernatural University and became roommates. By the way, are you really from the barren city of Jiangnan province? Not living in other economically developed cities, just taking the college entrance examination in Jiangcheng? Also, were you really an awakener during the college entrance examination? And your supernatural ability doesn't seem like it's only at the E level. Lu Wentao was very familiar, and just after meeting, he started asking Su Chen a series of questions like a machine gun. Su Chen didn't mind at all, but instead smiled. In his previous life, he was born in an orphanage. It was fine when he was in elementary school, with many friends to accompany him. But after entering junior high school, he had to leave the orphanage and live alone. At that time, he hated going home after school every day the most. Because there was only himself at home, he can only turn on the TV and pretend someone was there with him. After entering high school and being able to live on campus, things got a little better, but weekends were still lonely. He preferred a lively atmosphere, so he studied hard and got into college. Joking around with roommates and playing games was the happiest time for him. But four years later, he would face loneliness once again. So he worked hard and got into a master's program, gaining a few roommates once more. Later on, he got into a Ph. D. Program and made friends with a group of lively senior students. Then, at the graduation banquet of his Ph. D. Program, he drank a little too much. 
When he woke up, he found himself in this world. And tragically, he was still an orphan. Although his younger aunt would occasionally visit him, loneliness remained his main theme. Therefore, whether in his past life or present life, Su Chen was quite averse to loneliness. Seeing Lu Wintao's talkative appearance, he found himself liking it. So, Su Chen sat on the sofa and started chatting with Lu Wentao. During their conversation, Su Chen learned that Lu Wentao came from Sichuan province, known as the Land of Abundance. With a great mental ability and first-tier intermediate strength, he ranked in the top 20 in the martial arts college entrance exam in Sichuan province. He applied to the Supernatural University in the Magic City, specifically aiming for the tactical college among the five major colleges. In his words, he planned to command a million troops in the future and exterminate all the ferocious beasts on Blue Star. When Lu Wentao found out that Su Chen had only awakened during the college entrance exam, he couldn't help but exclaim in surprise. All right, let's stop here. I'm going to the martial arts hall later. After chatting for a while and realizing it was almost time, Su Chen stood up from the sofa. Martial arts hall? I want to go too, Lu Wentao said eagerly. Okay, let's go together after showering. Su Chen nodded and headed upstairs. Ten minutes later, a refreshed Su Chen changed into clean clothes and walked out of the villa with Lu Wentao. It was just past 11 in the morning, the sun was shining outside, and there were many new students walking on the road. Su Chen and Lu Wentao walked towards the exit of the dormitory area. As usual, Su Chen walked straight ahead without looking around. On the other hand, Lu Wentao was looking around, his eyes wandering over the new students on the road. Occasionally, he would linger a bit longer on some pretty female students, showing a slightly lecherous smile. Ah Ming, look over there. There's a beauty. After walking for a while, Lu Wentao's eyes suddenly lit up, and he excitedly tapped Su Chen's shoulder. Su Chen subconsciously followed Lu Wentao's gaze. He saw two girls walking out of the villa about 10 meters ahead. The two girls were about the same height, around 1. 67 meters tall. The one on the left was slightly shorter, with a decent appearance but not stunning. The other girl was different. She had a lovely face, delicate features, and could be described as stunning. Her skin was extremely fair, as soft and smooth as a baby's. What caught the most attention was her figure. She was wearing a simple white t-shirt, but her chest was full and prominent. Below that was a pair of light blue skinny jeans, outlining long and shapely legs. How about that? Not bad, right? Lu Wentao asked with a grin. Indeed, not bad, Su Chen admitted. Whether in terms of figure or appearance, this girl was much better than the internet celebrities from his past life. But aren't you supposed to be a know-it-all? Do you know who she is? Su Chen teased Lu Wentao with his nickname, not really expecting him to know. Unexpectedly, Lu Wentao once again stood tall and proud, saying, Of course I know, her name is Song Chouyun, a first-tier upper, possessing natural light system A-level superpower. Oh, not bad, Su Chen said somewhat surprised. It seems that Lu Wentao's self-proclaimed nickname of Mr. No it all is not all talk. Of course, Song Chouyun is from our Sichuan province. She scored over 9,000 points in this year's college entrance examination, making her the provincial champion of our Sichuan province. Lu Wintao replied with a playful smile. In fact, even before the martial arts college entrance examination, Song Chouyun had gained some fame in the provincial capital of Rongqing, thanks to her outstanding appearance and strength. Hmm. On the other side, Song Chouyun, walking with her friends, suddenly paused. Her A-level natural light system superpower is called Light of Dawn, which not only gives her good killing power but also brings her a very keen sense of perception. It was with this sense of perception that she was able to avoid dangerous areas where ferocious beasts gathered in the martial arts college entrance examination hall. Just now, she seemed to sense a terrifying gaze similar to that of a ferocious beast. This gaze did not seem malicious, but it was full of oppression. The gaze came and went quickly. However, Song Chouyun was very sensitive and discovered the source of this gaze, which came from a slightly tall figure not far ahead. How could a human emit an aura similar to that of a ferocious beast? Song Chouyun furrowed her brows, somewhat puzzled. In the end, she could only attribute it to her own illusion. However, the tall figure of Su Chen ahead quietly left a faint impression in her heart. The Thunder Martial Arts Hall in Jiangcheng serves the entire population of over a million people in Jiangcheng. The Thunder Martial Arts Hall of the Magic City Superpower University only needs to serve over 10,000 teachers and students of the university. However, the scale of the Thunder Martial Arts Hall here is even larger than that of Jiangcheng. Across from the Thunder Martial Arts Hall is the Rampaging Bear Martial Arts Hall, which is also six or seven stories high, resembling a giant beast crouching there. I have to say, the Magic City Superpower University has almost reached the pinnacle in the construction of such supporting facilities. With admiration, Su Chen and Lu Wentao stepped into the Thunder Martial Arts Hall. 
The first floor of the Thunder Martial Arts Hall is a spacious hall with a front desk at the forefront. There are also some sofas around for resting. At this moment, people who have finished training are sitting on the sofa, drinking beverages, resting, and chatting. Welcome to the Thunder Martial Arts Hall, may I help you with anything? A female attendant in a short skirt warmly greeted them. We would like to find a training room with a strength testing device. Su Chen replied. The Thunder Martial Arts Hall is only open to high school students for free, but for university students, a membership fee is required. The membership fee, like the Rampaging Bear Martial Arts Hall, is 100,000 Dasha coins per year. However, the Magic City Superpower University pays the membership fee for students every year. Therefore, for them, the facilities in the martial arts hall are free to use. The training room is on the third floor, please follow me. The staff member smiled sweetly and led the way, with Su Chen and Lu Wentao following behind. The Thunder Martial Arts Hall treats every guest with such enthusiasm. You can choose to accept or refuse. Because it was their first time at the Martial Arts Hall of the Magic City Superpower University and they were not familiar with the layout, Su Chen chose to let her lead the way. Ding, we have arrived at the third floor. With a pleasant chime, the elevator door opened. What came into view was a spacious hall. The hall was crowded, but most of the people looked somewhat strange. Some were surrounded by flames, some were two to three meters tall, and some even had their bodies and limbs transformed into some kind of animal. Accompanied by various noisy sounds, ha, my sea level combat skill Anon Inferno is finally refined. Hee <laughs> hee, even if you refine it, you still can't break through my metallic skin. You are all trash. With my triple enlargement, I can slap you all against the wall with one hand. These people seem to be training, some familiar faces occasionally engage in verbal disputes. This is our hall's public training room, which can accommodate 300 people training at the same time. The entire hall is also made of sea level alloy doped memory metal casting, so you don't have to worry about superpowers or combat skills causing damage. Of course, if it's too noisy, you can also choose a single training room. The staff explained. Su Chen was not surprised by this. Thunder Martial Hall in Jiangcheng also has a public training hall. The atmosphere in the public training hall is better, after all, with so many people training around, one will slack off. Many people with poor self-discipline choose to train in the public training hall. In addition, the cheers from surrounding people when a combat skill practice is successful can also give a sense of accomplishment. However, the downside is that one's combat skills and training results will also be known to others. Okay, let's stay here. Su Chen originally planned to go to the single training room, but considering there was a roommate next to him, he chose the public training room. All right, please follow me. The staff led the two towards the hall. Those who can enter the Magic City Supernatural University are basically all superhumans. Therefore, while shuttling through the hall, one can occasionally feel the powerful energy fluctuations brought by other superhumans testing combat skills. Wow, are these guys competing to see who is stronger? The commotion is getting louder and louder. Lu Wentao, who felt the floor vibrating under his feet, couldn't help but comment. As a spiritual superhuman, he naturally couldn't create such a commotion. On the other hand, Su Chen's attention was drawn to the five pillars erected in the center of the hall. On these five pillars, there were many names densely written, followed by a string of numbers. The first three names on each pillar were the most prominent, shining with a golden light, looking very eye-catching. This is our fist strength challenge board, with five lists corresponding to superhumans of ranks 1 to 5. Would you like to give it a try? If you enter the top 3000, you can receive a 50-point credit reward. The staff explained with a smile. You can get a reward by entering the top 3000? Is it that simple? Lu Wentao became interested. After all, there are only over 4,000 students in the entire Magic City Supernatural University. Just swipe your student card on the pillar to start the challenge. However, in the Fist Strength Challenge, the use of superpowers and combat skills is not allowed, otherwise it will be considered a foul. Okay, a Ming, wait here for me. I'll give it a try. Lu Wentao nodded and walked directly into the center of the hall. He then swiped his student card at the sensing area of the first pillar. Welcome, student ID Lu Wento initiates the fist strength challenge. Let's cheer for him. As if triggering something, the loud voice of the host echoed throughout the hall. Subsequently, spotlights shone on Lu Wento. Everyone in the hall was also attracted and subconsciously looked over. Oh, someone has initiated the fist strength challenge. Ha, huh, judging by the aura, he seems to be a first rank intermediate, probably a freshman. Hee <laughs> hee, this should be fun to watch. In the hall, many senior students looked towards the central figure. Lu Wentao in the center was stunned, not expecting the commotion caused by initiating the challenge to be so significant. By this point, it was impossible to retreat. So he took a deep breath, 
mobilized all his strength, and punched the target in front of him with all his might. Bang! The target made a muffled sound, followed by violent shaking. Phew! Lu Wentao slowly exhaled a breath, quite satisfied with this punch. Entering the top 3000 shouldn't be a problem. Punch force 476 kilograms. Very good performance. The voice appeared again, first announcing the power of this blow in a high tone, then slightly dejectedly saying, but unfortunately, your punch force ranks after 100,000. After 100,000? Lu Wentao was shocked. Isn't there only over 4,000 students in the entire Magic City Supernatural University? But he quickly realized that this punch force ranking not only counted current students but also included past students. And the Magic City Supernatural University has been established for over a hundred years, enrolling over a thousand students each year. Accumulated, wouldn't that be over a hundred thousand students? Damn it! No wonder everyone is looking at me, they were waiting to see a joke. Lu Wintao finally realized, feeling his cheeks burning, and quickly walked away. After one hundred thousand, that's hilarious. When I was a freshman, I wasn't this low. Look at the kid, blushing like a monkey's but, must be a freshman who hasn't run away. The entire training hall was filled with various joyful discussions about Lu Wentao's performance. Ah Ming, do you want to try it? You must be stronger than me. Unable to bear the comments, Lu Wentao quickly urged Su Chen beside him. It's better for two people to lose face than one, right? Okay, I'll give it a try too. Su Chen did not refuse. His purpose in coming here was to test his physical strength, and punch force is also part of physical strength. In addition, he also wanted to see. With his current strength, among all the geniuses gathered since the establishment of the Magic City Supernatural University, where could he rank? Welcome, student number Su Chen, to start the Punch Force Challenge. Let's cheer for him. When Su Chen swiped his student ID, the same high-pitched voice sounded again. Oh, someone else is starting a challenge. Seems to be the companion of the person just now. TSK, this one's strength is even lower. Looks like just a lower first order. First order? It's hard to say if the punch force is even 400 kilograms. As expected, the audience was not optimistic about Su Chen, who only had the strength of a lower first order. But Su Chen himself in the center was not affected at all, taking a deep breath. Then, Su Chen's entire body's blood and energy were pushed to the limit. Standing straight, he exerted force from his waist, which in turn moved his arms. With this force, his fist was like a sharp arrow leaving the bow, turning into a black phantom and fiercely smashing the target in front of him. Bang! A deafening sound like a heavy hammer falling echoed in the hall, followed by the loud cheers, punch force 4,589 kilograms. Peak punch force. Congratulations, you've broken the record. Punch force 4,589 kilograms. Peak punch force. Congratulations, you've broken the record. The loud voice echoed in the hall. At the same time, the golden light on the first pillar in the center of the hall surged. Su Chen's name, like a supreme being, shimmered above the first ranking. And with Su Chen's appearance, the names of others on the list fluctuated like waves, gradually decreasing in rank. First place, Su Chen, punch force, 4,589 kilograms. Second place, Luo Yang, punch force, 4,321 kilograms. Third place, Chin Dehai, punch force, 4,122 kilograms. The sudden scene made those who originally wanted to joke about Su Chen speechless, like a duck being choked, instantly silenced. For a moment, the entire hall fell into a deathly silence. The peak fist strength record has been broken? Suddenly, a sentence from somewhere echoed in the hall, causing everyone to react. Immediately, the hall erupted into discussion. Damn, damn, the fist strength record has actually been broken? Over 4,500 kilograms, is this the fist strength a person can produce? One punch can turn me into minced meat, and you're telling me this is a freshman? It is worth noting that the Thunder Martial Arts Hall was built since the establishment of the Magic City Supernatural University. It can be said that the Thunder Martial Arts Hall has witnessed the historical changes of the Magic City Supernatural University. The five ranking lists on the third floor of the Thunder Martial Arts Hall have accumulated fist strength data from over 100,000 students of the Magic City Supernatural University. The top 1,000 on any of these lists were considered influential figures in their time. It is precisely because of this that the higher the ranking record, the harder it is to break. It has been over 10 years since the last record on the first pillar was broken. And now, the peak fist strength record of a first-tier supernatural being has finally been broken again. Moreover, it was broken by a freshman who was only a first-tier lower rank. How could this not shock and amaze them? Many people quickly took out their phones to capture the image of Su Chen in the center, recording this historic moment. 
Many others eagerly shared this news with friends and teachers, even posting it directly on the Magic City Supernatural University student forum. In the hall, some people suspected that Su Chen might have cheated by using supernatural abilities or combat skills. After all, reaching a fist strength of over 4,500 kilograms with pure physical strength is indeed astonishing. However, this claim was quickly denied by others. The fist strength testing machine in the center of the hall is controlled by the school's artificial intelligence, EVA, which has reached the standard of first-level artificial intelligence. If there was any cheating, the results would have been invalidated long ago and there would have been no announcement. By the way, this Su Chen is only a first tier lower rank. He has not even reached the peak of the first tier. Does that mean this record will be broken again? A sentence from the crowd sparked another round of discussions. Yes, Su Chen is already so powerful at the first tier lower rank. What about when he reaches the first tier middle or upper rank? It is worth noting that the previous top 10 names left on the first pillar were all at the peak of the first tier, unable to break through further. Su Chen, on the other hand, is completely different, and no one knows where his limits lie. On the other side, listening to the discussions around him, Lu Wentao was dumbfounded. He had originally thought Su Chen would also go up and lose face, so his own performance just now wouldn't be too eye-catching. But who would have thought that Su Chen would be so fierce, directly breaking the record held by over 100,000 people with one punch? Now, being tens of thousands of names away, he felt a bit like a clown. Bro, you are truly my bro. Looking at Su Chen coming down, Lu Wintao was completely convinced, Ming, from now on, I will follow you. Wherever you go, I'll go. It's not that exaggerated. Su Chen smiled and shook his head. In fact, this punch did exceed his expectations. Originally, he guessed it would be around 3,500 kilograms at most. He didn't expect it to be over 1,000 kilograms more. It seems that the Thunder Tyrannosaurus and I do indeed fit well together. Su Chen nodded to himself, then looked at the staff beside him. Breaking records will also have credit rewards, right? The female staff member was still a bit confused at this moment. Seeing the handsome face so close at hand, she came to her senses and blushed, saying, of course, breaking the record comes with a reward of 400 credits, which should have been credited by now. Su Chen took out his phone and saw a notification of the credits being deposited. Along with the 200 credits gift from Senior Lu Ming he received at Teacher Yang's villa, and the 100 basic credits distributed by the school, his student account now had over 700 credits. All right, if I break the record again next time, will I earn credits? Su Chen put away his phone, eager to try. Breaking the record only earns you credits once, the staff member replied, denying his hopes. This left him somewhat disappointed. His strength was far from reaching the peak of the first tier, and he would surely break the records of a first tier ability user multiple times in the future. But there are four other pillars, corresponding to second to fifth tier ability users. Breaking the records on these pillars will also earn you credits. Su Chen smiled slightly, already thinking of a way to earn credits. At this moment, the senior brothers and sisters in the hall, who had calmed down, walked over with smiles on their faces. Su Junior, is this your first time at this martial arts hall? Come, let me teach you how to use the equipment. Su little brother, nice to meet you, I'm Wang Jia, a junior in my third year. You can call me brother Jia. Junior, our club is short of people, how about considering joining us? We have a lot of girls in our club. The fist strength ranking, although only reflecting physical strength, cannot reflect the intensity of abilities or the power of combat skills. But with such high fist strength, can he be lacking in other aspects? Moreover, those who can squeeze into the top 10 of the fist strength ranking are considered outstanding individuals who appear only once every few years. Not to mention, Su Chen directly broke the record and became the first. Those who can be admitted to the Magic City Ability University are not fools. Such a promising junior, why wait to make friends now? Su Chen, however, felt a bit overwhelmed by the scene. He dared not stay any longer in the public training hall and quickly left with Lu Wentao. They found a separate training room to complete the remaining strength tests. However, what he did not know was the news of the first tier ability user's fist strength record being broken. Like a whirlwind, it quickly swept through the entire campus. Many people knew that among the new students of this year, there was a fierce person named Su Chen. With over 4,500 kilograms of fist strength, my junior's physical strength is really exaggerated to a terrifying level. In a student villa, senior Lu Ming looked at the post on the school forum on his phone, marveling. Back then, he had also challenged the fist strength ranking. At that time, he was a first-tier upper-level ability user, with the first level of the indestructible thunder body. However, he only managed to achieve over 3,500 kilograms of fist strength. Compared to Su Chen now, he was far behind. Xiu Yun, Xiu Yun, look, 
this guy is so handsome. In the library, Song Chouyun, who was browsing a book on combat skills, was quietly called by her roommate Chi Dongsha. At the same time, a phone was handed to her. On the phone, a young man stood tall under the spotlight, with a pillar shining in front of him. The young man was tall, with a firm appearance, and his eyes were sharp and clear, with a hint of coldness. Is that him? Song Chouyun recognized the guy she had noticed on the road earlier, who seemed to exude a beastly aura. So his name is Su Chen, and his strength seems quite strong. This was a post on the school forum, which was quite popular. After reading the entire content, Song Chouyun's beautiful eyes sparkled slightly. In this way, that strange beastly aura was not her illusion. But how did he generate such an aura? Song Chouyun looked at the figure in the picture, her beautiful eyes filled with a hint of curiosity. Su Chen, so you also came to the magic city. This time, I will take back all the honors that belong to me. Inside the villa, a young man looked at the figure in the picture with some resentment. If it weren't for Su Chen, he wouldn't have missed the title of the top scholar in Jiangnan province and become a laughingstock in Ningen City. After entering the separate training room, Su Chen underwent a series of strength tests focusing on physical strength. The results showed that with the Thunder Immortal Body, his physical strength had been terrifyingly enhanced. His skin defense was comparable to E-grade alloy, reaching the point of being practically invulnerable. He tried to make a wound on his skin, only to find that it healed within a few breaths. Powerful defense and recovery speed, truly worthy of an S-class forging type combat skill. Su Chen's eyes sparkled slightly. With such physique, as long as he wasn't too reckless, it would be difficult to be in life-threatening danger. In addition, he found that his height had increased from 1. 86 meters to 1. 89 meters. His weight had also dramatically increased from 80 kilograms to 120 kilograms. However, his appearance had not changed much, only his bone density had increased, and his muscles had become more solid. If this were in the past, this physical quality would definitely be considered a little superman. Su Chen was very satisfied with his current state. He also felt fortunate to have such a good teacher. Otherwise, it would not have been possible to make such great progress in just a few days. The strength test is complete. I'll go to the library later. Thanks to the S-Class permission granted to him by the Magic City Supernatural University, all the books in the library were freely accessible to him. Su Chen had long coveted the collection of books held by the top-notch university. After leaving the room, he found Lu Wentao in the adjacent training room and left the Thunder Marshall Hall together. Mingu, do you know that there are many posts about you on the school forum now? On the way, Lu Wentao said excitedly, besides, many people are clamoring to challenge you. During the time in the training room just now, besides training, he also checked his phone during breaks and naturally saw the posts on the school forum. Challenge me? Su Chen raised his eyebrows, the martial spirit of the Magic City Supernatural University seems quite strong. Of course, there was another possibility, that these people all wanted to trample him underfoot to achieve their own fame. However, Su Chen was not interested in such battle invitations. Wen Tao, are you going to the combat skills library? At the intersection, Su Chen asked Lu Wen Tao. I just went yesterday, so I won't go today. Okay, then you go back first. Su Chen nodded, and after parting ways with Lu Wentao, he headed straight towards the direction of the library. The library of the Magic City Supernatural University has two buildings. One is the regular library, which houses historical and cultural books. The other is the combat skills library, which contains numerous combat skills and supernatural training methods from various departments. Su Chen went to the second library. As one of the most important places in the Magic City Supernatural University, the combat skills library was built tall and majestic. It stood there like a small mountain, exuding a heavy sense of oppression. Moreover, the entire combat skills library seemed somewhat illusory, resembling a mirage. It is rumored that the entire combat skills library is under the control of our school's vice principal who possesses spatial abilities, it seems that it is indeed true. This is a piece of information that Su Chen accidentally discovered through Eva when he was searching for library information. Once something goes wrong, the entire combat skill library will exist independently of this space. Without the corresponding means, even a Ninth Order Martial Saint cannot forcibly take these precious original martial arts manuals. Drip Dash swiping the student card at the door, the closed door opened, and Su Chen stepped in. The first floor of the library is a huge hall. In the hall, there is only one reception desk. Su Chen came to the front desk, ready to inquire about how to access the combat skill manuals. The female teacher behind the front desk stood up directly, with a gentle smile on her face, S-Class student Su Chen, welcome to the combat skill library, may I help you with anything? The female teacher had a good face, wearing a pair of black-framed glasses, like a Chinese teacher in a certain middle school. 
However, the faintly emanating aura indicated that she was at least a fourth order esper. Do you know me? Su Chan was somewhat surprised. Even if he had just broken a record, he shouldn't be so famous, right? Even the teacher in the library knows him. Students with S-class privileges can freely browse all combat skills in the library, as special privilege holders. Therefore, when you swiped your student card at the door, I already received a notification here. The female teacher had a nice smile on her face, her attitude was very friendly, and even respectful. A fourth order esper showing respect to a first order esper sounds like a fantasy. But for the female teacher herself, it was not the case. After all, having S-class privileges means the other party has endless potential. As long as they don't die prematurely, they will at least become master level espers in the future. And she, who had only reached the fourth order, had almost exhausted all her potential. Such a respectful attitude could be seen as a kind of goodwill. The previous enrollment director Zhang Chaoyan was like this, and this female teacher was the same. I see. Su Chen nodded in realization, then asked, I want to see the combat skills of the Thunder Element Esper, which floor should I go to for reference? Combat skills below B level are in the public reading rooms on the second and third floors. As for combat skills above B level, they are kept confidential because they are too precious. You need to make an online selection in the reading room on the fourth floor before you can access the manuals. The female teacher explained patiently. Then I'll go directly to the reading room. Su Chen nodded. Since he could access higher level combat skills, he would not study lower level ones. Okay, room 403 on the fourth floor has been granted access for you. You just need to swipe your student card at the sensor at the door to enter. After a series of operations on the computer, the female teacher said. Subsequently, Su Chen followed a staff member and took the elevator to the fourth floor. Similar to the student dormitories in his previous life, the reading rooms on the fourth floor were individual rooms. It was just more exquisitely decorated, with a unique classical charm. After reaching the fourth floor and walking for a while, a room marked 403 appeared in front of Su Chen. Drip dash he swiped his student card at the entrance, and the door opened. The room is equipped with a subbody of the artificial intelligence Eva. If you need anything, just ask her. After selecting the combat skills online, click confirm, and we will deliver the original manuals to you. In addition, since the original manuals of combat skills above B level are very precious, please be very careful when browsing. After the staff member repeated the precautions, he turned and left. Su Chen also stepped into the room. The reading room was not very large, only about 20 square meters. In the middle were tables and chairs, with a familiar spherical shape of artificial intelligence Eva projected right in the center of the table. S-class student Su Chun, what combat skills do you need to consult? Eva proactively spoke. Lightning system, all combat skills above B-level, Su Chen stated his request directly. Okay, the small spherical figure nodded in a humanized manner. Subsequently, on the holographic projection beside, appeared the names of combat skills in a secretive manner, along with their related introductions, Heavenly Thunder of 10,000 Prisons, SSS level with lightning system abilities as the core, creates a thunderstorm domain with a maximum diameter of 80 kilometers. Note, this combat skill is only available for lightning system abilities above B level, to be learned by abilities of level 5 or above. Wrath of the Thunder God, SS level calls down thunder resembling divine punishment, extremely powerful. Note, this combat skill is only available for lightning system abilities above B level, to be learned by abilities of level 4 or above. Thunder Abyss, SS level opens a thunderous abyss, sealing a certain place with thunder. Note, this combat skill is only available for lightning system abilities above B level, to be learned by abilities of level 4 or above. SSS level combat skills, and SS level combat skills. Truly worthy of a top tier academy, the collection of combat skill manuals is so rich. Su Chen's eyes sparkled as he read. However, it was a pity that SSS level and SS level combat skills were extremely powerful, requiring a terrifying amount of abilities to be consumed when released. Even low-level abilities, even if drained of all their abilities, would not be able to release at once. Even for the relatively lower requirement S-level combat skills listed above, one still needed to reach the second or third level and possess abilities of C-level or above to learn. Su Chin drooled over the advanced combat skills on the list, but unfortunately, he couldn't learn them. He had to quickly scroll down the list to where there were A-level combat skills to browse. Compared to the advanced combat skills, the requirements for these A-level and B-level combat skills were not as high. First-level abilities could learn them, and the ability requirement was only D-level or above. 
Su Chen browsed through the holographic projection of combat skills while comparing them to the list of combat skills that Teacher Yang had given him some time ago. However, after just a short while of browsing, he realized that the combat skills list Teacher Yang had given him was indeed suitable for him. Having a good teacher saves a lot of trouble. Otherwise, just selecting the combat skills to learn would require a lot of effort. Combat skills are generally divided into attack, defense, body movement, support, and body forging categories. Different combinations of combat skills together, like playing arcade games, can achieve a similar control chain effect. If there is no guidance, it really takes a lot of effort to research a set of combat skills that suits oneself. And learning a combat skill also requires a lot of time. Once the wrong combat skill is chosen, it will be too late to realize it after learning it. But Su Chen was different, with the combat skills list provided by Teacher Yang, it was like he had already obtained the walkthrough. In addition, Teacher Yang's combat skills list provided at least two combat skills in different categories, allowing Su Chen to make the most optimized selection based on his situation. In this way, Su Chen spent more than half an hour selecting four combat skills. They were the attack type Thunder Spear, Chain Lightning Spear, the body movement type Thunder Flash, and the support type Thunder Prison. These four combat skills, without exception, were all A-level combat skills. The related introductions were also described very clearly in the list in front of him. Thunder Spear, A-level, gathers thunder, condenses it into a spear and throws it. Chain Lightning Spear, A-level, a long spear with thunder attached, continuously stabs at the enemy's vital points. During the stabbing process, thunder will continuously accumulate inside the enemy's body and detonate at the end of the combat skill. Thunder Flash, A-level, burst with thunder, rush forward in a certain direction for a distance. Thunder Prison, A-level, condense a thunder prison, locking the enemy in place. The four martial skills, Thunder Spear belongs to long-range attacks, Chain Thunder Spear belongs to strong assaults, capable of causing a large amount of damage in a short period of time. Thunder Flash is a martial skill for dashing forward allowing one to instantly close the distance with the enemy in battle. As for the final thunder prison, it can lock the enemy in place, making it impossible for them to escape. These four martial skills combined, along with my powerful physique, leave me with almost no vulnerabilities in battle. Su Chen nodded in satisfaction, then clicked to confirm. It has been detected that the four martial skills you have chosen are all A-level martial skills, with an average learning duration of six months for each skill. The total period is up to two years, which is a long learning time. It is recommended that you reasonably match with other lower level martial skills. Upon discovering that Su Chen had chosen very difficult A-level martial skills, Eva issued a warning reminder. In fact, A-level martial skills not only have a long learning period but also consume a great deal of psychic energy. Most psychics would choose to match with lower level B-level or C-level martial skills. However, Su Chen was an exception. There were still over 2,000 psychic points lying on his system panel. Learning martial skills for him was just a matter of adding a few points, with no time cost at all. In that case, of course, he would choose more powerful martial skills. As for the high psychic energy consumption, it was not a big problem. It would naturally be resolved once he advanced in rank. No need to change, it's fine like this. Alright, please wait a moment. Not long after Eva's voice fell, the staff brought four martial skill manuals and then respectfully left. For A-level martial skill manuals. Looking at the four manuals on the table, Su Chen couldn't help but feel emotional. In the outside world, the selling price of a D-level martial skill manual would require tens of thousands of DCA coins, just like his previous skill Lightning Galebreak, which was a D-level martial skill. C-level and B-level martial skills had selling prices reaching millions or tens of millions. Higher level A-level martial skills were even harder to come by. And now, four A-level martial skill manuals lay quietly in front of him, without him having to pay any price. This is the top-notch university. The educational resources it possesses are incomparable to other schools. After sighing, Su Chen sequentially flipped through the four martial skill manuals. As a level martial skills, the content in these manuals involved profound knowledge of psychic energy and blood manipulation. Even between the lines, there were some creators' artistic conception and charm. Artistic conception is a mysterious yet practical existence. For example, just by looking at a sword mark, one could sense the mood of the person who wielded the sword whether it was sharp or resolute. These manuals also carried such artistic conceptions. It was precisely because of this that many A-level martial skills could only be learned through the original manuals. Copies, lacking the artistic conception, were simply impossible to learn. This was why the martial skill library was so cautious in preserving the original martial skill manuals. Truly worthy of being A-level martial skills, this way of using psychic energy is simply imaginative. 
Four hours later, Su Chen closed the last martial skill manual and slowly exhaled a breath. He had already grasped the content of these four martial skills preliminarily. Following the normal steps, the next would be continuous practice until mastering the martial skill completely. However, that was for ordinary people. For Su Chen, it was different. Deep Blue. Add points. Ability points, 200. Thunder Spear, Thunder Spear. Primary. Ability points, 200. Chain Lightning Spear, Chain Lightning Spear. Primary. Ability points, 200. Thunder Flash, Thunder Flash. Primary. Ability points, 200. Thunder Prison, Thunder Prison. Primary. As the points were allocated, the obscure content of the four advanced combat skills was fully understood. It felt as if it had been practiced thousands of times. The four A-level combat skills that originally required two years of study were all mastered by Su Chen. And his system panel was also refreshed, name, Su Chen, level, first tier lower rank, plus, ability, purple sky divine thunder, s, physique, 391 HP, plus, spirit, 289 hertz, plus, skills, marksmanship, advanced plus, thunder spear, primary plus, a level chain lightning spear, primary plus, thunder flash, primary plus, thunder prison, primary plus, Lightning Gale Break, Advanced Plus, Body Forging, Indestructible Thunder Body, First Layer Plus, Ability Points, 1430 for the Ability Points on the System Panel directly. Decreased by half, which made Su Chen somewhat distressed. However, the exchange for the 4A level combat skills undoubtedly brought a huge boost to his strength. With so many combat skills, I wonder which lucky person will be the first to experience the power of my set of combat skills. A malicious smile of anticipation appeared on Su Chen's face. Of course, if the opponent's strength was too low, they probably wouldn't even wait for him to finish releasing the entire combo before being defeated. I'll try this set of combat skills back at the villa later to see how much ability it consumes. The combat skill manuals on the table would be automatically collected by the staff. Su Chen didn't tidy up either, he got up and left the reading room. When he reached the lobby on the first floor, he received a respectful greeting from a female teacher. Smiling in response, Su Chen walked out of the combat skill library. Checking his phone, he realized it was already past 5 in the afternoon. I was so immersed in the manuals that I forgot to eat lunch. But it's not a big deal, I'll have dinner and then return to the dorm to experiment with the combat skills. After leaving the combat skill library, Su Chen went to the cafeteria for dinner before returning to the student dormitory. Ming, a teacher came by just now to inform that there will be a freshman assembly at 9 a.m. Tomorrow at the No. 1 field. Also, a freshman group has been created. As Su Chen walked through the living room on the first floor, Lu Wentao jumped off the sofa. Handing over his phone, there was a group named Magic City Ability University 2037 Freshman Group with a QR code. Got it. I know. Su Chen took out his phone and joined the group casually. There were quite a few people in the group, with a total of 613 members and still increasing. The pinned announcement was about the freshman assembly at 9 in the morning. The chat interface was filled with messages from many freshmen. I went to the combat skill library today, guess what? I have A-level access, can freely read all A-level and below combat skill manuals. Damn, that's so cool. But I have B-level access, does that mean I can only read manuals below B-level? What a coincidence, I also have B-level access. Damn, am I the only one with C-level access? Don't worry, it seems like access can be upgraded, they should talk about it at tomorrow's freshman assembly. Similar to the university freshman group in the previous life, the chat in the group was mostly related to school matters. Su Chen glanced at it, not very interested, and went straight up the stairs. Lu Wintao seemed very interested, chatting nonstop on the sofa with his phone. At the same time, he kept saying, By the way, Ming, didn't you go to the combat skill library this afternoon? What level of combat skills did you end up choosing? For A-level combat skills, Su Chen's answer on the stairs made Lu Wintao slightly stunned. A-level combat skills? And four of them? Wait until you have learned everything, don't wait until you are in your second or third year, okay? No wonder you're Ming Ge. You don't follow the usual path. Lu Wento instinctively gave a thumbs up, then curiously asked, being able to browse A-level combat skills, Ming Ge, does that mean you have A-level access? Not A-level, it's S-level. After saying this, Su Chen had already walked up to the second floor, his figure disappearing on the stairs. Leaving Lu Wintao sitting on the sofa in confusion, S-level? Our school actually has higher access levels than A-level? As a new student, Lu Wintao was added to the group shortly after returning to the dormitory in the afternoon. After joining the new student group, he had been chatting and gathering a lot of information. Firstly, every student who registers at the school will have a level of access. The level of access determines how many basic credits one can obtain. 
For example, with A-level access, one can get 60 credits. Through his silent statistics in the new student group, he found that most people had B-level or C-level access. Only a few people had A-level access, so he instinctively thought that A-level was the highest access level a student could have. However, he did not expect Su Chen to have the astonishing S-level access. Why is this? The other provincial champions I know only have A-level access. Lu Wentao was puzzled. On the other hand, upstairs, Su Chen entered the training room. A two-meter-long gray-white spear was held in his hand. His original F-level obsidian spear had been nearly scrapped at the end of the martial arts entrance exam. Therefore, he did not bring it to the magic city. This gray long spear was a practice weapon stored in the training room, with a metal strength even lower than F-level. It was pitifully light, weighing only 20 kilograms. However, he couldn't find a suitable alternative at the moment, so he had to make do with it. It was fortunate that it was just testing combat skills, not actual combat. After the training is over, I can go to the school store to see if there is a suitable long spear for me. If there is, I'll buy it as soon as possible. Since enrolling at the Magic City Supernatural University, Su Chen had been extremely busy. On the first day of enrollment, he went to Yang Jintian to apprentice and learned the supernatural training method in body forging combat skills. The next day, he went back to Master Yang to build his foundation, which took five days, and he only woke up today. Because of this, he had not yet purchased his battle clothes and weapons. The first thing to try is the Thunderbolt Spear. Su Chen stood tall in the center of the training room, the blue-purple-purple cloud divine thunder quietly covering the gray-white long spear held in his right hand. In the next moment, the long spear turned into countless illusions, with lightning flashing, continuously stabbing out, crackling. Accompanied by thunderous explosions, the shadow of the spear lasted for almost two seconds, ending with an upward sweep. Hum, the sharp spearhead entwined with lightning, after the spear stopped moving, still swayed violently in a small amplitude. The supernatural energy consumption is not bad, just about one-eighth. Su Chen silently estimated. As for the power, it could not be determined without testing equipment. But judging from the aura of releasing the combat skills, it was more than enough to kill a peak second order bloodthirsty bear. Next, it's Thunder Prison. In this way, Su Chen tested all four A-level combat skills he had just mastered. The attack type Thunderbolt Spear and Thunder Spear had slightly higher supernatural energy consumption. Releasing them once would consume about one-eighth of the Purple Cloud Divine Thunder. Thunder Prison was a bit better, only requiring one-tenth of the supernatural energy. As for the agility type Thunder Flash, the consumption was even lower, only requiring one-twentieth of the supernatural energy. It seems that even if a complete set of combat skills is fully released, the energy consumption is at most about two-fifths, within an acceptable range. Su Chen slowly exhaled a breath. The training spear in his hand had turned slightly red due to the prolonged penetration of the purple cloud divine thunder. It seemed as if it had been placed over charcoal. An ordinary person touching it would have been burned long ago. However, Su Chen showed no signs of discomfort, casually placing the spear on the weapon rack before going to the kitchen fridge to grab a bottle of cold drink. Yes, the villa had a kitchen on both floors, although most students wouldn't choose to cook for themselves. Eva, open the school store and search for gun weapons. Okay. Su Chen sat on the sofa, sipping his cold drink while browsing the store interface projected by Eva, gun weapons, F-grade meteorite gun, 0. 45 credits slash kg, minimum 10 kilograms, F-grade obsidian gun, 0. 49 credits slash kg, minimum 10 kilograms, F-grade agile gun, 0. 42 credits slash kg, minimum 5 kilograms, E-grade meteorite gun, 1. 11 credits slash kg, minimum 10 kilograms, E-grade obsidian gun, 1. 13 credits slash kg, minimum 10 kilograms, E-grade agile gun, 0. 97 credits slash kg, minimum 5 kilograms, D-grade meteorite gun, 2. 45 credits slash kg, minimum 10 kilograms, D-grade obsidian gun, 2. 58 credits slash kg, minimum 10 kilograms, D-grade agile gun, 2. 32 credits slash kg, minimum 5 kilograms. Hmm, the weight of weapons in the store can be freely chosen? Su Chen raised an eyebrow, but the prices are similar to those outside. His original obsidian gun weighed 50 kilograms and was priced at 270,000 credits. Converted, it was similar to the prices in the school store. As for the weight of the spear suitable for his use, Su Chen had already tested it at the Thunder Marshall Hall in the afternoon. 210 kilograms was the weight he found most suitable for use. It had a certain weight, not feeling too light when swung, while also maintaining an extremely fast shooting speed. In that case, I'll stick with the obsidian gun, but this time I'll switch to E-grade alloy and increase the weight. 
Su Chen quickly filled in the weight he needed on the holographic projection. The cost of purchasing a 210 kilogram spear amounted to a whopping 237 credits. Of course, this was because of his strong physique, requiring a heavy weapon. A normal first tier esper using a weapon weighing 60 to 70 kilograms would only need to spend 60 to 70 credits. After selecting the weapon, Su Chen also chose a set of E grade combat armor worth 70 credits and E grade combat boots worth 10 credits. The total cost of these equipment items was 317 credits, which Su Chen paid for. His student account balance immediately halved, leaving him with 382. 6 credits. Purchase successful. The weapons and armor will be delivered to the dormitory tomorrow. Please check carefully. Eva's cute reminder echoed in the living room. Equipment chosen. I'll take a break and continue training later. Su Chen picked up his cold drink and took another sip. Despite having the system by his side, he was not lazy. It was still early, only a little past 7 in the afternoon. Besides training, he could also practice Esper training methods. The whole night was clearly planned out. The next day, at 8.20 in the morning, Su Chen had already completed over an hour of training on the second floor and finished washing up. He walked down to the first floor wearing a short-sleeved shirt and long pants, only to find Lu Wintao sitting on the sofa with two large dark circles under his eyes. What's wrong? Did you chat all night with the girl last night? Su Chen sat down on the sofa with a smile, patting Lu Wentao's shoulder. Ming Gu. Lu Wentao's eyes lit up, then he asked somewhat urgently, Ming Gu, what did you do to get S-level permissions? I stayed up all night last night looking up information on the top scorers in other provinces, and it seems like the difference in performance during the college entrance examination isn't that big. After speaking, he realized, and quickly added, if it's inconvenient, you don't have to tell me. Is that why you didn't sleep well? Su Chen smiled, snapped his fingers, and the faintly terrifying energy fluctuations of the purple sky divine thunder danced on his fingertips. There's nothing I can't say, the reason is simple, because I have S-level abilities. S. S-level abilities? Lu Wintao's eyes widened. No wonder the school only gave Su Chen S-level permissions. So it's S-level abilities. Additionally, he remembered that the other party had only awakened during the martial arts college entrance examination, and the power of that thunder was indeed a bit excessive. If it's S-level abilities, then it makes sense. However, he was still a bit puzzled and asked, Why didn't you tell me when we just met yesterday? You didn't ask either. Su Chin shrugged innocently. He didn't have any intention of hiding his abilities. It's just that because of the articles on the internet, many people still mistakenly thought he only had E-level abilities. Even if abilities mutated, they wouldn't necessarily evolve towards S-level abilities. Alright, the freshman assembly starts at 9 o'clock. It's almost time, let's go. Su Chen didn't continue teasing Lu Wintao, he stood up and left the villa with him. The Magic City Abilities University has four playgrounds. The location of the freshman assembly is the first playground. When Su Chen and Lu Wintao entered the playground, there were already quite a few people there. However, because the colleges and classes had not been assigned yet, everyone didn't know each other. Most of them were chatting with each other in pairs, not disturbing each other. In the crowd, Su Chen also noticed Song Chouyun, whom he had seen once outside the dormitory yesterday. At this moment, she was with her roommate. Song Chouyun's appearance was already top-notch, coupled with her outstanding figure, it was not an exaggeration to call her a goddess. Many male students on the playground attracted attention. In addition, some female students' eyes wandered over to some sensitive areas, and after comparing secretly, they showed expressions of envy. At this moment, Song Chouyun suddenly turned her head and met eyes with Su Chen. Such keen perception. Su Chen was surprised, but didn't feel embarrassed. He nodded slightly at Song Chouyun and then looked away. Su Chen. Song Chouyun blinked when she saw Su Chen's reaction. Ordinary boys, when caught peeking at her, would either shyly lower their heads or quickly turn away, pretending to look at the scenery in the distance. Only Su Chen not only had no reaction but even looked at her for a while and nodded at her. He's a peculiar boy. Song Chouyun thought to herself. Beside her, her roommate Chi Dongxia also noticed Su Chen's arrival and her eyes lit up, it's Su Chen. He looks even more handsome in person than in the photos. Su Chen's appearance was already good, and he was nearly 6 feet tall. Among so many people, he stood out like a crane among chickens. Coupled with the thunderous aura bestowed upon him by the S-level ability Purple Sky Divine Thunder, he appeared even more mysterious. He was definitely a man that countless girls admired. So, apart from Chi Dongxia, the other girls present, after seeing Su Chen, also showed great interest. Su Chen is here. Is he the one who broke the school record yesterday? Indeed, he is also a freshman. Su Chen seems to be the top scholar in Jiangnan province, very strong. 
Due to the news of breaking the record of the Magic City Supernatural University yesterday, it spread like wildfire on the forum. As a result, the vast majority of freshmen present knew Su Chen. So, after Su Chen appeared, pairs of eyes looked over. In these gazes, various emotions were different. There were admiration and enthusiasm from young girls, as well as solemnity from male classmates facing a strong opponent. Of course, there were also many who looked down on him. However, regardless of the emotions they carried, Su Chen was the absolute focus at this moment. However, at this moment, an untimely voice suddenly sounded in the crowd, Su Chen. I, Lei Zhou, challenge you. Accompanied by the abrupt voice, a group of four walked out of the crowd. The young man at the forefront was about one. Eight meters tall, wearing a white t-shirt and white pants. He was slender but exuded a faint sense of danger. The other three around him were either burly or had carefree smiles. Their auras were all at least at the middle level of the first tier, clearly formidable individuals. The leading young man in white clothes and white pants was Lei Zhou, the second place in the martial arts college entrance examination in Jiangnan province, from Ningen City, Jiangnan province. Su Chin. Lei Zhou's face was filled with resentment. Both his parents were fourth-tier supernaturals, and he was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. At the age of 16, he awakened the A-level elemental fire ability. Since then, he soared to become a popular talent in Ningen City, the provincial capital of Jiangnan province. He had been crushing all the talents in the city, advancing from an awakened individual to an upper-tier supernatural in just two years. He became the top contender for this year's martial arts college entrance examination in Jiangnan province. And he did not disappoint scoring over 9,300 points in the examination. It should be noted that the highest score in Jiangnan province in previous years was only around 8,800 points. His over 9,300 points could be said to have directly secured the top scholar position in the province. However, just when he thought his top scholar position was set in stone, and the city's education bureau and his family were preparing for a celebration banquet, Su Chen emerged out of nowhere and snatched the top scholar position in Jiangnan province with a total score of over 11,000 points. What's more, Su Chen was from the barren northern part of Jiangcheng in Jiangnan province. As the provincial capital of Jiangnan province, Ningen City received the most educational resources from the province every year. However, this time, the top scholar appeared in Jiangcheng, which had the least resources. Therefore, there were rumors in Ningen City that the city's education bureau was incompetent, unable to compare even with a remote city like Jiangcheng. As a result, the Ningen City Education Bureau faced tremendous pressure. The former pride of Ningen City suddenly fell from grace. While researching Su Chen's martial arts college entrance examination video, he discovered that their strengths were actually not that different. Su Chen scored over 2,000 points more because he had killed all the beasts in the core area. In Ningen City, where the candidates were all strong, the beasts in the core area were all taken by force and not left for others. Therefore, he had been brooding over this matter. If he had participated in the examination in Jiangcheng, he might have also scored over 10,000 points and become the top scholar. So, upon discovering that Su Chun was also at the Magic City Supernatural University, Lei Zhou decided to challenge him. He wanted to trample Su Chen under his feet. To prove to Ningen City and the entire Jiangnan province that it was not his inability, but the location of the examination. In fact, he had already issued several challenge invitations on the school forum yesterday, but he had not received any response. That's why he directly challenged Su Chen at this freshman assembly. Lei Zhou, I know him, he is the second place in the martial arts college entrance examination in our Jiangnan province. The second place is challenging the first place? Interesting. There are rumors online that the top scorer in this year's Jiangnan province seems to have taken advantage of the test points. The gap in strength between the two is not actually that big, and Lei Zhou may even be stronger. So that's why Lei Zhou is so eager to challenge, he wants to prove himself. Among the onlookers, there are also students from Jiangnan province who recognize Lei Zhou's identity. Acting as a popular science communicator, explaining to the people around. Su Chen also learned the ins and outs from the bits and pieces of information from the onlookers. However, even so, he did not agree to the invitation to fight, shaking his head and refusing, sorry, I'm not interested. Before advancing to an advanced esper, he had some desire to engage in battles. But now that he has advanced to a lower level esper, mastering the S-level Thunder Immortal Body and the four major A-level combat techniques, it can be said that if he were to fight Lei Zhou, it would be like an adult fighting a child. Even if he won, he wouldn't feel any sense of accomplishment. He he, not interested? I guess you're afraid of our lay brother, right? The school forum now says you're a rare genius in our school in over a decade, but I think that's about it. Forget it, lay brother, there's no need to bother with such a person. Lei Zhou hadn't spoken yet 
but a few people beside him spoke sarcastically. Don't talk nonsense, Su Chen is not that kind of person. Lei Zhou pretended to be angry and stopped them, then smiled and said, Su Chen, I remember your aunt seems to be in the business of rare flowers and exotic plants, right? Coincidentally, our family is currently your aunt's largest purchaser, and we still owe your family a large sum of money. If this payment is not made on time, your aunt's family may have a little difficulty. The so-called rare flowers and exotic plants are treasures condensed from the essence of heaven and earth. They can only be collected in the wilderness, and each type has special effects. They can enhance vitality or strengthen mental power. They are very useful for espers, and many espers are willing to pay high prices to buy them. Therefore, there are many businesses in the country engaged in this trade. After the results of the martial arts college entrance examination were announced, Lei Zhou discovered that Su Chen had a good relationship with his aunt, Su Qingwan. So he placed a large order with Su Qingwan's company, only paid a deposit, and did not intend to pay the balance. If the other party wanted to sue, dragging it out for a year or two, even if they won the lawsuit, the company would have already gone bankrupt. He originally just wanted to trick Su Chen, but he didn't expect it to be used here. And Lei Zhou also knew that someone like Su Chen, who values family ties greatly, would not have no reaction to this. Are you threatening me? Su Chen narrowed his eyes. Just a glance, but Lei Zhou on the other side felt a tremor in his heart. It felt like being stared at by a top predator, with his body hair standing on end. However, even so, he still pretended to be calm and said, It's not a threat, just a reminder for you. Time, place. Su Chen took a deep breath, his black and white eyes showing an unprecedented coldness. Not far away, Song Chouyun, with extremely strong perception abilities, sensed the hidden hostility beneath this coldness. Such a hostile aura, how did he manage to do that? Song Chouyun's curiosity about this tall male student was further heightened. 12 noon in 7 days, at the No. 3 Combat Arena, seeing Su Chen take the bait, Lei Zhou replied directly. Okay, I'll be there, but I hope you won't regret it. Su Chen coldly left after saying that. Before coming to the Magic City Supernatural University, he knew that his uncle's company had received a large order. As a result, his uncle's family was busy day and night for two days to complete this order. It was said that the money earned from this order would cover the company's expenses for a year. Unexpectedly, it turned out to be a trap set by someone else in advance. Since this matter started because of himself, it should also be ended by himself. Su Chen agreed. On the third, there will be a big battle in the real combat arena in seven days. Remember to go early to secure a good spot, after all, the provincial champion will be participating. The onlookers were naturally excited to see the two agreeing to a battle and made plans to go watch the excitement at the real combat arena together. And this was exactly what Lei Zhou wanted. He scheduled it for seven days later to spread the news widely and attract more spectators. Then, he would defeat Su Qin in front of everyone to achieve the ultimate sense of accomplishment. First of all, welcome all new students to choose our Magic City Supernatural University. This freshman orientation is not the official opening ceremony. We have gathered you here to answer some questions and discuss how to better utilize the school's resources. First, let's talk about each of your authorization levels. After some twists and turns, the freshman orientation officially began at 9 o'clock. On the platform in front of the playground, a male teacher was speaking. The main content was similar to what Zhang Chaoyang had said, involving the credit system, exclusive mentor system, and so on, but in more detail. The mention of the power ranking piqued Su Chen's interest. The power ranking was somewhat similar to the Thunder Martial Hall strength ranking, but it tested the student's actual combat power. It required the use of a device called the Virtual Stealth Cabin to engage in combat in holographic simulated battle scenes. The more levels one passed, the higher their ranking would be. And the rewards obtained in the end were also very generous. After the freshman orientation, I can take a closer look at this so-called power ranking. Su Chen thought to himself. After all, the concept of holographic stealth was also a new thing for him. The freshman orientation continued for over an hour. Apart from the first half hour where the male teacher on the platform spoke, the rest of the time was spent on students asking questions. After the freshman orientation, Su Chen went to teacher Yang Jintian's villa. In the villa's living room, senior brother Lu Ming was already waiting there. Let's go, to the training room. I'll teach you boxing in the morning, and the teacher will teach you marksmanship in the afternoon. Seeing Su Chen come in, senior brother Lu Ming directly took him to the training room. Originally, according to the original plan, both boxing and marksmanship were supposed to be taught by him. However, Su Chen's marksmanship had reached an advanced level, equivalent to his own proficiency. Therefore, it had to be teacher Yang Jintian who taught him. And so, Su Chen began training with senior brother Lu Ming. 
Senior brother Lu Ming, a senior student in his fourth year, had reached the peak of the third rank. His boxing, marksmanship, and knife skills were all advanced, and he possessed an A-level thunder ability, a true genius. Under his guidance, Su Qin began to get a basic understanding of boxing. In the following period, Su Qin led a very disciplined life. He would wake up at half past six in the morning, train in the training room for an hour, then arrive at teacher Yang Jintian's villa at half past eight. In the morning, he would learn boxing from senior brother Lu Ming, and in the afternoon, he would learn marksmanship and some applications of the thunder ability from the teacher. Of course, the senior brother and teacher were not present every day. When they were absent, Su Chen would train in the villa's training room by himself. Soon, seven days had passed. On July 1st, at half past eight in the morning, Su Chen arrived at teacher Yang Jintian's villa as usual. Let's go, to the training room, senior brother Lu Ming was preparing to go to the training room with Su Chen when he suddenly realized something was off. He stopped in his tracks, turned back in surprise, and asked, you've advanced? Su Chen didn't hide it, smiled and nodded. He had advanced using the system last night. Previously, he had advanced from an awakened to a tier 1 lower rank esper, spending 300 esper points. This time, advancing from tier 1 lower rank to tier 1 middle rank cost him 386 esper points. The non-integer consumption of esper points also confirmed one of his speculations. That is, advancing using the system consumes esper points based on one's original cultivation progress. If he was just a step away from tier 1 middle rank the esper points consumed by advancing using the system might be even lower. Maybe he could advance with less than 100 esper points. This was one of the reasons why he was busy training every day. It's only been a short time, and you've advanced? Lu Ming, now confirmed, was shocked. He knew that when Su Chen first arrived, he was just an awakened. Now, in less than half a month, he had directly broken through to tier 1 middle rank. What kind of monstrous cultivation speed was this? It took him nearly a year to advance from an awakened to tier 1 middle rank back then. This was already considered a rare genius. I remember you had a duel scheduled with another new student at noon today? Lu Ming's expression changed as he asked. At noon today, on the third combat arena, Su Chen nodded. He had mentioned this to senior brother Lu Ming before. Well, I'll observe three minutes of silence for your opponent. Lu Ming smirked. Others might not know Su Chen's strength, but could his senior brother who trained with him every day not know? After cultivating the indestructible thunder body, Su Chen's physical strength alone was comparable to a tier 2 savage beast. Coupled with his extremely exquisite advanced marksmanship, he was ferocious to the extreme. Moreover, this was without using his esper abilities and combat skills. According to Lu Ming's estimation, Su Chen's overall strength could almost be considered that of a high-level tier 2 esper. Now that he had reached tier 1 middle rank, his strength had once again been enhanced. He didn't think any new student could beat such a freak. Good luck, after training, I'll go with you, Lu Ming patted Su Chen's shoulder. In fact, he also wanted to see how terrifying his junior strength was in his prime state. At 11.42 in the morning, Magic City Esper University, training building. On the first floor of the training building, there were 10 combat arenas numbered 1 to 10. This place was specifically used for students to practice combat or resolve personal grievances. At this moment, many students had already taken their seats around the combat arenas. Most of these people were freshmen, numbering around 4 to 500. It's worth noting that there were only a little over 600 freshmen who had enrolled so far. In other words, most freshmen had gathered here for this event. Jiangnan province is a major educational province, the battle between the first and second place is quite exciting. After the start of the new semester in September, it's the freshmen's big competition. It's a good opportunity to see the strength of the provincial champion. But speaking of which, I checked some information recently and found that Su Chen indeed took advantage of the exam points. If they were in the same exam center, I'm afraid Lei Zhou would be the provincial champion of Jiangnan province. So, does that mean Lei Zhou has a higher chance of winning? Not necessarily, after all, Su Chen recently broke our school's strength record. Heh, what's a strength record? In our Esper battles, it's not all about brute force. I think Lei Zhou is stronger. Students were discussing and speculating on the outcome of this battle. Many freshmen who have consulted information have consciously discovered the hidden truth. They believe that Lei Zhou is stronger and that Su Chen can become the top scholar in Jiangnan province simply because he took advantage of the remote test site. Xiao Yun, who do you think has a better chance of winning between the two of them? In a corner of the audience, Song Chouyun and her roommate Qi Dongxia also arrived here. Su Chen, Song Chouyun's red lips moved slightly, without any hesitation. The confident tone made Qi Dongxia slightly stunned. Although she only got to know Song Chouyun after becoming roommates, 
She knew that Song Cho Yun usually thinks carefully before drawing conclusions. This was the first time she had seen her so sure. But I think Lei Zhou is stronger, with a better chance of winning. Although Qi Dongxia is very loyal to Su Chen's appearance, she still leans towards Lei Zhou in terms of strength. Additionally, she also agrees more with the rumors among the freshmen. Su Chen may have taken advantage of the test site to become the top scholar in Jiangnan province. However, Song Cho Yun is not concerned about this. The country has mandatory regulations for the martial arts entrance exam. Where you attend junior high school and high school, you must take the exam there. Su Chen may have indeed taken advantage of the test site, but he has not enjoyed the abundant educational resources of the provincial capital. Coming from the barren city of Jiangchang, yet ultimately winning the top scholar title in the province, has already proven his extraordinary abilities. If Lei Zhou and Su Chen switched identities, Su Chen, who grew up in Ningen City, could still compete for the top scholar title. And if Lei Zhou, who grew up in Jiangcheng, were to switch, he might not even make it to the top 100 in Jiangnan province, let alone compete for the top scholar title. Song Chou Yun's beautiful eyes radiated wisdom. Qi Dongxia beside her was momentarily stunned. Oh, people only pay attention to the differences in test sites, but they overlook the huge disparity in the resources of the two sides. If the martial arts entrance exam in resource-rich Ningen city is considered normal difficulty, then resource-poor Jiangcheng is like hell difficulty. Su Chen's ability to stand out in the hellish difficulty of Jiangcheng and win the top scholar title has already proven his strong abilities and potential. Just as Qi Dongxia realized this, there was a commotion in the audience, with everyone looking towards the entrance. Su Chen is here. She quickly turned her gaze towards the entrance. Sure enough, a tall and slender figure walked in against the light. It must be said that Su Chen's aura is indeed powerful. Standing at 1 meter 89, paired with a black battle suit, he appeared tall and strong, yet there was not a hint of bulkiness. On his resolute and tough face, his eyes were clear and sharp, exuding a sense of spirit. He carried a large, dark spear on his back, with a sharp spearhead with blood grooves, reflecting a cold light under the noon sun. Just by walking in, the powerful aura emanating from his body made the entire venue quiet down. TSK, my junior brother's appearance, after he achieves results later, I wonder how many senior sisters and junior sisters he will charm. Seeing this scene from the back row of the audience, Lu Ming couldn't help but sigh. With a good figure and appearance, coupled with strong abilities, he would definitely be the ideal companion for the girls at the Magic City Supernatural University. Of course, there were already signs of this in the audience today. Many young girls were staring at Su Chen as he walked in, some even took out their phones to take pictures and record. Su Chen's level has increased. In the front row of the audience, Su Chen's opponent Lei Zhou keenly sensed the change in Su Chen's aura. But it's okay, I have my own preparations, Lei Zhou thought to himself. Being able to rank second in Jiangnan province, he was not a fool without a brain, thinking that he had already won this time, especially considering the record Su Chen had broken recently. He had the confidence to challenge Su Chen, so naturally he had prepared his killer move. Su Chen, just deciding the winner is too boring, how about we make it more interesting? Lei Zhou stood up as he saw Su Chen approaching. What do you have in mind? Su Chen raised an eyebrow. All your credits, Lei Zhou's handsome face carried an undisguised malice, of course, I will also offer the corresponding value of credits and a large sum of Dasha coins. Whoever wins takes it all. Deal. With the chance to make easy money, Su Chen wouldn't refuse. Alright, to prevent any cheating, we will transfer all credits to Teacher Zhou's account. Battles between ability users were extremely dangerous, it was common for someone to accidentally inflict severe injuries or even fatal wounds. To prevent students from dying on the spot, there would be teachers specializing in auxiliary healing abilities stationed at the arena every day. Today, the teacher presiding over the arena was a woman named Zhou Yun. She was a 6th rank intermediate ability user with a B rank auxiliary ability, Healing Light. In a battle between first tier ability users like this, no matter how intense the fight, she could still save them. At the same time, Teacher Zhou Yun was also the referee for this match. Therefore, Su Chen transferred all his 370 credits to Teacher Zhou Yun. As for Lei Zhou, he transferred 50 credits and an additional 3. 2 million Dashia coins. Wow, a gambling match worth 3. 7 million, that's quite a bold move. Both sides don't seem like easy opponents, if one loses, it will be a heavy blow to either party. Having a stake makes the fight more exciting. The freshmen in the audience were amazed by the size of the bet. On one hand, they were all newly enrolled students, and 3. 7 million was already a significant amount. On the other hand, in 2 months, they would face a crucial moment in the freshman grand competition. Losing this money on either side would mean losing a large amount of cultivation resources. 
their progress and strength would definitely fall behind others. Both sides enter the arena. After confirming the credit transfer between both parties, teacher Zhou Yun spoke up. Su Chen and Lei Zhou then stepped onto the arena. The arena was a 30mx 30m square, with Su Chen and Lei Zhou standing 10 meters apart, facing each other. One held a spear, the other a knife. Before we begin, I want to emphasize once again, if one side admits defeat or loses consciousness, the other side is not allowed to continue pursuing, otherwise, the match will be immediately stopped, and the offending party will face the school's strictest punishment. Do you understand? Teacher Zhou Yun's expression was serious as she emphasized. One was the first in Jiangnan province, the other was the second. Getting injured was not a big deal, but if one of them died, it would be troublesome. Therefore, it was absolutely forbidden to continue pursuing in a real fight if one admitted defeat. Understood. Su Chen and Lei Zhou nodded simultaneously. Good, let's get ready to start. Teacher Zhou Yun nodded and began the countdown. 3, 2, 1, begin. As the countdown ended, Lei Zhou, holding a large knife, let out a low roar, forest flame. Boom. White flame spread out from Lei Zhou as the center. Forest flame, an A-rank elemental fire ability. Combined with Lei Zhou's first tier high level strength, the forest flame he unleashed possessed terrifying high temperatures. The temperature in the surrounding air also rose sharply due to the appearance of the forest flame. In the audience seats, those closer to the front felt as if they were being scorched by the flames. Startled, they quickly moved to the back seats. Su Chen, you made me lose my honor, and today I will take it all back. Flame slash. On the arena, terrifying high temperature white flames swept towards Su Chen, and Lei Zhou himself took a step forward. He directly crossed a distance of more than 9 meters and arrived in front of Su Chen. Then, he raised his right hand, and the white greatsword wrapped in flames made a heavy, dull sound as it fiercely chopped towards Su Chen. Such skillful technique connection. Directly close in, then launch a slashing attack. This should be a combination of charge and flame slash technique, indeed released very skillfully. Truly worthy of an A-level ability, the high temperature of this flame is too terrifying. The many freshmen in the audience held their breath, watching this scene intently. Charging is a very common body technique C-level combat skill that allows for a direct sprint over a distance. But like Lei Zhou, following a charge with the immediate release of another combat skill is something many people present cannot achieve. It requires an extremely terrifying level of proficiency. And this seemingly simple combo, 90% of the people present cannot defend against. Truly deserving of being the second in Jiangnan province, his foundation is very solid. Just as the freshman marveled at Lei Zhou's technique connection, Su Chen on the arena also made a move. Crackling accompanied by the piercing sound of electric arcs, the blue-purple-purple -purple cloud divine thunder first lingered around Su Chen. Like an eggshell, it isolated the raging flame outside. The next moment, the dark and cold long spear also moved. But no one saw how Su Chen made his move, they only felt a blur before their eyes. Then, a clang of a golden blade rang out, echoing in the arena. By the time everyone reacted, the black long spear had already blocked the great sword strike. Blocked. Blocked it? To effortlessly break a combat skill move with a casual spear strike, can one really play like this? Damn, what kind of power is this? So fierce? Facing this scene, the freshmen were all somewhat stunned. It should be noted that combat skills combine the power of abilities in blood. Generally, when facing combat skills, one either dodges directly or uses a combat skill to defend. Su Chen, however, is different, he did not use any combat skills. Just relying on that long spear, he casually blocked Lei Zhou's flame slash. In simpler terms, Su Chen's ordinary A-level move directly broke the enemy's big move. How is this possible? Lei Zhou on the arena also couldn't believe it. However, Su Chen responded with his indifferent and deep voice, Nothing is impossible, you're just too weak. Immediately after, there was a loud bang. Lei Zhou's body bent sharply into a C-shape, his waist struck by a huge force. The raging flame lost control under intense pain, suddenly disappearing, and he himself was thrown out like a cannonball. After hitting the alloy cable at the edge of the arena, he came to a sudden stop, falling to the ground like a puppet, his face covered in blood. And in his original position, Su Chen, surrounded by the blue-purple-purple -purple cloud divine thunder, slowly retracted his long spear. Just now, it was just one strike of his long spear. But because the speed of the spear was too fast, Lei Zhou couldn't react at all and could only be knocked away. As Lei Zhou fell, the audience fell silent. From the beginning to the end of the battle, Su Chen seemed to have only used his spear twice, right? And then, this battle. Ended like this? What about the big fight they promised? What about Lei Zhou being stronger than Su Chen? How come Lei Zhou was instantly killed instead? RNM. Refund. What? No refund? Well then, sorry for the disturbance. 
Originally, everyone thought Lei Zhou would be slightly stronger than Su Chen. Even if not much stronger, they should at least be evenly matched. What is the situation now? The battle has only been going on for a few seconds, and Lei Zhou's combat skills were broken first, followed by being directly knocked away. This can already be described as a crushing defeat. And it's a completely one-sided crushing. Lei Zhou has almost no power to fight back. Is Lei Zhou weak? He is not weak, with his A-level forest fire ability, coupled with skilled combat skills. Most of the freshmen present can't handle this combination of moves. Moreover, they dare to be certain that Lei Zhou still has other more powerful combat skills at his disposal. Is it useful? It's not. As the enemy, Su Chen only needed his lightning ability to erupt, followed by two shots to complete the instant kill. He didn't even use any combat skills. For a moment, all the freshmen in the audience couldn't help but think of one word, unfathomable. In the audience, the provincial champions from other provinces looked at the upright figure on the stage. Without exception, they all had serious expressions, showing fear. Because they realized that even if they were to go up, the final result would probably be the same as Lei Zhou's. This is too boring, I haven't even forced my junior brother to use his full strength. Lu Ming, sitting in the back row of the audience, felt disappointed. Daring to challenge Su Chen with this level of strength is simply seeking death. On the stage, teacher Zhou Yun, who acted as the referee, also looked somewhat surprised at this scene. She didn't expect Su Chen's strength to be so much stronger than Lei Zhou's. The winner of this match is. Just as she was about to announce Su Chen's victory, Lei Zhou, lying on the edge of the stage, weakly spoke up, T. Teacher, I. Haven't admitted defeat, the match is not over yet. Then, he took out a blood red pill from his pocket. Blood burst pill? Are you out of your mind? Zhou Yun's face changed, and she quickly stopped him, this is just a match, not for you to risk your life. In the wilderness zone, there are strange flowers and plants, which can naturally be used to refine various pills. The blood burst pill is a kind of pill that ability users use to fight desperately. After taking it, their strength can be multiplied. Of course, the side effects are also significant, and they may not be able to get out of bed for one or two months afterwards. It's... It's okay, I'll bear the consequences myself. The blood burst pill is Lei Zhou's trump card prepared for Su Chen. It won't be used unless absolutely necessary. However, Su Chen's strength greatly exceeded expectations, and there was no other choice. Let's go all out. If I lose, I'll admit defeat. With a low growl, Lei Zhou swallowed the blood burst pill in one gulp. Although winning in this way may be considered unfair, at least it's a victory. It's better than losing. So, in the next moment, under the effect of the pill, an extremely powerful aura erupted from him. The forest fire, in a state several times stronger than before, bloomed again, covering a radius of 5 to 6 meters around him with a sea of forest white flames. Hey hey hey, can you still use pills in the match? Isn't this a clear violation? Watching Lei Zhou erupt again, Lu Wentao, a roommate in the audience, couldn't sit still and quickly stood up to protest. This action also prompted many freshmen to speak up. Yeah, you can't use pills in the match, right? Is it fair to use external forces in the match? Lei Zhou violated the rules, shouldn't he be directly declared the loser? Although the freshmen were looking forward to a more exciting battle, they were also very resistant to the act of using pills. Of course, most of those who spoke up for Su Chen were girls. Among them was Song Chou Yun's roommate, Shi Dongxia. This is not an official match, and since there were no relevant rules set before the match started, using pills is also within the allowable range. Teacher Zhou Yun on the stage shook her head, if Su Chen has pills on him, he can also use them. In actual combat, there aren't too many rules to restrain. But who would have thought that Lei Zhou actually prepared the blood fury pill that only desperate ability users would take? It seems to be a high-grade blood fury pill, directly temporarily boosting Lei Zhou's strength to a lower second-tier ability user. This will be troublesome for Su Chen. After carefully sensing Lei Zhou's aura, Zhou Yun couldn't help but shake her head. Lei Zhou, as a first-tier upper-level ability user, originally had the strength of a second-tier. With the assistance of the Blood Fury pill at this moment, forcibly entering the second tier, his overall strength probably directly increased to the upper second tier. With such strength, even Su Chen, who had just shown a fierce performance, would probably find it difficult to resist. However, what she didn't expect was that Su Chen on the ring showed no panic at all, but instead held a long spear, full of fighting spirit. Hmm, the fighting spirit is unexpectedly stronger, this mentality is quite good, Zhou Yun nodded to herself. However, what she didn't expect was that Su Chen's mentality was not just good, it could almost be considered joyful. Finally, it's not the rhythm of adults bullying children. Su Chen's mouth slightly curved upwards. It seemed that he sensed the owner's emotions, and the purple thunder god thunder surrounding him also became active. 
The crackling sound of electric arcs and thunder continued to sound. Then, with a flash of lightning, his figure disappeared directly from the original position. When he reappeared, he was already less than a meter in front of Lei Zhou. Thunder Flash A movement type A level combat skill that can dash a certain distance in any direction. With Su Chen's current strength at the middle of the first tier, the dashing distance reached up to 20 meters. Dashing in front of Lei Zhou, who was more than 10 meters away, was effortless. Such fast speed. Lei Zhou's pupils contracted, instinctively raising his knife, and Su Chen also counterattacked with his spear. This time, Lei Zhou finally saw Su Chen's movements clearly. However, just seeing clearly was not enough, he couldn't change his moves at all. He could only watch Su Chen's long spear coming towards him. I can't believe that even after taking the blood fury pill, I still can't beat you. Lei Zhou gritted his teeth and increased his strength. However, he soon regretted it. The clash between the long spear and the big knife was accompanied by a sound of metal impact several times stronger than before. A huge impact force came from the long knife, directly shattering his tiger's mouth, blood flowing out. He himself was pushed back three or four steps by the shock. What kind of monster are you? After stabilizing himself, Lei Zhou looked at Su Chen not far away with a horrified gaze. This was his strength after taking the blood fury pill, which had increased three to four times. In a strength competition, he still couldn't beat Su Chen. What made him even more desperate was that even with his enhanced forest flame, he still couldn't break through Su Chen's thunder defense. From then on, whether in physical strength or ability, Lei Zhou was completely defeated. No, I can't confront him head on. Lei Zhou's eyes flashed, decisively choosing to move away from Su Chen and hide at a position more than 10 meters away. Then, he launched his long-range ability attack, Flame Chain Shot. The forest flame around Lei Zhou condensed into basketball-sized fireballs, continuously smashing towards Su Chen. As an offensive fire-type B-level combat skill, each fireball produced by Flame Chain Shot would explode on the enemy. Lightly, it would cause severe burns, and heavily, it would burn to ashes. However, for Su Chen, who had the protection of Purple Thunder God Thunder, the explosion of the fireballs did not cause him any harm at all. Instead, it was the shockwaves from the explosions that made his movements sluggish. Oh no, the shockwaves from Flame Chain Shot prevent Su Chen from getting close to Lei Zhou. Indeed, after taking the Blood Fury pill, the power of this fire ability is somewhat exaggerated. But it's still okay, Su Chen just needs to withstand this wave of attacks, and wait for Lei Zhou's drug effect to dissipate. The freshmen in the audience were all focused on this scene. The bad news is that Su Chen, the short-legged warrior, was being kiked by the mage. The good news is that the mage was unharmed and unable to sustain the attack for long. When the effects of the medicine dissipate, it will be Su Chen's time to counterattack. Lei Zhou on the stage also clearly knew this, anxiously controlling the raging forest fire, wanting to generate more fireballs to break through Su Chen's thunder defense. However, the opponent stood firm like a rock in the rapids. Damn, what level is Su Chen's thunder elemental ability? It's so abnormal. Lei Zhou cursed inwardly. Logically speaking, under the effects of the bloodthirsty pill, his rank had temporarily increased from upper first rank to lower second rank. The power of the A-grade raging forest fire had been greatly enhanced. It was impossible to break through the defense barrier of a mid-level first rank esper. But fortunately, there are still more than 10 minutes before the effects of the medicine wear off, I still have a chance. Lei Zhou was not one to give up easily, quickly stabilizing his mindset and preparing to think of another way. Just then, Su Chen's deep voice suddenly sounded, Thunder Spear. Su Chen's left hand, suppressed by the flames, clenched the air not far ahead. Accompanied by a piercing thunder, a blue-purple thunder spear quickly condensed. Then, it was fiercely thrown towards Lei Zhou. The thunder spear was extremely fast, and in the blink of an eye, it was within 5 meters of Lei Zhou. Not good. He also has long-range attack capabilities. Lei Zhou quickly dodged to the side. PSHH the thunder spear grazed his side, tearing his battle clothes and causing a charred wound, blood flowing out. The purple thunder left by the thunder spear also spread at the wound. As an S-rank esper, even a trace could cause great damage. The excruciating pain left by the thunder spear almost made Lei Zhou faint on the spot. However, it wasn't over yet, the low voice sounded again, thunder prison. Sizzle. Su Chin pointed his long spear, and with a thunderous sound like a thousand birds chirping, endless blue-purple thunder spread down from above Lei Zhou, forming a thunder prison that enveloped Lei Zhou. Restrictive combat skill. Lei Zhou's face turned ugly. Restrictive combat skills were often difficult to break through, and even if forcibly broken through, it would come at a great cost. Looking at the terrifying thunder emanating around him, Lei Zhou felt that if he chose to break through forcibly, he would be the one to suffer. So, following Su Chen's example, he retracted all the raging forest fire around him. 
forming a substantial white flame barrier around himself. Oomph, I want to see how long your thunder prison can last. Lei Zhou snorted, not believing that Su Chen could break through his flame barrier. However, at that moment, Su Chen made a move. With a flash of lightning, he crossed a distance of more than 10 meters and appeared in front of Lei Zhou. The flame barrier seems formidable, but I wonder if it can withstand my attacks. Su Chen narrowed his eyes, the obsidian spear in his hand, two meters long, already entwined with blue-purple thunder, chain thunder spear. The dark spear turned into a phantom and continuously stabbed out. Thunder flickered. And the flame barrier that Lei Zhou had high hopes for was pierced in an instant. How is this possible? Along with Lei Zhou's terrified cry, the sharp spearhead entwined with terrifying thunder rapidly enlarged in his pupils. He would die. If hit, he would definitely die. At that moment, Lei Zhou's survival instinct was amplified to the extreme. I surrender. I surrender. Hiss, the sharp spearhead, entwined with blue-purple thunder and glowing red like a branding iron, stopped one centimeter away from Lei Zhou's forehead, in his horrified gaze. Just as he thought he had escaped and scathed, the long spear suddenly turned and stabbed directly towards his right shoulder. Put. A large hole was pierced in his shoulder, and the shoulder blade was shattered. The intense pain almost made Lai Zhou faint. Meanwhile, Su Chen, on the other side, calmly withdrew the long spear, his resolute and tough face still calm. The entire battle process seemed long, but from Su Chen using the thunder spear to counterattack to ultimately completing the suppression, it only took four or five seconds. By the time everyone reacted, Lai Zhou had already conceded. The winner of this match is Su Chen. Zhou Yin noticed Su Chen's movements but didn't say much, timely announcing the victory of this match. At this moment, in the audience stands, the newcomers who had come to their senses were excitedly discussing Su Chen's almost perfect sequence of combat techniques. Crushing. It's a complete crush. In just 4 or 5 seconds, he actually consecutively displayed 4 combat techniques, isn't that too exaggerated? Not only that, the transitions between the techniques were also very smooth. The bloodthirsty pill forcibly raised Laijo's level to the lower second rank, and everyone thought Laijo could turn the tables. However, it was still a one-sided crush by Su Chen. What's even more terrifying is how well Su Chen mastered the timing of releasing the combat techniques. Still as a statue, but when he moved, it was like a thunderbolt. A series of combat techniques released left Laijo completely powerless to fight back. The battle ended directly. And most importantly, he actually forcibly stopped the combat techniques at the end. That's the most terrifying part. After the combat techniques are released, it's extremely difficult to stop them. Even if forcibly stopped, one would suffer backlash. However, Su Chen stopped the combat techniques as if nothing happened, not even a hint of disorder in his breath. This made some students couldn't help but feel amazed. By the way, Su Chen's four combat techniques all seem very powerful, are they all B-rank techniques? It's possible, the power is too strong, Lai Zhou's flame shield didn't even last a second before being broken. For B-rank combat techniques, amazing, the highest level combat technique I've mastered is only C-rank. Indeed, Su Chen's four thunder-based combat techniques brought them a completely different sense of power compared to low-level techniques. In the back of the audience stands, Li Mingren, who heard the discussions of these newcomers, was stunned. Others may not be clear about the levels of these combat techniques, but as a senior brother of the same sect, how could he not be aware? Thunder Spear, Chain Thunder Spear, Thunder Prison, and Thunder Flash, they are all A-rank combat techniques. For A-rank combat techniques, Junior Brother, you really dare to choose. Li Ming couldn't help but whisper in amazement. As Su Chen's senior brother, Li Ming also received a list of combat techniques after becoming Yang Jintian's disciple. However, in the end, he only chose one A-rank combat technique, Thunder Flash. The rest were B-rank and C-rank techniques. It's not that he didn't want to choose higher level techniques. The higher the level of the technique, the more difficult it is to learn, and the longer the period. Naturally, he wouldn't choose too many high level techniques to slow down his own strength improvement. However, Su Chen not only chose A rank techniques but also chose 4 at once. What's even more outrageous is that he mastered them all. You made me, who spent over 4 months just learning Thunder Flash, feel so inadequate as a senior brother. Li Ming shook his head inside. With such an outstanding junior brother, the pressure on him as a senior brother was immense. Su Chen, this time I admit defeat wholeheartedly. The credits and Dixia coins are yours, and I will also make the payment to your younger aunt on time. On the stage, Lai Zhou finally recovered from the intense pain. After taking a deep look at Su Chen, he then covered his shoulder in pain and left the stage. He lost. This time he was completely defeated. And basically it can be considered a complete defeat. Normal form can't win, even after taking the blood rage pill. Everything that just happened has already caused him a serious sense of frustration. 
In addition, the right scapula is broken, and it will also require a hefty price to hire a healing ability user for treatment. And after more than 10 minutes, when the effects of the blood rage pill wear off, he will immediately lose strength all over his body. For the next two months, he can only rest in bed. One step slow, step by step slow. For new students who have just entered the Magic City Ability University, this period is the golden time to improve their strength. Two months without training, he has almost wasted half of it. Even if he can barely catch up later, he cannot become part of the first tier of new students. Wanting to catch up with Su Chen is nothing short of a pipe dream. Can he regret it? Lei Zhou does not regret it. Before taking the blood rage pill, he was already prepared to accept any outcome. Just didn't expect Su Chen's strength to be so abnormal. Su Chen, congratulations on your victory, the referee teacher Zhou Yin smiled slightly, then transferred all the credits and DCA coins to Su Chen's account, including Lei Zhou's 50 credits and 3. 2 million Dixia coins. At this point, Su Chen has 422 credits in his student account. In the bank account, there are also 7. 31 million Dixia coins. Gambling fights, making money really fast, Su Chen shook his head. The battle is over, and his grudge with Lei Zhou can be considered over. And looking at the other party's appearance, he seems to be really scared, and should not cause trouble again in the future. Putting the long spear on his back, Su Chen leaped down from the ring. Bang! Su Chen's weight itself is 120 kilograms, plus the 210 kilograms of obsidian spear behind him, totaling 330 kilograms. Jumping down from a platform over a meter high, it's like dropping a big lump of iron. The ground trembled slightly, causing Su Chen's roommate Lu Wintao, who was walking over from the audience seats, to jump. Mingu, how heavy is this long spear of yours? Feels quite heavy. 210 kilograms, Su Chen replied indifferently. 210 kilograms. Lu Wintao's eyes widened, he himself is only 65 kilograms. This long spear is equivalent to three of him? Wow, no wonder Lei Zhou didn't dare to confront you head on. Over 200 kilograms coming down, who can withstand that? Lu Wintao marveled. In his estimation, not to mention Lei Zhou, even the top scholar of another province probably wouldn't dare to forcefully take this spear. Su Chen, are you interested in joining a club? Suddenly, a girl who appeared out of nowhere came to Su Chen with a smile on her face. This girl has a beautiful face and a tall figure. Her legs under the black short skirt are round and slender, shining white. In addition, unlike ordinary girls, her makeup is very mature, not like a college student. Instead, she looks like an elite female powerhouse in society. Who are you? Su Chen asked in confusion, not knowing her. Vice President of the Spirit Fox Club, Su Man, Su Man smiled and handed over a business card. It has her name, position, and the club she belongs to written on it. Your battle just now was very exciting, our Spirit Fox Club needs fresh blood like you to join. Suman straightforwardly stated her purpose, our Spirit Fox Club is one of the top clubs in the school. The president is a third-tier superior ability user, usually organizing training experience exchange meetings. Occasionally, we also go to the wilderness area to hunt and kill ferocious beasts with club members to enhance combat abilities. In addition, resources are distributed regularly every month. In short, joining our club has many benefits, are you willing? Suman spoke in one breath about the many benefits of joining a club, then looked at Su Chen expectantly. This scene was also seen by some students nearby. Spirit Fox Club? I remember they are like an elite club. Yes, that's them. I saw their recruitment notice on the school forum before. But don't they only want second tier ability users? Why would they approach Su Chen? Hee <laughs> hee, do you think it's important whether Su Chen's current strength is second tier or not? Hmm, I guess you're right. Tisk TSK, Spirit Fox Club, so envious. As a higher education institution, the Magic City Supernatural University naturally also had clubs. But unlike the typical cultural school's electronic clubs or chess clubs, the clubs at the Magic City Supernatural University didn't require you to master any special skills. As long as you were a supernatural being, you could join. Of course, some clubs set recruitment thresholds, such as at least being a mid-tier first tier or at least an upper tier first tier and some clubs with recruitment thresholds above the second tier were called elite clubs. These clubs, because their members were all strong, could have very good experiences exchanging cultivation insights or hunting beasts together. As an elite club, the Spirit Fox Club was a club that many freshmen dreamed of joining. But due to not meeting the standards, they didn't even have the qualification for an interview. However, now the vice president of the Spirit Fox Club had directly invited Su Chen, how could they not feel envious? Spirit Fox Club? Su Chen raised an eyebrow. He didn't mind joining a club, he just needed to understand what kind of club the Spirit Fox Club was. 
Suman, your spirit fox club is breaking the rules. At this moment, senior brother Lu Ming walked over with a frown. Senior brother Lu, I didn't expect to see you here, sorry for the disturbance. Suman's face changed slightly, apologized in a hurry, then swayed her figure and walked away quickly. Senior brother, what's going on? Su Chen was somewhat puzzled. It's nothing. Lu Ming waved his hand, clubs usually start recruiting new members after the freshman competition. This is a rule set by the major clubs, but there are always some who try to make moves early. I see. Su Chen suddenly understood. The club set this rule mostly to determine the students' abilities during the freshman competition before recruiting. Of course, I can also understand them, after all, junior brother, you are too outstanding. Lu Ming patted Su Chen's shoulder, all right, the observation is over, I'm going back to the dormitory. Goodbye, senior brother. Su Chen nodded, Lu Ming waved his hand and left. Lu Ming, a peak third tier ability user, mastering the A-level ability, Thunderbolt True Thunder. At the same time, he is also the vice president of the elite club, Ashes Club. This senior brother Lu Ming, in person, is even more charismatic than in the school photos. Watching Lu Ming gradually walk away, Lu Wentao, who was nicknamed Mr. No at all, couldn't help but sigh. The Magic City Supernatural University had about 4,000 students. However, the majority were first tier or second tier, and the number of those at the third tier did not exceed 200. As for the higher fourth tier, although there were some, they hardly stayed at the school. After sighing, Lu Wentao then looked at Su Chen. By the way, Ming Gu, have you been to the Magic City Center? No, I haven't. Su Chen shook his head. These days, he had been focusing all his time on training, not even going out of the school, naturally not visiting the city center. Great, I haven't been there either. How about we go to the city center tonight? Sure. Su Chen thought for a moment and nodded. It's important to relax after a long period of training. In addition, he is also quite interested in the bustling city of Mo Du, one of the most prosperous cities in the Great Xia Kingdom. Okay, but it's not very interesting if it's just the two of us. I can post a dormitory fellowship post on the school forum to see if anyone wants to join, it would be even better if there are girls. Lu Wentao proposed eagerly, picking up his phone and quickly posting a thread titled Anyone Want to Go to the City Center of Mo Du at Night? on the student forum of M.O. Du Supernatural University. In the post, he also mentioned their identities and their plan to visit the city center of M.O. Du at night. Xiao Yun, look, Su Chen and the others are going to the city center of M.O. Du at night, looking for companions. In the audience, Qi Dongxia, who was already preparing to leave, suddenly saw Lu Wentao's post on her phone. She couldn't help but smile, Xiao Yun, let's go together, consider it a dormitory fellowship. Su Chen. Looking at the tall figure already walking towards the exit in the distance, Song Shoyun, who had never been interested in such fellowships, hesitated for a moment and nodded, okay. On the other side, after leaving the training building, Su Chen received a call from his cousin Su Qingwan. Xiao Ming, everything okay over in Emodu? Yes, everything's fine. Ha uh, that's good. I forgot to tell you last time, your cousin Tang Chi has been accepted by the school over in Emodu. It was clear from her tone that his cousin was in a good mood, with a hint of laughter. Oh, which school? Linjiang Supernatural University. It seems not too far from your M.O. Du Supernatural University. Linjiang Supernatural University? It's indeed not too far from my place. Su Chen chuckled. There are a total of five supernatural universities in M.O. Du University City, and Linjiang Supernatural University is one of them. Its national ranking is also quite good, around the top 100. When will Qi Jie come to report to the school? The official reporting date is September 1st, but she wants to come early, just hasn't decided which day yet. Okay, let me know when Chi Jie decides, I'll go to the station to pick her up. After chatting for a while, Su Chen hung up the phone. Teacher Yang Jintian hasn't been at school recently, so he didn't go to the teacher's villa, instead, he carried his spear and walked into the second floor training room to start training on his own. On the other side, Lu Wentao was both happy and troubled on the sofa on the first floor. He was happy that many people left messages under his post wanting to join. The trouble was that there were too many people, and he didn't know who to choose. Oh, isn't this Chi Dongxia Song Chouyun's roommate? Suddenly, Lu Wentao saw a familiar name in the comments, his eyes lit up, since that's the case, let's invite Chi Dongxia and the others first. But four people seem a bit few, not very lively, it would be better to add two more people. In that case, let's just pick whoever comments next. And so, Lu Wentao randomly selected another dormitory to leave a message. Crackling crackling in the training room on the second floor of the villa, the lightning flickered unpredictably. Su Chen was only wearing shorts, sitting cross-legged on the ground with his eyes closed. 
Accompanied by the thunder, countless small thunderbolts and electric arcs roamed on his skin, chest, abdomen, thighs, calves. Wherever the thunder passed, the skin turned slightly red and produced a strange sense of toughness. This was the practice method of the S-level forging technique, Thunder Immortal Body. By using a special method, the thunder and lightning ability was applied to the body to enhance physical strength. Of course, only a body that had laid the foundation of the immortal body could be trained in this way. Otherwise, such behavior would be self-harm. Mingu, it's almost time, let's get ready to go, Lu Wentao's shout came from downstairs. Su Chen opened his eyes sharply, as if there were flashes of electricity in his eyes. Coming, he responded, and Su Chen retracted the purple sky thunder that filled the sky. He got up, went to the bathroom for a quick shower, put on a t-shirt and pants, and then went downstairs. At 6.41 in the afternoon, at the entrance of the Magic City Supernatural University. The Magic City Supernatural University is located in the center of the university city, sandwiched between several other universities, and the magnificent gate of the Magic City Supernatural University. It causes every passing student from other schools to subconsciously glance over. However, what is different now is that some of the female students, in the process of looking at the school gate, they are involuntarily attracted by a young man standing nearby. This young man is tall and slender, with sharp eyebrows and eyes, exuding a unique and special aura just by standing there. However, intimidated by the young man's powerful presence, many female students only dare to glance from afar, but do not dare to approach and ask for contact information. This person is Su Chen. And beside him, his roommate Lu Wentao is also there. The school gate is the agreed meeting point, departing at 7 o'clock sharp. Before long, two of the four people agreed to meet with Lu Wentao have already appeared at the school gate. They are a pair of twin sisters who look very similar. Both of them have delicate melon seed faces, one with double ponytails and the other with a single ponytail. They are about the same height, around 1, 62 meters, and have a cute style of dressing. They are actually twin sisters, Lu Wentao was slightly surprised. He didn't expect that he would randomly choose and have such good luck to pick such a pair of beautiful girls. The two girls saw Su Chen and Lu Wentao from a distance, waved their hands, and walked quickly towards them. Hello, I'm the older sister Li Wanting. The older sister with a single ponytail, Li Wanting, took the initiative to greet them generously. The younger sister with double ponytails also smiled and said, I'm the younger sister Li Wanyue. The younger sister with double ponytails is very cute, and when she smiles, she even reveals a small, cute fong. Lu Wentao. Su Chen. Lu Wentao and Su Chen also introduced themselves with a smile. Li Wanting and Li Wanyue, on the other hand, both subconsciously focused their gaze on Su Chen. After all, they came for Su Chen. At noon in the stands, although the two girls could also see Su Chen on the stage. But because the distance was too far, they couldn't observe carefully. Now that they are closer, they found that Su Chen's temperament is even better than when he was on the stage. The two sisters glanced at each other and both noticed the surprise on each other's faces. Of course, they were not starstruck fans, as they were able to get into the Magic City Supernatural University. They chose to participate in the social event not only to satisfy their fangirl mentality but also to make friends with Su Chen. The battle at noon ended, and anyone with keen eyes could see that Su Chen's strength is in a completely different league from other freshmen. His future achievements can be said to be limitless. With such an opportunity to make friends, they naturally wouldn't miss it. In fact, most of the girls leaving comments under the post have the same mindset. Of course, if they can further develop a relationship with Su Chen, they are willing to do so. Li Wanting and Li Wanyue are both outgoing and generous, and after they arrived, they quickly started chatting with Su Chen and Lu Wentao. During the conversation, Su Chen also learned that these two sisters both possess the same auxiliary healing type B-level supernatural ability, healing holy water. They can treat various injuries, and even the abilities of the two sisters can be stacked to achieve the effect of an A-level ability. So, if you ever want to form a wilderness adventure team, you should consider us two sisters first. Sister Li Wanning smiled sweetly. As auxiliary type ability users, although they also have combat power, their combat power is not considered high. In the future, even if they want to hunt and kill ferocious beasts in the wilderness area, they must rely on teammates. And powerful ability users like Su Chun are undoubtedly the most reliable teammates. Their visit this time is not to leave a deep impression on Su Chen. As long as the other party can think of them first when they need auxiliary type ability users in the future, it is already considered a success. Okay. Su Chen nodded with a smile. The wilderness area where ferocious beasts rampage is dangerous, but it also harbors huge wealth such as the flesh and blood of ferocious beasts, and unique flowers and plants that only grow in the wilderness area. 
Many students at the Magic City Ability University choose to form teams of ability users. In their free time, they enter the wilderness area to hunt and earn money and credits. The lineup of the ability user team is also very important, just like playing an online game. Warriors, mages, priests, these roles are indispensable. Only in this way can the team ensure a higher survival rate in the wilderness area. Although Suchin currently has no intention of forming an ability user team, it is also a good thing to make friends with some friends who have auxiliary type abilities. The more friends, the more paths. Just as he was thinking this, Lu Wentao beside him looked ahead, his eyes brightened and said, Mingu, the last two people have arrived. Su Chen subconsciously looked ahead at the mansion and saw two girls walking out from the school gate. These were two girls of similar height. The girl on the left had a slender figure and a pretty face. She was wearing a floral dress, and her pair of jade legs under the dress were long and straight, looking very healthy. The girl on the left was already very beautiful, but the girl on the right outshone her. This girl had eyes as clear as a baby's, a delicate nose and cherry lips, with a lovely appearance. Her black hair was tied up high with a red silk ribbon, revealing a white neck. Her outfit was very simple, just a regular women's t-shirt paired with light blue jeans. But her figure was curvaceous, with a proud and full chest. Her long legs, wrapped in tight jeans, displayed a round and full curve. It was a peculiar contrast, with a lovely appearance yet slightly green. But her figure was like a ripe peach, swaying with charm. This made Su Chen think of an adjective, a girl with a mature woman's charm. And this girl was the one he had seen before, Song Chuyun. Good evening, I am Chi Dong Xia, who was invited to come. Chi Dong Xia walked up with a smile. I am her roommate, Song Chuyun, Song Chuyun said following her. Nice to meet you for the first time, I am Su Chen. Su Chen also introduced himself with a smile. Su student, we probably have met before, haven't we? Song Chuyun blinked her clear big eyes. Seeing a hint of cunning on Song Chuyun's pretty face, Su Chen also recalled the eye contact they had at the freshman orientation. Indeed, it couldn't be considered a first meeting. Alright, everyone is here, let's set off. Ming Good, you take Song Chuyun and the two of them, I'll take the Li Wanting sisters. Seeing all six people gathered, Lu Wentao didn't delay any longer. Divided into two groups, they took two different taxis to the city center of Magic City. The main city area of Magic City is divided into five districts, namely Huangpu District, Suwei District, Changning District, Yangpu District, and Gingan District. The administrative district where the Magic City University City is located is Jingan District. If divided into urban and suburban areas, in fact, all five main city administrative districts of Magic City are considered city centers and are very prosperous. However, the city center that Su Chen and the others are going to is the most prosperous place in Magic City, Huaihai Commercial Street. Here, is one of the top commercial centers in the country. Not only selling various luxury goods, but also all kinds of equipment and elixirs needed by ability users are also available here. The Magic City Ability University is not too far from Huaihai Commercial Street. Su Chen and his group took a taxi and arrived at the entrance of the commercial street in just half an hour. This is Huaihai Commercial Street. In front of Su Chen appeared a bustling commercial street. It is now half past seven in the afternoon and the sky is already slightly darkening. But this bustling commercial street in front of him is filled with holographic projections, with countless people bustling about. The sound of people talking and laughing. Su Chen also found many familiar shop names in the shops on the commercial street. Han Yuan Equipment, Lingxi Pharmaceutical, Lu Wentao, Song Chouyun, and Qi Dongxia, who came here for the first time, were also amazed by the bustling commercial street in front of them. As for the Li Wanning sisters, it seems that it is not their first time here and their reaction is a bit flat. I have been to this side of the commercial street before, and there is also a snack street next to it. Shall we go eat something first? Sure. Okay. Everyone is 18 or 19 years old, so they naturally don't want to eat a proper meal. So when Li Wanting with a ponytail suggested going to the snack street, she received unanimous approval from everyone. After spending more than an hour filling their stomachs at the nearby snack street, Su Chen and his group returned to start exploring the commercial street. It has to be said that the things in the city center of Magic City are much more complete than in Jiangcheng. The Hang Yuan Equipment Group, which also sells black shine guns, provides a pitifully small number of battlesuits and weapon models in Jiangcheng. But on this side of Magic City, everything is available. Even the black shine guns have various different models, which made Su Chen feel tempted. Unfortunately, the equipment he currently has was just replaced recently and is still sufficient. He resisted the impulse and did not make a purchase. However, Song Chouyun, who was with him, had fewer concerns and bought beautiful battle suits without much thought. In just over half an hour, she bought three sets of battle skills, costing as much as several million. 
This made Su Chen can't help but feel amazed. Song Chouyan looks simple, but unexpectedly, she is a rich girl. The friendship between young people always grows quickly, and they spent more than four hours exploring Huaihai Commercial Street. They quickly became familiar with each other, chatting and laughing all the way. It wasn't until after 11 o'clock in the evening that they took a taxi back to the school. Entering the student dormitory area, Su Chen and his group first bid farewell to the Li Wanting sisters. Then they sent Qi Dongxia and Song Chouyun back to the dormitory entrance. We're at the dormitory, bye. Also, we had a great time today, thank you. At the dormitory entrance, Song Chouyun bid farewell to Su Chen with a smile. She is not a girl who likes to go out and play with the opposite sex. Because of her A-level ability, the light of dawn, her perception is extremely sharp. Therefore, she can always sense the intense desire hidden in the hearts of every boy when they look at her. However, Su Chen is completely different. Although she can also sense the other party's gaze, she can only feel the appreciation for beautiful things, without any other emotions. This surprised her a bit, and also made her feel a bit fond of him. Goodbye. Su Chen also waved his hand with a smile. Seeing Song Chouyun and Qi Dongxia walking into the dormitory, Su Chen then returned to his dormitory with Lu Wentao. Phew, it's quite nice to go out for a walk occasionally. Lu Wentao sat down on the sofa. Su Chen nodded in agreement. Indeed, these few hours of relaxation also made him feel happy. However, after tonight, I have to continue to work hard, Su Chen silently thought to himself. Just as Su Chen said. Since the day he and Song Chouyun went to the city center of Magic Capital, he returned to his routine life of dormitory, teacher's villa, and cafeteria. Every day was either in training or on the way to training. Although Lu Wentao looked indifferent, being able to enter the Magic Capital Supernatural University represented his strength and potential. During this time, he was also training and practicing. Of course, he would take some time off to relax every few days. As he put it, a combination of work and rest is the key to longevity. Fifteen days later, on July 16th, at 9 p.m., on the second floor training room of the villa, Su Chen opened his system panel, name, Su Chen, level, intermediate tier 1, plus, ability, purple sky divine thunder, s, physique, 460 hp, plus, spirit, 351 hertz, plus, skills, marksmanship, advanced plus, boxing, intermediate plus, thunder spear, intermediate plus, a level chain thunder spear, intermediate plus, thunder flash, intermediate plus, thunder prison, intermediate plus, lightning gale break, advanced plus, body forging, indestructible thunder body, first layer plus, ability points, 1048 almost there, I can advance again. It had been almost half a month since Su Chen advanced to intermediate tier 1 last time. Even though the advancement speed was still fast, it was not as eye-catching as before. Then, let's add some points. Su Chen's mind moved, and his consciousness directly clicked on the plus sign behind the level. Ability points minus 456. Intermediate tier 1 upper tier 1. Boom. In an instant, Su Chen's aura surged up. Finally reached the first tier of new students in terms of level. Clenching his fist, Su Chen could feel the surging vitality in his body, much stronger than before. The next moment, accompanied by the piercing thunder, the purple sky divine thunder, shimmering with blue and purple light, was summoned and surrounded Su Chen. The power of the purple sky divine thunder has also been enhanced. Su Chen nodded in satisfaction, then opened his system panel again, name, Su Chen, level, upper tier 1, ability, purple sky divine thunder, s, physique, 520 hp, plus, spirit, 421 hertz, plus, skills, marksmanship, advanced, boxing, intermediate plus, thunder spear, intermediate plus, a level chain thunder spear, intermediate plus, thunder flash, intermediate plus, thunder prison, intermediate plus, lightning gale break, advanced plus, body forging, indestructible thunder body, first layer plus, ability, points, 592 advancing to upper tier 1, both of his basic attributes increased by about 60 points. Additionally, Su Chen noticed that there was no longer a plus sign behind the level. It seems that the remaining ability points are not enough to support my advancement to tier 2. Su Chen rubbed his chin, in that case, it's time to go to the wilderness area, hunt down fierce beasts, and replenish some ability points. But before that, let's spend all the ability points and push my strength to the limit. Su Chen's eyes flashed, then he chose to add points again. Ability points minus 354. Indestructible Thunder Body First Layer Second Layer Indestructible Thunder Body, as the only S-level combat skill Su Chun currently mastered. After the level could not be raised, it was natural to upgrade this skill first. As an S-level combat skill, the ability points required to enhance the Indestructible Thunder Body were indeed high. However, it was all worth it. 
When Su Chen upgraded the indestructible thunder body to the second layer, he could feel a thunderous sound resonating in his body. Bone density increased again, and muscles became even more solid. Hu Su Chen slowly exhaled a breath, breaking through to the second level of thunder immortal body means the third level is not far away. Thunder immortal body has a total of 13 levels. As an S-level forging technique, Thunder Immortal Body is not just about enhancing physical qualities. Each time you advance three levels of the Immortal Body, you gain a special ability. And reaching the third level of the Immortal Body can activate a special state, Thunder Extreme State. Thunder Extreme State is somewhat similar to the Thunder Activation Cell Su Chun used in the Martial Arts Entrance Exam. But it's an enhanced version to its limit. After activating Thunder Extreme State, whether it's movement speed, gun firing speed, punching power, kicking power, and so on, all aspects are strengthened. Looking forward to Thunder Extreme State, Su Chen glanced at his system panel again. After upgrading Thunder Immortal Body, he had 242 ability points left. He then spent 178 ability points to upgrade the Chain Lightning Gun from basic to intermediate. According to Su Chen's estimation, upgrading to intermediate should require 200 ability points. However, due to his regular training, he only spent 178 ability points to upgrade it. Now, there are only 62 ability points left on the system panel. From now on, Su Chen's ability points on the system panel are almost depleted. I'll inform the teacher tomorrow, then prepare to go to the wilderness area. Su Chen silently thought to himself. Life at the Magic City Ability University is leisurely and comfortable. Apart from various rankings and training rooms, it seems no different from the university in his previous life. However, Su Chen is still striving to improve his strength with all his might. The reason is simple. Since the beginning of his crossing, he has always had a sense of crisis. He is afraid that one day, when ferocious beasts enter the city, he won't have enough strength to resist. Although there are ability users responsible for protecting the safety of the citizens, Su Chen is not used to entrusting his life to others. He wants to be the master of his own destiny. Just like in his previous life, no one thought highly of him being born in an orphanage. They believed that after completing compulsory education in junior high school, he would drop out like the other children in the orphanage. But actions speak louder than words. He not only finished high school but also got into university, successfully pursued postgraduate studies, and eventually achieved a doctoral degree. All of this was achieved step by step by Su Chen. Even after crossing to the Blue Star, he will not change. My heart is steadfast and unwavering. This is the motivation for his daily perseverance in rigorous training. The next day, at half past seven in the morning, Su Chen, who had already trained in the training room for over an hour, put on his combat gear, took his black brilliance gun, and walked down to the second floor. Today is the practical combat training with senior brother Lu Ming, so he must be fully armed. Ming Gu, good morning. In the living room on the first floor, Lu Wentao, who had just walked out of his bedroom with sleepy eyes, was already used to this. In his eyes, Su Chen is like a monk in ascetic practice. Training every day is his routine. No, it can't even be called ascetic practice anymore. He's almost like a robot with a set program. Of course, Lu Wentao also admires him greatly. Eight hours of training a day is already his limit. If he were to train from morning till night like Su Chen, he wouldn't be able to bear it. For these new students like Su Chen, during the period before the official start of school, there is no one to restrain them, so they can do whatever they want. If it were a university in the previous life, most people would probably sleep until they naturally wake up before starting to think about doing things. But at the Magic City Ability University, it's different. Although it's still early, there are already many new students walking outside the dormitory building. Some are fully armed like Su Chen. It's unclear whether they are going to the wilderness area or for practical combat training. They all head towards the exit of the dormitory area. When passing by Villa No. 12, Su Chen saw the familiar slender figure of Song Cho Yun walking out of the villa. Since the last time they went to the city center of Mo Du together, they exchanged contact information. Occasionally, they would chat on their phones. Sometimes they would meet like this in front of the dormitory in the morning. After all, Su Chen's villa is No. 32, and walking towards the exit, he would inevitably pass by Villa No. 12 where Song Cho Yun lived. Morning. Su Chen greeted simply, looking at Song Cho Yun's attire with some curiosity, are you also going for combat training today? Since the last freshman orientation meeting, when the freshmen learned about the exclusive mentor system, they became active and sought mentors. Most of them failed, but a small number succeeded in finding their own exclusive mentors. Song Cho Yun was one of them. As the top scholar in Sichuan province, her strength and potential were unquestionable. 
Her exclusive mentor was the dean of the Elemental Academy, a seventh-order senior female teacher with A-level light-type elemental abilities. Because of this, Song Chouyun would go to the teacher's villa every day for training and guidance, just like Su Chen. However, in the past, Song Chouyun would wear loose training clothes, but today she was dressed like Su Chen in combat attire, carrying a long sword. Unlike men's combat attire, women's combat attire was designed to be more fitted for agility. Under the silver-white combat attire, Song Chouyun's voluptuous and slender figure was clearly outlined. Morning. Seeing Su Chen, Song Chouyun also smiled sweetly and nodded, saying, A senior sister is coming today, so I'll try some combat training. But I don't have much confidence myself. The teacher's villas were all in the same direction. So as Song Chouyun met Su Chen, she walked towards the exit with him. One tall and rugged, the other petite and pretty, as they walked together, they attracted the attention of passers-by. By the way, Su Chen, how about we spar when we have time? Song Chouyun suddenly said on the way. In fact, she had always been very curious about why Su Chen exuded a beast-like aura, but she thought it might involve some of his privacy, so she didn't ask. However, if they were to battle each other, maybe she could find some clues. Sure, Su Chen didn't mind, but when he had time, it would probably be after he returned from the wilderness area. Walking all the way to the teacher's villa area with Song Chouyun, the two then went their separate ways to different villas. Senior brother, I'm here. Su Chen walked into the villa and found not only senior brother Lu Ming in the living room but also teacher Yang Jintian. Teacher Yang Jintian was dressed in loose training robes, leisurely sitting on the sofa. Teacher. Su Chen respectfully greeted. As a seventh order senior supernatural being, Yang Jintian had his own training plan every day. Usually, teacher Yang trained in the morning and would come to teach him marksmanship and supernatural abilities in the afternoon. He didn't expect him to be here so early today. Hmm. Yang Jintian nodded slightly, smiling, I heard yesterday that you two are going to have combat training today, so I came to take a look. In Yang Jintian's gaze towards Su Chen, there was undisguised satisfaction. During this period, he had observed all of Su Chen's performances. He arrived at the villa on time every day, never late or leaving early, and would practice more after returning to the dormitory. Even when he and Lu Ming were not around, there was no slack. With S-level abilities and such diligent training, what's there to worry about not succeeding? Yang Jintian's heart was filled with countless emotions. Even he, when he was young, was not as diligent as the other party. In addition, Su Chen's progress in cultivation also greatly satisfied him. It should be noted that when Su Chen first arrived, he was just an awakener. And now, just one month later, he had already reached the middle level of the first rank as an ability user. Such a speed of advancement could not be considered slow. Just as he was thinking this, he suddenly noticed something amiss. Ha! Huh? Su Chen's aura had become stronger. After carefully sensing it, Yang Jintian couldn't help but exclaim, You've broken through to the upper level of the first rank? I was just about to tell you, teacher, I broke through to the upper level of the first rank last night. Su Chen nodded, Furthermore, my thunder immortal body has also broken through to the second level. These two pieces of news were like two bombs dropping in succession. Even Yang Jintian, who was usually steady and had the nickname Yan Yama, was taken aback. Level breakthroughs, body forging breakthroughs, these were all extremely difficult things. But coming from Su Chen's mouth, why did it sound as simple as drinking water? I knew it, junior brother is truly extraordinary. Senior brother Lu Ming beside teacher Yang said with a wry smile. When he broke through from the middle level of the first rank to the upper level of the first rank, it took him more than half a year. And after becoming Yang Jintian's disciple and establishing the foundation of the Thunder Immortal Body, it took him a full year to advance to the second level of the Thunder Immortal Body. But now, Su Chen, who had just become a disciple for only a month, had achieved all of this. Good, very good. Yang Jintian realized this now and patted Su Chen's shoulder happily. With his disciple's strength improving so rapidly, as a teacher, he was naturally happy. Today, I happen to have prepared a practical combat training. So let me see how strong your strength is after advancing. Yang Jintian led Su Chen and Lu Ming to the backyard of the villa. Here was an open-air combat training ground. The area was very spacious, covering about 500 square meters. The ground seemed to be made of alloy, shining with a cold metallic luster under the morning sunlight. This open-air training ground was built by me using A-grade alloy. Inside here, just unleash your attacks. Su Chen, don't have any reservations, just unleash all your strength. With me here, you won't get hurt. Yang Jintian said with a smile. Understood. Su Chen nodded. This was his first time sparring with senior brother Lu Ming, so he naturally had to give it his all. Of course, since it was a practical combat training, Lu Ming would also suppress his own strength. Otherwise, with his peak third rank strength, 
the thunder and lightning ability would surge out. Su Chen wouldn't even be able to touch him and would be defeated directly. Junior brother, I'll suppress my strength to the lower level of the second rank before fighting you. Lu Ming on the opposite side spoke loudly. In fact, as a senior brother who was already in his fourth year, he had three more years of practical combat and training experience than Su Chen. According to reason, in this kind of practical combat training, he should suppress his strength to the same upper level of the first rank as Su Chen. However, Lu Ming was very clear that if he suppressed his strength to the upper level of the first rank, he would definitely lose, and it wouldn't achieve the effect of practical combat training, so he directly said to suppress it to the lower level of the second rank. Yang Jintian obviously understood this point and did not intervene. So, Su Chen and Lu Ming, each holding a long spear, stood in the middle of the training ground. Are you ready? 3, 2, 1, start. As soon as Yang Jintian's voice fell, there was a flash of lightning, and the two of them disappeared from their original positions at the same time. Thunder flash. This A-grade thunder and lightning battle technique was unexpectedly used by the two brothers at the same time. The next moment, there was a loud clang sound. In the center of the training ground, a black and a blue long spear collided, presenting an evenly matched state of power. Such formidable strength. Although mentally prepared, Lu Ming was still shocked by Su Chen's power. The opponent's strength was comparable to his own, and even slightly stronger. Compared to Lu Ming's astonishment, Su Chen was filled with excited fighting spirit. Since mastering the indestructible thunder body, he had never encountered an opponent who could match his strength. Even Lei Zhou, who had consumed the bloodthirsty Dan, dared not confront him head-on. But now, finally, there was an opponent who could make him go all out. Chain Thunder Spear Su Chen decisively changed his move, the long spear carrying blue and purple thunder, turning into black shadows and thrusting out quickly. Lu Ming naturally knew the power of this A-level combat skill and dared not confront it head-on, quickly dodging to the side. However, the next moment, another voice rang out, Thunder Prison. The blue and purple thunder transformed into a prison that enveloped Lu Ming. Immediately after, another thunder spear flew towards him. Goodness, not giving any breathing room at all. But I am not the new Lei Zhou. Jade Pivot True Thunder. Crackling endless majestic white thunder surged out from within Lu Ming, enveloping his entire body, breaking out of the thunder prison while avoiding the thunder spear. Next, it's my turn. Lu Ming, holding the long spear, charged under the envelopment of the A-level thunder system ability Jade Pivot True Thunder. With a carefree smile, he engaged in battle with Su Chen. Over 20 minutes later, after continuously using combat skills, Su Chen's purple sky divine thunder was finally completely depleted. Clang! After another collision with the long spear, Su Chen stood still in the distance. Almost reaching his limit, he felt exhausted all over and gasped, saying, Senior! Senior brother, I have lost! Swish Lu Ming appeared in front of Su Chen in a flash, and the sky full of Jade Pivot True Thunder was also retracted into his body. He shook his head, saying, I just took advantage of the ability, it's not that you lost. Although he suppressed his strength to below the second rank, he was still a peak third rank ability user. The depth of his ability far surpassed Su Chen's first rank upper position. Well done, a splendid battle. Yang Jintian applauded as he approached. Honestly, in this battle just now, Su Chen's performance exceeded his expectations. He thought Lu Ming would win, but unexpectedly, it ended in a draw. Lu Ming put away the long spear, patted Su Chen's shoulder, and asked with a smile, Do you know at what level your strength just reached? What level? Su Chen, who had slightly recovered, asked curiously. Second rank invincible. Lu Ming's gaze slightly hardened. It should be noted that being accepted as a disciple by Yang Jintian, he himself was a proud talent with strong abilities. Even with his strength suppressed to below the second rank, relying on rich combat experience and techniques, he was confident in sweeping any ability user below the third rank. However, Su Chen fought him to a draw. If this wasn't second rank invincible, what was it? Second rank invincible. Su Chen nodded thoughtfully. Finally, he had a precise understanding of his comprehensive strength. As for the third rank and above, that was another world. As a mere first rank upper position, it was normal for him not to reach that level. Alright, the practical training is over, let's all go in and rest for a while. Yang Jintian called everyone back to the living room. As soon as they sat down, Butler Fu walked over with a plate of sliced fruits. These are the clear spirit strange fruits that the master obtained recently, they can dispel fatigue, perfect for eating after training. Strange fruits, like exotic flowers and plants, were fruits with unique effects. Upon hearing this, Su Chen also picked up a piece. The clear spirit strange fruit was somewhat similar in shape to a cantaloupe, and as soon as he took a bite, a refreshing fruit fragrance spread out. After eating a piece, 
Xuchen indeed felt a significant reduction in fatigue after the big battle. I always manage to get some good stuff from the teacher, looks like I'll have to come over here every day in the future, Xuchen joked. Alright, as long as you come, I'll prepare exotic fruits for you every day. Yang Jintian laughed heartily. For him, a 7th level superior ability user, these exotic fruits were really nothing special. Next, Xuchen chatted with the teacher and senior brother for a while before finally getting to the point, Teacher, I will have to leave the school for a while in the near future, so I'm afraid I won't be able to come over to the villa for training. What's wrong? Is there something going on at home? Yang Jintian asked. No, nothing is going on at home. Xuchen quickly shook his head, then said solemnly, Teacher, I'm planning to visit the wilderness area. Go to the wilderness area? Yang Jintian furrowed his brows. The so-called wilderness area was an area outside the protection range of the human military. Those places were often rampant with ferocious beasts. And unlike the strict hierarchical levels of ferocious beasts in the martial arts examination arena, it was possible that shortly after entering the wilderness area, you would encounter a casually passing fifth-level ferocious beast and be devoured on the spot. The randomness was high, and the danger was also great. How long are you planning to go for? Back before the freshman competition. That long? Yang Jintian's eyes widened. It was only mid-July now, and the freshman competition wouldn't be until early September. In other words, Xu Chen would have to stay in the wilderness area for a month and a half. The danger in this was self-evident. Yang Jintian had wanted to advise against it, but seeing the determination in Xu Chen's eyes, he didn't say anything. Forget it, since you want to go, then go. Yang Jintian sighed, but still reminded, remember, if you sense danger, run away immediately. As long as there's a thunder flash, as long as you don't encounter a fourth level ferocious beast, there won't be much danger to your life. The rise of every strong individual must go through the trials of blood and fire, and the crisis between life and death is the most effective catalyst for becoming strong. Although he thought Xuchen could train at the school for a while longer, since Xuchen had volunteered to go, he wouldn't stop him. Thank you, teacher, Xuchen breathed a sigh of relief. What he feared most was the teacher's disapproval, but fortunately, teacher Yang Jintian was very understanding. Of course, even if the teacher disagreed, he would still go. After all, the ability points were the core of the deep blue system and the key to his rapid advancement in strength. By the way, which wilderness area are you planning to go to? Yang Jintian asked again. The wilderness area near Yuanchue City, Xu Chen replied. Yuanchue City. That's not too bad, Yang Jintian nodded slightly. Yuanchue City was next to the magic capital, a prefecture-level city with relatively good economic development. Moreover, the highest level of ferocious beasts in the Yuanchue wilderness area was only 4th or 5th level, relatively less dangerous. Before you go to the wilderness area, let me impart some experience to you. Both Yang Jintian and Li Ming had come through the wilderness area as ability users and were experienced. With their explanations, Xu Chen, who had never been to the wilderness area, gained a lot of relevant experience. Over an hour later, Xu Chen bid farewell to the teacher and senior brother respectfully and left. Teacher, since junior brother is going to the wilderness area, I might have to return to the guild in a few days, Li Ming also spoke as he watched Xu Chen's figure disappear from view. So urgent? Yang Jintian furrowed his brows. The southwest is in turmoil, and the beast tide has already broken through several prefecture-level cities. The guild is short-handed, and they have urged me several times already, Li Ming explained slowly. The southwest. Yang Jintian pondered. Nowadays, although humans and ferocious beasts generally maintain a balance, small-scale wars break out in certain areas every year. Lu Ming, who joined an adventurer guild as a reserve member before graduating, often participates in guild battles. The guild is currently in urgent need of combat power, and Lu Ming, a third-tier peak reserve member, naturally falls within the recruitment range. Then you go, this time the guild and the war group will act together. When encountering high-level ferocious beasts, try to avoid them as much as possible. High-level ferocious beasts will be dealt with by high-level ability users, Yang Jintian said solemnly. Along with Su Chen, he has a total of 32 disciples. However, more than half of them have died at the hands of ferocious beasts. He naturally does not want Lu Ming to get into trouble again. Teacher, don't worry, I have participated in battles of this scale before. Besides, I heard that this time Grandmaster Wang Linyang of the 8th tier will personally lead the team. Dealing with a group of ferocious beasts at the highest level of only the 7th tier should not be a problem. Lu Ming waved his hand, shouldered his gun, and walked out of the villa in a carefree manner. On the other side, Su Chen, who had left the villa, called his cousin Su Qingwan. Cousin, are you busy? Not busy, I'm out shopping with your sister Qi, what's up? Cousin, I will be participating in a special training organized by the school in the near future. 
My phone will be turned off for a while, so don't worry if you can't reach me when you call. Is that so? Okay, cousin knows. By the way, little. There are no signal base stations in the wilderness area, so the call cannot get through. Therefore, Su Chen called his cousin in advance to inform her. Of course, he couldn't tell her the truth to prevent her from worrying. In addition, his cousin Tang Chi, who had planned to report early, also called recently, saying she wanted to stay in Jiangqing for a while longer and would report normally when school starts in September. As for the debt that Lei Zhou owed to his cousin's family, it had been repaid more than 10 days ago. It's still early now, prepare the remaining things, and we can set off for Yuanchue City in the afternoon. After hanging up the phone, Su Chen looked at the time on his phone, it was not even half past 10 in the morning. According to the Wilderness Survival Guide he had searched for himself before, as well as the experience taught by Teacher Yang and his senior brother just now, there are two essential things to bring to the wilderness, supplies and equipment. Supplies are easy to handle, just buy a tactical backpack, prepare fresh water and energy bars. As for equipment, the E-grade equipment Su Chen had on him could barely be used in school. But to go to the dangerous wilderness area, the better the equipment, the better. I advanced yesterday, my physical fitness has improved a lot, so I can replace all my equipment. Equipment can be ordered on the school's official website, but it would take until the next day to arrive. Su Chen planned to set off this afternoon, so ordering online would not be in time. Therefore, he decided to go directly to the equipment department of the Magic University. I heard before that our school's equipment department has a lot of good stuff, so it's a good time to go check it out. Su Chen walked out of the teacher's villa area and waited on the roadside. The Magic University campus is huge, covering an area of 40,000 mu. If you stroll slowly, you may not be able to finish exploring the entire campus in a whole day. Therefore, the school provides special campus buses. The equipment department is located in the southwest direction of the school, a bit far from the teacher's villa area. Taking the campus bus over would be just right. Ding Dong arrived at the Magic University Equipment Department station. More than 10 minutes later, with the reminder of arrival, Su Chen got off the bus. In front of Su Chen was a building that was more than 20 stories high. The building was exquisitely decorated, with expensive floor-to-ceiling glass on the exterior walls. On the side of the building, there were five large characters that read Magic Equipment Department in a flamboyant manner. Downstairs, there were many delivery guys wearing Magic Equipment Work uniforms, delivering various packaged weapons and equipment to the vehicles. These equipment would be delivered to the students today. Of course, these delivery guys were not ordinary people, they seemed to have strength at the lower to middle level of the first rank. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to handle the hundreds of kilograms of weapons and equipment that the students carried. Wow, a department for equipment built so luxuriously. With an exclamation, Su Chen walked into the equipment department building. Hello, student, may I ask if you need to purchase any equipment? As soon as he walked in, a female staff member warmly greeted him. It had to be said that the Magic Ability University did a great job in terms of service. Wherever you went, the staff always greeted you with a smile. I want to see the spear-type weapons, Su Chen pondered. Weapons and armor both needed to be purchased, but weapons were obviously more important. So, are you looking for a standard spear, or something more personalized? Let's take a look at personalized spears first. After a moment of thought, Su Chen replied. The so-called standard spear was a weapon produced in fixed styles and batches, such as the black blaze gun he was carrying now. Personalized spears were forged by weapon masters according to their own ideas, making each one unique. The advantage of the former was that the design of each type of gun body was very fixed. Even if it was an upgraded equipment, it was only upgrading the alloy grade, without major changes. The drawback was that the gun body was fixed and might not be suitable for everyone. The latter could be chosen based on the user's feel when using it, but in terms of price, it was much more expensive. Before this, Su Chen had always used the standard Black Blaze gun. This time, heading to the dangerous wilderness area, he naturally wanted to pick a handy weapon. Alright, please follow me. Led by the staff, Su Chen arrived at the 13th floor of the building. Click, the elevator door slowly opened, revealing a hall. In the hall, there were tall transparent display cabinets, each about 2 meters high. Inside the cabinets, there were displayed spears. These spears had different styles, some heavy, some light. Su Chen even saw a dark spear over 3 meters long. Seeing this scene, Su Chen's eyes lit up. As a fan of spear-type weapons, this place was simply heaven. Hello, I am the administrator of the spear-type weapons on this floor, so hi. May I ask what kind of spear you need? A middle-aged man in a suit and leather shoes came forward warmly and asked. The staff member next to Su Chen also timely stepped back. 
I want a heavy but fast firing spear, Su Chen spoke up. Heavy but fast firing, these were conditions that a standard spear could not meet at the same time. However, he believed that he should be able to find the weapon he wanted here. Sure enough, after a moment of contemplation, the administrator led Su Chen to a display cabinet, the only one that can meet these two conditions for you is probably this dark cloud swift wind spear. Su Chen looked through the transparent glass at the lone spear displayed on the exquisite cushion inside the cabinet. The gun barrel was overall a mysterious dark gold color, with faint golden patterns resembling white clouds on the surface. The platinum-colored gun tip had two grim blood grooves on each side. It could be imagined that once the long spear pierced into the body, these four blood grooves would have deadly killing power. Dark Cloud Swift Wind Spear, total length of 2. 19 meters, the gun body is made of extremely resilient D-grade alloy, and the gun tip is made of relatively hard C-grade alloy. The total weight is as high as 260 kilograms, and the gun body has been enchanted with wind abilities by a special series of ability users. When wielding the long spear, this wind ability can to some extent accelerate the firing speed. Manager Zhou introduced on the surface, but in his heart, he didn't hold much hope that Su Chen could buy this gun. After all, most users of long guns pursue lightning fast draw speed. For first and second tier ability users, a weight of 70 kilograms or 100 kilograms is sufficient. 260 kilograms are almost only used by third tier ability users. And third tier ability users are equipped with at least C grade equipment. For them, this D grade long gun is like a chicken rib. Those with lower levels can't use it and those with higher levels look down on it. It is precisely because of this awkward situation that this long gun has been on display here for over a year since it was made. I wonder what the weapon master was thinking. Isn't making such a long gun a pure loss? Zhou Hai sighed inwardly. Ability enchantment is a very advanced technology that can fix an ability user's ability on a piece of equipment. For example, a spatial ring uses ability enchantment to fix the spatial ability of the user on the ring. The cost of using such technology is very expensive each time. It is precisely because of this that the cost of making this long gun is extremely astonishing, far exceeding that of an ordinary D-grade long gun. Thinking of this, Zohai couldn't help but glance at Su Chen beside him. He is only a first-tier upper-level ability user. He might be scared by the weight of this long gun, and he probably can't afford so many credits either. Forget it. Let me show him some lighter guns later. Zohai shook his head to himself. Can I try this gun? Sure, let me help you change to a lighter one. Zohai subconsciously wanted to introduce another gun, but suddenly realized and was slightly stunned, are you sure you want to try? This gun weighs 260 kilograms. It's okay, I need a heavy gun. Su Chen's eyes were full of anticipation. Hopefully, this gun will bring him some surprises. On the 13th floor, there is a room specifically for customers to try guns. At this moment, through the transparent glass, you can see inside one of the rooms. A young man, surrounded by blue and purple thunder, was wielding a long gun in his hand. The black long gun entwined with thunder turned into waves of purple and black phantoms, roaring in the room like a dragon. Such exquisite marksmanship. This is probably at an advanced level, right? I wonder who the senior is. This thunder gun technique is truly awe-inspiring. The draw speed is so fast. Most likely a third-tier senior. Apart from Su Chen, there are many students who have come to see the guns on the 13th floor. Everyone uses guns, and at this moment, seeing Su Chen's marksmanship, they couldn't help but secretly admire. Some who were more familiar with Zhou Hai even asked with a smile, which long gun is the senior holding? It looks very powerful. Dark Cloud Swift Wind Gun. Hearing Zhou Hai's answer, the person who asked earlier was slightly stunned, will a third-tier ability user be interested in that gun? No third-tier user will be interested, but a first-tier user will. The person inside is just a first-tier ability user? The person who asked earlier was a bit confused. Are you kidding me? A first-tier user can wield such a heavy long gun? A first-tier user can have advanced marksmanship? That's right, just a first-tier user. Zohai dropped a sentence and ignored the confused customer, smiling as he greeted Su Chen walking out of the room. Su student, how about this gun? He already knew Su Chen's name just now. Not bad. Su Chen nodded, it's just a bit lighter, but it's still okay. Breaking through to the second level of the Thunder Immortal Body, his blood and energy surged again. According to his estimate, even with a 300kg long gun, he would still have more than enough strength. However, this 260kg Dark Cloud Swift Wind Spear is also decent, as it is enhanced by wind elemental abilities. Whether it's the speed of shooting or the speed of retracting the spear, it is much stronger than the Black Brilliant Spear currently in hand. Additionally, it may be due to the alloy grade being D-level. The conduction of my S-level elemental ability, 
purple sky divine thunder, is much smoother on this spear. That's good, that's good. Zohai's face lit up with joy, excitedly rubbing his hands. Although the equipment belongs to the Magic City Academy of Elemental Abilities, apart from the basic research funding distributed annually, the equipment department needs to be self-sufficient. And the funds required for equipment development are extremely substantial. Sometimes, a certain idea from those weapon masters can burn through tens of millions of funds. Although a long spear like this may not be worth tens of millions, it is still a considerable expense. It's quite a headache for him to have it sitting here unsold, but fortunately, someone has finally taken an interest. The Dark Cloud Swift Wind Spear is not too expensive, our official price is 600, I'll give you a 20% discount, let's say 480 credits. As if afraid that Su Chen couldn't afford it, Zohai directly offered a discount. In fact, this price is already close to the cost price of this spear. After all, it is made of several hundred kilograms of degrade alloy. Um, can it be a bit cheaper? Su Chen blinked. Ten minutes later, Su Chen left the equipment department with the Dark Cloud Swift Wind Spear. With all calculations, there were only 412 credits in his student account. While upstairs, he tried several other guns. Either they were not heavy enough or not fast enough. Those that met both criteria were much more expensive than the Dark Cloud Swift Wind Spear. In the end, he had no choice but to trade in his Black Brilliant Spear to the equipment department for recycling, which only got him 100 credits. However, after spending these 480 credits, he was left with only 32 credits. With 32 credits, I definitely won't be able to buy a set of D-grade battle armor at school. But I still have over 7 million on my bank card, I'll just go buy it outside later. The purchasing power of one credit is much higher than 10,000 Dixia coins, and the equipment produced by the Magic City Academy of Elemental Abilities is also a better quality. Unfortunately, Su Chen had used up all his credits and could only buy the remaining equipment outside the school. After making the decision, he did not immediately leave the school but returned to the second floor of the student villa. Eva, open the school's mission system. Okay. A holographic projection appeared in the air. Mission 1, collect 30 strands of second order armored tiger tendon. Reward, 60 credits. Sea level mission. Mission 2, collect 30 plants of clear spirit grass over 20 years old. Reward, 43 credits. D-level mission, mission 3, proceed to the southwest to participate in the battle, with a requirement of at least second order intermediate level. Reward, 600 credits. S-level mission, mission 4, assist the Magic City Public Security Bureau in capturing the third order subordinate fugitive Chin Hang. Reward, 200 credits. A-level mission, mission 5. This is the school's mission system, where everyone can post or accept missions to earn credits. The tasks range from collecting materials from ferocious beasts to gathering exotic flowers and herbs. There are even large-scale battle missions and fugitive capture missions. Of course, compared to the previous tasks, the latter two are much more dangerous. Throughout the mission system, tasks are constantly being accepted and new tasks are being put up. This is the cultivation model of the Magic City Academy of Elemental Abilities. Su Chen sighed with emotion. Different people can have completely different experiences at the Magic City Academy of Elemental Abilities. Some people just attend classes and training on time every day, living a comfortable and leisurely life. But some people keep taking on tasks, earning a large number of credits while experiencing life and death trials. The former is leisurely, but the rate of improvement is slow. The latter is dangerous, but credits can be converted into resources, and the rate of improvement is extremely fast. No wonder some people say that the best students of the Magic City Supernatural University are not on campus, but outside. Su Chen couldn't help but shake his head and began selecting tasks on the mission panel. This time, he was going to stay in the wilderness area for over a month, just to do some tasks and replenish his credits. In the end, Su Chen picked three B-level tasks and one A-level task on the mission system. He then went to the equipment store outside the school and spent two. 1 million Dasha coins to buy a set of D-grade battle armor and boots. After all preparations were made, he took the high-speed train at 2 o'clock in the afternoon to the neighboring Yuanchue city of the Magic City. Yuanchue city, decades ago, was a very ordinary prefecture-level city. But since the suburbs of Yuanchue city were occupied by ferocious beasts and turned into a wilderness area decades ago, it has developed rapidly. Nowadays, it has already begun to have the scale of a developed city. As for the reason for its rise, it's simple. With the appearance of the wilderness area in Yuanchue City, it attracted a large number of supernaturals to come and hunt ferocious beasts, and search for rare flowers and exotic plants. And what do supernaturals want? Weapons, battle armor, boots, potions. 
All of these require supporting facilities. You can't let those supernaturals who come out of the wilderness area because their battle armor is damaged run to the more developed magic city next door. So, a large number of stores and equipment shops related to supernaturals were built. In addition, supernaturals who return from hunting ferocious beasts in the wilderness area and earn a lot of money often go to the urban area to splurge. The whole Yuanchue city developed in this way. However, although Yuanchue city developed because of the wilderness area, it has always been extremely vigilant against this time bomb. Outside the wilderness area, there is a military force stationed with tens of thousands of people. In addition, to facilitate the supply of supernaturals entering and leaving the wilderness area, a large supply base is also set up outside the wilderness area. July 16, 6 o'clock in the afternoon. A train came from a distance and stopped on the asphalt road in front of the Yuanchue supply base. Clang, the door opened, and more than 10 supernaturals wearing battle armor, some carrying swords, some carrying shields, got off the train and walked towards the supply base chatting in twos and threes. Most of the weapons of the people on the train were swords. Only a tall young man in black battle armor was carrying a mysterious dark golden long spear on his back. Yuanchue supply base, we finally arrived. Looking at the building in front of him, Su Chen slowly exhaled a breath. It only takes a little over two hours to take the high-speed train from the Magic City to Yuanchue City. But from the Yuanchue high-speed rail station, taking the train directly to the supply base also took him over two hours. If I come here often in the future, I might as well buy a car directly, otherwise taking the train is too slow. Confirming that the building in front of him was indeed the Yuanchue supply base, Su Chen did not hesitate anymore and stepped into the lobby on the first floor. The Yuanchue wilderness area is vast, with at least a thousand supernaturals entering the wilderness area every day. As the headquarters of the supernaturals, the entire Yuanchue supply base is also built very luxuriously. The marble floor is shining, and the crystal chandelier in the center of the lobby shines like a small sun. Inside the lobby, male and female waiters shuttle around carrying tea or pastries. Every face is filled with youthful smiles, bringing the best service to the supernaturals resting on the lobby sofa. At this time, it was summer, and most of the citizens of Yuanchue City were dressed very coolly. The waitresses here are no exception, each of them wearing short skirts. With pairs of long white legs, it's dizzying to watch them move around. If Shang Hao were here, he probably wouldn't be able to walk straight. Su Chen couldn't help but think of his high school buddy. After arriving in the Magic City, he still occasionally kept in touch with his high school buddies Zhang Hao and Lu Jia. Sir, may I help you with anything? Seeing Su Chen standing still, a delicate-looking waitress walked up and asked. Of course, Su Chen's extremely handsome appearance was one of the reasons she approached him. I want to register as an adventurer. What do I need to do? The Wilderness Zone is not accessible to anyone who wants to enter. Every esper entering the Wilderness Zone for the first time needs to register as an adventurer receive a satellite communication watch, and then they can be allowed entry. This way, even if you die in the wilderness zone, there will be a record. Of course, this adventurer registration only needs to be done once, and after registration, it is valid in all the wilderness zones nationwide. Register as an adventurer? Okay, please follow me. Led by the waitress, Su Chen arrived at the front desk. Give me your ID, fill out this form, and then undergo a basic strength verification. The front desk staff handed over a form, and Su Chen also handed over his identification documents. The information to be filled in on the form is not much, just basic information like name, age, school, level, and so on. When Su Chen saw that he had filled in the level as Magic City Esper University in the school column, the waitress next to him couldn't help but show a look of envy. That's great, Magic City Esper University. When you graduate from there, you will definitely be a third order or even fourth order Esper. The waitress knew about Magic City as it was close to the Magic City, the top-ranked university in the country. In fact, many students from Magic City Esper University come here for training. However, most of the students from Magic City Esper University come after reaching the second order, as it is safer that way. It is very rare for someone like Su Chen, who is only a first-order upper-level Esper, to dare to enter the wilderness zone. Based on his age, she could also infer that Su Chen had just enrolled as a freshman. Being able to have upper level first order strength just after enrolling, he would likely advance to second or third order by graduation. Thank you for your kind words. Su Chen smiled slightly. After filling out the form, he was taken for strength verification. The strength verification was simple, as long as the strength displayed matched what was written on the form. Su Chen just had to demonstrate a bit of his esper ability to meet the requirements. It will take some time to make the adventurer ID, sir. You can wait on the sofa in the lobby for a while. Okay. 
Su Chen nodded, ordered a cold drink, and sat down at an empty seat. It must be said that the consumption at the supply base was indeed high. Just a regular cold drink cost hundreds of dasha coins. But it makes sense, for an esper to enter and leave the wilderness zone once. Bringing back materials from ferocious beasts, rare flowers, and exotic plants, they can easily earn hundreds of thousands. This level of consumption is nothing. Su Chen shook his head. In Blue Star, there was a stark difference between espers and ordinary people. What ordinary people couldn't earn in a whole year, an esper could earn in just one trip to the wilderness zone. Of course, ordinary people wouldn't face life-threatening situations, unlike espers. After getting the adventurer ID, I'll purchase some supplies and be able to enter the wilderness zone early tomorrow morning. Just as Su Chen was sipping his cold drink and planning his next steps, a commotion suddenly broke out in the lobby, it's Jiang Chu Shen. Goddess Jiang is here. As expected of a student from Magic City, the aura she exudes is very powerful. Amid the discussions, many people on the sofa turned to look towards the entrance of the hall. Jiang Chu Shen? Why does that name sound familiar? Su Chen was slightly stunned and subconsciously looked towards the entrance. Water supply base, entrance of the hall. A group of six people walked in under the gaze of the crowd. Leading them was a tall and slender girl of about 18 or 19. The girl was dressed in light blue battle attire, tightly wrapped in the bodysuit. The slightly full chest curves and the enticing waist hip ratio were perfectly outlined. She had delicate features, a straight and high nose, thick and long eyelashes, and skin as fair as snow. But what left the most impression was the girl's beautiful hair. It was long white hair cascading down to her waist, not the unhealthy pale white, but smooth and lustrous like satin. Following behind her were several men and women, some tall in stature, some fierce in demeanor, resembling bodyguards. One of them even carried a heavy camera on his shoulder. It looks like Goddess Jiang is going to the wilderness area for material again. I have to say, although her videos are all team efforts, the quality is top-notch. I watch every episode. By the way, doesn't Goddess Jiang have nearly tens of millions of fans online? More than that, she already has nearly 15 million. Tsk TSK, it would be great to have a girlfriend like Goddess Jiang. I'd rather live 10 years less. Hee <laughs> hee, even 20 years less wouldn't help. She is a sophomore at the top magic university in the city, why would she look at you? Dream on. In the hall, many supernatural beings were discussing, and Su Chen, sitting in his seat, finally remembered. Isn't this the goddess Zhang that Zhang Hao, that guy who cried and begged for an autographed photo before he left Zhang City, mentioned to him? After coming to the magic city, Su Chen occasionally talked to Zhang Hao on the phone. Amidst the small talk, Zhang Hao always brought this up. Su Chen was really annoyed by it and even followed up on it. Unfortunately, he never encountered her during his time at school. Unexpectedly, as soon as he arrived in the wilderness area, he ran into her directly. But Zhang Hao's taste is not bad. To be fair, whether in this life or the previous one, among the many girls Su Chen had seen, only Song Chouyun could compare to this Zhang Chu Xian. Of course, in terms of appearance, the two were equally matched, with Song Chouyun being charming and Zhang Chu Xian being aloof. As for the figure, Su Chen thought Song Chouyun had a slight edge. And so, Zhang Chu Xian and her group went upstairs under the gaze of the crowd in the hall. The supply base was a comprehensive building that not only provided equipment sales and services for purchasing materials from ferocious beasts and exotic plants but also offered accommodation on the higher floors like a hotel. Most supernatural beings who didn't return to the city would choose to stay at this supply base. Sir, your adventurer's permit is ready. In addition, here is your satellite smartwatch, which contains a map of the wilderness area. Shortly after Jiang Chu Xian and the others left, a female attendant walked over gracefully and handed over a black card and a smartwatch. The black card was the adventurer's permit, which recorded basic information such as name and level. Su Chen kept the permit, and the smartwatch was worn directly on his wrist. With a gentle tap on the screen, a map of the wilderness area was projected. It not only detailed the activity of ferocious beasts in each area but also indicated the level of danger. However, this information was limited to the peripheral areas, while the deeper internal areas were shrouded in mist. Of course, even the parts marked out were not entirely reliable because ferocious beasts could leave their territories at any time to hunt outside. However, it's better to have something than nothing, after all, it's a reference. Thank you. Confirming that the smartwatch was fine, Su Chen politely thanked and was about to leave. But he was stopped by a voice. Hey, young man, do you need elixirs? Turning around, he saw a middle-aged man with a slim figure. He had a smile on his face and said, You must be entering the wilderness area for the first time, right? You can't go into the wilderness area without elixirs. I have all kinds of elixirs, want to take a look? The price is negotiable. Elixirs? Su Chen raised an eyebrow. 
Elixirs are indeed necessary for entering the wilderness area, whether it's healing elixirs or detoxifying elixirs, they are very useful in critical moments. How much are the elixirs here? Su Chen asked with interest. First grade healing elixir is 20,000 each, first grade detoxifying elixir is 15,000 each. The second grade ones are a bit more expensive, but still okay, 40,000 and 30,000 respectively. The middle-aged man, sensing a potential customer, quickly introduced. Oh, that's actually not expensive. Su Chen said, but his eyes were slightly cold. Elixirs are divided into nine grades, with higher grades having stronger effects. Even first grade elixirs are usually quite expensive, at least around 30 to 40,000 each. But this person's prices were almost half the usual price. Coupled with his suspicious demeanor, Su Chen was almost certain that he was a scammer selling fake medicines, and most likely, an experienced one at that. Otherwise, he wouldn't specifically target first-time registered adventurers who are not familiar with the trade. Of course, the elixirs I have here are famous for being both cheap and effective. The middle-aged man confidently patted his chest. However, Su Chen responded with a mocking tone, you've deceived quite a few newcomers with this trick, haven't you? Ha! Huh? The middle-aged man was first stunned, the smile on his face disappeared instantly, you saw through it already? What do you think? Su Chen looked at him with a smirk. Good, very good. The middle-aged man's eyes narrowed, and his aura gradually turned dangerous, daring to play tricks on me at the supply base, you are the first. Before Su Chen could speak, a sharp voice came from the side, Zhao Chun Lin. Are you cheating newcomers here again? It was a group of four people who spoke. Among them was a twenty-something girl in dark battle attire, carrying a black long sword. She furrowed her brows and rushed over, shielding Su Chen behind her. Wang Qian? Seeing this woman, Zhao Chun Lin showed a hint of fear, snorted coldly, you're lucky this time, but you better not leave the supply base these days. Otherwise, you will regret it. After a meaningful glance at Su Chen, Zhao Chun Lin left. TSK TSK, this newcomer is in trouble for attracting Zhao Chun Lin's attention. Why provoke Zhao Chun Lin out of all people? I heard he was promoted to the second tier intermediate not long ago, this little guy who just reached the first tier upper position, the final result might be very miserable. The commotion here also attracted the attention of other ability users in the hall. In this source water supply base, a second tier intermediate ability user is already considered a strong combat force. Su Chen, who dared to conflict with him despite being only a first tier upper, naturally became a sympathetic figure. Did you just have a conflict with Zhao Chun Lin? Listening to the discussions around her, the young woman Wang Qian, who was shielding Su Chen, frowned. Without waiting for Su Chen to respond, she said to herself, forget it, since you've provoked him, you shouldn't leave the supply base recently. Fighting is prohibited in the supply base, and he can't do anything to you. Thank you for the reminder. Although he didn't care about the threat from Zhao Chun Lin, this girl not only spoke out to stop the other party from cheating. Fortunately, she kindly reminded herself that Su Chun also had good intentions towards her. It was just a small favor. I was once tricked by him, so I don't want others to be deceived either. Wang Qian waved her hand. So he has been cheating all this time, and no one is stopping him? Su Chen frowned slightly. He he, Zhao Chun Lin has connections to the black market, who dares to stop him? Wang Qian sneered. In fact, not only does he have connections to the black market, but he is also associated with the higher-ups of this supply base. Otherwise, how could he have been cheating here for several years? Xiao Chen, we should go back to the room. Hearing other team members calling her, Wang Qian responded and before leaving, she reminded once again, remember, do not leave the supply base during this time. She is a kind-hearted girl. Watching Wang Qian and the team members gradually leave, Su Chen nodded involuntarily. There are not so many good people in the world. People who have been through hardships not only won't offer an umbrella to others in the rain but will instead break others' umbrellas. Just like earlier, he was sure that there were others in the hall who had been deceived before. But when Zhao Chunlin approached him, not a single person spoke up to warn him. Some people might even take pleasure in his misfortune. Only Wang Qian not only spoke up proactively but also protected him like a mother hen. Her personality is somewhat similar to the class monitor Lin Qing Yuan from my high school. Both are kind and gentle. Su Chen silently thought to himself. As for Zhao Chunlin, he never took him seriously from the beginning. After all, as a second-tier mid-level esper, whether he could withstand his full power shot was questionable. Next, Su Chen purchased a tactical backpack and enough fresh water and energy bars to sustain himself for over a month through official channels at the supply base. He also bought 10 top-grade healing pills, 10 top-grade detoxification pills, and one second-grade blood-boosting pill. The tactical backpack and supplies were not expensive, costing less than 100,000 in total, but the pills cost him 900,000. 
Of course, it was worth it. Especially the second grade blood boosting pill worth 300,000, was a life saving artifact. After purchasing all the supplies, Su Chen slept in a room at the supply base for a night. Early the next morning, he walked out of the supply base fully armed. However, as Su Chen just stepped onto the square in front of the supply base, a familiar voice sounded not far ahead Oh, I didn't expect you to dare to come out. In front of the Yuan Shui supply base was a wide square. Only after crossing the square could one enter the wilderness area. Su Chen had just left the supply base and stepped onto the square when he was blocked by Zhao Chunlin. Zhao Chunlin at this moment was no longer the merchant like appearance from yesterday. He changed into battle clothes, carrying a long knife, obviously prepared in advance. You really don't listen, I told you not to leave the supply base, but you insisted on coming out. Now, you are blocked by me here. Looking at Su Chen in front of him, Zhao Chunlin's face was filled with a smug smile. He had estimated yesterday that Su Chen would not obediently stay in the supply base, so he waited outside early in the morning. As expected, Su Chen had no intention of avoiding him at all. I, Zhao Chunlin, am not easy to mess with. Cut off your arms, then compensate me with one million, and this matter will be settled. Zhao Chunlin drew his long knife, and the aura of a second-tier mid-level esper burst out. Attracted the attention of many people in the square. At this moment, at the entrance of the supply base hall, Wang Qian and her team also walked out. At a glance, they saw Su Chen confronting Zhao Chunlin not far away. Oh no, didn't I tell him not to leave the supply base during this time? Why did he still come out? Wang Qian was anxious when she saw the situation and was about to run over again, but was stopped by the Captain Yamushi behind her. Xiao Qian, don't be in a hurry, let's see first. This was a girl about the same age as Wang Qian, just taller. She stared at the long spear behind Su Chen, looking pensive. Well then, as a member of the team, Wang Qian naturally had to listen to her captain. Besides, she was also a little angry that Su Chen didn't listen to her. Let him learn a lesson, so he doesn't act recklessly and ignore advice. Wang Qian thought to herself. On the other side, facing Jia Chunlin's threat, Su Chen's resolute face showed a hint of impatience. What if I say no? Oh, then you'll probably spend the rest of your life in a wheelchair. Because I'll dismember both your legs. Zhao Chunlin's face revealed a cruel smile. He hadn't just been hanging around the supply base for a day or two. If others found out he had been played by a newcomer, where would he put his face? Establishing authority was a must, and it had to be ruthless. Only then could he deter others. Thinking of this, his entire exposed skin turned into a metallic bluish gray color. Sea level ability, metallic skin. With the blessing of metallic skin, his defense was extremely strong, almost impenetrable. With metallic skin, coupled with my D-level battle suit, you can't even break through my defense. Kid, you still want to. Zhao Chunlin's words were cut off by Su Chen's low voice, noisy. What? Before Zhao Chunlin could react, he felt a huge force hitting his waist. Under this force, his D-level battle suit and metallic skin were like decorations, offering no resistance. Then, he was like being hit head-on by a speeding truck, flying out directly. Bang! 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 He smashed several small pits on the ground, flew eight or nine meters away, and stopped, his life uncertain. And the instigator of all this, as if nothing had happened, didn't even glance back, walking towards the entrance to the wilderness area. Wow! Instant kill! How terrifying! Oh my, how did he make his move? I didn't even see it clearly? Heh, <laughs> Zhao Chunlin has really met his match this time. I was worried about that young man yesterday, didn't expect him to be so strong. Zhao Chunlin, a second tier intermediate, was quite well known in the source water supply base. His defeat naturally sparked heated discussions among the crowd. Many who had been tricked by him before but dared not act felt a sense of satisfaction. Some even ran to Zhao Chunlin's side to take a look. His waist seemed to have been hit by a high explosive bomb, covered in blood. Although he was still breathing, it was weak, and his breath was very faint. On the other side, Wang Qian at the entrance of the supply base stared wide-eyed. She never expected the situation to develop completely differently from what she had imagined. Su Chen actually killed Zhao Chunlin. And it was an instant kill. What's more, as a second-tier lower-level esper, she didn't even see how Su Chen made his move. It was a whip kick, the Captain Yao Mushi behind her saw it clearly. However, she didn't expect the power of that whip kick to be so astonishing. Zhao Chunlin's pelvis is completely shattered, it's uncertain if he can survive. Even if he can be saved, he may end up as a cripple who can only sit in a wheelchair in the future. He's really strong and ruthless, coming from the Magic City Esper University. Yamushi's eyes showed admiration. From the Magic City Esper University? How did you know, Captain? Wang Qian was slightly surprised by the words and quickly asked. 
The other two remaining team members also looked at him curiously. There is the emblem of the Magic Metropolis Ability University on his long spear, which Xiao Mushi had just discovered. The emblem of the sword and shield surrounded by thorny roses is found on weapons produced by the Magic Metropolis Ability University. Besides, have you seen anyone else with this kind of instant kill ability from top universities? That's true, Wang Qian suddenly realized, then eagerly suggested, don't we still need a strong attacker in our team? Why don't we recruit him into our team? Anyway, our school is also located in the Magic Metropolis University City, so it will be convenient for future team formations. He's already far away, how can we recruit him? Besides, when our team was formed, didn't we agree to only have female members? Yao Mushi said leisurely. They are all current students of the Magic Metropolis University City, attending the Lynching Ability University. They came this time to hunt more beasts during the summer vacation and accumulate some wealth and resources. Ha, Xiao Qian, do you have a crush on him? But that young man does look quite handsome, I don't mind him joining us. The other two sisters also laughed at the words. Different places have different rules. The rules of the school are for studying and training. The rules in the wilderness area are survival of the fittest, where the big fish eats the small fish. Even the supply base outside the wilderness area follows the law of the jungle. This is because of the huge profits brought by the flesh and blood of beasts, strange flowers, and fruits. The supply base is usually a mix of various forces, deeply intertwined. Under such an order, even the security bureau responsible for law enforcement cannot reach here. This is truly a gray area. As long as you are strong enough and don't cause too much trouble, no one will bother you. Of course, if you are blind and provoke the wrong person, no one can help you. Zhao Chunlin is in such a situation, trying to crush Su Chen with his second tier intermediate strength. However, Su Chen is a giant dragon, and he is the ant being crushed. After obtaining the adventurer's proof at the entrance of the wilderness area, Su Chen successfully entered the wilderness area. Roar! Howl! Compared to the martial arts examination site, this source water wilderness area is much larger. The beasts here are more brutal and bloodthirsty. Just as he entered, Su Chen heard the roar and howl of the beasts. The roar was very distant but still powerful. At least they are all fourth tier beasts, Su Chen thought to himself. The higher the level of the beasts, the higher their intelligence. The intelligence of a fourth-tier beast is similar to that of a child over 10 years old, knowing how to defend its territory. The occasional roars are also a sign that this is their territory. If beasts of the same level intrude, they will face the most terrifying attacks. Of course, these more delicious human ability users are also natural targets for hunting. The source water wilderness area is probably divided into two regions, the ruined town and the mountain forest. Su Chen opened the map on his smartwatch and carefully examined it. Although his current level is only upper first tier, his actual combat power is at the peak of the second tier. He needs to find a place with a large number of beasts, where there are not many high-level beasts, to hunt and harvest ability points. Comparatively, the beasts active in the ruined town of the Source Water Wilderness area are slightly weaker. The beasts living in the mountain forest are slightly stronger. Su Chen's current target is naturally focused on the ruined town. City A has a large number of beasts, but most of them are first tier, too low level. The town of C is mostly inhabited by second order ferocious beasts, but there have been traces of third order or even fourth order ferocious beasts in the surrounding area, making the danger level higher. Let's look at other towns. After some consideration, Su Chen finally chose a ruined town called Pingan County. Most of the beasts in this county ruins are second order, with very few first order beasts. There is not a single third or fourth order beast. Moreover, the area is vast with at least five to six hundred ferocious beasts lurking inside. It is currently the most suitable location for his hunting. Pingan County, let's go here. Su Chen's eyes narrowed slightly, and after confirming the location on the map, he dashed out like a nimble cheetah. Pingan County is about 20 kilometers away from the entrance to the wilderness area. At full speed, it would take less than 40 minutes to arrive. But this is in the dangerous wilderness area, not a plastic running track where one can freely run. Su Chen proceeded cautiously, carefully avoiding areas where high-order ferocious beasts might appear. It took him nearly three hours to arrive. Pingan County, we're here. What appeared in Su Chen's site was a ruined city similar to a martial arts examination site. In the city, the once magnificent skyscrapers were now extremely dilapidated. On the ground, abandoned vehicles from people who were busy escaping could be seen everywhere. After decades of weathering, these vehicles were basically reduced to iron frames. The original cement roads were overgrown with weeds, and among the weeds, one could even see some clean pick skeletons. Among them were ferocious beasts and humans. Roar! Howl! 
Terrifying roars echoed from the ruins of the city, one after another. Unlike the ferocious beasts raised in the martial arts examination site, this was a true paradise for ferocious beasts, a nightmare for humans. Just the ferocious and violent roars were enough to make some weak-willed ability users tremble in their legs. Su Chen, on the other hand, showed no reaction, his eyes still filled with a burning fighting spirit. He could even feel the strong desire for the impending slaughter deep in his heart. Does the negative emotions of the thunderous Tyrannosaurus affect me? The dark cloud swift wind spear was already in Su Chen's hand. But this time, I don't have to endure anymore, let the killing begin. Su Chen gripped the long spear and swiftly entered the county. Pingan County was large, with many ferocious beasts inside. Although Su Chen had the strength of a peak second order, he could only deal with two or three peak second order beasts at most. If the number increased, even he would have to flee. Therefore, he couldn't make too much noise. Otherwise, if hundreds of second order ferocious beasts in the county joined forces to chase and intercept him, it would be difficult to escape even with his lightning speed. So, after entering Pingan County, Su Chen prioritized targeting solitary ferocious beasts, or groups of ferocious beasts with less than 10 heads, and no more than 3 peak second order beasts. Ding, killed 1 lower level second order shadow cat, gained 18 ability points. Ding, killed 1 middle level second order unicorn rhino, gained 22 ability points. Ding, killed 1 lower level second order arm blade tiger, gained 19 ability points. Ding, killed 1 middle level second order shadow cat, gained 21 ability points. In this way, Su Chen, with his spear, moved like a ghost, shuttling through Pingan County, embarking on a frenzy of slaughter. It is unknown whether it was the influence of the thunderous Tyrannosaurus blood, but throughout the entire process, he showed no signs of fatigue. Instead, he became more excited as he killed. And as Su Chen's killing spree began, the ability points on his system panel increased at a terrifying speed. One month later, in Pingan County, a team of four superpowered individuals walked on the dilapidated city roads. Compared to other superpowered teams wandering in the wilderness area, this team seemed much more casual. Each of them carried their weapons behind their backs, without a hint of tension. Captain, what's going on in Pingan County? We've been wandering around all day and haven't encountered a single fierce beast, one of the team members couldn't help but complain. They arrived in Pingan County last night and noticed something was off as soon as they arrived. The entire Pingan County was unusually quiet. But due to poor visibility at night and the fact that many fierce beasts are active at night, they didn't investigate further. They didn't expect that the next day when they were ready to officially hunt down the fierce beasts, they found the entire Pingan County to be as quiet as a dead city, which was terrifying. This also meant that from morning to afternoon, they hadn't encountered a single fierce beast. In the past, they would have started hunting long ago. Who do you want me to ask? The captain, a bald strong man, was obviously on the verge of exploding emotionally and retorted impatiently. There are at least five to six hundred fierce beasts in Pingan County. With such a large group of fierce beasts, even if they were to migrate, it wouldn't be this clean, a team member frowned. Pingan County was a place their team often visited. However, they didn't expect such a big change in just a month since their last visit. Let's search for another two hours. If we still don't find any fierce beasts, we'll prepare to move elsewhere, the bald strong man, as the captain, said in a deep voice. They were very familiar with the various terrains and distribution of fierce beasts in Pingan County. If they were to move to another place, it would take a lot of effort to familiarize themselves. Unless absolutely necessary, he didn't want to give up on this place. Roar, just then, a second-tier sub-armed blade tiger leaped out from an abandoned small building not far away and appeared in front of everyone. It's the armed blade tiger. For this team of superpowered individuals, all of whom were above the second tier, a second tier sub-armed blade tiger was not a big deal. But now, after not seeing any fierce beasts all day, they all stared at the armed blade tiger with eyes glowing like hungry ghosts. Finally, they encountered the first fierce beast. The bald strong man also showed a hint of joy on his face and waved his big hand. Let's go together. Kill it. For today's first prey, everyone was particularly enthusiastic. Especially a middle-aged man with a big knife, who chased to a place not far from the armed blade tiger in three or two steps, about to charge forward. Bang! A sound like a sonic boom echoed from a tall building in the distance. Then, a thick blue-purple thunder spear, resembling a cruise missile, flew rapidly from the sky. What is this? Before everyone could react, with a loud bang, the thunder spear hit directly on the armed blade tiger in front. Crackling, the ground trembled, accompanied by the buzzing sound of arcing electricity. A terrifying blue-purple thunder mushroom cloud rose in place. The entire armed blade tiger, under the powerful thunder force, disintegrated into debris. Holy crap! The man closest to the armed blade tiger was so scared that his hand trembled, and the long knife fell to the ground. 
If he had taken one more step forward just now, it wouldn't have been just the armed blade tiger turning into debris. The remaining team members were also frightened, and one of them shiveringly asked the strongest bald strong man in the team, Sea Captain, what was that just now? The latest laser weapon? Fierce beasts have tough hides and thick skin, making it almost impossible for ordinary bullets or missiles to penetrate. Only laser weapons could have such killing power. No, laser weapons are faster. This seems to be some kind of thunder and lightning combat technique. The bald man glanced at the tall building in the distance, then quickly ordered with a serious expression, let's go, this peaceful county town seems to have been occupied by a powerful individual. The attack just now was probably a warning to us. No wonder we can't find any ferocious beasts, they must have all been killed by that thunder-based powerhouse. Hiss, the power of that thunder spear just now was too terrifying, my legs are still trembling. Let's go quickly. If we walk too slowly and provoke that powerhouse, it will be troublesome. A group of people quickly changed direction and walked briskly towards the direction of leaving the peaceful county town. Afraid of walking too slowly and attracting the wrath of that powerhouse with a thunder spear. Ding, killed a second order lower arm blade tiger, gained 19 ability points. Peaceful county town, top of a high building. A tall young man slowly retracted his right hand, which still had remnants of blue purple thunder. This person is Su Chen, who has been staying in the peaceful county town for over a month. Compared to his clean appearance when he first entered the county town a month ago, Su Chen now looks a bit unkempt. His black battle clothes are covered with dark red bloodstains, some areas are torn, and his combat boots are dusty. Except for the dark cloud swift wind spear behind him, which is still clean and retains its original dark gold color. His short hair has grown into medium length, and there is also some stubble on his chin. However, this does not affect his appearance, but adds a touch of vicissitudes to him, especially Su Chen's clear black and white eyes. It gives people a sense of having experienced vicissitudes but still retaining the clearness of youth. This appearance has a fatal attraction to some middle-aged women. Reaching advanced proficiency with the Thunder Spear, the attack range has directly increased to over a thousand meters, not bad. A smile appeared on Su Chen's resolute face. The Thunder Spear just now demonstrated the power after he upgraded the A-level combat skill Thunder Spear to advanced proficiency. The result was even better than he had imagined. Speaking of which, the number of ferocious beasts in the peaceful county town is decreasing, it's time to find a new place. In the peaceful county town, there were nearly 500 second order ferocious beasts. Under the frenzy of killing in this month, almost all of these 500 second order ferocious beasts have turned into ability points. 8000 ability points. This is the total number of ability points Su Chen roughly calculated he had obtained. As for why it was a rough estimate, it was because after obtaining the ability points, he would immediately choose to use them without accumulating them. And his current panel can be described as luxurious. Name, Su Chen level, second order upper ability, purple sky divine thunder, S, physique, 1310 HP, plus, spirit, 972 hertz, plus, skills, spear technique, master, boxing technique, intermediate, thunder spear, advanced, chain lightning spear, intermediate, thunder flash, advanced, thunder prison, intermediate, lightning gale break, advanced, body forging, indestructible thunder body, third level, ability points, 112 jumping from the first order upper level directly to the second, order upper level, the S level body forging combat skill, indestructible thunder body, has been upgraded to the third level, successfully mastering the thunder extreme state. The spear technique has also reached the master level that most ability users cannot achieve in their lifetime. As for the other combat skills, they have all been upgraded to at least intermediate level. In one month, reaching the second order upper level, the third level of indestructible thunder body, and multiple A-level combat skills reaching intermediate proficiency. Who else can achieve this besides me? At this moment, Su Chen was full of pride, and his clear eyes were extremely bright. Although there is a deep blue system involved, his own efforts are equally indelible. Pack up tonight, return to the supply base tomorrow, and then continue deeper into the wilderness. Su Chen withdrew his gaze, walked down from the rooftop, and returned to his room inside the building. It was a simple room of over 30 square meters, serving as his temporary base in Pingan County. The only furniture in the room was a desk and a bed. Although basic, this was the only room he found after looking at over 10 rooms that was still in decent condition. The furniture in the other rooms was already dilapidated and unfit for use. In the corner of the room, there was a huge black tactical backpack. A regular tactical backpack could only hold up to 1 or 200 kilograms of items. However, Su Chen managed to stuff over 400 kilograms of things into this tactical backpack. As a result, the entire backpack had become an enlarged version due to the weight. 
It's a good thing I bought the reinforced version, otherwise, with this much weight, the tactical backpack wouldn't be able to bear it at all. Su Chen walked to the corner, opened the tactical backpack, and inside were clean arm knives, tendons, claws, and rhino horns. These were the most valuable parts of fierce beasts. When Su Chen first entered Pingan County, he would thoroughly collect the materials from each fierce beast he killed. However, he quickly realized that there was too much stuff, and the tactical backpack couldn't hold it all. So, later on, he only collected the most valuable parts of the fierce beasts. Even so, he still managed to collect nearly over 400 kilograms of fierce beast materials. As for exotic flowers and plants, perhaps Su Chen was not familiar with them, or they only grew in the forested mountains. Anyway, during his time in Pingan County, he hadn't seen a single one. What should I eat tonight? Su Chen scanned the tactical backpack and finally picked out a large tendon. Duang the tendon was so elastic that when Su Chen lightly picked it up, it couldn't stop swaying up and down at both ends. He skillfully threaded the tendon onto a bamboo pole, and with a flash of lightning, the firewood pile in the room was ignited. Placing the bamboo pole over the firewood, it didn't take long for the entire tendon, along with some flesh and blood, to be roasted to a golden shine, emitting a fragrant aroma. Su Chen picked up the bamboo pole, took a bite of the tendon, and the soft texture and flavorful taste made him nod in satisfaction. Although he had brought enough fresh water and energy bars for over a month, energy bars were tasteless and could fill the stomach but were hard to endure for a long time. Therefore, later on, Su Chen basically didn't eat energy bars and opted for freshly roasted food. Unfortunately, he hadn't brought any seasonings, otherwise, it would have been even more delicious. When I return to the supply base tomorrow, I'll buy a pot and a set of seasonings. When I crave meat, I'll just pick a fierce beast, kill it on the spot, and cook it. This made Su Chen think of some fishermen from his past life who emphasized on freshness and authenticity. Since there were hardly any fierce beasts left in Pingan County, and even if there were, they were just a few small ones. So, after dinner, Su Chen didn't go out to hunt fierce beasts anymore. He trained in the room until 11 o'clock at night and then lay on the bed, entering a light sleep state. Early the next morning, carrying a tactical backpack as tall as a person, he set off towards the supply base. August 17th, 10 a.m. The morning sun shone on the earth, cloudless for miles. The entrance to the wilderness area not far from the source water supply base. As usual, a large number of ability users entered and exited the wilderness area from here. Among those leaving the wilderness area, there were teams of ability users with rich harvests, smiling on their faces. There were also teams of ability users supporting heavily injured teammates, looking solemn, obviously having suffered heavy losses. Even some teams of supernatural beings brought back a completely disfigured corpse that had been not on. This is the cruel wilderness area, where you never know when accidents will happen. Hey, Lolly, didn't you just go to Pingan County the day before yesterday? Why are you back today? Did you find some great treasure? Find what? Pingan County has been occupied by a mysterious strongman. We came back to regroup and prepare to change our location. Oh, is that so? Then report this news to the base later, maybe you can get some intelligence bonus. The official team of supernatural beings guarding the entrance to the wilderness area had long been accustomed to the life and death of supernatural beings. They could even joke and greet some familiar teams of supernatural beings. In the midst of conversation, a huge black tactical backpack moved over from a distance, causing a slight surprise to the team guarding the entrance. What's going on? Did the tactical backpack grow legs on its own? As they got closer, they noticed a tall and slender young man under the tactical backpack. Ha ha, what's going on? Such a big tactical backpack? He didn't bring back all the flesh and blood of a whole one-horned rhinoceros, did he? That's too silly, isn't it? It's amazing that the tactical backpack can be stretched so big. A normal tactical backpack filled with things has a capacity of about one cubic meter, but this young man's backpack was directly stretched to two cubic meters. This unusual scene naturally attracted the playful attention of other supernatural beings. They thought this was a new adventurer who wouldn't collect materials from ferocious beasts, so he brought back a whole ferocious beast. But after noticing the aura of the young man, the supernatural beings couldn't laugh anymore. Second Order Superior Such a powerful supernatural being had probably entered the wilderness area several times, and it was impossible for him to only bring back one ferocious beast. In other words, that big package probably contained all ferocious beast materials. With the strength of a second order superior, the prey hunted should all be second order ferocious beasts. Tsk tsk, judging by how tight the backpack is, it must weigh at least 3 to 400 kilograms. Selling this wave of ferocious beast materials, they must be making a fortune, right? A group of supernatural beings looked enviously at the young man, with a respectful look in their eyes towards the strong. 
Lone rangers who entered the wilderness area alone generally had strong abilities. To enter the wilderness area alone and bring back so many ferocious beast materials was even more rare. Plus, the fact that he looked so young, he might be a top genius from some university. Such a genius was in existence they didn't dare to imagine. In the admiring gaze of the supernatural beings, Su Chen walked into the supply base building. The weapons of the supernatural beings were generally heavy, weighing over a hundred kilograms. Therefore, the elevators in the supply base were specially made to withstand tens of thousands of kilograms. Su Chen himself weighed over 120 kilograms, plus the 260 kilograms of the Dark Cloud Swift Wind Spear and over 400 kilograms of ferocious beast materials. With a total weight of over 790 kilograms, the elevator still ascended. However, the other people in the elevator clearly felt that it was much slower than usual. Ding the elevator stopped at the sixth floor of the supply base, and as Su Chen walked out, everyone inexplicably felt that the elevator had lightened considerably. The sixth and seventh floors of the supply base were where ferocious beast materials were purchased. In the lobby on the sixth floor, there were ten purchasing counters, each with a queue in front of it. Su Chen chose a queue with fewer people. In no time, it was his turn. Sir, what materials would you like to sell? Asked the female staff behind the counter with a smile. Second order ferocious beast materials. Okay, what second order ferocious beasts do you have? How much material do you have? You can weigh them in the weighing tray next to it. The types of ferocious beasts are a bit mixed, weighing about 400 kilograms. 400 kilograms? So many? The staff behind the counter was slightly stunned, not reacting yet. Su Chen in front had already taken off his backpack and dumped everything in the weighing tray. Clatter a large amount of ferocious beast materials poured out in a rush. Different from the materials sold by other ability users, these materials are all essences from ferocious beasts. Tiger tendons, arm blades, rhino horns, a pile of things, directly forming a small mountain on the weighing tray. And the final weight also showed 423. 5 kilograms. Sir, please wait, you have too many ferocious beast materials. It's a bit troublesome to count, I need to call some more people over. The staff behind the counter was obviously flustered, quickly making a call for support. In no time, four or five staff members walked out from the hall, with a middle-aged man in a suit leading the way, warmly extending his hand. Hello, I am Jowie, the supervisor in charge of material procurement on the 6th and 7th floors of the supply base. Su Chen. Su Chen nodded, shook hands with him. Mr. Su is truly outstanding at a young age, being able to hunt so many ferocious beasts at such a young age, it is truly admirable. Let them take care of it here, I guarantee they will count everything for you. Let's go, we'll sit over there. The supply base has always attached importance to powerful ability users. Especially Su Chen, a young second-tier superior ability user, has a promising future. Therefore, Zhaoyi, the supervisor who is at least a third-tier ability user, kept a low profile. Not only did he invite Su Chun for tea and chat on the side, but also presented him with a platinum membership card for the supply base. Any purchase within the supply base can enjoy a 5% discount. Sir, your ferocious beast materials have been counted. Half an hour later, all of Su Chen's ferocious beast materials were counted. Among them, there were 89 pieces of second-tier superior ferocious beast materials, priced between 60,000 to 80,000 Dasha coins per piece. There were 107 pieces of second-tier intermediate ferocious beast materials, priced between 50,000 to 70,000 Dasha coins per piece. There were 221 pieces of second-tier inferior ferocious beast materials, priced between 40,000 to 60,000 Dasha coins per piece. In addition, there were 34 pieces of peak first-tier ferocious beast materials, priced between 20,000 to 30,000 Dasha coins per piece. This made Supervisor Zhao secretly amazed. Wow, did he just wipe out an entire ferocious beast lair? Thinking of this, the smile on Zhao Yi's face grew even more. The total value of these ferocious beast materials is 24. 764 million, let's round it up to 25 million, how about that? Round up like this? Su Chen glanced at Zhao Yi and nodded, okay. This price was almost as he had expected. The price might be higher in the black market. However, the supply base is an official channel, so it is naturally better to go through official channels. Ding, your central sale bank account ending in 7043 has received 25. 0, 0 million, with a balance of 29. 1,234 million. In no time, the text message alert for the incoming funds sounded. Su Chen already had a balance of over 4 million, and now it suddenly surged to 29 million, which can be said to be a sudden wealth. With so much money, even Su Chen, who has always been emotionally stable, felt a bit excited. Manager Zhao, 
Then we'll see each other next time. See you next time. Supervisor Jowie waved goodbye, his warmth not feigned. Just from this deal alone, he could earn nearly a million in commission. After selling the ferocious beast materials, Su Chin did not delay at all. He headed straight to the second floor restaurant, ordered a table of delicious dishes, and enjoyed his meal heartily. However, what he did not notice was that in the corner of the restaurant, a figure sitting in a wheelchair with a gloomy expression glanced at him. Then, turning the wheelchair, he slowly left. A few minutes later, Supervisor Zhao Yi's office. Supervisor, the person who harmed me has returned to the supply base. You must avenge me. In the wheelchair, Zhao Chunlin's face contorted with extreme ferocity at the thought of the figure just now. Although he had luckily survived from the other party's hands a month ago. But with his pelvis completely shattered, he had been left with a lifelong disability. Even an ability user with healing powers couldn't fix it. Oh, you mean that first-tier upper-level kid? Jowie raised an eyebrow from behind his seat. How do you want to seek revenge? Didn't the Tiger Shark team just return from a mission? Let the Tiger Shark team take action. I want to make him wish he were dead. Zhao Chuanlin's mind was clouded with anger at this point. Jowie couldn't help but furrow his brow at the words. Although Zhao Chunlin was a distant relative he had arranged to work at the supply base, his behavior had become increasingly arrogant in recent years. And a month ago, he had been directly disabled, now almost devoid of any utility value. It seemed a bit unworthy to mobilize the Tiger Shark team for him. After a moment of contemplation, Zhaoyi finally nodded, Fine, I'll lend you the Tiger Shark team, but from now on, we have no further involvement. Zhao Chunlin was one of his own, and even helping him was subject to his approval. If he didn't help this time, who else would help him in the future? Of course, it was limited to helping this time. Don't worry, after this job, I will leave Yuan Shui City directly. Watching Zhao Chunlin drive away in his wheelchair, Zhao Yi suddenly felt a surge of unease in his heart, furrowing his brow involuntarily, then slowly relaxing. The Tiger Shark team was a second-tier elite ability team, dealing with a first-tier upper-level kid. What could go wrong? After sending Zhao Chunlin away, Zhao Yi made a phone call, Manager Wang, I just found a good ability user on the sixth floor, his name is Su Chen. Wang Chuan was the head manager responsible for managing the entire Yuan Shui supply base. He was also Zhao Yi's direct superior. Generally, if any powerful ability users were discovered, they needed to be reported to Wang Chuan. Sometimes, with good luck, they could even receive some rewards. Su Chen? Wait for me to check the information. After a brief silence, Wang Chuan's voice sounded again, but this time with a hint of excitement, Supervisor Zhao, that Su Chen you mentioned is very important to me. If he comes to the sixth floor again, notify me immediately. Zhaoyi was slightly stunned at the words, then nodded, understood. Who could make old Wang so excited? Zhaoyi absentmindedly rubbed his chin after hanging up the phone. Only the head manager and the general manager could access the information of adventurers in the supply base, he hadn't reached that level yet. Although he was curious, he had no good way. But since old Wang is paying attention, I should be more cautious in the future, it shouldn't go wrong. Zhao Yi didn't dwell on it much and quickly immersed himself in his work. Top floor of the Yuan Shui supply base, head manager's office. Looking at the information displayed on the computer, Wang Chuan's eyes sparkled slightly. I didn't expect another disciple of Yang Jintian to come to my Yuan Shui supply base. Through the information database of the Yuan Shui supply base, only Su Chen's origin from the Magic City Ability University could be found. However, students from top universities like this were usually of special interest to Wang Chuang. So he used his family's intelligence information system to look into it. The more he looked, the more shocked he became. This Su Chen turned out to be the recent disciple of the master Yang Jintian from the Magic City Ability University. For someone at his level, it was essential to remember the information about the forces and strong individuals in nearby provinces and cities. Otherwise, one day, they might unknowingly provoke someone they shouldn't have. The seventh order upper level expert, Thunder Gun Yang Jintian, who has once killed an 8th order ferocious beast across levels. For Wang Chuang, it is naturally well known that he is not to be provoked, and neither is the powerful family of abilities behind him. The opponent's disciples should also be treated with caution. If Zhao Yi is right, this Su Chen's level has really reached the second order upper level. Then his talent must be stronger than the previous Lu Ming. No, it can't be said to be stronger, it's simply monstrous. Wang Chuang leaned back in his chair, his eyes flashing slightly. An 18-year-old second-order upper level, no one would believe it if it were said. For such a monstrous talent, it's best to make friends. Even if you can't make friends, you must be extremely careful and not offend. Phew, full. Su Chen, who had just finished a meal in the second-floor restaurant of the supply base, called the waiter to pay the bill. The dishes at the supply base were not cheap, 
with just over 10 dishes costing him 20,000 dasha coins. Although some of the dishes were made from ferocious beast meat, the prices were at least 30% higher than outside. However, Su Chen, who had just made a big profit, didn't care about these details. After paying the bill, he went straight to the third floor of the supply base. Here is where equipment is sold at the supply base. While he didn't plan to change his Dark Cloud Swift Wind Spear for now, his battle clothes were torn in the previous battle. Instead of repairing them, he decided to buy a new set. So, Su Chen spent 12 million to buy a set of B-grade battle clothes and boots. In addition, he found that they were selling space rings here, but the prices were surprisingly high. The cheapest one, with a capacity equivalent to a small suitcase, was priced at over 10 million. With such an expensive price, even though Su Chen was very interested in the space ring, he was still discouraged. After all, a space ring of such small capacity could hardly hold much. But with over 10 million, he could still buy a large amount of resources. In addition, the iron pot and seasonings he had been longing for were not available at the supply base. Su Chen had to leave the supply base and head towards the back street. The back street was a street not far from the supply base, created by the citizens of Yuanchue City, different from the supply base that only sold items for abilities. The back street was more down to earth, with everything available. Outside the supply base, in a dark corner where the sunlight couldn't reach, Jachuelin's eyes, filled with bloodshot veins, stared fixedly at the figure leaving in the distance, his hoarse voice instructing the few people beside him, your target is him, break his hands and feet, then bring him to me. This was a group of five, three men and two women, each at the second order upper level. They were the tiger shark team, usually responsible for carrying out tasks assigned by the supply base. Of course, they occasionally did some private jobs for some supervisors with good relationships. Just like now. Got it. The captain of the tiger shark team, a man in his thirties with scars on his face, nodded and quietly followed the remaining four. When Su Chen arrived at the back street, before he could start looking for pots and seasonings, he received a call from Lu Wentao. He casually answered the call, and Lu Wentao's familiar voice came from the other end of the phone, Ming, your phone finally got through. Just got back from the wilderness zone, what's up? Nothing, just wanted to chat with you, Ming. Lu Wentao chuckled on the phone and then asked, by the way, Ming, when are you going back to school? In about half a month. Ah, uh, it's still half a month away? Then we'll have to endure Li Qingji's arrogance for a while longer. Mingu, you don't know, this Li Qingji is a new student who just reported for enrollment recently. He is the provincial champion of Qinghai province. This guy is so arrogant, at the level of the second tier. On the phone, Lu Wentao kept talking endlessly about what happened after Su Chen left school. During his time at school, because of breaking records and surpassing Lei Zhou, Su Chen was considered a prominent figure among the new students. But now, after more than a month in the wilderness area, the new students have gradually forgotten about him. Many other strong new students have also begun to show their talents. Hmm. Su Chen suddenly paused in his steps. What's wrong? Nothing. Please continue. Su Chen's paused steps resumed. However, as he listened to Lu Wentao's gossip, a faint blue-purple electric arc flickered at the tip of his right finger. Once something goes wrong, the terrifying purple sky divine thunder would pour out. Be prepared, the target is about to enter an alley. The captain of the tiger shark team hiding behind Su Chen more than 20 meters away had a serious expression. At the same time, he instructed a woman in the team, He Ji, analyze the target's strength. He Ji possessed a powerful mental class C level ability, with extremely strong perception. She had sensed the appearance of high-level ferocious beasts in the wilderness area several times, allowing for early avoidance. This time, even though they were only dealing with a first-tier upper-level ability user, they were going all out. As a precaution, before taking action, they needed to analyze the target's strength. Captain, not to criticize you, but sometimes you are just too cautious. How much trouble can a first-tier upper-level kid cause? A member of the team joked. However, at that moment, Hiji, who was using her mental ability, suddenly exclaimed, such a fierce aura. What's wrong? Is something amiss? The captain furrowed his brows and quickly asked. See for yourselves. Hiji smiled bitterly and, with the help of her ability, shared her perception with everyone in the team. This is. The captain of the tiger shark team, who had received the perception, was momentarily stunned. In the world perceived by Hiji's mental ability, it was not much different from the ordinary world. But each creature would emit its own light, some weak and some strong, representing different strengths. However, the light emanating from the tall figure in front was terrifying, like a small sun. Amidst the faint fluorescent light around others, it was extremely conspicuous. And this kind of light was tens of times stronger than him as the captain of the tiger shark team. This is a first tier upper level? Are you kidding me? 
The captain of the Tiger Shark team couldn't help but curse inwardly. Such a strong individual could easily wipe out their entire team. The intelligence was wrong. Abort the mission. Return to the supply base immediately and settle the score with Zhao Chunlin. The terrifying expression on the face of the Tiger Shark team captain. If it weren't for his years of cautious habits that made him more vigilant, once they made a move, the entire team would be waiting to be collected by others. And as the mastermind Zhao Chunlin, they naturally wouldn't let him go. Crackling in the alley, the call had long been disconnected. With the dark cloud swift wind spear in hand and the purple sky divine thunder swirling around him, Su Chen frowned, what's going on? Why did they suddenly run away? As early as when he was on the phone with Lu Wentao, he had sensed someone was following him. So he deliberately chose an alley with few people to lure them out and deal with them together. However, he didn't expect that when the other party saw him enter the alley, instead of attacking, they turned and fled. But this Zhao Chun-Lin, even sitting in a wheelchair, is still restless, daring to continue to target me. Su Chen narrowed his eyes. At the supply base, he had already discovered Zhao Chun-Lin's presence. I just didn't expect that the other party not only didn't learn their lesson, but also dared to retaliate when the opportunity arose. Forget it, I'll settle the score with him at the supply base after buying things. Shaking his head, Su Chen slung the long gun back behind him, the thunder on his body converging, and he walked away from the alley. On this side of the supply base, besides Zhao Chun-Lin, he hadn't offended anyone. So, the group of people who were tracking him just now were probably sent by the other party. Of course, it could also be other people he didn't know about. But it didn't matter. Zhao Chun-Lin was a hidden danger, so might as well take care of him on the way. Smack inside a secret room in the underground parking lot of the supply base. With a crisp slap, Zhao Chun-Lin, wheelchair and all, was directly slapped away. What? What's going on? Why are you hitting me? Getting up from the ground, Zhao Chun-Lin, his face covered in blood, was dumbfounded. He was originally waiting here for the Tiger Shark Squad to bring the person back so he could torture them properly. Unexpectedly, not only did the Tiger Shark Squad not bring the person back, the captain came up and slapped him right away. You have the nerve to ask me? The intelligence you gave me was wrong. The target is not a first-tier upper, but a second-tier upper. The captain of the Tiger Shark Squad's face was dark, and even the claw marks on his face looked fierce. The other four team members also blared at Zhao Chun-Lin with unfriendly expressions. Although they usually helped the supervisor with some dirty work, it didn't mean they were willing to risk their lives to carry out a mission, especially knowing that the other party had the strength to crush the entire squad. Second tier. Upper? How is that possible? It's only been a little over a month. Zhao Chun-Lin's face, covered in blood, was full of shock. Humph, I don't care what's going on, this mission ends here. We'll talk to Supervisor Zhao ourselves. The captain of the Tiger Shark Squad snorted coldly. Ignoring Zhao Chun-Lin, who was already completely broken down emotionally, he led his team members and left directly. If it weren't for the fact that the other party was related to Zhao Yi, it wouldn't have been as simple as just a slap earlier. You're back so soon? Have you taken care of the person? Sixth floor of the supply base, supervisor's office. Zhao Yi smiled as he looked at the Tiger Shark Squad entering. The Tiger Shark Squad was a second-tier elite squad. Although they had mutual interests, they were equal in status. Zhao Chunlin's intelligence was wrong. The target is not a first-tier upper, but a second-tier upper. And according to Yiji's observation of the spiritual abilities, the opponent's actual combat power is very strong, at least above the third tier. So we didn't continue with this mission. The leader of the team's tone was not very friendly. Of course, for anyone else in this situation, it would be difficult to maintain a friendly tone. Second tier upper? What's wrong with Zhao Chun-Lin? How could he make such a mistake? Zhao Yi frowned. Suddenly a sense of unease surged in his heart, so he continued to ask, by the way, what's the name of the target Zhao Chun-Lin mentioned? Name? I don't know, Zhao Chun-Lin didn't tell us. The captain of the Tiger Shark Squad shook his head, he pointed it out to us at the base gate, but the characteristics of the target are quite obvious. About six feet tall, strong build, and carrying a dark golden long gun over two meters long. Zhao Yi's heart suddenly skipped a beat at the words. There were already few ability users who used long guns, and adding the level of a second-tier upper, as well as the color of the dark golden long gun. Wasn't this the Su Chen who was selling beast materials on the sixth floor an hour ago? Oh no, this is someone even the big boss is paying attention to, and I actually arranged for someone to kill him? Zhao Yi's mind went blank. Holding onto the last glimmer of hope, Zhao Yi dialed Zhao Chunlin's phone number. What's the name of the person you sent the Tiger Shark team to kill today? Zhao Chunlin on the other end seemed to have stabilized his emotions, but upon hearing the question, he was slightly taken aback. Name? I don't know, 
I just struck up a conversation with him in the lobby while selling medicine. Idiot. You don't even know the name and you dare to send people to kill him? Zhao Yi cursed and crushed the phone in his hand. He knew Zhao Chunlin was a bit foolish, but he didn't expect him to be so foolish as to not even bother to gather relevant information before seeking revenge. It seems that I have been too indulgent with him these past few years, Zhao Yi sighed deeply. He was promoted to base supervisor four years ago. As the base supervisor, he was already close to the core of the supply base's authority. Many people flattered him, and as a result, Zhao Chunlin was also well taken care of. It was precisely because of this that Zhao Chunlin acted more and more recklessly, and eventually caused such a disaster. Supervisor Zhao, is there a problem? The Tiger Shark team also sensed that something was amiss, and the captain asked with a furrowed brow. Nothing, it's not related to you guys. By the way, during the tracking process, did the target ever notice you? Zhao Yi asked. We never appeared in his line of sight, but it's not impossible that he sensed our presence, the captain hesitated. If it were an ordinary second-tier upper-level esper, their sensing ability might not be that strong. But the problem lies in the fact that the other party is quite extraordinary. Upon hearing this, Zhao Yi's face darkened, he sighed and said, All right, I understand, you guys can go down. Since it's very likely that Su Chen has already discovered you, it's better to inform the chief supervisor. After the tiger shark team left, Zhao Yi also left the sixth floor office and took the elevator to the top floor of the supply base. Supervisor Wang, are you busy? With a smile that seemed to be ingratiating, Zhao Yi pushed open the office of the chief supervisor, Wang Chuang. It's Supervisor Zhao, what's the matter? Chief Supervisor Wang Chuang, a slender man in his 40s, was sitting behind his desk dealing with official business. It's like this. Zhao Yi showed a wry smile and began to recount the events. He thought that with his supervisor status and his proactive attitude in admitting his mistake, even if Su Chen was someone favored by the chief supervisor, there shouldn't be a problem. However, he did not expect that after hearing the whole story, Chief Supervisor Wang Chuang's face turned as dark as water. The powerful aura of a fourth-tier esper had already permeated the office, creating a tense atmosphere. And in his gaze towards Zhao Yi, there was also an immense anger. How dare you send someone to attack Su Chen? Inside the Chief Supervisor's office, although Wang Chuang tried hard to restrain his anger, discerning individuals could still hear the contained fury in his tone, and as a shrewd person, Zhao Yi was no exception. This reaction was clearly beyond Zhao Yi's expectations, so he couldn't help but furrow his brows slightly. Chief Wang, he's just a second-tier upper-level kid, is it necessary to be so angry? Just a second-tier upper-level kid? Wang Shuang almost laughed out of anger. Just an hour ago, he was thinking about how to build a good relationship with Su Chen. He didn't expect Zhao Yi to turn around and betray him, so he simply opened Su Chen's information, projected it into the air, and said coldly, this is Su Chen's information, take a look for yourself. Zhao Yi quickly looked over. Provincial champion of Jiangnan Province, 18 years old, freshman at Magic City Esper University. Keywords appeared in his line of sight. What? He's only 18? Zhao Yi was shocked. An 18-year-old second-tier upper-level Esper. What kind of concept was this? It should be noted that there are so many top scorers in the National Martial Arts College entrance examination. Reaching the top is only the first step. Perhaps in a certain year, there may be a second-ranked provincial top scorer. But for a second-ranked provincial top scorer, he has never even heard of it. The next piece of information he saw made his pupils shrink suddenly. Yang Jintian, the dean of the Weapons Institute at the Magic City Supernatural University, is his exclusive mentor? Trouble, this is trouble. Zhao Yi's face turned pale. If the previous information only indicated that Su Chun was a monstrous genius, then this piece of information represents a behemoth standing behind Su Chen. And such an existence, not to mention the city of Yuan Shue, even the entire city of Yuan Shue cannot afford to provoke. After all, a grandmaster level figure, even if he raised the entire supply base, the country would not say anything. Su Chen actually has such a background. Zhao Yi took a deep breath, a hint of determination in his eyes. Manager Wang, I understand, I will immediately get rid of Zhao Chunlin, absolutely will not let the base have a hard time. Manager Zhao, just dealing with Zhao Chunlin is not enough. Wang Chuang looked at Zhao Yi with a deep gaze, do you think no one knows what you have been doing in the supply base in recent years? Take him away, and wait for the Public Security Bureau to investigate. What? You want to deal with me too? Zhao Yi was suddenly shocked and angry at the words. Before he could resist, he was taken away by two Fourth Order Supernaturals responsible for protecting the chief executive outside the door. The Tiger Shark team also needs to be dealt with, and also, on Su Chen's side, we need to prepare a compensation. Wang Chuang's eyes flickered. Although Zhao Yi made a big mistake, at least the Tiger Shark team did not really take action. 
If this matter is handled well, it may also be an opportunity to build a good relationship with Su Chun. Half an hour later, in the lobby on the first floor of the supply base, the supernaturals looked in surprise at the position at the door. There stood several middle-aged men in suits and leather shoes. One of them was slightly leaner in stature but stood at the forefront of everyone. Is the one in the front the chief executive of the base, Wang Chuang? That's right. It's him. Not only Wang Chuang, but the managers from other floors are also here. Tsk TSK, with such a grand scene, could it be that some big shot is coming? It's possible. The supernaturals discussed one after another. On the sofa seats in the lobby, a team of four also curiously looked over there. These four were all girls, and one of them was none other than Wang Qian, who had spoken up for Su Chen a month ago. All the managers of the base are here to welcome, this person's style is really grand. Wang Qian sighed. The various forces in the Yuan Shui supply base are intertwined. Just a managerial position is enough to attract the attention of many families and forces. Especially the position of the chief executive, it requires someone from a deeply rooted background of a major family to be competent. And now, these chief executives and managers have all come out. This is indeed a rare scene. Don't worry about that, there's only half a month left before school starts. What are we going to do next? Go back to school, or go to the wilderness area again? Captain Yamushi frowned. Seeing the captain mention business, the team members all came back to their senses, and Wang Qian also said seriously, in half a month, we can still hunt down some fierce beasts, but we can no longer target second-ranked superior beasts. Let's continue to focus on hunting second-level median and lower-level beasts as our main targets. The remaining two female team members also nodded along, indeed, second-ranked superior beasts are still a bit too much for us. In the past, the hunting targets of their team were second-level median and lower-level beasts. They tried targeting second-ranked superior beasts for a month. However, after entering and leaving the wilderness area twice in a row, the second-tier superior beasts were not hunted much. The team members almost faced life-threatening situations several times. Ah, our team is still lacking a strong attacker. If we could have recruited that person from the Magic Ability University back then. Just thinking about that tall and slender figure, Wang Qian couldn't help but sigh. They didn't encounter each other during these two returns to the base city. In this situation, the other party most likely returned to school. The probability of meeting again in the future is very low. Just as she was thinking this, a team member next to her pointed in the direction of the door and exclaimed, Xiao Qian, isn't that the guy from the Magic Ability University we saw before? Ha! Huh? Where? Wang Qian subconsciously looked over and saw the tall figure carrying a long spear appearing at the base gate. However, the next moment, the supply base's chief supervisor, who was originally standing aside, warmly greeted him. Ha! Huh? Is he being welcomed by the supervisors? Wang Qian widened her eyes, feeling incredulous. Even if the other party came from the Magic Ability University, it wouldn't warrant such a solemn reception, right? Even the chief supervisor personally went to greet him. It seems that the identity of this guy is not just a simple student at the Magic Ability University. Across from her, Captain Yamushi also showed a pensive expression. On the other side, Su Chen, who had just entered the supply base, was enthusiastically taken to the top floor VIP reception room by Wang Chuang. In the luxuriously decorated VIP reception room, there were only Wang Chuang and Su Chen. With Wang Chuang's explanation, Su Chen also understood the ins and outs of the matter. Su, I'm really sorry about this incident, Wang Chuang sincerely apologized, but rest assured, we will definitely give you a satisfactory answer. When we found Zhao Chun Lin, he had already been silenced by Zhao Yi. Of course, we also contacted the Public Security Bureau, and there are many things on Zhao Yi and the Tiger Shark team. I believe that after the results come out, they will spend the rest of their lives in prison. Then I'll trouble Supervisor Wang. Listening to Wang Chuan's words, Su Chen nodded on the surface. But in his heart, he couldn't help but secretly marvel at the ruthless person who could rise to the position of Chief Supervisor. The way his subordinates were dealt with so decisively was enough to leave him speechless. Of course, Su Chen also understood that he alone would not have been able to push the other party to this extent. Most likely, the other party had investigated his background and knew that his teacher was Yang Jintian. As a gesture of apology, this is a compensation specially prepared for you by our supply base. Wang Chuang's right hand flashed slightly with a space ring, and a black and gold card appeared on the table. This is our supply base's black gold membership card, and from now on, your accommodation at our supply base will be free. You will also enjoy an 80% discount on any purchases. Wang Chuang explained with a smile, then took out a small box from his bag. Opening the box and placing it on the table, inside the box lay a quaintly designed ring. 
In addition, this is a 1 cubic meter space ring, also as compensation. Source water supply base, top floor VIP room. Su Chen on the sofa looked somewhat surprised at the space ring in the box. Masters of spatial abilities are already rare, and attaching spatial abilities to a ring requires various complex processes. The larger the attached space, the more expensive it is to make. A 1 cubic meter space ring has an official price of at least over 50 million dasha coins. Wang Xuan being able to present this ring as compensation is enough to show his sincerity. Since Supervisor Wang is so thoughtful, then I will accept it. Su Chen smiled slightly, did not choose to refuse, and accepted both the black gold card and the spatial ring. Wang Xuang also breathed a sigh of relief. At this point, the trouble caused by Zhao Chunlin had been perfectly resolved. Although he had given away a valuable spatial ring, it was worth it to gain Su Chen's approval. As for the group of people Zhao Chunlin had dealt with, it was not a big loss. There were still many people eyeing the position of the sixth floor supervisor, so they could easily find a replacement. Indeed, you are a student of Teacher Yang, and you are indeed generous in your actions. Speaking of which, I also know your senior brother, Lu Ming. Wang Chuan laughed and initiated a new topic. Oh, is that so? Su Chen raised an eyebrow. This was indeed something he had not expected. Yes, Lu Ming also trained on this side of the water supply base back then. As the head of the supply base, Wang Chuang had a high emotional intelligence. He took the initiative to talk about senior brother Lu Ming. Although there were only two people in the room, there was no awkward silence. In this way, Wang Chuang talked non-stop for over half an hour. If Su Chen had not suggested leaving, the conversation might have continued all day. Su, if you encounter any problems next time, just contact me directly. I may not be much in the magic city, but my words carry weight on this side of the water source city. Before leaving, Wang Chuang warmly left his personal contact information. He said that if Su Chen encountered any problems on this side of the water source city, he could contact him directly. This made Su Chen secretly sigh. This was the power of background. If it were an ordinary second-tier upper-level genius, they would never receive such treatment. Leaving the top-floor VIP reception room, Su Chen opened a room on the 18th floor of the supply base. Originally, he intended to book a regular guest room like before. However, the front desk staff, upon seeing the black gold card in his hand, upgraded the room to a luxury suite with great respect and fear. As a result, Su Chen obtained one of the best rooms in the entire water supply base, with a total area of over 200 square meters, including a bedroom, bathroom, and entertainment room. The decoration was also very luxurious, with exquisite decorations in the room. However, the most stunning part of the entire suite was the wide floor-to-ceiling window in the living room. Through this window, one could overlook the peripheral area of the water source wilderness. Standing by the window and looking down, ignoring the ferocious beasts rampant in the wilderness area, the scenery below was still quite good. However, compared to the view outside the window, he had more important things to do. Su Chen withdrew his gaze and sat on the sofa in the living room. Then, with great interest, he took out the spatial ring gifted by Wang Chuang and carefully examined it. At first glance, the spatial ring looked no different from an ordinary ring. However, Su Chen sensed the spatial aura he had noticed at the Magic City Supernatural University's Combat Skills Library on this ring. The way to use the spatial ring was also simple, just leaving a spiritual imprint on it. Su Chen's spiritual power reached 972 Hz, much higher than the 600 to 700 Hz of an ordinary second-tier upper-level supernatural being. This was also the key to him sensing the Tiger Shark Squad tracking him. So Su Chen quickly left his spiritual imprint on the spatial ring. At the moment of leaving the spiritual imprint, a cubic space of about 1 cubic meter also appeared in his perception. This is the internal space of the spatial ring. Su Chen's eyes sparkled slightly, finally owning this kind of magical item from fantasy novels. Next, he experienced the storage function of the spatial ring. As long as his body touched it, anything other than living creatures could be stored inside. However, if you want to store something larger than 1 cubic meter, it will also fail to store. This thing called the spatial ring is something that was highly anticipated before obtaining it, but after obtaining it, there isn't much of a feeling. After playing with the storage function for a while, Su Chen quickly lost interest. After putting the most important elixirs, fresh water, energy bars, iron pot, and seasonings into the spatial ring, he took out his phone and dialed the number of his teacher, Yang Jintian. Have you come out of the wilderness area? The familiar voice of teacher Yang Jintian came from the other end of the phone. Yes, I just came out today and there's something else I want to tell you. Su Chen was able to obtain such a valuable apology from Wang Chuang mainly because of his relationship with teacher Yang Jintian. Therefore, it was necessary to explain the situation to the teacher. 
So he briefly described to the teacher over the phone his encounter with Zhao Chunlin, the events that occurred along the way, and how Wang Chuang handled it in the end. When he heard that Zhao Chunlin had arranged for a team of second-tier elite superhumans to assassinate him, there was a sudden sound of thunderous electric arcs jumping on the phone, causing the phone signal to become unstable. Su Chen quickly said that the elite team eventually gave up the mission, which slightly calmed down the anger on teacher Yang Jintian's side. It wasn't until Su Chen finished telling the whole story that a cold snort came through, humph, they dared to send someone to assassinate you, considering just a spatial ring as compensation is already lenient. If you really have any accidents, I will blow up their entire supply base. If Su Chen died at the hands of a ferocious beast, Yang Jintian would have no complaints. But if it was because of someone stabbing him in the back, Yang Jintian would not let go of anyone involved. By the way, you said that the second tier elite team tracking you to the alley, why did they eventually give up the mission? Teacher Yang Jintian on the other end of the phone was both relieved and puzzled. He, too, used to frequent the wilderness area as a superhuman, knowing that some superhuman teams were willing to do dirty work for money. As long as they accepted a mission, they would not give up unless they encountered major difficulties. Maybe they found out that I am also a second tier elite. Su Chen touched his nose. Ha! Huh? It was quite obvious that teacher Yang Jintian on the other end of the phone was stunned, but he quickly reacted and asked, You have already reached the second tier? Yes, I just advanced a few days ago. There was silence on the other end of the phone for a moment, followed by the excited voice of Yang Jintian, Good, good, good. Truly worthy of being my student, Su Chen. Your progress in cultivation is even faster than mine back then. When you return to school, I will personally celebrate for you. All right. Su Chen smiled slightly. After that, he chatted with his teacher for a while before hanging up the phone. At the same time, in the teacher's villa at the Magic City Superhuman University, Yang Jintian had a look of amazement. Having taught at the Magic City Superhuman University for decades, he had seen all kinds of geniuses, but he had never seen a student who could directly advance from the first tier to the second tier within a month. It is said that the crisis between life and death is the catalyst for the strong, but in the case of my disciple, this is not just a catalyst, it's simply a cheat device. After reporting the situation to teacher Yang Jintian, Su Chen changed out of the battle clothes with dark red bloodstains on them. He walked into the bathroom with a set of clothes he had just bought in the back street. Although as a second-tier superhuman who also practiced the indestructible thunder body, his body would not produce too much dirt. But after a month, his skin was still stained with a lot of blood and sweat, needing to be cleaned. Half an hour later, after changing into new clothes, Su Chen, feeling refreshed all over, walked out of the bathroom. He then sat on the sofa, took out his smartwatch, and opened the map. Oh um, accompanied by a soft sound, the map of the Source Water Wilderness Area was projected in front of Su Chen. The Source Water Wilderness Area is divided into two main regions, one being the Urban Ruins Area and the other the Forest Mountain Range Area. The Urban Ruins Area, with lower-level ferocious beasts and more adventurers exploring, has most areas marked on the map. On the contrary, the Forest Mountain Range Area has higher-level ferocious beasts, and information on the map is scarce. Most of the ferocious beasts in the Forest Mountain Range Area are above Tier 3, and Tier 4 ferocious beasts are not uncommon. Su Chen thought to himself. He is currently at the upper Tier 2 level. However, with the S-level ability Purple Sky Divine Thunder, Master Level Marksmanship, and many highly skilled combat techniques, his actual combat power is around the upper Tier 3 level. Additionally, as an S-level forging type combat technique, the special ability Thunder Extreme State added by the third level of the Thunder Immortal Body is also quite powerful. When he first obtained the Thunder Extreme State, Su Chen tried it and found that his overall strength could be increased by about 3 to 4 times. It's almost as effective as the Bloodthirsty Pill, but with fewer side effects. Furthermore, his A-level agility combat technique Thunder Flash has also been upgraded to a high level of proficiency. With the Thunder Extreme State activated, using Thunder Flash, he estimates that even tier 4 peak ferocious beasts wouldn't be able to catch up to him. The highest level ferocious beasts in the entire source water wilderness area are only tier 5, and they are extremely rare. As long as I am careful, the danger is not that great. Even if my luck is really bad and I encounter a tier 5 ferocious beast, I can just take a bloodthirsty pill and escape. In that case, I'll head directly to the forest mountain range area tomorrow. After deciding where to go tomorrow, Su Chen leaned back on the sofa, opened the holographic projection in front of him in a very relaxed manner, and started watching a video program. At the same time, he casually opened a pack of snacks prepared in the room and began to enjoy them. After all, humans are not machines. In the month in Pingin County, Su Chen had been constantly on edge with ferocious beasts every day, and his mind was always tense. Even when sleeping at night, 
He was in a light sleep state where any sound could wake him up at any time. It was time to relax. Therefore, Su Chen didn't plan to spend the rest of the day training. Ah, it's been a long time since I've relaxed like this. 6 p.m. Su Chen stretched lazily on the sofa and then jumped up from the sofa. It's not that he didn't want to continue lying down, but it was time for dinner. Time to eat, time to eat. Su Chen left the room with brisk steps. Since devouring energy bars for more than 20 days in the wilderness area, he had great expectations for meals. Ten minutes later, on the second floor of the supply base, the restaurant was bustling with activity as it was mealtime. Many ability users were drinking and boasting about their achievements in the wilderness area. At one table, more than 10 dishes ordered by Su Chen were placed one by one, emitting a fragrant aroma. Just as he was enjoying his meal, four girls walked into the restaurant from the entrance. One of the girls, upon noticing Su Chen, brightened up. With graceful steps, she was about to come over. Xiao Chen, where are you going? Yao Mushi behind her pulled her back, to invite that young man to join our team. Wang Qian said excitedly. Having encountered the young man from the Magic City Ability University again, she naturally didn't want to miss the opportunity. Don't go, he won't agree. Yao Mushi shook his head. Why? We are at least a team of tier 2 intermediate. For him, a tier 1 upper level ability user, we should still be quite attractive. Wang Qian was puzzled. Second tier upper class? Take a closer look, Yao Mushi sighed. Isn't it first tier upper class? Wang Qian looked over in confusion, and upon closer inspection, the aura emanating from the other person was even stronger than hers. This is. Second tier upper class? His promotion speed is so fast? Wang Qian was shocked, followed by a great sense of disappointment. A second tier upper class esper from the top tier school, Magic City Esper University. Indeed, he would not choose to join their small team. Forget it, let's not force our way through, let's just hunt down lower level beasts. Wang Qian lost interest and withdrew her gaze. It's just a pity, such a handsome guy. On the other side, Su Chen did not notice the presence of Wang Qian and the others. After finishing dinner in the restaurant and preparing nearly a month's worth of fresh water and energy bars, he returned to his room to continue his leisurely rest. Because he had hardly slept well in the wilderness area. So, before 9 o'clock that night, Su Chen lay down on the bed and quickly fell asleep. This sweet sleep made him not wake up until 9 o'clock the next morning. Ah, comfortable. Su Chen leaped out of bed, feeling better than ever. After washing up, he changed into a brand new B-grade combat suit. With the dark cloud swift wind gun slung diagonally behind him, he once again entered the wilderness area. This time, his target was the forest mountain area deeper in the source water wilderness area. The mountain forest area is about 48 kilometers from the entrance of the wilderness area. However, Su Chen's strength was much stronger than the last time he entered the wilderness area. And he didn't need to deliberately avoid certain areas where ferocious beasts lurked in town ruins. So, this time, it took him more than five hours to enter the mountain forest area in the afternoon. Squeak, roar, squeak. Compared to the broken steel jungle of the town ruins, the mountain forest area was much more primitive. The ground was covered with small grass and bushes, and lush green trees stretched as far as the eye could see. And now, in the summer, the sound of cicadas mixed with the roar of ferocious beasts seemed particularly harmonious. Crack! In the forest, Su Chen stepped on a dry branch. His face changed slightly, and he immediately dodged to the side. It was at this moment that a pale blue wind blade whistled out of the forest, passing through the spot where Su Chen had just stood. Bang! 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 This wind blade was extremely sharp, cutting down three or four trees in succession before gradually disappearing into the air. Roar! At the same time, a ferocious beast with pale blue fur all over its body and sharp eyes stepped out of the forest. This ferocious beast resembled a wolf in appearance, but was much larger in size. And there was a faint blue swift wind swirling around its body, causing its pale blue soft fur to sway slightly. Third tier ferocious beast, Gale Fear Wolf. Su Chen's eyes lit up. When a ferocious beast reached the third tier, it was not just about using physical strength. It would gain special abilities similar to those of an esper. The Gale Fear Wolf was a ferocious beast that lived in the forest and mastered wind-based abilities. The wind blade just now was one of its innate skills. Judging from the aura, it should be in the middle of the third tier. I wonder how many esper points I can gain after killing it. The S-rank purple sky divine thunder had already been summoned by Su Chen, with blue purple thunder swirling around his body. Just as he gripped the dark cloud swift wind gun, preparing to hunt down his first third tier ferocious beast, a rustling sound suddenly came from the side. Accompanied by voices, a team emerged from the forest and appeared in Su Chen's line of sight. 
This is a group of six fully armed individuals, each carrying weapons. However, one of them, in addition to carrying a weapon, also has a heavy camera slung over their shoulder. Another person is dressed in a black fitted combat suit, accentuating their slender figure. The tall girl with silver white waist length hair is also very eye catching. Su Chen immediately recognized the identity of this girl. She is the internet goddess Jiang Chu Xian who appeared at the supply base a month ago. Encountering other ability users in the wilderness is not uncommon. Previously, when Su Chen was still in Pingan County, he had encountered more than one wave of ability user teams. Among Jiang Chushuan's group, besides Jiang Chu Xian herself whose aura is at the second intermediate level, the other five men and women are similar to bodyguards, with auras at the third intermediate to upper levels. According to the Adventurer's Covenant of the Great Xia Kingdom, ability users in the wilderness are not allowed to attack other ability users. Once caught attacking other ability users, they will face extremely severe punishment and will also be looked down upon by other ability users. Therefore, most ability users abide by this rule. However, when facing the powerful third intermediate level ability user team led by Jiang Chu Xian, Su Chen naturally dared not continue to attack the Swift Wind Direwolf, keeping a vigilant eye on them. However, this group of powerful third intermediate level ability users seemed not to have noticed Su Chen, chatting and laughing among themselves. The Swift Wind Direwolf is surrounded by a strong wind power, it should be at the second intermediate level. This level of fierce beast is just right to be used as a killing material for Miss Jiang. As usual, let's beat it half to death first. In the wilderness, the fierce beast discovered by an ability user belongs to them. If other ability users try to snatch the fierce beast, it will be seen as a provocation. However, this group of people clearly did not regard Su Chen, who was at the second upper level, in their eyes. They were joking about attacking the swift wind dire wolf ahead. Seeing this, Su Chen frowned, but before he could speak, Jiang Chu Shen, who was standing elegantly on the side, spoke first, Captain Wang, this fierce beast was discovered by someone else first, let's find another one to hunt. Her voice was as clear and pleasant as a lark. Miss Jiang, this is a third intermediate level fierce beast. It doesn't seem quite appropriate to leave it to the second upper level kid. I'm afraid as soon as we leave, this kid will be bitten to death by the swift wind direwolf. The middle-aged man in front, carrying a sword and shield, half-jokingly said. Captain Wang, I remember saying last time that I don't like snatching other people's prey to use as filming material, right? Jiang Chushuan's eyebrows slightly furrowed. Hearing such blunt words, the middle-aged man in front instantly stiffened. A hint of imperceptible cunning flashed in his eyes, then his expression quickly returned to normal, smilingly greeting the other team members, since Miss Jiang is not satisfied, let's go find another fierce beast. Soon, Zhang Chuxian and her group disappeared from Su Chen's sight, vanishing into the jungle. A potential conflict was thus avoided. This Zhang Chuxian seems to have a pretty good personality, considering others. Su Chen rubbed his chin. Of course, it cannot be ruled out that she is an internet celebrity deliberately maintaining her image in front of strangers. However, regardless, it seems that she doesn't have strong control over her team. From Jiang Chushuan's words, it is clear that their team has snatched fierce beasts from other ability users more than once. Su Chen, who was very close to the middle-aged man just now, also noticed the hint of cunning that flashed across the man's face when Jiang Chushuan stopped him. However, this doesn't concern me much, Su Chen's gaze slightly hardened. For him, who was not very interested in the internet, if it weren't for his high school buddy Zhang Hao, he probably wouldn't even know who Jiang Chushin is. In addition, Zhang Chushian was able to be admitted to the Magic City Supernatural University, and developed into a video blogger with millions of fans, her intelligence is definitely not low. She probably knows the problems that exist in the team herself. Roar, at this moment, seeing the team of powerful supernaturalists leaving, originally hiding behind the trees, the swift wind fear wolf, ready to escape at any time, jumped out again. Roaring, it opened its huge mouth. With a desire for fresh human flesh in its eyes, it charged towards Su Chen. At the same time, two pale blue wind blades shot out from him in succession. Oh, you are even more impatient than me. Lightning flashed. In just the blink of an eye, Su Chen's figure disappeared from where he was and appeared in front of the swift wind fear wolf, crossing a distance of over 30 meters. The A-level combat skill Thunder Flash was raised to an advanced proficiency by him. Coupled with Su Chen's second-tier upper-level strength, the maximum charge distance reached 54 meters. Roar faced with the sudden appearance of a human, the swift wind fear wolf was instantly startled. Before it could trigger the wind blades again, Su Chen's deep voice sounded again, thunderous gale break. The dark cloud swift wind spear, filled with purple thunder god's thunder, was already held in his hand, enhanced by the wind-based supernatural power attached to the spear itself. With a flash of lightning, the long spear stabbed out like lightning. 
Pfft in the next moment, the hard skull of the third-tier middle-level swift wind fear wolf was pierced through like a fragile watermelon. Then, with a bang, thunder exploded, and the entire head burst open. Ding, killing a third-tier middle-level swift wind fear wolf, gaining plus 34 supernatural points. The pleasant system prompt sounded. Is it over 30 points to kill a third-tier beast? Not bad. Su Chen shook the long spear, shaking off the remaining blood on the spear tip. Then the light on his spatial ring flickered, and a small dagger appeared in his left hand. This dagger was made of B-grade alloy and was extremely sharp. Because the dagger was small in weight, even though it was made of B-grade alloy, it was not expensive, costing Su Chen 790,000 Dixia coins. And such a sharp dagger was naturally used to collect materials from the beasts. The most valuable thing on the Swift Wind Fear Wolf was its soft fur, which was an excellent material for making coats. A complete wolf skin could even be sold for a high price of 500,000 Dixia coins. That's why Su Chun chose to directly destroy the head of the Swift Wind Fear Wolf. The dagger cut against the skin, taking more than 10 minutes to completely peel off the wolf skin. The first prey has been successfully killed. Next, let's go find the second prey. Throwing the wolf skin into the spatial ring, Su Chin picked up the long spear and quickly left the area. Seven days later, at five in the afternoon, the summer sun poured down recklessly, with clear skies for miles. In the mountain forest area mixed with cicada cries, seven or eight giant ape monkeys roamed between the forests. This was a group of ferocious beasts of giant ape monkeys. They moved on all fours, walking while scanning the surroundings with hungry eyes. Obviously, they were searching for prey, preparing to eat. Suddenly, the leader of the giant ape monkeys walking at the front stopped, sniffed alertly, sensing something was wrong and wanted to roar to alert the others. However, just then, with a swoosh, a blue-purple thunder spear shot out from the forest. Boom! The spear was extremely fast, striking the leader in the blink of an eye. Then the blue-purple thunder erupted. As electric arcs flickered and danced, a thunderous mushroom cloud slowly rose. And this leader, with a strength reaching the third-tier upper level, was left charred and severely injured by the explosion of the thunder spear, falling to the ground. Roar, hiss. The remaining giant ape monkeys suddenly became flustered, roaring threateningly towards their surroundings. Then, a tall human figure holding a dark golden spear, surrounded by thunder, emerged from the jungle like a thunder god. The thunder spear couldn't kill it directly. The giant ape monkey truly lives up to its reputation as a third-order beast known for its defense. Su Chin shook his head, knowing he would have to finish off the leader of the giant ape monkeys later. But for now, I'll deal with all of you small fry first. Thunder Prison Crackling, accompanied by a piercing thunder, a 20-meter diameter thunder prison enveloped Su Chen and all the beasts. One of the giant ape monkeys tried to break free, but as soon as it touched the thunder prison, its skin turned charred black in an instant from the electric shock. In agony, it quickly retreated. None of you can escape. Su Chen's eyes flashed, lightning flickered, and he charged into the group of giant ape beast. Thunder flash. Thunderous wind break. Chain lightning spear. Su Chen's marksmanship had now reached the level of a master, bordering on the realm of perfection. Coupled with multiple A-level combat skills, his strength was terrifying. Thus, the third order giant ape beast group that would make most teams of metahumans fearful was swiftly slaughtered one by one by Su Chen wielding the dark cloud swift wind spear. Fu Su Chen stood tall on the grass, holding his spear, slowly exhaling a breath. Surrounding him were the corpses of giant ape monkeys, their blood staining the once lush green forest floor a deep red. Deep blue. Su Chen opened his system panel, name, Su Chen, level, second order upper, metahuman ability, purple sky divine thunder, s, physique, 1317 hp, plus, mental, 981 hertz, plus, skills, marksmanship, master, boxing, intermediate plus, thunder spear, advanced plus, chain lightning spear, intermediate plus, thunder flash, advanced plus, thunder prison, intermediate plus, thunderous wind break, advanced plus, body forging, indestructible thunder body, third level, metahuman points, 3267 metahuman points have. Increased by over 200, not bad. Su Chen nodded in satisfaction. The efficiency of gaining metahuman points in the mountain forest area was indeed much faster than in the city ruins. In just seven days, he had accumulated over 3,000 metahuman points. But even with over 3,000 metahuman points, there's still no plus sign appearing after the level. Su Chen furrowed his brows slightly. It took him over 1,200 metahuman points to advance from second order upper to second order lower last time. The subsequent advancements to second order middle and upper also cost 1500 and 1800 metahuman points respectively. He had thought that 3000 metahuman points would be enough to advance to third order, but apparently it was not. 
It might take 4,000 points to advance from second order to third order. Su Chen speculated to himself. However, even if he had enough metahuman points to advance, he wouldn't choose to level up. He wanted to save this batch of metahuman points to learn combat skills when he returned to school. I've been looking forward to learning S-level combat skills that second order metahumans can learn. For metahumans, sometimes level doesn't mean everything. It's the combination of level and combat skills that can unleash the strongest combat power. Why can the outstanding students of the Magic City Metahuman University often kill beasts or other metahumans of higher levels? It's because they have stronger combat skills and superior fighting techniques than ordinary metahumans. Having a high level without the right combat skills is like a baby holding a sharp knife, unable to fully unleash their strength. That's why Su Chen didn't blindly use all his ability points to stack levels, but instead improved them in conjunction with combat skills and marksmanship. After all, with a solid foundation, the path to becoming a strong warrior can be longer. Buzz buzz at this moment, the smartwatch on Su Chen's wrist suddenly vibrated. He instinctively opened the map on the smartwatch. In addition to the green light dot representing his location, there was also a white light dot continuously emitting a distress signal. Is this a distress signal? Su Chen raised his eyebrows. Besides the built-in map, the most important function of the smartwatch distributed by the supply base is to send out distress signals. At this time, the originally hidden location information would be exposed on the smartwatches of all ability users within a 2km radius. Ability users can choose to help or not. Of course, most adventurer teams that receive distress signals will go nearby to assess the situation before making a decision. The distress signal doesn't seem far from my location, I should go check the situation nearby first. After a moment of contemplation, Su Chen set off in that direction. If it's just a weak third order beast, lending a hand would be no big deal. But if it's a powerful fourth order beast, he would be helpless. Swish. 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 In the tall forest, a slender and agile figure of a young girl leaped between the branches of the trees. The girl had long silver white hair, and each jump could cover a distance of 7 to 8 meters. However, she still occasionally looked back with a worried expression. Behind her, about a few hundred meters away, it seemed that something huge was rushing towards her rapidly. The surrounding trees were knocked down as the massive creature approached. This is trouble. Zhang Chushuan's pretty face looked extremely serious. In the morning, she was filming the video of killing beasts that needed to be released this week with her bodyguard team. Unexpectedly, a fourth order beast suddenly rushed out of the forest, causing her and the bodyguard team to scatter. Fortunately, the fourth order beast wasn't targeting her, allowing her to escape narrowly. After that, she wanted to regroup with her bodyguard team. But unexpectedly, after passing through a cave just now, she inadvertently attracted a third order burrowing land dragon that chased her out. Be aware that any beast related to the name dragon is extremely vicious and difficult to deal with. This burrowing land dragon was no exception. Although it was only a lower third order, its combat power was stronger than an ordinary upper third order beast. What's more, she was only at the mid-second order level. Even if she took a blood-boosting pill, her strength would barely touch the lower third order level. She was no match for this burrowing land dragon. Not only that, she couldn't even escape. In other words, she was almost in a life-threatening situation. I just hope that an ability user team will lend me a hand after seeing my distress signal. Zhang Chuxian pinned her only hope for survival on the distress signal. However, she also knew that the chances of being rescued were slim. After all, there were few adventurer teams daring to enter the source water wilderness area mountain forest region. The possibility of an adventurer team finding the distress signal within a 2km radius was extremely low. Moreover, even if an adventurer team found the distress signal and approached this area, they would probably be too scared to appear when facing such a terrifying beast like the burrowing land dragon. Only the elite team of third order supernatural abilities like her bodyguards would dare to take action. If I had known, I wouldn't have been so eager to enter the mountain forest area, Zhang Chuxian regretted. On the video platform, her number of fans was growing rapidly. So she wanted to take advantage of the trend to shoot a video of killing a third order beast, to gain more fans, which is why she entered the mountain forest area. Unexpectedly, now there was an accident, and even her own safety could not be guaranteed. Roar, the roar of the burrowing earth dragon behind her grew closer. Zhang Chuxian, who had been jumping among the branches of the trees, had a change in expression upon seeing a grassy area ahead. The burrowing earth dragon was huge, moving through the forest, and could use the dense trees to slightly slow down its pace. In front was a grassy area without trees, and if she continued forward, the burrowing earth dragon would soon catch up to her without any obstacles. But at this moment, hesitating and staying in place would only lead to a quicker death. 
So Zhang Chushan lightly bit her red lips and leaped down from the tall tree. Ice seal. Zhang Chushan landed gracefully. Then, a bone-chilling coldness erupted around her. Everything within a 50-meter radius froze into ice. Under the afternoon sunlight, it sparkled and was transparent. The B-grade combat skill Ice Seal could freeze objects within a certain range. Paired with her natural ice type A-grade supernatural ability Cold Ice Snow Soul, it produced this effect. Hopefully, this can slightly delay its pace, Zhang Chushuan's beautiful eyes focused, and with long strides, she began to flee again. Roar, however, just a few breaths later, the roar of the burrowing earth dragon sounded behind her again. So fast? Zhang Chushian instinctively turned her head. She saw a burrowing earth dragon, resembling an armored pangolin but as tall as three or four stories high, charging out of the forest. Crack, the area she had just frozen did not hinder the burrowing earth dragon in the slightest. With a sprint, accompanied by a sound similar to glass shattering, the entire frozen area was shattered, and ice shards flew everywhere. It's over, can't escape. Zhang Chushin, seeing the situation, couldn't help but show a look of despair. But at that moment, a flash of lightning. A figure holding a long spear, tall and slender, suddenly appeared in front of the burrowing earth dragon. Is it him? Zhang Chushin was slightly stunned, recognizing the young man she had met a week ago. But his level was only second order upper rank. So she couldn't help but change her expression slightly, and said loudly, Run! This is a third order lower rank burrowing earth dragon. You can't beat it. However, the young man in front seemed not to have heard her, still standing there. Hey, why aren't you listening? Zhang Chushian stomped her foot in annoyance. If she died, it would be fine, but she didn't want to involve innocent bystanders. So she exuded a cold aura all over her body, and her A-grade supernatural ability Cold Ice Snow Soul erupted, rushing towards Su Chen's direction. At the same time, she flipped her right hand, and a second-grade bloodthirsty pill appeared in her jade hand. You go, I'll deal with it. Zhang Chushian was about to take the bloodthirsty pill and make a final effort. But the figure in front moved, and he was surrounded by terrifying lightning, his right hand grasping the void. A majestic voice rang out as if from a god, Thunder Spear. Then, the blue-purple thunder surrounding him quickly gathered, forming a Thunder Spear. And with a heavy thud, the Thunder Spear was thrown out, hitting the huge eye of the burrowing earth dragon in front in a very precise manner. It went in more than a meter deep. Blood flowed. Roar, the earth dragon let out a painful roar, waving its forelimbs, trying to deal with the annoying human in front of it. However, in the next moment, the thunder spear that penetrated its eyeball exploded. Bang! In an instant, accompanied by flickering thunder arcs, red, white, scattered everywhere. And the headless body, no longer under control, swayed and fell down with a loud crash, dead beyond death. The earth dragon was killed in an instant? Zhang Chushin, not far away, widened her almond-shaped eyes in disbelief as she watched the scene. She hadn't even swallowed the bloodthirsty Dan in her hand yet. This reversal came too quickly. Furthermore, although the eyeball is one of the weak points of the Earth Dragon, few ability users can attack the eyeball. On the one hand, the Earth Dragon will actively protect it. On the other hand, the Earth Dragon's agility and body movement often allows it to dodge fatal attacks with just a flash. However, the thunder spear of this young man was as fast as lightning, leaving the Earth Dragon no time to dodge. So, the sonic boom I heard just now wasn't an illusion? Zhang Chushian felt a little confused. How much strength does it take to create a sonic boom barehanded? After several deep breaths, Zhang Chushuan's emotions finally calmed down. Stepping with her round and slender thighs, she walked towards the tall figure in front of her, regardless of how the other party did it. After all, the other party saved her, so she had to express her gratitude properly. Ding, killed a tier 3 sub-earth dragon, gained plus 36 ability points. Hearing the system prompt in his mind, Su Chen raised an eyebrow. It was indeed a fierce beast with the word dragon in its name, and the ability points obtained after killing it were higher than those of ordinary tier 3 sub-beasts. Hello, thank you for helping me just now. At this moment, accompanied by a crisp and pleasant thank you voice, Zhang Chushian appeared in front of Su Chen. It must be said that Zhang Chushian truly deserved to be called a goddess. Her figure was curvaceous, and her full chest could overshadow most girls. Her round and slender legs, wrapped in a tight black combat suit, appeared slightly plump. The delicate oval face carried a hint of post-crisis paleness, but it could maximize a man's protective instincts. It was just a small effort. Anyone else would have done the same to help you. Su Chen waved his hand. It was only after arriving nearby that he realized the distress signal came from Jiang Chushin. Of course, if it were someone else, he would have lent a hand as well. That's not necessarily true. Jiang Chushin shook her head, then extended her slender right hand, a lovely smile appearing on her pretty face. My name is Jiang Chushin. I can never repay the debt of saving my life, 
so feel free to ask me for anything in the future. She did not promise any material reward, because she knew that such a favor could not be repaid with any material reward. Of course, if Su Chen wanted, she would be willing to give up everything she had. Su Chen. Su Chen shook her hand gently, then had a thought, I wouldn't say ask, but if you could give me a signed photo of you, that would be great. It was a good opportunity to get the signed photo that Zhang Hao had been wanting, so he wouldn't have to be reminded every time they contacted each other. My signed photo? Zhang Chuxian was slightly surprised. She didn't expect Su Chen's request to be so simple, she thought he would ask for something more unreasonable. Unfortunately, she didn't have the habit of carrying her own photos with her. So she apologized, I don't have a photo with me. Can I give it to you when we return to the supply base? Zhang Chuxian felt a little regretful. If she had known, she would have put a few photos in her spatial ring as backup, as they wouldn't take up much space. Sure, Su Chen wasn't in a hurry about it. After all, that guy Zhang Hao hadn't been able to contact him recently. Oh, are you also from the Magic Metropolis Ability University? At this moment, Zhang Chuxian noticed the school emblem on Su Chen's long spear and couldn't help but brighten up. Su Chen nodded in response without denying it. I knew it, how could an ordinary second-tier advanced ability user be this strong? Turns out you're my senior from the same school. Hello senior, I'm Jiang Chuxian from the Elemental College, Ice Department, Sophomore, 3, class at the Magic Metropolis Ability University. Jiang Chuxian already had some goodwill towards Su Chen who had saved her. Upon learning that they were from the same school, her eyes lit up and her tone became more friendly. Senior? Su Chen was slightly taken aback, then immediately realized that he was being mistaken for a senior based on his level. After all, ordinary students at the Magic Metropolis Ability University had to reach the second tier in their second or third year. Su Chen had intended to explain that he was just a freshman. However, Zhang Chuxuan's admiration for him as her senior was too dazzling in her eyes. So he couldn't bear to tell her the truth and just nodded, Hello Junior. Zhang Chuxian smiled and praised, speaking of which, Senior, your strength is really impressive. Although this earth-digging dragon is only a third-tier lower-level creature, its actual combat power is comparable to a third-tier upper-level beast. I didn't expect you to directly defeat it, you don't know. Zhang Chuxuan's words were filled with admiration and worship. Of course, this was normal. Although she was also a student at the Magic Metropolis Ability University, she was just an ordinary student. Being able to kill a second-tier upper-level beast across a small tier was almost her limit. Otherwise, she wouldn't have brought a bodyguard team into the wilderness area. Therefore, she always admired those geniuses in the school who had the ability to kill beasts across tiers, especially this senior in front of her who had also saved her life. On the other hand, listening to this uninterrupted string of words, Su Chen also realized that Zhang Chuxian was a girl who appeared cold on the outside but was warm on the inside. Although she seemed aloof on the surface, she was unexpectedly talkative with acquaintances. In this continuous conversation, Su Chen also learned that Zhang Chuxian had been separated from her bodyguard team, which led to being chased by the earth-digging dragon. By the way, senior, where are you planning to go next? After talking for a while, Zhang Chuxian asked again. I'm going to hunt beasts around here, Su Chen replied. Can I temporarily accompany you? Zhang Chuxian blinked her clear big eyes and asked. With me? Su Chen furrowed his brows, pondered for a moment, and then nodded, all right, I'll take you to the city ruins area and then you can go back on your own. There were still seven or eight days before school started, and he planned to stay in this mountain forest area all the time. Naturally, he couldn't bring along a tag along, but he could escort her out of the mountain forest area. It would only take one or two hours anyway. Being alumni from the same school, he could help with this little favor. Thank you so much, senior. Zhang Chuxian smiled brightly, as stunning as blooming flowers. By the way, senior, do you want to go into the earth digging dragon's cave to take a look? There might be some good stuff inside, otherwise I just passed by there, the earth digging dragon wouldn't have chased me out directly. Zhang Chuxian suggested. For the sake of shooting video materials, this wasn't her first time entering the wilderness area, but it was the first time encountering such a situation. She wouldn't believe there were no problems inside that cave. Oh, Su Chen raised his eyebrows, suddenly interested, alright, let's go take a look. Indeed, places where powerful beasts lurked were likely to have rare flowers and herbs. During the time he had spent in the mountain forest, he had found some rare flowers and herbs in the lairs of many powerful beasts. This earth-digging dragon is not an ordinary fierce beast, there may be something good in its lair. So, Su Chen first used a B-grade alloy dagger to cut off the valuable parts of the earth-digging dragon. Then he followed Zhang Chuxian to the earth-digging dragon's lair. By the way, senior, which academy are you from? The Weaponry Academy. 
I know the Weaponry Academy, your Dean Yang Jintian has a nickname King Yen, anyway, he is quite fierce. That's my teacher. Oh, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Jian Chushuan's video style on the internet is known for her sharp and lethal strikes. Paired with her silver-white long hair and ice abilities, she can indeed be called a frost goddess of the mature type. But at this moment, Jiang Chuxian is really like a cute junior sister, chatting nonstop beside Su Chen. Su Chen can tolerate a talkative roommate like Lu Wentao, so naturally he doesn't mind Jiang Chuxian's behavior. After all, compared to the rough guy Lu Wentao, she is close to perfect in all aspects, a pleasing beauty. The two walked through the jungle for four or five minutes. Soon, a cave about three to four stories high appeared in their sight. The cave was hidden behind dense grass and bushes, not easy to spot if you didn't look carefully. Senior, this is it. Zhang Chushuan's beautiful eyes lit up, eager to try. Unfortunately, the cameraman was not there, otherwise they could have changed the style and made an adventure video. Okay. Su Chen nodded, holding the two-meter-long dark cloud swift spear in his hand. At the same time, accompanied by the piercing sound of thunder, the blue-purple-purple sky divine thunder emerged. Although the earth-digging dragon had been killed, no one knew if there was another one inside. It's better to be cautious. So, after forming a thunder protection net around them with the purple sky divine thunder, they stepped into the cave. Such powerful thunder. Looking at the thunder emitting a terrifying aura so close, Zhang Chuxian couldn't help but show a hint of surprise on her pretty face. She had noticed earlier that Su Chen's thunder ability was somewhat extraordinary. Now, up close, she realized that the energy fluctuations emitted by the thunder were even more terrifying than she had imagined. Even this casual thunder could probably kill me. This senior is really low-key, I've never heard of his name back in school. Zhang Chuxian secretly marveled, and decided to check Su Chen's information when they returned to see what kind of person he really was. As they delved deeper into the cave, the surrounding light grew dimmer. But fortunately, Su Chen's purple sky divine thunder could illuminate the surroundings. Step, step, step. In the quiet cave, apart from the thunder, only the footsteps of the two could be heard. After passing through an area with a smell similar to animal body odor, a sudden fragrance entered their nostrils. This is the fragrance of exotic flowers and herbs. Su Chen's eyes lit up, hastening his steps. After walking more than 10 meters, the originally narrow passage suddenly opened up. It was a spacious underground cavern, with some cleaned up beast skeletons scattered around. At the far end, a simple lair was laid out with animal skins, but there were no beasts resting on it. In the center of the cave, there was a small clear pool of water. Around the pool, many strange-looking grasses and flowers grew. Some emitted cold air, while others were as hot as fire. And the refreshing fragrance Su Chen smelled came from here. B-grade clear spirit grass, A-grade flame flower, C-grade hypnotic grass. Before entering the wilderness area, Su Chen had studied up on the knowledge of exotic flowers and herbs. At this moment, under the shining light of the purple cloud divine thunder, he easily recognized the names of these more than 10 strange flowers and exotic plants. At the same time, he also discovered that their grades were all above sea level. How come so many rare flowers and exotic plants are born here? Overjoyed, Su Chen naturally noticed the pool of water in the center. Could this pool have something special? Just as he was puzzled, Zhang Chushan beside him exclaimed, Could this be an S-level earth spirit spring? What is an earth spirit spring? Su Chen was slightly stunned at the words. When he was in school, he read more books about strange flowers and exotic plants. But for other natural treasures, he didn't know much about them. Of course, even without knowing the name, an S-level natural treasure was enough to indicate its value. The earth spirit spring is the essence of the earth condensed into liquid form. For low-level abilities below the fourth rank, it is a sacred medicine for healing. As long as they are still breathing, almost all can be saved. For higher level abilities above the fourth rank, the effect may be slightly weaker, but it still has a strong healing effect. Therefore, it has been designated as an S-level natural treasure, extremely rare. Zhang Chuxian stepped forward to the pool with her long legs. Then she knelt down, her silver white long hair falling down. The fullness in front of her chest was squeezed into an exaggerated shape by her knees. However, she didn't mind at all focusing intently as she reached out her jade hand and gently pulled out the nearest strange flower and exotic plant to the water. This strange flower and exotic plant looked like rice seedlings, with roots soaked in fresh mud. The earth spirit spring nourishes the nearby flowers and transforms them into strange flowers and exotic plants. Correspondingly, these strange flowers and exotic plants will also absorb the aura of the earth spirit spring. This B-grade chingling grass should have roots emitting a faint scent of glutinous rice. But now it exudes a fragrance similar to the spring water indicating that this is indeed the earth spirit spring. Zhang Chuxian brought the roots of this strange flower and exotic plant close to her nose, 
and her beautiful eyes slightly lit up after smelling the fragrance. This series of words made Su Chen raise his thumb in admiration, praising, impressive, I didn't expect you to have such a deep understanding of natural treasures. This was his sincere praise. Although Jiang Chuxian only recognized the origin of this pool of water, the knowledge behind it was extremely terrifying. Otherwise, when he was in school, he wouldn't have just skimmed through the books on strange flowers and exotic plants. That's right, I obtained the second rank alchemist certification at school. Jiang Chuxian stood up proud like a little rooster and proudly straightened her chest. The second rank alchemist certification was not something many students at the Magic City Ability University could achieve. After graduation, just based on this certification, one would be sought after by various forces and guilds. But speaking of which, the small pool of Earth Spirit Spring can at least produce five portions of S-level healing spring water. Jiang Chuxuan's eyes sparkled slightly. S-level natural treasures were almost immeasurable in value. And the Earth Spirit Spring here, which could produce five portions of healing medicine, was truly a priceless treasure. Although these Earth Spirit Springs were valuable, Zhang Chuxian did not covet them. Instead, she looked at Su Chen with a smile on her face and said softly, Senior, then these Earth Spirit Springs are all yours. Su Chen was her lifesaver, so naturally, good things should be given to him first. I'll give you one, and also, the strange flowers and exotic plants here will be split evenly between us. Su Chen was straightforward in his allocation. An S-level natural treasure like the Earth Spirit Spring was something no one would find too much of. But after all, it was Jiang Chu Xian who brought him here to discover it. Besides, if it weren't for her, he wouldn't have recognized this as the Earth Spirit Spring. It was only right to give her a share. Thank you, Senior. For such an unfair distribution, Jiang Chu Xian didn't feel any discomfort at all. Instead, she was delighted that Su Chen could give her a share. This reaction made Su Chen nod secretly. This character is already better than most girls. After all, the vast majority of girls would have turned and run away when they encountered the Earth Dragon earlier. They would never be like Zhang Chuxian, who came forward with the Blood Essence Pill and wanted to fight alongside him. The distribution of the Earth Spirit Spring at this time also showed that her emotional intelligence was very high. The Earth Spirit Spring is best stored in jade bottles, otherwise it is easy to lose its spiritual essence. Fortunately, I bought a batch of beautifully designed jade bottles before otherwise I really wouldn't know what to do with it. Zhang Chuxian wore a spatial ring on her fingers as white and tender as spring onions. The ring emitted a faint light, and then five jade bottles slightly smaller than mineral water bottles appeared out of thin air. Senior, let's do this together. Just as Su Chen and Zhang Chuxian were each about to pour the earth spirit spring into a jade bottle, voices and footsteps suddenly approached from afar at the cave entrance. Captain, not to be rude, but what good things can there be in this cave? He he, you never know. Judging from the feces we saw when we passed by earlier, this should be the nest of a tier 3 earth dragon. Oh, really? The lair of a dragon-like fierce beast, there might actually be some good stuff. With laughter, a group of people carrying military searchlights entered Su Chen and Zhang Chuxuan's line of sight. This was a group of five people, both men and women. The leader was a middle-aged man of at least tier 3 strength, tall and carrying a sword and shield. This group of people was the bodyguard team that Zhang Chuxian had originally hired. Phew, it's you guys, you scared me. Seeing familiar faces, Zhang Chuxian appeared relieved on the surface, but her heart couldn't help but skip a beat. An elite tier 3 team of ability users, if they were to discover this S-grade Earth Spirit Spring. Even if they were her own bodyguard team, things could become extremely troublesome. Although worried, Zhang Chuxian didn't show any abnormality on the surface and gestured to Su Chen beside her, saying, Senior, it's okay, they are our own people. The leader Wan was slightly surprised to see Zhang Chuxian, but he quickly reacted and put on a smile, saying, Miss Zhang, we were looking for you everywhere, didn't expect to meet you here. As he spoke, he quickly scanned the entire cave and soon noticed the pool of spring water and more than 10 strange flowers and plants. His eyes narrowed involuntarily as he asked, But Miss Zhang, what is all this? Nothing, just met a senior from the same school on the way and accidentally entered this cave. Right, the quality of these strange flowers and plants is not bad. Let's share them all together. Zhang Chuxian explained with a smile, while actively inviting to share these strange flowers and plants. Her tone sounded very calm, without a hint of panic. However, only she knew that facing such a powerful group of tier 3 ability users, if she showed any sign of wrongdoing, she would face a disaster. As a tier 3 superior ability user, Wang and his team were also experienced hands in the wilderness area. Similar to committing murder and robbery, he and his team had done it before. Of course, the premise was that there had to be enough benefits. In addition, with his rich experience, he naturally also discovered that these strange flowers and plants were at most A grade. 
Just a great strange flowers and plants were not worth falling out with Zhang Chushen, a video blogger with millions of fans. After all, if she were to disappear under his protection, not to mention the investigation by the Public Security Bureau, just dealing with Zhang Chushuan's enthusiastic fans would be very troublesome. So he still had a smile on his face and nodded, Oh, is that so? Then thank you very much, Miss Zhang. Zhang Chushen couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief upon hearing this. Fortunately, they managed to deceive their way through. However, at that moment, a tall and thin man behind Captain Wang suddenly spoke up, Captain, something seems off. That pool of spring water in the middle seems to resemble the S-Class Healing Holy Medicine Earth Spirit Spring. Oh, Captain Wang raised an eyebrow. This tall and thin man was a member of their team with auxiliary abilities. He was also quite knowledgeable in identifying strange flowers, rare herbs, and treasures of heaven and earth. If he said it was an S-Class Earth Spirit Spring, then there was basically no escape. So he narrowed his eyes involuntarily and looked at Zhang Chushian with a half-smile, Miss Jiang, it seems like you're not quite honest, huh? Miss Jiang, it seems like you're not quite honest, huh? Captain Wang's voice echoed in the cave, and the remaining team members also looked unfriendly. The tall and thin man who spoke earlier took three quick steps to the side of the spring water. After a brief inspection, he exclaimed, Captain, it's true, this is an S-Class Earth Spirit Spring and there's enough for five people. Oh no, they've been discovered. S-Class treasures of heaven and earth are valuable even to top forces. This group of third-tier ability users would never share the S-Class Earth Spirit Spring with them, two second-tier individuals. If things went wrong, angering them could mean the question of whether they could leave here alive. Thinking of this, Zhang Chushian gave up the last trace of luck. She took a deep breath and slowly said, since Captain Wang and your team have figured it out, then these Earth Spirit Springs, as well as the strange flowers and herbs, all belong to you. We don't want anything. Senior, let's go. After speaking, Zhang Chushian reached out to pull Su Chen beside her. However, she found Su Chen standing as firm as a nail, unable to be moved. Senior, let's go. Those who have the ability should have the treasures of heaven and earth. Captain Wang and his team are all peak third tier ability users, we can't compete with them. Zhang Chushian became anxious and hurriedly said. Her bodyguard team was a third tier elite squad with both the captain and vice-captain being peak third-tier experts. The remaining three members were also at least mid-third-tier level. Such a team was extremely powerful, capable of dealing with slightly weaker fourth-tier beasts. Although Su Chen could easily kill a lower third-tier earth dragon, facing such a team, the power gap was still too great. Junior, as you said, those with the ability should have the treasures of heaven and earth. I don't think I'm inferior to them. Crackling sounds, accompanied by the chirping of countless birds, lingering around Su Chen, the purple thunder god's thunder suddenly surged from its restrained state. At the same time, an unprecedented coldness shone in Su Chen's black and white eyes, moreover, even if we give them all the treasures of heaven and earth, they won't let us go. From the moment the S-Class Earth Spirit Spring was exposed, the final outcome of both sides was already determined. Ha, huh, although you sound arrogant, you guessed right. I indeed have no intention of letting you go. The leader of the Wang team's eyes flashed with cold light, and the remaining team members dispersed, blocking the entire cave exit. Zhang Chushuan's face suddenly changed upon seeing this, puzzled, didn't you want the treasures of heaven and earth? Why won't you let us go? Of course, it's because of you, Miss Zhang. Captain Wang's face showed a mocking smile, as a mega influencer with millions of followers, if you go back and casually make a video playing the victim, how will we survive in the future? In that case, it's better to make you disappear directly, it will save us some trouble. As for your old friend next to you, we'll take care of him too. Because I, Zhang Chushian felt cold all over. Indeed, since the other party had decided to monopolize all the Earth Spirit Springs, they naturally would not allow her, an unstable factor, to leave. Senior, this is because of me. I will take the Bloodthirsty Dan to see if I can stop them for a moment, and then you can take the opportunity to break through. Zhang Chushian whispered, a hint of determination flashing in her beautiful eyes. Then, a dark red pill appeared on her fingertips, which she directly swallowed. Boom! A unhealthy flush appeared on Zhang Chushuan's pretty face, and a powerful aura belonging to a third-tier esper burst out from her. At the same time, a bone-chilling cold spread from her, causing the temperature in the cave to drop sharply. In the blink of an eye, it dropped to over 10 degrees below zero. Ice crystals formed on the cave ceiling, and even the small pool of Earth Spirit Springs was covered with a thin layer of ice. Zhang Chushian is mine, Zhou Chon, you go deal with her old lover first. The rest of you, guard the entrance. Understood. A team member with a long knife smirked and walked towards Su Chen. Meanwhile, Captain Wang himself was approaching Zhang Chushian step by step. The others stood at the entrance, 
with smiles on their faces, ready to watch the show. Miss Jiang, I'm sorry, but you have to leave your life here today. Captain Wang's face twisted into a sinister smile, and two sharp teeth even grew in his mouth. At the same time, his muscles swelled, and grayish-yellow hair grew on his exposed skin. On his forehead, the hair even vaguely formed a character. Strengthening type beast type sea level esper, saber-toothed tiger. In beast form, it can significantly enhance one's physical strength in all aspects. Just relying on this beast form, he had no idea how many fierce beasts and human espers he had killed. Captain, take it easy, don't kill her all at once, the brothers are still looking forward to enjoying themselves. At the entrance, a male team member looked at Jiang Chushuan's graceful figure with a hot gaze. Don't worry, such a beauty won't be killed directly. Captain Wan licked his lips. Seeing this scene not far away, Zhang Chushan couldn't help but show a look of despair. The other party not only arranged for team members to deal with her and the senior, but also had the remaining people guard the entrance. Now, no matter how they tried to break through, they couldn't escape. I should have known better than to bring the senior here. Otherwise, he and I wouldn't have ended up dying here together. Zhang Chushan regretted in her heart. However, at that moment, a thunderous sound suddenly rang out from the side, followed by a very sharp scream. Zhou Chong, what's wrong with you, causing such a big commotion against a second-tier upper-level esper? Captain Wang frowned and turned his head, but before he could finish his sentence, his pupils shrank. Not far ahead, Su Chen's long spear pierced through Zhou Chang's heart, lifting him into the air in a highly impactful manner. Sizzle the terrifying thunder filled in the long spear caused Zhou Chang's chest, along with his battle clothes, to be charred black by electricity. Cap. Tain. Zhou Chong struggled to say two words, then his head drooped weakly, completely losing his life breath. Then Su Chin violently pulled back his long spear from the body. With a splutter, blood gushed out from the major artery in the heart. The body, now devoid of support in midair, fell heavily to the ground like a broken doll. It seems that your team members aren't that great after all. Su Chen's dark cloud swift wind spear trembled slightly in his hand, emitting a buzzing sound. Combined with the fluctuating and terrifying thunder surrounding him, a powerful aura swept through the area. Old Joe is dead? Su Chen's killing happened in the blink of an eye. By the time the remaining team members reacted, Zhou Chong was already beyond dead. One by one, they glared angrily at Su Chen. But due to the good discipline of the team, they did not leave the original spot against the captain's orders. Although Zhou Chong is only at the third level of the middle rank, he is not someone that just anyone can easily kill. So, you are the most troublesome one. Wang took a deep breath, his gaze becoming extremely dangerous. Then, he abandoned Zhang Chushan directly, flashed forward to Su Chen, and menacingly swung his blade, in that case, let you accompany old Zhou in death. Tiger Roar Slash Roar, accompanied by a low tiger roar, the powerful and oppressive broadsword slashed towards Su Chen in a manner that seemed to tear through the air. However, Su Chen remained calm, with thunder surging under his feet, directly using thunder flash to dodge to the side. Bang! The broadsword struck the stone wall, creating a crater over three meters in diameter. Debris continued to fall. Su Chen couldn't help but frown. Judging solely from the intensity of the attack, this captain at the peak of the third level was indeed much stronger than himself. However, with Thunder Flash, although it was a bit troublesome to escape, he could still manage to flee, even taking Zhang Chushan along. It's a pity that I want this S-level Earth Spirit Spring and these exotic flowers and plants as well. Su Chen took a deep breath, then on his determined and handsome face, his lips slightly curved up, in that case, I'll just have to eliminate all of you. Thunder Extreme State. Boom. In the astonished gazes of Wang and the others, countless blue-purple thunderbolts radiated from Su Chen. Crackling, the entire cave instantly turned into a small thunderstorm area, with lightning flashing and thunder rumbling. Blue-purple thunderbolts with a profound primordial aura kept striking, causing soil to fly. What made Wang and the others even more terrified was that Su Chen's aura at the center of the thunderstorm kept rising, and his height was also increasing. 1 meter 90. 1 meter 95. 2 meters. 2 meters 5. Bang! Su Chen's upper body battle clothes burst open, revealing his bare upper body like a work of art. His muscles were knotted, exuding a violent beauty. At the same time, Su Chen's stark black and white eyes suddenly changed. They transformed into a pair of blue thunderbolts swirling around, with draconic vertical pupils full of a brutal aura. In the end, what appeared in front of Wang and the others was a figure surrounded by blue-purple thunderbolts. Standing over two meters tall, with a huge body, emanating a terrifying aura akin to a supreme dragon-like beast. W what kind of monster is this? Looking at Su Chen's towering figure, Wang swallowed hard. The third level of the S-level forging technique, Thunder Immortal Body, attached with the Thunder Extreme State.
It could greatly enhance the physique while also unleashing the ferocious blood essence absorbed during the foundation shaping process. To some extent, it acquired some abilities of that thunder-based ferocious beast. For example, Senior Brother Lu Ming absorbed the blood essence of the 7th level sub-tier thunderous giant wolf. When activating the thunder extreme state, he would gain the swift agility of the thunderous giant wolf and powerful perception abilities. Su Chen, on the other hand, absorbed the blood essence from the 8th level sub-tier thunderous rampage dragon. And the absorption efficiency reached an astonishing 98%. Therefore, after initiating the thunder extreme state, Su Chen's body exhibited features akin to a dragon. This feeling of power is truly amazing. Su Chen could feel the overwhelming energy within his body, and a kind of emotion called brutality. However, unlike the uncontrollable brutality when initially shaping the thunder immortal body, Su Chen's consciousness remained very clear. This was merely an emotional influence. Indeed, enhancing my strength will weaken the influence of the thunderous rampage dragon on me. Su Chen nodded to himself inwardly. He could feel that his physique was more than three or four times stronger than before. Not only that, after activating the Thunder Extreme mode, his control over his Purple Sky Divine Thunder ability can be said to have reached its peak. So, just by reaching out his hand, immediately, with a crackling sound, a blue-purple thunderbolt struck above the cave exit. Boom! The spot hit by the thunder immediately cracked open, rocks falling down, completely blocking the exit. Playing God, just activating a special state. At this moment, Wang Diyuai also reacted from Su Chen's fierce aura, his face turning fierce, ready to use his combat skills again. However, at that moment, Su Chen's figure moved. His speed was so fast that even Wang Diyuai only caught a glimpse of a residual image. His expression changed involuntarily, not good. He instinctively raised his left round shield in front of him. Block! The round shield successfully blocked Su Chen's phantom-like spear thrust, emitting a deafening sound. But before he could rejoice, he felt a huge force coming from the shield. He couldn't stop this force at all. The alloy shield that was originally meant to protect him, instead seemed to be smashing towards him like a weapon. Bang! Under this tremendous force, he was sent flying as if hit head-on by a speeding truck. He crashed into the cave wall, creating a deep pit in the hard rock wall before coming to a stop. Cracks spread out like a spider web from him, rapidly spreading across the entire wall. Truly an experienced old hand, his reaction speed is indeed very fast. Su Chen, surrounded by thunder, slowly retracted his spear, a faint smile on his face. This was the instinctive reaction honed by an experienced supernatural being between life and death. If it were an ordinary third-tier supernatural being, they wouldn't stand a chance to react and would be killed in an instant. But I'll take advantage of your weakness. Thunder Flash With a flash of lightning, Su Chen appeared directly in front of the pit he created. Seeking death. Flame Demon Claw. The remaining three team members naturally didn't just stand by. The third tier deputy team leader with a sea level fire element supernatural ability also focused his gaze. A huge flame giant hand condensed, carrying a wave of heat towards Su Chen. However, Su Chen seemed as if he hadn't noticed. He reached out his left hand and grabbed Wang Diyuai out of the wall as if catching a chick. It was at this moment that the flame giant hand arrived. Crackling, Su Chen didn't even turn around, and the thunderous electric net made of purple sky divine thunder intercepted the entire flame giant hand. Bang! The flame giant hand only caused a wave of heat to Su Chen, then it was devoured by the endless thunder. My flame demon hand! How is this possible? The deputy team leader was shocked. The flame demon hand was his proudest B-level combat skill, honed to advanced proficiency over decades of practice. Yet he couldn't even break through the opponent's thunder net? What kind of monster is this? And at that moment, Wang Diyuai, who was grabbed by Su Chun from the wall, struggling and begging with a face covered in blood, please, don't kill me. I'll give you the Earth Spirit Spring, and I also have over a billion private savings for you. The strength that could crush E Great Alloy seemed so powerless under Su Chen's giant hand that was as strong as iron tongs. It's too late to beg for mercy now. Su Chen's dragon like vertical pupils, filled with blue purple thunder, showed no trace of emotion. Then, with a slight force from his left hand, there was a spluttering sound, and Wang Diyuai's head exploded. Crimson blood splattered, and a strong smell of blood filled the air. Dev. Devil. The remaining three team members were also pale with fear. The deputy team leader with the fire element ability was trembling, his legs almost giving out. The tyrannical pressure brought by the top-tier dragon-like beast was overwhelming. And the visual impact brought by the captain with the same strength being headshot has completely shattered his psychological defense. Is this? Am I dreaming? On the side, Zhang Chushen, who had already lost all hope, widened her eyes in disbelief, incredulously looking at Su Chen standing there like the god of thunder. 
She invited this small team into the wilderness area, each time costing 6 million Dasha coins. Each team member, placed outside, is a powerful figure who can dominate a region. Especially their captain Wang Chuan, at the peak of the third rank, can almost be said to be invincible at the third rank. However, at this moment, he was completely powerless against Su Chen's headshot. And Su Chen's true rank is only at the upper level of the second rank. This is too exaggerated. Zhang Chuxian couldn't help but mutter softly. Having studied at the Magic City Supernatural University for over a year, she had never heard of any student in the school achieving such a record. She could also clearly see that Su Chen had entered a special state. It's just that this special state is terrifyingly strong. In addition, the blue-purple thunderous aura lingering around Su Chen's body also emitted a unique and frightening aura. Stronger than A-rank supernatural abilities. Could it be? S-rank? Zhang Chuxian thought of a possibility, her breathing becoming rapid, and her towering chest rising and falling. If it's an S-rank supernatural ability, then all of this makes sense. Devil? Compared to you bunch of scum who kill and plunder, I actually resemble humans more, don't I? Watching the fearful expression of the vice captain, Su Chen shook his head. This group of people is accustomed to controlling the life and death of others, but when it comes to their own lives being controlled by others, their reaction is even more unbearable than ordinary people. As if discarding trash, Su Chen casually threw the headless body of the captain aside. Then, a cruel smile appeared on his resolute face. Next, it's your turn. Among the remaining three team members, besides the vice captain who possesses fire type supernatural abilities at the upper level of the third rank, the other tall and thin man possesses healing type abilities and basically has no combat power. The remaining woman, like their captain, also possesses beast type abilities. The three of them combined have considerable combat power. However, under Su Chen's thunder extreme state, even if the three of them simultaneously consumed the bloodthirsty Dan, they were still completely suppressed. Puff, more than 10 minutes later, the dark cloud swift wind spear was pulled out from the last woman's body. Bang! The woman, with a lingering fear on her face, collapsed to the ground, losing her life. The last one. Su Chen's emotionless blue-purple vertical pupils scanned the surroundings. Compared to 10 minutes ago, there were five more bodies in the cave. They died in different ways, some had their heads crushed, some were pierced through the heart by a long spear, and some were charred by thunder and lightning. Over a month ago, Su Chen only severely injured Zhao Chunlin, and was subsequently dealt with by the senior supervisor Zhao Yi. Therefore, this can be considered his first real killing. And he killed five people in one go. Before this, Su Chen thought that killing would make him uncomfortable. However, in reality, after killing five people in a row, he didn't have the slightest emotional fluctuation. They are all people who deserve to die. Once they are dead, there is nothing to regret. There was no change in Su Chen's resolute expression. Then, with a flick of the spear, as the blood splattered off, his tall body slowly returned to its original height of 1. 89 meters, the dragon-like vertical pupils filled with thunder gradually returned to their original state. The overwhelming thunder that had surrounded his body also disappeared into the air. The thunderous state is indeed powerful, but it does consume a lot of energy, Su Chen's face showed a hint of fatigue. Just using the thunderous state for more than 10 minutes made him more tired than battling with a fierce beast for 2-3 to three hours. Of course, the increase in combat power brought by activating the thunderous state is worth it. Senior, are you okay? At this moment, Zhang Chuxian walked up with her slender legs. In the previous battle, after taking the bloodthirsty pill, she had been using her ice abilities to assist Su Chen in his attacks. She even took advantage of the distraction caused by the vice captain and another person being held back by Su Chen, using a sword made of ice to kill a weak auxiliary ability user. In fact, as a popular blogger with millions of fans who make videos of killing fierce beasts, this was also her first time killing a person. And the first time she killed someone, the scene was so bloody. On the ground, bodies were laid out, blood flowed, and it could easily pass as a set for some R-rated horror movie. If it were an ordinary girl, she would probably have vomited more than three or four times when suddenly faced with such a scene. However, although Jiang Chushuan's face was slightly pale, she did not vomit. Instead, she asked with concern, are you okay, just a bit tired? Su waved his hand, let's collect the earth spirit spring and exotic flowers and herbs first, then take a rest. Zhang Chuxian nodded, took out a jade bottle from her spatial ring, and went to the spring with Su Chen. Fortunately, the earth spirit spring has not been contaminated by blood. Su Chen breathed a sigh of relief as he looked at the spring water surrounded by exotic flowers and herbs, still clear in color. As an S-grade natural treasure, the Earth Spirit Spring was extremely precious. Once contaminated by impurities like blood, it would be impossible to purify it, and its medicinal effects would greatly diminish. That's why during the battle just now, 
Su Chen deliberately avoided this pool of spring water. While the earth spirit spring was fine, many of the surrounding exotic flowers and herbs were not so lucky. However, compared to the earth spirit spring, the exotic flowers and herbs were not as valuable. Even if they were trampled, they could still be used. There was a considerable amount of earth spirit spring, and Su Chen and Jiang Chu Xian filled five and a half small jade bottles before emptying it all. A small pit appeared on the ground as a result. In a few decades, there might be more earth spirit spring condensed here. By then, we can come back again. Su Chen smiled, then handed one full bottle and a half filled bottle to Jiang Chu Xian, saying, This is for you. Jiang Chu Xian was surprised that she could have the extra half bottle, so she thanked him, Thank you, senior. However, just as she was about to reach out to take it, the effects of the bloodthirsty pill suddenly faded, and she felt weak all over, causing her to sit down abruptly. In the previous battle, the vice captain who wielded flame abilities had also sent a flame demon hand towards Jiang Chu Xian. Although most of the flames were blocked by Su Chen's purple thunder godly net, some of them still burned Jiang Chu Xian. Although she promptly extinguished them with her ice abilities, her battle clothes were slightly damaged, causing some exposure of her chest and thighs. Sitting on the ground at this moment, the torn battle clothes seemed unable to cover her chest properly, revealing half of her snow white northern hemisphere directly. Zhang Chuxian naturally noticed this and blushed to the roots of her ears. Due to the side effects of the bloodthirsty pill, she was weak all over and unable to use her mental abilities. Naturally, she couldn't take out spare clothes from her spatial ring. Just as she felt embarrassed and shy about this, Su Chen's deep voice sounded from the side, the side effects of the bloodthirsty pill are strong. Let me take you to rest nearby. With that, a black men's t-shirt covered her sensitive area. After that, the whole person was lifted up by Su Chen in a princess carry style and walked towards a clean place nearby. Su Chen's upper body battle armor had already burst open when he used the thunder extreme just now. So, Jiang Chu Xian, who was being held in Su Chen's arms, could clearly see the symmetrical muscle curves that were close at hand. Coupled with Su Chen's strong masculine aura, it made Zhang Chu Xian, a girl who was having such close contact with the opposite sex for the first time, blush even more like an apple. At the same time, she could feel her heartbeat suddenly speeding up, a feeling she had never experienced before spreading in her heart. In the midst of various complex emotions, Zhang Chu Xian was gently leaned against the cave wall and placed on the soft beast skin nest of the original earth dragon. Rest here for a while, I'll go collect the remaining exotic flowers and herbs. It wasn't until Su Chen turned and left that Zhang Chu Shen came back to her senses from those complex emotions. Looking at the black short sleeves draped over her, there was a hint of tenderness in her beautiful eyes. Senior, you are really gentle. By the way, Senior, you are actually my fan. Thinking of this, a joy that she hadn't even noticed surged in Zhang Chu Xuan's heart. 